Welcome to Jim Markham face. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even hold the full Voltron because Chase Jim is Jim Markham here. face. Jim Markham sounds like a, an urban name. <laughs> That's a way to say it? Jim Markham. No, well, ur urban is the polite way to say black. Okay. Like, wow. if you want to capitalize on the urban market, it means you want black people to buy your shit. I mean, that's not a lie. You're not a, that's not, there's, there's no lie there. That's I literally what, see. like, Hollywood calls an entire group of people. They do. Entire awesome. skin shade. Yeah. Because when you say the word farmer, you don't think about a black person. I don't think black people are farmers, any don't of them. Don't assume what I do. Yeah. Oh, I've seen a black? lot of old images where they seem like they they're enjoying they're having a no, good time. I'm saying not to assume. Yeah, they're out there. Yeah, they're having a great time. They're out there singing all day. <laughs> stop, I mean, stop, they stop. must they must love it. We're not live, are we? Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, that's fine because it's all a joke. It's all a joke made in good humor, and I think that we we're all adults here. We can appreciate that. Go to. I support. Jail. I support. I support all the urban market. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm, I'm muting. I'm done. No, I'm gonna mute the podcast. Let's go. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still be here, but I'm muting all of you. You should be able to. You should just have a button that's a hot key. If that's a <laughs> rag <really> mute. <laughs> in the background to himself. When I have a question, if you're not allowed to do blind playthroughs on Twitch because uh, people are b uh, offended on behalf of blind people. Can really? you? Well, I was gonna say, can you? How long until we can't call it the mute button anymore? Oh shit! Um, probably tomorrow. I think is when they're gonna be talking about that. Maybe next week. Oh well, well, <laughs> well. I'm I'm gonna. Um. Well, you know, get it out of your system now. Call it the mute button at your heart's content, because you won't be able to do it for much longer. Oh, that's that's all right. You want to save it for the better, Bilge. punchier times. How often do yeah. you say mute button? Really? Uh... You don't really need that word. Um, I, I you mean, can give I, it up. Maybe if we start me. calling it the give silence the button. Give me the word. All right, there you go. The, the replacement for the mute button? Okay. What would you like to call it? Um, um, silence? We can just call it, we can just call it, uh, sleepy time. We had a French teacher who used to say silence when everyone was talking too much, and we all started laughing. Because <laughs> sea of lions? Parents. Yeah, that's how it would sound. <laughs> to French, French. sea and lions? He would, um, he, would lift, he would put his arm all the way up to the like, point Lippin of the Lippin ceiling, can we, can and then we just bring it him? down onto the table, index finger alone, slam on the table. That's how he would do it. El liber de polar. Can we call like the mute button something that's equally offensive, but or, like guess actually <laughs> offensive? But uh, can we, can we call it? We gay? can't say that. But, but, like... but not in any way related to making things quiet. So like the puff button. Oh, the oh, oh. you can't do that. Oh, oh, oh boy. It's I want to change key. it. I want to change it in like the exact opposite spirit of any way it would be changed. The you, know, you can give them like I don't want to go too offensive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Good. Um. So we could call it like the like the, the there's, a, there's a tasteful zone in which to make this joke. Right? Yeah, like yeah. like Negro, right? Like it's not the most offensive, but you know, it's not it's not offensive if they're like over seventy and they've just they're just you know it's a thing, right? Yeah, it's a grandpa. But to most people, it's like yeah, it's oh. a grandpa. And, and by the way, grandpa could be black or white, and it it doesn't matter. It's just yeah, of course. We, that's just you know, it's, that's what that's what it was. Yeah. But nowadays, you know, it's a uh, it's not something that you generally say. Like the context I'm saying it in is that it is sort of kind of offensive to some well, people. Maybe an, you can use an old timey is... word like call it the quim button. Yeah. Oh, what's a what's a quim? <laughs> I think it's a cunt. A quim. Oh wow. To be fair, well, let to be fair, me. I prefer the cunt button actually. Quim. Let me look up yeah. quim. So quim is vulgar slang term, variously meaning vagina, vulva. A woman as a sexual object, so that's what's redundant, or a con or a this a contemptible person, so a woman. So it mm -hmm. all kind of <laughs> wraps it all up in a neat little bow. It's that while the term is mostly considered antiquated, it's still very offensive to refer to a person, especially a woman, using quim. But I don't know why it would be especially offensive to a woman, because they have quims. I somehow like cunt way more than quim. Like I yeah, find way that more. way worse. Yeah, somehow. I would rather like I would rather eat a cunt than eat a quim. If those words yeah. were like food, you know, it's, it's 
even like like you know something something's like like the word cunt is something like you're kind of like, <laughs> like, like a quim shell yeah yeah like a quim shell a quim yeah. shell yeah. a cunt if it was a kind of food sounds more like it would be like a sort of a, a sort of plain no no not not plain a kind of like biscuit or something hmm. I'm just gonna a eat a cunt oh. Cunt, Jimmy, what, uh, what do you have for lunch? Oh, it just kind of was again. A, a food item, like a pastry. Yeah. Like it was lightly iced with uh, perhaps like a tart, maybe? Oh, a, someone in chat cunt? just, just like mentioned uh, Loki said, he doesn't say quivering quim, he says mewling quim in, uh, in I Avengers. I thought it was quivering quim. Oh, quivering well. Quim. Wow. Well, maybe, well, maybe we, can little can just, we can just um, combine them and we could say your cunt quimmers. Oh, quimmer. <laughs> Yeah, he calls, yeah, he calls Black quimmers. Widow a quim. You hit it just right and it quimmers. Wow, he what says, a misogynist. I really like this character suddenly. Yeah, he says, I'll split the, his skull. This is my bargain. I think he's just you a misanthrope. Quim, so. uh, yeah. <laughs> now, now I see why women really like him. There is there's a website called itsquim.com. It's I have to confirm that I'm 21 or older. Oh, oh man. That's very Not even 18. Yeah. So um, their tagline is "Shame is out, joy is in." Hey. Um, uh, this week, in honor of International Women's Day, we are donating fifty percent of all CBD product sales to therapy for Black girls. So, if you're a white girl, sorry about International Women's Day. Yeah, sorry about your uh, brain you're problems. You're not going to get your. You're not going to get a quim check. Did sorry you, about uh, that. Hey, did you see my really good joke in the text chat? Did you see that? Um, yes. I, I'm gonna get Rags to appreciate it, okay? So, <laughs> Rags, Rags, we we had a bunch of uh, these these disgusting guests in a yeah. group chat. I was sorting them out. I was like, oh, this will be the time. It's come like I forgot oh. to add you to it, but it didn't matter because you're here now. You know, and that's, this is all. Well, then you up. couldn't have said you couldn't have said disgusting uh, disgusting guests. Exactly, um, I was there, so yeah, so, I enabled you. Uh, when we finished the Dark Souls stream yesterday, I was like, oh, I'm yeah. so sleepy, but I'm going to tell them exactly when it starts. And I was like, 16 hours from now, okay? 16 hours from now, that's when it'll start. <laughs> Which I find is such a useful thing to tell people, because it doesn't matter where you are in the world, 16 hours is going to be 16 hours. There's just no mm -hmm. confusion yeah. to be had. Chase yeah, responds. Yeah, unless they were in a, like, a gravity well of some sort, <laughs> where space and time were causing... Yes. You know, like the passage of time to be like different, Man but that's of Steel. Mm, yeah. like, like where in or Man Texas. of Steel was that? What? Uh, where was what? that in Man of Steel where time was like flowing differently? Where oh, because I don't know how else to explain how how she didn't end up in the black hole other than maybe time and space were not acting as normal. <laughs> time, <laughs> plot and space, perhaps. Yes. Well, wasn't that wasn't that a, well, like a theory video we were covering that said to make this theory work, we're going to have to ignore the concepts of time and space. <laughs> Always a solid oh, argument cool. follows that, <laughs> that preamble. Foundation is really really good. So it, you uh, can't even really call it a foundation. No, that was the that was the theory video that um, John the, the the Joker was John Connor's dad. <laughs> I mean, I feel I, like I, that I, lines I, up without any explanation. I'm just making up the rules now, essentially, the video essay. So I was like, <laughs> 16 hours. And then Chase was like, okay, fine, but what time zone? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. He did say that. <laughs> so if you, if you check the chat, I just posted 16 hours about 20 times or whatever. Because I was like, how is this uh... not coming through? And he was like, you know how... Paula, I'm in a different time zone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, I just did, realized. So did yeah. you explain to him that time is like wet bread? <laughs> I, I think I began my response with, I have so much more respect for you than thinking you can't figure out what 16 hours on a clock looks like. Imagine, yeah, yeah. imagine those words coming out of like his icon, like if that was him. <laughs> like just so confidently and boldly asserting that 16 hours is different depending on what time zone you're in. <clears throat> Hey, Mahler. He's going to be yes. so unhappy when he joins. There's a thing called time. Well, time. yeah. Well, he just That's said, fine. um, lol, BRT, meaning be right there. And I said, is that a time zone? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sounds like a time zone, BRT. I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, Greenwich, Reen time. Reen? Reen time. Reen time. Time. Hmm. Muller, it's not a black hole, it's a rift into the phantom zone. I'm afraid the characters are very specific. It is a singularity slash a black hole. 
This stream started out with a black hole. It did of indeed. Humor. Um, I suppose you'll be here any moment, so we'll just delay until then before we start our wonderful coverage for the that day, with a black whatever hole. that may be. <laughs> Let's do what I can't do without him first. What what can we? Uh, you know, what? I want to. I should have saved this for a meme fab, but I just... black hole would be a really good stripper name for a, a lovely African American lady. Black hole. I don't know if that's very inventive though. It's just like oh, I get black it. holes. Black hole. Well, it doesn't have to be inventive to be a stripper name. I didn't say it had to be. I just would have preferred it if it were more, you know, some something a little more like interesting to think about instead of just oh, black hole. I get it. Okay. Well, it, you know, it's it's you know, it's there. It's there. It's there for it's you if you need it. It's a descriptive name, kind of. It's not actually a <clears throat> hole. So yeah, there's, there's, um, there's a guy who's made like three different EFAP related artworks, and and we'd missed them somehow. Um, this one. I'm gonna. Well, I'm not gonna show all three of them. We'll save them for meme fat. But while we're here, I just want to show this one. Right? Do you guys know what that's from? Yeah, I do. I do know what that's from. <laughs> In case you don't remember to jog your memory, it's from this. Oh my god! When we had to draw the. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Love it. And I guess I the, the the I had guns on this bicycle, which I'm okay with, by the way. Maybe I'm delivering them to rags. I don't know. I could always I take the more. Whole point of the bicycle was like it's made yeah. out of guns. It's the most handy bicycle, all terrain. It's got a little Welsh dragon on it as well, which, by the way, oh. next generation. That's good shit right there. <laughs> you have your rear view mirrors there. That's helpful if you want to see yeah. behind you without turning your head. I like it. I'm wondering if that bike would be in any way like buildable. I would hope so. Well, yeah, a nice one sure it would be. And it has I'm to be operated head. in this way. <laughs> it's it's got like the circle at the front, the base that's holding the wheel, and it's a full circle. Mm. Yeah, so like, do you turn by like moving the wheel around that circle? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's actually crazy. kind of interesting. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. You like that. Hello, Hello Chase. This call. Hello. Uh, okay. hey. like the, Your shoes are plenty. Good up. morning, everyone. How <laughs> you guys sleep? Oh, 1,120 people know that you're late. <laughs> plus plus <laughs> five. Plus five. Also, my, my, um, my mixer broke like a week ago, oh. and I'm waiting for a replacement. So in the meantime, I'm using a replacement I have. Mixer? Um, mixer. Yeah. M-I-X-E-R. Yeah. Chase, yeah. I want to say, this is I, I've I've noticed you've updated your picture. Yeah, and I just yeah. want to say, I feel like your old picture was kind of, uh, and your new I picture feel like... is more kind of. Uh, My new picture I feel is like more. Your new Ooh! picture is just it's just a lie. <gasps> mm. I mean, like obviously. mine's a picture of a dog, but yours is a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just fucking bad. Is it a reference to a um? Like Ernest Hemingway, perhaps, or um, <laughs> you got it. Oh, got it. Right. Way. It. Wow! <laughs> I thought it was the you know, like, ladies high, and gentlemen. Well, I I assume that he chases into like you know great works of literature, you mm -hmm. know the Alexandre mm -hmm. Dumas's and oh, okay. you know, yeah, yeah, uh, the E. E. Cummings poems. You know, he's he's really into Coming, it. He's yeah. a Known fan for of the, the Scarlet Ibis and things of that nature. He enjoys a uh, bit of mm -hmm. uh, Harrison Bergeron yep. and whatnot. He's into... Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yes, I took, I took Lit Tin, yeah. too. I didn't. I'm still... I'm still <laughs> <doing> <laughs> on, uh, okay. I'll never know. I'll never know. All right. Um, what up? I'm scared. Hi. <laughs> Whoa! We did it. We're all together now. Yeah. Well, there's nothing yeah. we can't do. Right. No, we can be. Show up on time. That's one thing we I'm can't gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna be tired for. You know what? None of you motherfuckers I are love grading. Game. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> I literally addressed you. I did. What I want. <laughs> you on time. I was on time. <laughs> you were not on time. I was, I was relatively on time. I was absolutely on time. I was waiting for Mahler. This stream began with me asking Mahler if he was live. I was here before we were even live. Well, I mean, I I love you, buddy, but like, if everybody was on time, we would have been started by, before the expected That's not schedule. true at all. We were waiting for Chase. We weren't waiting for mm -hmm. me. That's mm -hmm. what I was saying. I wasn't waiting for me. Well, well. Tony, Tony I never. I rarely, I rarely have to wait for me to catch up to myself. 
Like I told you, sometimes when I start vacation. talking, I have to wait for myself to catch up to myself yeah. so I can discover, well, along with everyone else, where my sentences will end up. I yeah, I'm, I'm, it's fun. I'm like Gandalf. I, uh, I, I come precisely when I need to. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm like that. I'm like rags. The way you say it is precisely when I need to. I hate that you made that joke. I hate you. Anyway, <laughs> when do you think? I can. Im I, I imagine that wizards do like masturbate, right? Do you think? I, they, I imagine like, they're perverts. Like, so? All of them. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> every single one. I have this every theory. theory. One. Do you think? I, I do think, think Radagast yeah. with the bird poop on his face, like jerks. Oh, off. maybe that's not bird poop. Jerking oh off God. to fucking rabbits. You know he is. Damn. On oh, rabbits, where he's topical. like, come here, little. You know, it's topical because of Lola. They took away her booba. Yeah, he's probably the most well, that, upset. They, they, they empowered her by making her less. Feminine. The, the fairies yeah. are going to be fucking annihilating that new Space Jam. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, but also, uh, it's not the furries that are mad, because uh, the second you start to kind of mention them, it get, it starts to confuse some people that are sort of aligning with, like, certain certain left-leaning groups, and they go, oh, fuck, can we make fun of furries? Oh, uh, no, it's, 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 it's gamer chuds that are upset. Gamer chuds. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> that sounds like some They're always enemy. complaining... Like, like in a game, like a big sausage creature. God, gamer chud. <laughs> this is like, a funny word. A big sausage, like from Toulouse in France. Mm. Very they, like, large, I would large picture they roll doom. or they bounce, and when they hit the floor, they splat and the liquid goes. I'm sorry, away. did you just say yeah. doom sausage? No, Toulouse. No, I said doom sausage, man. No. Other sausage. How dare you? Oh. Hey, you like big, like a really big sausage. M like Moriarty if you go to a restaurant and too. you have sausage. How dare you all? Just the one. <laughs> we were suggesting you haven't you seen a, a really game. big a sausage thing, right? until you've seen a really big sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the gateway to the Pyrenees. Speaking of really big sausage <laughs> leaving behind liquids, I uh, uh, I think we should probably get hello, into everyone. whatever video we're uh, we're doing today. We've got two. In two. A, yeah, I know. We're gonna do. Oh wait, I posted that already. Could you well, say? Could you say instead? Mm. Could you say leaving liquids behind? Because if you say leaving behind liquids. Then, like a behind a liquid might Ooh. be like, you know, like a <laughs> Stop it. snail, oh, no. perhaps. Why a, a snail? Oh. No, I'm talking about like the Hershey squirts. Oh. Yeah, we got it. Yes, or I some similar. Um, horrific I was trying to <laughs> like a meconium. Do you go? Do you know what a meconium is? I no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need about nine more examples. Yeah, I would Can Google it. But I want you to explain it. Means. Yeah. Oh, meconium. So, so when a baby is born, meconium is this this thick, horrific, like tar that is inside of a baby's intestines during pregnancy. Oh. And it's um, it, it's and then after, no, no, during <laughs> during. Well, that, that's true. Well, I mean, don't put them down. Like, don't you know? It's not very hmm. inclusive. If a baby wants to, a baby, <laughs> if you know, um. But basically, after a baby's born, it takes it takes a shit that is, the and it generally its first shit is so so incredibly foul that it has this meconium in it. Um, it it is it that a rare mineral? The, it squirts this meconium into the amniotic fluid. It's really um, really, it's really a, a substance right most foul. Can yeah. you cast spells with it? It's the earliest. So the yeah. mac meconium. It's basically it's the it's a baby's first shit. Oh, I, I heard that uh, celebrities actually uh, use it as a moisturizer. I like that. After all, that sounds like something I could buy from Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes, yeah, so I, like, I literally think my in my brain I'm picturing Gwyneth Paltrow doing it yeah. too. That's my what she means by goop. Like the thought of my brain doesn't like the thought of Gwyneth Paltrow in it. Like mm. it's an intruder. <laughs> oh yeah, like, of course. That's actually the grossest with the thing. The concept of a meconium, but then I bring up <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, and my brain's like intruder it, alert, intruder her, alert. Yeah, her horrible skeletal figure creeps her, into your is, room at night like a fucking skeletal. visage. I sell you baby is she, <laughs> she? She is, is she quite particularly like, emaciated. Angular. Uh, <laughs> well, she, well, let me she, let me take a look at her. Are, are there nudes of her? Oh. right. Oh, that I actually no, I don't think skeletal in spirit. She avoided the fappening somehow. She, let's see, let me take I, a look. I, I just can't imagine Paltrow. why nobody wants nudes of Gwyneth Paltrow. I I can I don't. Would it's, you like I to don't, see her? I don't either. I know I specifically asked for it, but I don't really want them. <laughs> well. Um, 
After but, you explained yeah, the whole she, thing about... Yeah, she seems kind of spindly. About all the baby poop thing, I like peed at chat for a moment, and I saw someone say Quentin Reviews, and I was like, is, is, that, is that just like a connecting thing? Like, you talk about baby poop, and just like, huh. Quentin Reviews. Just Maybe they were remembering Quim, and then that got them to Quentin. Quim oh, that's a great little... Yeah, Quentin Reviews. Good old Quentin. Um, he has never, he's never seen a Quim. That's true. He's, got he's asked. Internet. He's got the internet. He's asked to see many twins, <laughs> but he always, that's why, oh, there's Aww. like a, a big long list of women who are just disgusted by him. And uh, we're not disgusted. They're, well, they are disgusted, but they're mostly embarrassed. <laughs> they're embarrassed that he asked to see their quim, and they're like, oh my God, no. Leave Mr. I'd rather show alone. my quim to Jack the uh. Ripper than you. <laughs> well, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, he's not going to kill you. He's, he might be, a, you know, he Jack might be the talented in the bedroom. I don't know. Jack the Ripper was very talented in the bedroom. Have you have you seen his handiwork? I I, I only know of the more um, <clears throat> liquid spilling side of his meconium. Yeah, which well, I... suggests no, no, no. The um, no, with like surgical precision, the things he was able to do in separating like body parts and everything was very, very orderly and neat in a hmm. kind of way. Very, it, he's he had a clean. He knew what he was doing. He was no. <clears throat> He was no, um, as they would say in the time, he was no um, errant gutter snipe. Uh, he was a, he was clearly a man of intellect. He probably read uh, Shakespeare. Uh, he knew his way around a meconium. Madame, might I observe your quim? Uh, <laughs> very, very respectful, I would say. Mm, um, I am. Which I think leads us nicely to talking about video games, don't you guys think? Yeah, I think the stream is oh, yeah. a good start. Myself. We have yeah. been spoken about video games in so long sometimes it feels that way because efab is just more about movies but whenever mm -hmm, we talk about mm -hmm. games we're like oh so ready because we know all of the things about movies this selection of six anyway put together i would say we designed that video game the one that everyone likes remember that one we did that one mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. yeah it was a crowd favorite it won uh 17 uh bafta awards in 1776 mm -hmm. indeed when columbus sailed the ocean blue like, oh man, I could really use a video game to wind down. And we were like, ah, I have the thing for you, my friend. Mm hmm. I like it. Pretty ahead of its I time. I like it. So, it was. Um, it's been a while. And when I saw this in, uh, I believe it was in my actual uh, my feed because I'm subscribed to him, Marcus Brownlius. He Mark is a, asked Brownlee? Yes. He's a wonderful content creator. And the name of this video is, is it's how to turn movement into a game mechanic. And I was like... I have a question. See, that okay. they were probably on the same wavelength, because I had the same thought of like, whoa, hang uh, so, on a moment, sir. That I, is some I think that's already used as a mechanic in some games. Well, so <laughs> here's the thing. I think that intrinsically... Oh no, does he mention like, your Death movement Branding. is a mechanic? Well, oh no, I should go. I think the first question is, what game is movement present and it's not a mechanic? Um, Why is Chase muted? What is what is he hiding? <laughs> it's because I mentioned Death Stranding. He's I, just holding listen, his rage. No, <laughs> Why, Chase? Chase, what's your opinion on Death Stranding? No, I, stop. <laughs> I, I I I woke up to Mahler just fucking spamming. Are you eating? Me. <laughs> yes, of course I'm eating. It sounds like you're chewing meconium. I'm Ew. secretly no. making a coffee and get grabbing a scone in the background. I'm eating. It's Ew. fucking breakfast time. Mm -hmm. It is. Sure. That scone. It's Rags, almost two p.m. Yeah, it's breakfast time. Gone. Rags, I have to correct you. You said why, uh, Chase? Why are you muted? You should have said Chase. Why are you puffed? No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, we oh, agreed wow. on this. That's the word we agreed on. I was say, oh, like Stay Puffed, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow yeah. Man. He's actually yeah. a gay icon because he wants you to stay puffed. Stay poof. Yeah, yeah stay don't, poofed. Don't go straight. Fuck he says shit. you don't have to. You don't have to undergo a uh, conversion therapy uh, with electricity. Instead, be gay and have my delicious pastries. He did say also, that I'm though. That was weird. Ghost. He didn't. It was in the. It was pastry. subtext. Yeah, I mean, you could read it in the film. That is, that's the, the language of film, which you don't under probably don't understand. I mean, not I'm us. So no, we don't know anything no. about film. Only I've seen, th <laughs> I've only seen three film. films. I've only seen three films: uh, Barbie and yeah. the Magic of Pegasus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, Seven Psychopaths, and yeah. mm -hmm. um, the Death of Death of Stalin. Was uh, was Barbie uh, and the Death of Psychopaths? I mean, the... Barbie and the Death of Psychopaths. <laughs> Seems Barbie like... and the Death of Psychopaths. <laughs> she hunts down psychopaths. I would watch it. I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah. 
Molly, your order was too low. On my end, it looks fine. So either you're racist because you don't like gas mask voices or something may be mm -hmm. wrong. Chat, tell me, am I particularly lower than any of these Frumpletons? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. It just kind of I'll, out. I'll make a noise for comparison. Uh, oh, he made a noise. Oh, no. Don't bring up Barbie. Mola starts screaming so we can check. No, no. Racist. Audio is fine. Yes. I like it. got no, no. Yes, yes. No, yes. No, yes. Not really. Yes, no. Yeah. I don't what, even what know. You're like, yes, you're, you're like, yes, you're too you're quiet. Like a, or yes, you're not. Or you're, you're ever so slightly lower than Jay. You should never oh, be like lower than Jay. Or... Well, <laughs> in fairness, it wouldn't really matter if I'm lower or higher to you, because you can alter our levels on your end, Mark, you fucking idiot. Well, it's not uh, all you can do on my end. I am. Oh my god. Very good. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep an eye on it, chat. I'll, I'll, I'll make small adjustments as we go. So, um, to go back, uh, Rags, what would you be, what would your th first thought be when I, when I say to you how to turn movement into a game mechanic? What, what were you going to say? What were you on? What was well, happening there? So my first thought would be that, like, it, it seems kind of you know, intrinsic to player movement, that it is a mechanic. It, well, it can't not be a mechanic. It has to be. Would you say movement is a mechanic in a rail shooter? In a rail shooter? Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's not player movement. I'm not sure how I'd categorize it myself. I guess I would like a mechanic that's not in any way de decided by the player. Even though I guess in some way you know that if you kill your last enemy, like, the rail will it continue. Could, so. But that's even well, even if the player's not doing it, it's still a mechanic of the game. Like the player mm -hmm. doesn't determine determine like damage values, for instance. <laughs> but they, they're still mechanics. Story. Isn't that? aiming your gun movement though too? Even well, if you're just hmm. well. What kind I, of movement I mean, are we talking about? Like, well, like your eyes and your head pixels, moves, but like it's I not. Assume... I, I assume he means the movement of the player yeah. or the player's character, either of which would be a uh, mechanic, unless it was so... purely aesthetic, like in a cutscene. Like, is is your character's movement in a cutscene not a mechanic? I'd say no. That that isn't a mechanic. That's just um. So uh, Mark just Mark asked Brownlee. Is confused about the difference between a movie and a video game. Well, I was gonna say. Speaking of the difference between a movie and a video game, uh, Chase, what do you think about Death Stranding? Stop! Yeah. <laughs> um, I knew you were gonna fucking say it, dude. Immediately. All um, well. Think about Death Stranding. It's a bit. It's a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking shit. The end. Yeah. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I didn't catch that. But that's okay. That was his review. Yeah, it was really good. There you go. Oh. Wait, the movement in Death Stranding is good. Yeah, no, it's like the best part. Oh, all right. Yeah, Managing that's, it, your it, balance for eighty percent of the game is really fun. Yeah, even the even like uh, I think that people that like kind of break down the game like that's the one thing they can kind of agree on that that's kind of like at least interesting. Even if they're like, oh, this game fucking sucks. Sure. It's like, hey, this is like an interesting concept. You never, nobody's ever kind of put thought into like moving around terrain. It's, it's definitely a game made for white people because we love to hike. Yeah. We do. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I went hiking the other day. It was, it was, uh, it was, it was great. I put I it on. I put it. hiking on my Tinder profile and everything. It's actually a part of my personality. Like mm. pictures of other people hiking. Or... Yeah, just stock <laughs> photos. Sometimes I take photos because <laughs> like you have I'll, an interest I'll in hang hiking, out. Not. Yeah, not doing it. Yeah, no, I don't like clear. Work. Not covering doing it. I, I hang out on trails so. far enough where they can't see me, and I just snap a few little ones to take home. Hang on trails, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, yeah. It, I mean, it is public. You are allowed to take pictures of people in public true. legally. It's true. Um, yeah. So um, when they approach yeah. me, I just go, "What?" You what? say you do the thing where you go, "Oh no, it's just a video." What? No, it's, it's just, just, oh, it's just a photo. It's photograph. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's what I don't worry about. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to delay us from this incredible uh, video, oh, no. so I guess we'll just no. we'll get started. Who knows what what will come up? Mark Brown has consistently impressed us on EFAP. He's um very unique creator, beloved, and so um yeah, like I said, it's called how to turn movement into a mechanic. So best faith interpretation is yes, it is a mechanic typically, but how do you make it a mechanic? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that you guys okay. don't even know. No. We're putting it in the game. I love. Uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs>
Mark chill out. He loves games, I guess. I, love I don't know. To games. him, games see games don't seem like a passion to him. Games seem like a job. Yeah. Because he has to look at them and tell you what's in them. That's that's mm. that's what we do. With Which films, is his channel, though. basically. No, we we do we we take it to the next level. Whoa. What is? I, I think that the next level. Well, it's the the intricacies. You know, how to read between the things you see. Like the lines. He's just like Mark Brown is like when you buy a VHS and on the back, it's got a like a paragraph of what happens in it. He's kind of like that. Several intrepid That's called the blood. travelers oh, cool. decide to take the word. ring to Kind of like the uh, ending explained. Well, some people didn't watch it, so it's useful for those people in the same way that Mark Brown is useful to people who haven't played video games. <laughs> so he's useful to people who are blind and can't <laughs> don't have hands. Um, Newborns, I find it pretty useful. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> Newborns have <laughs> Newborns are just starting to form like what words mean in their brain. I just like my son. I just put on Mark Brownlee for him immediately. Like it's like it's like that's our, not the only household. thing a newborn forms. Oh my god! Um, in our house, that's like little Einstein or little Mozart. That instead, it's just we put on Mark Brownlee. Mm. <laughs> I, I little, like get him the started. Idea a newborn saying versatile little, uh, verbs. Little Hitler. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I just, I just like the idea of taking that further. It's like, upon birth, we immediately gave our child a credit card with which to, uh, with which to afford Mark Brown's Patreon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Lifelong no, no, no. Patreon membership. During the child's conception, during the lovemaking, we played on, on, on like, subwoofer, uh, max volume, uh, Mark Brownlee's uh, How to Turn Movement into Game Mechanic video. And uh, as, we, as, as we fucking, as we had intercourse we continued to make eye contact and say mark brownlee's name and over we were... and over <laughs> chanted in him and summoned him like a spirit <laughs> so that he, his spirit could enter our child and he would be the new incarnate mark brownlee um, <laughs> this is amazing it's and now he's 12 life. and he only tells us things we already know we made a horrible mistake i feel like clarifying mark has brownlee and, and mark brown are two very different father have you noticed that a cup Holds liquid and also other things. You can like... drop a peanut in there. <laughs> was Mark Brown just here just now? <laughs> I channeled him. I swear to God, I Mark Brown was just here. I know. That's why Sonny's messing with the mic. That's why he, he amuses me so much. Do you? Who was here for the verse tell vibs thing? I know Rags was. Not me. I was. So I think. So, I was let, let's one of them. We'll try with uh, let's see uh, the Moriarty. What do you think a versatile verb is? A versatile verb. Yeah, I know you might be confused, so I'll clarify in relation to video games. D d d um. Jump? No. <laughs> n no. Did uh, he say gump? It's so straightforward. A versatile <laughs> verb. Come on, buddy. You know what it is. I I don't know. Uh, Moriarty, I guess... I if you stammer one more fucking time, oh my god! I swear to God. <laughs> All right, let's. I I guess, you're, you're fucking useless, Mark. After Doc, what is a versatile verb? Tell me. I'm literally dyslexic and retarded. You can't ask me this shit. <laughs> well, Next. no, that's why we. That's why we asked specifically. <laughs> why. Oh, okay. All right, that's right. Fine. Um, I don't know what what like it's. So it's just like a verb, but it's very versatile in its usage. Like you can use it for a lot of. It's fucking a shit. versatile verb. is like a verb, but it's very verb. versatile. So what is a verb? You really are Mark Brown. Brown. Yeah, uh, that's the Mark Brown answer. <laughs> run, run, it can no. mean multiple different... Okay. Almost, actually. Chase, you're the last one. Can you do it? What's a versatile verb? It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I mean, you two, you kind of, you, you approached it from both ends, you know? Fuck you. <laughs> it, it refers to, it refers to, like, an action in the form of pressing a button or whatever else right. that is capable of doing uh, more uh, than touch, one thing. grab. Um, well, no, so, I'm, so... I'm sorry, can you say that one more time for me? It refers to, like, a, like a button <clears throat> or an action in a game that is capable of doing yes. more than one thing depending on how it's, like, like... So, for example, pressing A and holding A. That is a okay. versatile verb. Fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. that's, that's well, whoa. Stupid. You, I feel like it made the subject simpler, did it not? 
It did not. That is really dumb. Oh. Oh. And that's the most common. I'm going to go back thing. to my our previous answer of jump. Jump is a versatile verb. Well, Let's funnily enough, that. technically, yes, in a way. Like, he references Mario and he's like, Mario's jump is pretty versatile and it's a verb. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know that meme um of the sentence that's like nonsense you will never really be far even as decided to use even go want to do look more like oh yeah um yeah, yeah. that's like that's sort of like one, that's him kind of well right. like the visitor verb thing is the most complex he's ever been he usually just says what's in the stuff and it's like yep i played the game Woohoo! <laughs> no see the difference is he got one of those like little uh tape where you can like write on it and like the little like uh, typewriter font and he just wrote on his skull uh critic hmm. so it checks out we that are... typewriter font is called korean whoa video whoa. essayist don't bring them into this <laughs> Sorry. is everyone ready yeah all righty here we go is Mark... essayist when you're racist to a mexican yes oh my god you were you upset, Mark? Right. That That's all right. I take that personally as uh, somebody who's adjacent to uh, my fellow Latinos. As a as someone who lives in a country adjacent to Mexico, I am very offended. <laughs> I'm I'm literally over. I'm there's a country wedged between me and my brethren, and I'm just so sick and tired of people putting them down. Mm -hmm. What's the Spanish word for? Sorry, what's the Mexican word for brother? I don't fucking know. Shut up. Play the video. Oh God, it's Senor. <laughs> the road. Sorry. You tell him, Mark. <laughs> that should have been you tell him, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Alright, clearly I've used a sensitive spot with him in his essays. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, this, is, no. this is Doctor <laughs> Phil, the the podcast. I'll just Doctor you know Rex. he's got to sort that out himself. So I'm not gonna not gonna. Hermando, everyone's rush him into me. Hermando, Regu. Um, all right, anyway, so people are like, oh, no, it's gonna be like the Cuphead video. The Cuphead video, he just told us, like, what the game is, and, like, a bunch of mechanics and stuff. He this told us what the pixels do. Yeah, this yeah, is different. Really He's saying, basic. we're gonna learn something here. How to turn movement into a game mechanic, right? I'm picturing this is gonna be pretty interesting, so... Let well, us... I mean, it has how, so he's going to tell us, yeah. like, an action plan to go from and not has, being a mechanic. It has, like, a right? really good rating, this video, so a lot of people found this useful. I'm excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love games that let you move with speed, fluidity, and finesse. I'm talking about games with perfect parkour. Comic book. Okay, you can't show perfect parkour and, <laughs> and show Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge. Let's be honest. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Mirror's Edge just hopes Calm you don't down. notice how it works because it's so clunky yeah, as it's, fuck. Yeah, it's just you could you could learn it. I have no doubt you could learn it. You could also learn a lot of things, so let's let's calm down. I, I it's not like Assassin's Creed Unity. All right, calm down. Web we learn a lot. Awesome skateboarding, supersonic speeds, and yeah, wow. ninja -like supersonic speed. Man, we're gonna be going through all kinds of. I don't know how I feel about like if you're gonna show supersonic. Come on, how cheap and and ugh. you just throw. You know Sonic he wrote up that. There? That's the that was, you know how clever that was to him? That's, that's so dumb. You could have done so many things, but you go, ah, oh, I said the word Sonic. I know what I'm I would have, I would have put like one of those jet fighter games, uh, Ace Combat Horizon, whatever they're called, and Fume Supersonic. And then you very carefully uh, CGI and post Sonic as the pilot. Inside the pot, yeah. Ah. But yeah, he'd probably be going, why can't this thing go any faster? Because he's really quick. It's, mm -hmm. it's Oh yeah, ninjas, getting upset. Onyx, skateboarding, I'm gonna learn about all of them. The problem is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer for how to make such a movement system. Damn it, there's no one answer. I all hate right. that. Ugh, genres are getting in the way of my fun. Fuck them. Fuck genres. There's not, one, there's not one answer. I mean, that's true, there isn't one answer to make something in a video game. I true. Agree. What makes Rocket League great is completely different to Sunset Overdrive. Which Holy is different shit! Still. Of course it I is! Never thought, I never thought of that! <laughs> Oh Holy goodness. okay. That's, this I guy's mean, gonna you know, like in a it's a, it's a foundation for the video, right? We'll allow it. It's, uh, he's just setting we some got Titanfall 2 here. It's just, so we'll see he's setting some so groundwork. Basic, <laughs> he's setting groundwork. He's gonna blast us with insight. But he's not gonna go any higher. He's always grounded. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the peak <laughs> that, of his thesis right now. And we're in fucking that, that, 27 that sentence, seconds in. That sentence reminded me of what um 
Matthew Matos has said in one of his newer, I think his newest video or is one of his new newer ones. Oh, where he just said out of context. He just said, "Dark Souls is a terrible racing game." <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we, we raced uh, it last as, night. as of yesterday. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's true. Yeah. Right, we did oh. a whole race. So. Yeah. Fuck Matthew yeah. Matosis and his incorrect opinions. I, I, I'm I, going to submit our race to the official race videos.com. Um, is, are you saying that our race is the superior race? I'm surprised you didn't go what is race.com. Like, <laughs> what do they do there? It's just like, oh, it's just, you know, races. Just battling each other, you know, in race. Great. Come to EFAP for the superior race. I mean, yeah. Completely different to Sunset Overdrive, which is different still to Titanfall 2. Sure, right. we can point to obvious stuff like responsive controls, visual effects, and cool animations, but perhaps... Cool animations? We could point to things like these things, which would be very important because the animations that you see will be extremely impactful in what your controls will be and what you are preparing to do next. We could talk about the finer details of those things and how incredibly fucking important they are, but fuck it. Instead, we'll talk about something else. I mean, it's always weird that he described them as cool animations rather than something more impactful mechanically. Yeah, because you can have something that looks "quote unquote" cool, but oh, oh my God, he's clearly he's playing this on console. Look at the look at the background, all those buildings back there. Jesus Christ, that looks awful. Why you oh hating? my goodness gracious! No, right, this game looks just great how that world on looks. PC. Like it's. What like <laughs> for those Which of you who haven't it? played this is Unity. For ah, those of you who have not played Unity on PC, holy fuck, I've never seen as many NPCs crammed into a city than there. It's it's kind of actually nuts. Um but yeah, I animations are extremely important because when your brain sees a character doing something, what their animation is will often tell you what's going to happen next and it builds up a pattern of recognition. Whenever your character does a thing, when you say it over and over and over again, you know what to prepare for. And a lot of video game movement is planning for what happens next. That's like in it's intrinsic to platforming is what's happening next. How do I prepare for it quickly? So I hope he doesn't just skip over animations as an attribute of this, you know, topic. But I guess we'll see. That's part also of the say, adventure. How do you know that this world isn't just low res in narrative? And, and simplistic. Uh, oh, oh, you anyhow. mean like Paris is just naturally blurry? Yeah. <laughs> In which case, this it's is Ill, a pretty, pretty awesome representation, I would say. So, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, uh -huh. it's weird because I would think that during the time of the French Revolution, that the, well, that that the that the city's resolution was actually very high. I guess so. We can go. For what we can do I'm is look at the very different ways that movement works in a bunch of brilliant games. All right, we're going to show gonna... Far Cry Five. Oh, sorry, this is Just Cause. Probably Which three. one? Five, four, three, three. three. I would guess three. three. Um, is it a brilliant game? I I've heard three? loads of praise for three. Yeah, I like three right. better than four. Um, but I wouldn't know. I just uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. You know. We're gonna look at all the different ways movement works. It's pretty exciting. I hope he shows like um like dying light. That has a really good movement system. I like dying light quite a bit. Yeah, it's pretty really good. good. Yeah. See, whereas then, me, I'm just looking at the... his uh his various usernames in these games. So we had Mick Bacon in one of them. And oh, of course... that is epic. <laughs> I like that name. That's a good name. And then we've got the other guy here, uh the other game in Just Cause. He actually had his his username is Game Maker's Toolkit, so that other people would see that. And that's the kind of person we're dealing with here. Hey, uh, did I uh, did I tell you guys I used to vaguely know Mark Brown? Why did you shame him? Then what the fuck? You you like used to vaguely stuff. know him? Yeah, like he was like he was, he was kind of blurry same... like Paris, right? <laughs> you see him in Paris and be like, I can't quite make him out. You poke him. He goes, Ow. <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> He's so fast. He's like a blur. <laughs> <That was all. clears throat> I'm sorry. He was uh. He very much kept to himself. Oh, which is always the sign of uh, it's always a always a red flag he's for me. I can yeah, I can believe he doesn't have any friends. Oh, yeah. that's kind of what I'm suggesting. Oh, I'll be friends with you, Mark Brown. I'll talk to you about Sonic. It'll be I great. Because if he did, he, was, like, he would meet up with him and he would start like, "Hello, my name Sonic. is Mark Brown, and you and I are friends." <laughs> you I and I see, have I... been friends for minutes. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> this is the greatest friendship of all time. 
I've already I've already summoned his essence into my son. I don't need the real Mark Brown. I have the new Mark Brown 2.0, baby. You don't need new Mark improved Brown. Mark Brown. 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 <laughs> and he, he is 12 and he is a genius. He is my boy. I love him. Mwah. And he Aww. does all of the father. Have you noticed that the world and society? And I clap every time I go, wow, my boy, I should write this on Twitter.com. You should you get your some... mileage while you can out of him because uh, he, he's peaked. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Annual labor, at, you know. At 12. <laughs> you may very well have to execute your son when you get to the point of every day. He's, he's like, father, when you turn the wheel, it turns the car. And you're uh, that's not. I mean, yeah, I yes, yes, son. <laughs> Father, when you're have driving, you ever noticed you're wind? using versatile verbs. <laughs> you could hear people through the black square. Father, I wish to expel awesome. gas through the black you know why square. Him... Yeah, yeah, like the. I guess I should have said rectangle, but you know. I oh, think... the windshield. Sure. Father, have you ever noticed that colors aren't real? Fuck you, Mark. Mark Brown. No, no, that's 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 way too insightful for Mark. Brown. That is that. Sorry, yeah, that is what am I talking about? He he go. He really I'd say, Father, did you notice that colors are nice? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that. Just he would because say he's some, British, no, no, he, he would subconsciously say, made him into a fucking pathetic it. little orphan. He would <laughs> say that colors can be nice. He would Father. do that. Yeah. Father. <laughs> so awful. Father. Father. Mother. Dear. Where, mother and father. Sucks. <laughs> The oh, I do miss mother sucks. since You're the making tornado. Fun of him and he hasn't even made his point yet. It's so, it's so, oh, I hate this show. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Works of brilliant games. And then see if there's anything these varying approaches all have in common mm. and help answer the question of how to make movement fun. So, hi, I'm Mark Brown. Hi, Mark. And this is Game Probably Pistol. The title should be How to Make Movement Fun. Yeah. How to turn movement into a game mechanic. <laughs> That's this different from what the title is. Case. But all right. Oh. Because, like, everything everything that, that impacts the gameplay is pretty much mechanic. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, he, he, I, think he's, I think he's misbranded his video here. I'm going to say it. Damn. Really? That's Come an accusation on. being levied. Have you, got the, have you got the legal team to back you up? Yeah. Oh. Is it us? Oh, all right, then. <laughs> uh, it's free. Door. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's start with Super Mario Odyssey. Of course. Yay. I, I got it. <laughs> Do you think that when he's scripting, he of goes, course. I'm going to start off with okay. That's how I'm going to start okay. my script. Okay. That's a decent okay. way to say in a sentence. I'm okay with that. Okay. That's a nice, nice, like, it's, it's, it's like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, uh, like it's not useless necessarily, but it kind of is when mm -hmm, you start off with mm -hmm. "okay, comma, rest of sentence." Okay, but who do? Like, imagine writing a script and you go, uh, "All right, okay, 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 okay." okay. Yes, this well, is it. This it's is not like he had short. seven of them. He just had the one. Leave him alone. It's like that SpongeBob meme where he's writing forever, like he's finished the entire thing, but it just says "okay," and he's like, "Done." I got. I, I finally knew how to start my little essay. These people will eat up anything. It doesn't matter. Wow. Well, I'm excited okay, to learn think... about Mario's mechanics for yes. movement. We didn't learn about this. I in never want to hear videos. about Mario's mechanics ever again. I feel like this is. Mario. We did this in Versatile Verbs. He was like, you could jump forward, you could jump longly, you could spin jump, and jump off walls. <laughs> you could jump, jump with twice. feeling, you could jump with panache. Yeah, and. I don't know. I feel like this is ground we've covered, Mark. What have you, what else have you got for us? And whenever I say Mark, I'm clearly referring to the brown, not to the dark. If okay. he was going to talk about ground we've covered, you're, he'd be you're showing referring to the brown, you, not you could, the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Separate me. I think we, we should just. Uh, we, uh, I think we should uh, just call me Dark and Darky if like that's better. For yeah, Darky. darky. You, you want us darky. to call you Darky? I mean, if you want. I do kind of need the rep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. I mean, it'd be good if I could call you Darky to just get it out of my system. Okay, yeah. sure. You have permission. I give you the. I give you the D pass. Oh, thanks, oh. Darky. <laughs> the D pass. Mark, Mark says, yes, please berate me, please. Yes, please. Oh, <laughs> Step on me. Okay. What has this become? This game is all about giving the player a bunch of different moves that all allow for slightly different actions. No, it's you not about to... giving the player a bunch of different moves, surely. <laughs> Already, it's I like, thought the game is about 
completing a series of platforming challenges. No, 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 but a bunch of different said it like that too. That gives the player different actions. A bunch of different moves that give them that different give actions. the player different actions. Well, the game's not about the game can't be about the game giving the player things. That's just like I don't even. That's just like Clearly you just you've you never start the game and machine. it just it's just like you have an inventory and it just gets filled with things like pocket watches and candlesticks and, and he's you know, like, never okay, I'm not, says anything you go through a whole video of him and he says nothing that, that really was a whole lot of nothing well nothing really he the never point. says anything it's so that, that mario has an acorn super mario to play it again you guys clearly missed what he was trying to say okay pay attention to this time. Very clear. this game is all about giving the player a bunch of different moves that all allow for slightly different actions Mm. Are you so following? Stupid. It's about it's about giving the player moves that allow slightly different actions. But like, here's the thing: the game is about what what are you accomplishing? What are you doing? What what is the task that has to be performed? Is he simply saying you can press different things and different things will happen? Well, why didn't he just say mm -hmm. the but whole that's point? Not what the game's about. Point, well, no. Point but, A to point B. It's, it's just you a can take up a way to half of the sentence and it still it works in time. The game is about giving the player a bunch of different actions. It's same thing. He says nothing. You've it learned you now. Well, this is the thing. You keep track of this. What have we learned? This is like a lesson in school. It's like, so Mario games are about giving the player actions that lead to more moves. All right. We learned. What else we got? You've jumps and long jumps and... I'm just going to say it before anyone else does it. Mario's got a big nut. Mm -hmm. He does. I mean, look at it fast jumps and long jumps and fast jumps and last minute save jumps. But here's the thing, like, how many of those jumps that he showed are really different from one another? Like, one is well, slightly he's... longer than the other. Yeah, he said slightly. One is he? basically identical, but the animation's different. Like, if we're going to talk mechanics, then, like, how many of those are really unique jumps? Didn't he say slightly? So this is just proving his point. This is really unfair. This tutorial screen is doing its job for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, a tutorial <laughs> teaches you things. Yeah, you know what, Jay? He, the tutorial's doing more work than Mark Brown is. It's, this is like a loading screen in a in like in Halo that says, did you know that you could reload by pressing R? <laughs> no, I just realized the biggest problem with this video. Oh it's my the God. title. There's no question mark at the end because he should be asking us. That's really how what's going on. How to turn movement like, into a game mechanic? <laughs> how do you guys do that? <laughs> how, how, how to turn? It? <laughs> we'll see. How to turn movement that's... into a game mechanic? Just call it how. I would argue that's what how? he did. <laughs> how? <laughs> how? how? <laughs> Mark <laughs> Brownlee just asked you questions in a video form and expects you to respond. I'm calling him Mark Brownlee. <laughs> I don't care. Well, we do. Well, we clearly know that is not his. Actual Brown is a name. versatile verb. <laughs> well, that way, when he sues, I go, "Your Can Honor, I was clearly talking about Mark Brownlee, the YouTube sensation." Yeah, it is. It is the, in his the name. Tech enthusiast channel. <laughs> Isn't his name Marcus? YouTube which rewind. then gets you. And uh, little did you know that would get you involved in another lawsuit with Marcus Brownlee. Yeah, it would be defamation of some sort. <laughs> and you would just sure. move from one Mark to one Brown to one Mark to one Brown. At that point, yeah, you just want to avoid the one that's richer and can I'm, afford more lawyers. My life is a series of moving between Mark and Brown at different stages. Oh, just don't, do think, about it. Mm. just don't <laughs> think about it. The next video should just, just be don't a worry question about it. Let's, see, let's move on. <laughs> What did Mark like, mean by that? I prefer to interpret this as him genuinely having no idea how movement works, and he plays a game, and he's like, "Whoa, you could like jump, and then you could press another button, you jump in a different way." You're like, oh my these god, are, these videos would be really good if that's literally what it was. Like, the joke was like he's asking you, it's not how do I like I'm teaching you something here. It's like literally like, how does that do? How the fuck like, is that? Can somebody way? comment? It's about which move to use and when. But what's even better is that these moves can be chained together to eke out What was further. the point of that jump down on the ground move? Did you just... Stylish. Like where he, he smashes the ground with his ass. I think it gives you a bounce. Like it uh. gives you a little higher maybe. Why not just do a new jump? Even though technically really a bounce doesn't look like that. He, it, just, it comes across as a little button mashy to me. Where he's just jump, direction, go. 
Yeah, well, he's talking about chaining moves, you know? Maybe that's part of the challenge, you have to chain... But that would... But if he was talking about chaining moves, then why would you, like, end a sequence of jumps with you randomly slamming into the ground with your ass? Because if you bounce... Because your legs aren't even on the ground at that point. Yeah, it's a bounce move, even though it doesn't make any kind of, like, physical real-world sense, or, like... Yeah, everyone's so saying if it, you... it apparently lets you jump higher if you ground pound. Oh, you ground oh. pound and that makes your next jump higher? Uh, somehow. <laughs> oh, alright. That's how that works, yeah. Which move to use rubber. and when. But what's even better is that these moves can be chained together to eke out further advantages. Mm. Mario's jump, dive, and hat throw can be carefully chained together to bound between rooftops in New Donk City. We see similar stuff in other 3D platformers like Sackboy A Big Adventure and A Hat in Time. But also the Tony Hawk series, which is... <laughs> he could just like, go, but also, for like ever. He could just for say, literally ever. do this. Like, this is, this is jumps do things. Mm hmm yeah. Dude, his He's like, this is a... so much funnier. His videos would be so much better if every comment he, he made... Tried? He just He just took a massive hit of a fucking blunt. And then he says his point, like, you can jump. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to hear the bong sound effects and everything, and the deep breath, and the release. But this is, this is him he saying, goes, he can jump. Like, this, this, this hat throw that moves you further horizontally lets you move further horizontally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, thanks, man. That. And if you really want to go really far, you have to chain several moves together. Hey, here's oh, okay. a, a question from the chat that actually I don't know the answer to. Is this guy the Goodell man's inspiration? Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> if you much. watch the first one, it's just like he's like the main inspiration along with a couple of other references. As time's gone on, it's just he's the, the voice inspiration, but the rest of it is, is coming from all the videos we cover, including Mr. Mark Brown, because it's hard to like continue to to reference mark brown in any other way because he does the same thing every single time it's just the <laughs> this is this yes, thank you and you're like oh thanks yeah yeah is late on combining moves there are two actions the revert and the manual which are specifically designed to keep your combo going between the skate park pieces Okay. Next up is Insomniac's open world zombie blaster. Exists. Next up, it's like, what did we just do? Oh, like, what, did <laughs> Nothing, we just, what did we just nothing. talk about? Like, he says, he says it like we've just concluded some information and we've learned something, but we haven't. It was, Correct. Like, you just said there's a move in skateboard that lets you keep your combo going, and you're like, I th All so, right. so I guess. He because the Mario thing was chaining moves, and I guess Tony Hawk is chaining. He's like, but chain he didn't. Moves. He just said it. He just said it chains moves, but he didn't like explain it or elaborate on it or well, like it. Like for instance, when he even showed it, I didn't even recognize that was what was happening. Um, I think the equivalent of what's happening here is if I had a video called like "How to Fire mm -hmm. a Gun," and I'm like, first of all, aim. Your target is there. You are here. Aim at your target. And that's it. And then I'm like, next step, loading. Next step. <laughs> Make sure you've loaded your gun. Next step. Uh, loading. I don't fucking don't know. Me. Make sure it's oiled. <laughs> you don't want to make sure it's oiled. Working. <laughs> And this is the last step. You need to make sure it's next oiled. Next step, little yeah, headphones. Each step you gotta talk about for a minute. Like you gotta talk about it with with well, fifty extra words for a minute. That's the criticism. Is that if Rags watched my video, he'd be like, "You haven't said anything. You just, like aim your gun at the person. Like, well, good job, I guess. Like, it's, it's fantastic insight." I was just like, "Yeah, well, yeah." Okay. It's like this is the Guns conclusive guide: aim your gun at the person and shoot. It's like saying how to shoot again, and he said, "Aim it, aim it, and shoot it." Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if if you were genuinely like trying to learn how to develop games, and someone was like, "Well, don't just have jump. Allow like another move, maybe like a crawl, and then if you put them together, it does like a jump dive." And you're like, uh, "Okay." Um, yeah, it's like right. He, section he two. Said his jump exists. Well, I was about to yeah. say, I feel like I just went into more detail than he did. So <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah. Jump exists. Next up, and you can chain it with other moves. Next, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa what do you mean? How do you? How does that deal that work? And you're like, you chain. imagine trying to write this all down and keep up. It's just like, oh, well, I first mean... you just start with the word okay, right, and then you just go. Okay. You just say shit on screen. Jumping in this game, you fun. can jump. That's it. It's it's just he's he's confidently stating basic information that's useless yes. to everybody, but he says exactly. it just so confidently. 
Yes, people just sucks. like eat this shit up. Like someone could make. Oh, no one has ever video. learned anything from one of his videos. Yeah, they're lying mm. if they did. <laughs> like, yeah, you if knew you this say if, if you never played the game, says they've learned something. Then first off, either so here's the thing: you kind of backed yourself into a corner because either one, you're wrong, or two, you're retarded. <laughs> so either way, you've lost. You've lost the game of life. You're like, oh man. This is a lot of views and likes. I mean, and it's interesting too because. The, don't um, look at his Patreon. That'll upset you. Oh, you, you know, the, you know the extra. Yeah, don't do that. You know the extra credits <laughs> video where they're like, "How Mario's first level teaches you." They talk about like how the Goombas look kind of scary, and that lets you know they're enemies. And it's like, "Oh, there's pipes. You got to jump over that. That's how you jump." Mm -hmm. uh, that one video probably taught me more than every single video I've ever seen from Mark Brown. Liar. Okay, because <laughs> it was like even one thing. <laughs> it was just. It could have been just one Mark thing. Mark Brown is insightful. We're already on to stage two, or lesson two. You guys stay struggling two, to keep up because- two. Wait, we're on lesson two! Terminal. What was the first Jumping lesson? Is first lesson good. was chaining. No, unironic- What? Jumping is fucking Cha chaining. That wasn't a lesson. Can be chained. Yeah. That's, that's, like, actually, that's like if you picked up a physics book <clears throat> and you read the cover and said, All right, now that we've covered that, <laughs> on to biology. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want him to end his video with, Now that you're a big brain mutant. <laughs> Go that really is destroy. what it is, too! Oh, shit. Well, like I said with the gun example, I just be like, gun, you need bullets. Lesson two, you need the gun. Lesson three, you need to aim it. You're like, That's too is... much! <laughs> it sounds like my drunk uncle trying to explain shit to me after too many white claws. Next. It's like, is this, if you were trying to teach someone how to shoot, Mark Brown would show them the cover of an American <laughs> Rifleman magazine? And that would just be it. You go, to, you, you go to turn the page <laughs> and he snatches it from you like, whoa! You're not ready for the page two. <laughs> you're not ready to learn. It's like, well, like if okay. you're going to teach someone how to chain things, then you have to tell them, all right, let's use this game as a as an example, as a guide. And you talk about timing windows and when your inputs are viable for the combo and what are the fail states for the combo. Like, if you don't do this correctly, the combo ends. That brings you back to the beginning. You have to start over with a combo. You'd show it actually happening and you would maybe have little buttons down at the bottom that blink or whatever whenever you're supposed to put in your timing and you could develop a pattern and you would see what the visual response would be to the pattern of buttons that you're pressing in the correct timing and you would you would explain why it's advantageous to do a combo all those sorts of things but none of that's here well yeah because you're right the, um, the, surf the most surface statement you can make is you can have move and other move and you can chain them together for combo points or benefits Moving on, you're like, whoa, 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 I feel like there's another hour of topic here you could probably dig into with many examples. And he's like, nope, stage two. And you're like, oh. So you're really relying on my knowledge of painting things and how it works. You're not really relying on anything He's definitely you relying me. on your knowledge because every every gamer who has ever gamed like knows what jumping is. And if he just relies on you knowing everything that he's going to not even tell you about, but tell you no, about telling you about. Like, he's talking about giving well, you information. I think part of the appeal for this, honestly, is just to see in games you recognize. Like, the audience is like, oh, I know that one. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah Sunset Overdrive. I know what combos yes. are. Yes, he alluded to combos, and I know what those are in games. Well, what a smart man. Know, chaining moves. Maybe Ooh. stage two will, uh, will enlighten us, you know? Maybe. Maybe. Next up oh. is Omniac's open-world zombie blaster, Sunset Overdrive. All right. Now here, the main character doesn't have a particularly involved moveset, just a basic run, jump, and roll. But that's because this game is all about using things in the environment, running on walls, bouncing on awnings, grinding on rails, and swinging on poles. Clever use Wait. of the environment will put you at a huge advantage over the enemies. Other Wait, you're not teaching sorry, us sorry, anything. We've moved wait, wait, wait. on. What the fuck? Okay, no, no, no. He literally said the the player only has like a, sl a a certain amount of moves, and he's showing like the opening tutorial, and then he's like, and then he just segues so unnaturally to he he only has a certain amount of moves, and then goes, you can grind, you can crawl, you can jump. A immediately after, it's like whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, that's like the whole point of the game, but that happens later. Mark? Like, he didn't talk about the transition from like a dullard to a parkour like master. He just started. Mark writes the blurbs things. on the back of game CD cases wait, 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 hold that on, tell hold on. you Mark, useless Mark, things. Did you say dullard? Yeah. Like D U L L A R D? 
Well, yeah. Leave him alone. Is that another? <laughs> is that another way of saying like just like a fucking normal ass dummy idiot? Like yeah, that yeah, that's is... the word for like a dunce. Yeah, it's like idiot. a stupid person. Is yeah. a dullard. <laughs> A dullard. Okay. I know. It's a, I, I don't know why Continue. it comes out of me. I didn't pick it's a it. Fine, it's, it's a fine. No, word. that was a good word. I was just <laughs> okay. completely. Okay. I was completely taken aback by it. Continue, please. Excellent. But you know, it's, it's, <clears throat> sorry, I like. I just want to like finish with like. It's just he, like, like almost. I almost want you to go back because it's like he just goes from. Uh, all you can, you can only really just well j like jump and roll, and then he starts, and then with like no break in his like sentence, pretty much he just goes. Also, you can run and slide and jump and backflip, and it's like I can tell you why. What? He's um. Mark, Mark, oh, hold on, Mallard, just let me. I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, yeah. All right, Mark, all right. you say like so much, and you never compare things. <laughs> it, <laughs> well, that's because I'm retarded. It is. You're a, are you? You're a dullard. You're dull, yeah. No. <laughs> no, but our people refer uh, prefer our people the retarded <laughs> darkies. <laughs> yes. Oh no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. You said I could call you that. This is your fault. I got the D pass. We're doing um, we're doing movement in in like he's 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 categorizing why how to make the best of movement, right? So what do you think this one is? Because uh, he's already said the keyword. He's um, he's gonna all he's gonna say is you can. He's just gonna describe what's happening on the screen. If the first section's keyword was chaining, uh, I'll play it again. What do you think the keyword is for this one? But that's because this game is all about Fair using me. things in the environment, running on walls, bouncing on awnings, grinding on rails, and swinging on poles. It would be environment, yeah. He's going to argue that it's, what makes movement good is chaining, also environment. Uh, but the thing is, he kind of categorizes this weird because he's like, you don't really have many moves. But when you get to the environment in the game, like it But it that's like maximizes... the game playing for you. Um, well, I guess it depends. Sense. I haven't... It's uh... more... It's less mechanical and less, it's more about, I'm, I'm trying to describe, like, it's not so much a, it's not about the mechanics, because the mechanics just sort of sort themselves out, like, you can jump on the pole and you slide, but all that requires you as a player to do is just jump on the pole, it's the thought process of why are you doing it, what advantage do you get from it, how do you min-max the time of what it takes, and, uh, you know, the biggest tactical advantage you can get out of the process, it's not, it's not, at that point, it's not nearly as mechanical as it is tactical. Um, I suppose... Which I think is a distinction that's worth making. Because some games are extremely simple in their mechanics, but they can be... Like, like how you learn to play them is, is very... It, there's, it's the mental aspect of them that makes the games very interesting. Uh, the... Like, <clears throat> how complex they could make it in terms of how much you swat, switch to different pieces of environment and going up and down, left and right, different things, doing different things, different reactions from the environment, I suppose, could uh, make the experience much more... Uh, like, like, make it feel a lot more like you are in complete control rather than waiting for things to, um, you know, complete. And maybe he'll talk about that sweet balance area of at what point are there just too many mechanics for a person to keep track of are the mechanics, do they even serve a purpose? It's, and how I, useful are those mechanics? It's the, the concept of um, easy to learn, hard to master, which is something you find in a lot of games, especially like fighting games. There'll be certain like fighting games and maybe even a character in that fighting game who's a great like introduction to how everything works. Like you're, uh, and that, if he made a video talking about that and how effective that is, That'd be a really good video, but it's just moves are good. This is epic. You can do stuff there. <laughs> um, it's interesting because again, with categorization, you like if you just have person in white room and you're like, right, let's talk about movement and how you to make it interesting. And like lesson two is like how they react to the environment. It's like oh, I feel like we're uh, moving a little bit away from it, but okay, I guess, yeah, sure. Like person in white room. Versus person in city, the where the, the mechanics are simple or complicated will now be multiplied in a way by the environment. Um, and we haven't even gotten into how movement affects the rest of the game's mechanics that aren't <clears throat> the movement. Like in shooters, how fast players move, yeah, it, it radically changes the way the game plays. And the, a, a, I think we have Halo Reach is one of those games that comes up often when this topic is uh, addressed, where how sprint dominates that game because movement speed is such an important and advantageous thing to have 
in a in a shooter game that is balanced around slower movement speed. There's a lot to talk about. I doubt he will say anything insightful. Well, yeah, because like we're trying to talk about these subjects that, like, while he's like the environment that will change how you move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do things in the environment. Like, True. Thanks. Thanks. Uh... All about using things in the environment: running on walls, bouncing on awnings, grinding on rails, and swinging on poles. Clever. I just realized I never seen this. But when you when in this game when you jump, there's an indicator of where your spot is on the ground. Your ground position is when you jump. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that before. That's a lot That's of stuff. Like good. is is that yeah, a yeah, Predator games? Some of them. Well, no a lot of games. Um, those. I think a lot of Mario games, if not all of shadow. them, have uh, your shadow at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I I could believe a shadow. A shadow is like how to do that in a way that sort of like makes sense. Like, it's a shadow. We know what shadows are. This is just... No, that's just the ring where you are. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, it feels a little more arcade -y, I think, if you have it with... Um, yeah, like kind of. I just... I guess I was wondering what the purpose shadow of it really was. Like, if it's a shadow, it's not going to fit in if you want to do anything realistic with the lighting. Um, that's true. Yeah, yeah the shadow can exist on... whether or not there's lighting to have caused it, is what you're saying, right? Like, it would just always be there. Well, yeah, because if you a shadow to show exactly like your point on the ground then it's going to meet, need to be a shadow from a light source that's directly above you so unless Yo, you're in, in exactly that environment then it's gonna it's gonna be in mario fun. you have that shadow beneath you but like other blocks will not create shadows and shadows as far as i know are not dynamic other yeah like the specific reason own. it's there is to let you know where you are yeah landing that's that's kind of interesting because I'm wondering if that was something that happened due to like lack of like limitations on the hardware. It's just like okay, he has a shadow. Let's put it directly below him because we're not going to do dynamic lighting. But then somebody realized for that Mario? for platformers or yeah, or yeah, or something. And then somebody I realized it for like the Switch. Well, I mean, like I mean, I'm talking. And then, so they notice the shadow below, and they put it in very like <laughs> haphazardly as it's there. But then, just out of pure acts like accidental they're like this indicates where you're gonna land like your position to relative to the ground and they just kind of kept it from like there on out like even though they can do a shit ton of stuff with lighting and like dynamic lighting now but that's a yeah. subtle little like indicator of like where you are in rel relative to the ground and where you'll land and yada yada it's something that like, if you removed it it actually might take away even though it's more realistic if you took it away yeah, I, I think it's a good, it's nice to know. It's good information to have, even just peripherally. Like, my, my, my position on the ground is determined by the shadow, because, you know, I'm the player and I cast the shadow. That's easy for you to accept. Mm -hmm. I bet most people don't even realize that nothing else would create it, nothing else creates shadows except for the player. They just don't even think to think about it. Because everyone's so fucking selfish, and all they think about is themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And swinging on poles. Clever use of the environment will put you at a huge advantage over the enemies. Other games that put the focus on environmental interaction include sci-fi ninja sim Ghost Runner and the best bits of the Ori games, as you bash to propel yourself off enemies okay. and project. What a simplistic fucking like, like yeah. Okay. Like this is yeah, it's it's simple, it's it's too simple to be useful. You're like what can you even say about this? You're like, you've described that the environment is relevant when moving in these games. Yep. I agree, Mark. Yes. Yeah. Tiles. Oh, we're on to stage three then. <laughs> so we oh, what? stage three. Well, we've got chaining and environment. Next, let's look quickly at... You know what would be really useful, but might take actual effort, is explaining examples of things done poorly. Yeah. Here is where combos are done poorly. Here is where environment, you know, mechanics that relate to the environment are done poorly. Or they're done in a useless way, which is probably but he's not more even likely. doing. He's not even saying when they're done properly. He's just saying when they exist when, in a game. Exists. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I suppose I'm just. I've never played Sunset Overdrive or Ninja Robot or whatever other game he's talking about. <laughs> I, I just assume that it's done well because he's talking right. about it. But I don't know. He doesn't really? say why it's good, and he doesn't exactly. contrast that with how it's done poorly, which is an incredibly good way to talk about. Like, if this is a game maker, developer, toolkit for gamer, makers, whatever, then yeah, knowing what yeah. doesn't work is very, very useful. You want to avoid that. He's being yes. objective, you see. He's only describing in entirely in simplistic terms things that m exist, sort of. 
It's, it's the way to, you can't piss anyone off. Yeah. That's what his whole channel is, is this <clears throat> thing exists constantly. Seriously, I think that, um, uh, Ahoy is like Mark Brown's Superman to his Bizarro, like, Badman. <laughs> like, Ahoy <laughs> is trying to maintain, like, a level of objectivity while also actually being, uh, praiseworthy and critical of, like, mechanics that are functioning mm -hmm. or non-functioning while doing, like, there's a lot of elements they share, they're both, uh, pretty cool with, like, uh, graphics and then their voices and stuff. Oh, voice graphics is man, awesome. those things are cool. They're, They're like, so cool. Ahoy says stuff. It's really cool that he says stuff. Like there's just you know things that make your brain go hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, Mark Brown, you're like, oh, have we started the video. Fuck. Not to mention Ahoy's entire thing is like his texture. He's just like he'll open the video. He'll just be like, video games <laughs> are amazing. <laughs> like, oh, Isn't tell it? me more, please, please, you boy. Like to play the video game eagle. soap. <laughs> he, he could literally be like, he could open a video and be like, Pachinko, and I'd be like, oh, tell me about Pachinko right now. Uh, I'm fucking free. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna house. free. I'm free. I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, that's not that's not really a that's not really a joke with Ahoy. He's very good. Penguins. Mm -hmm. Pachunko. Oh. We should just like before when we're done with with um Pachunky with Mark S. Bradley's videos, uh, we should definitely uh, check out a video by Ahoy just for contrast. Just all one. right, fine. Maybe we'll we'll look for like the shortest yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The pathless, and this Ooh. one is all about timing. In this game, you can temporarily boost your speed by shooting arrows at floating targets in the world. Uh, <laughs> is, all right. Oh yeah, Mark. The back. But this is almost like. Okay, it, this is. You get there's these glowing things. If you shoot the glowing things, you move faster. Like mm -hmm. that's what he oh, said. All right, that's it. That's yeah, what he said. like I, I, if I elaborate any more on it, I'm doing more work exactly. than he did. Uh, if I'm. Um, if can we can we respond to a part of this in the way that he would do it? So just be like, here, Mark has described an aspect of the game, and then move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just we need a soundboard where we just say, yes, that is what happens. That's all you would do. That's all. Yeah. You would do. Just didn't hear Mark describe the game. Here, Mark described the game. Please provide <laughs> one unit of game. audience approval. Here, Mark brought up another game and then described it. <laughs> Here, he here, he talks about how this this on. exists and this exists. Mm, yes, Next Mark, up, I... write about all of these things. I see. <laughs> Wonderful. So, t so timing. Yeah, you you have to do certain things in certain windows to get benefits. And if you don't do mm -hmm. these things but in that's, these windows, but that was com but that's combos though, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, you could you could argue that that's a that. that's a deviation of chaining. This right? is a this is a combo. Yeah. Why wasn't this in section one? <laughs> <laughs> was it too complicated for you to recognize that this Look, should have been in the first section of your video? You can... Everything that chains isn't necessarily everything that's in a time limit, necessarily, okay? Rags, idiot. Have you not even played video games? I don't even know what video games is. You know what? You I have fucking a loser. If you haven't played video I games, don't I lose. have the channel I'm not a loser. You. If I don't play video games, I can't lose. So there you go. Okay, that's, ah. Actually, that's Ooh. an extremely compelling point. Yeah. Can't get wow. You have to the shot and release when the meter fills up completely, oh, giving the game a sort of rhythmic action what meter? as you try to <laughs> giving the game a sort of rhythmic no, what, action. No, what what meter? <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to charge up when the meter fills completely. I'm still thinking of like But the that meter there is measuring how much Well, well no, now he's now he's being confusing because the, I only see one meter at the bottom, but that meter looks like it restores every time you hit one of the targets. It's not you have to wait until the meter's full to charge up your shot. Go go yeah, go go back a little bit. I, I will. He worded so yeah. temporarily yeah. boost your speed by shooting arrows at floating targets in the world. You have to yeah, charge the shot your and release when the oh, meter wait. fills up complete. No wait, so okay, so she started boosting and the meter's full. So what um, is what is that meter what is this meter? I thought the meter was like your your fuel Sprint? for lack of a better word. Yeah, like that's a, what I thought it was, yeah. but is there a delay on that? when she shoots it and then the meter filling? Because it looks like when she shoots, she starts speeding up and that's what fills up the meter. <laughs> He's not even 
even describing the game properly. Well, just, he's yeah, like, we're he's trying just, to figure it out. Yeah, because he said like he said fire when the meat is full. He's in his own little world. He's unless, in his own little world. Honestly, unless he just didn't redraft, because it's like fire when the meat is full, and what he's thinking in his head is fire when like the characters, you know, struggle. Like you know when you pull the animation. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's fully pulled back. That's probably what he's thinking about when he said it, without right. realizing there's a meter on screen that's a different thing. Maybe. I don't know. The let's only look. meter that, I guess? Let's do it one so more watch the meter and what happens. By shooting arrows Boom. at floating targets in the Boom. world. Yeah. You have to charge the shot Yeah, it's and whenever the arrow when the hits the target completely. that the meter fills up, right? It's weird that he would refer to firing when the meter is full when he's got a meter on screen that's filling every time you nail the targets, you know? Mm -hmm. Or is the meter just showing... It's not even like a so meter. It looks it's like... more of... When he hits the thing, there's these little blue parts that fly off and come to your character, and that's when the meter gets full. So you're shooting mm. the little the That little would explain things. the delay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't so shoot when he... the meter's full. Oh, wait, someone said if the targets have If you watch them, you'll see the little things fly off and then the come to The targets have a meter. Let's have a look at these targets. Boost your speed by shooting arrows see at him? floating targets. Oh, oh well. the meter on the have... targets. Okay, oh, we yeah, got it. For, a, for just a it. moment. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, the targets have a little meter, and when it's full, but that's basically just an extension of. I don't actually. I actually don't like there being a meter on the target. I like it to where like it could be. You didn't have to have a meter. It could just be the animation of your bow. You know, I I, I really love that Mark just. I love that Mark is trying to teach us shit about this game and just not mentioning anything and just from staring at like a three second clip we're teaching ourselves more through inductive more. Well, <laughs> you know the, the person yeah. who got this i'm assuming may know this game may not may not but also so like like it's better you're expected to do some legwork yourself with these videos okay that's all i'm saying yeah we did do homework yeah we charge sort of the shot and release when the meter fills up completely, right. giving the game a sort of rhythmic action as you try to efficiently time the release of rhythmic every shot. Action. And that's not to mention that really if you stupid. release when the meter is only halfway full, you get a much bigger burst of speed. But if you screw Wait, up the what? time... Oh, it's like an active reload. Yeah, years yeah. Of again, okay. He did that before. He talked about versatile verbs. When he, and he was like, "Oh, active reload versus perfect reload. Versatile verbs." And it's like, stop it. You, you're making something so simple sound so complicated. <laughs> you, you're gonna confuse people. Just talk about it in a simplistic way. It's what you're supposed to do. But what I does mean, this teach me? Um, this one taught you that if you make it so that rewards come out of like timing things. Like like hitting something in a harder time than than an easier one should give you more reward. He didn't even say any of that. He just said that's what happens. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what this is the problem. Videos this is for the what blind. we've been saying. Because in ten blind. seconds you could show a Gears of War reload where you're like, well, if you hit it at just the right time, then you get a super fast reload and a little bit of extra damage on that magazine for a time. Well, but that's but if movement. you mess it up, then your gun jams for a while and you have to wait. So, yeah, like, the there's a risk of... reward component of it. Yeah, you could do. You, if you, you did could... a risk reward as a game mechanic, you could do like a fucking five hour video across like all these different. But games. this doesn't have anything to do with movement. That aspect is just timing. Um, mm -hmm. I guess it speeds you up. <laughs> so it's rhythmic. Remember? But that's a you reward of doing something that doesn't have anything to do with movement. Yeah, because now we're blending yeah. mechanics in in a, in a sense, right? This is this would this one would Accidentally. slot in more with yeah, like a, like a variable. That applies to movement, or at least changes your. Uh, this is. If it, to me, it's just a little bit like I'm getting lost on exactly what we're learning from this. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to learn anything from this. I think you're like you just sit here and you go, "Yes, place. this exists." Good job, Mark. And then you <laughs> move on to the next <laughs> this his little gold star, and he goes back to his dungeon. Yeah, like that's there's nothing. He says nothing. He never says anything. It's so annoying. And in this one, he's literally just saying this game has this thing in it. Well, I will say it's presented well. You know, very clean, very it, yeah, yes. You know what? Well, and he's got a voice. Very easy to listen to. <laughs> he definitely, he definitely has a good editor. Or editing skills. Does he? No, but I'm here on <laughs> Does he? They're no. passable. <laughs> but like what what he's showing is relevant to what he's saying. So that's more go. than a lot of people do. So oh, yeah. there you go. Other people. look, this like, is maybe a little thing. 
maybe the video's finished for him by an editor and then he just wakes up and he's like, oh fuck I, oh yeah i gotta make a video and he just presses play and he just all live <laughs> one day it's all live <laughs> one day. It, it's just, like if he was doing instead oh, uh God. visual story a lot actually games, that'd and, be and super it, funny if he was doing like uh visual storytelling in games and you look at this image and he goes well there's a bit of red and some blue um, and fuck, that's look, it's, an it's intense fucking, color. It's Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I cannot design this. So, I don't want to do that now. Well, there's red. Someone in chat said he said that he wouldn't say anything in these parts of the videos. What? What? Well, what? He, well me. He's achieved that. I, I was going to say he nailed it, <laughs> but like. <laughs> he didn't do anything. I, mean, I applaud he did his self awareness. It makes you wonder a little. Like, why would that be your goal? But okay. The shop. And you get nothing. Ugh. Moving right. on to Ooh. Titanfall 2. Now, this game Moving is on! About you didn't military. say anything! <laughs> yes, he, he did. Oh my, he yeah, did I said say. painting. I can't anything. wait to hear um, the intricacies of Titanfall 2's incredible movement system explained by Mark Brown. Yeah, I wonder how it is. But all he's going to say is in this one, you jump movement. on the walls. That's it. That's it. Movement is he's just, yeah, he's just going to describe what you can do. None of the finer points of it. In this well, one, you can use your jetpack and glide on Or he's walls. not even going to say why you it's good or bad. That shit. Well, no, he doesn't do that. That would be evil. I don't know. Like, you that would be this. a statement that might require some level of elaboration. Where are we, though? Instead of very light commentary on what's visually occurring. We had chaining. <laughs> he's going to say, he's going to say, Titanfall 2 added a sense of verticality. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big uh, word. So ch with chaining, uh, environment, speed? No, no, sorry, reaction time, something like that? Combos? Combos? Was that, was that it? Was that, all, was that what we just learned? No, that was sure. part one. And yeah. part two was... Um, chaining environment was the first two. Environment, yeah, so combo, environment... Um, um, <laughs> then it was speed, right? It was, it was like... Arrows. It was active timing? reload or whatever. Yeah, timing, 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 there you I go. Guess. Timing? Combos. Uh, it's weird that combos and timing aren't the same section. Combos rely on timing. Shut up, Rex. Yeah, Rex. Then this up. one is gonna be ver verticality. Maybe? Well, let's find out, shall we? You bunch of muffins. You don't even know how video games. In full two, and this game you is all about momentum, how. building it and momentum. It. Momentum. The pilot oh, can damn. run at a max speed um, I mean... of only twenty-two kilometers per hour. However, your speed can sort be of. temporarily boosted by things like wall running, leaping away from walls, and sliding along the ground. So to be truly fast, you've got to try and keep that momentum Maintaining up. Maintaining momentum. In the sea chain. I mean, like... Yeah. I would say that I wouldn't say that the key of Titanfall 2 is like maintaining momentum because you get to your max momentum like pretty quick. Wow. It's man. just don't do things that stop you. He's... A better way to talk about keeping your momentum would be again it would be like driving a car in grand theft auto would be a better example because um, you actually have to do things like if it's tight curve you know you're gonna have to slow down so you can make the curve but there are certain ways to do it you know i did like a racing game would be better for conserving momentum than this and this it's like well if you fuck up you, you start over again and you get to the top pretty quick but this isn't a very good example. But it's a part, you know, momentum. That's, that's it's a, it's a, yeah, it's not like it's Exodia. not technically wrong, but it's a really bad example to show yeah. it happening. It's a single and block in the fucking like the fucking just pyramid of shit that makes up the movement in this game. Well, the, the other part is that with Titanfall two, at least the parts that he's going to show specifically, because I'm sure he's not going to talk about multiplayer at all. All of the momentum stuff is going to be, you know, part of the level design. It's jump here, jump here, jump here. There's no... It's already done environment, so you... fuck you. Oh, yeah, fuck. But you're not going to be choosing to, to build up and keep momentum throughout this level. You're doing it to solve an environmental puzzle. That yeah. was built yeah, racing specifically games would be to be done better way. for this. Because you have to... to so conserving yeah. momentum... You don't conserve momentum in this game. You you just get all of it, and you keep all of it. Like you don't. In in terms of conservation, a racing game would be better because you might actually have to be like, okay, you know, I I can't have it all. I have to make you know. There's a give and take here with my speed and my turn radius, and you know, with my ideal angle to take when I'm driving. Mm. Um. But yeah, if you like in this game, 
I mean, it's, it's basically for for all points and purposes, this is going to be identical to Apex Legends. But I mean, you don't want to be still; you want to keep moving. I suppose, yeah. But it's not like a uh, portal. It's like, yeah, hey, you could do that. Momentum. Portal, yeah. Portals are good. There's momentum that you have to use to solve puzzles, but you're in control of that. You know, and, and yeah. it's not just here jumping wall to wall to wall to wall uh, in the exact order that a level designer mm -hmm. set up for you. It, I think even in the game's universe, that's what separates the pilots from regular soldiers is that they have jetpacks and they move really quickly and they can do so many different, like so many more things than just a regular ground soldier can do. And it kind of makes them exceptional. So yeah, like, that's a part of it. But like, he's just like momentum. Momentum. Moment. And that's, that's literally Moment. only like one of the 10 fucking things that, or the movements in this game it's really it's all over the place and it's complex and it works really well all in tandem but he's just like momentum um that's it Speed and, and this is the thing i want to make it clear like if if a friend of mine was like oh man i'm just, just starting to get into sort of games like what what do you think makes like a good movement system and if i said um combos uh like like the pace of it the momentum uh the environment They'd be like, it's like yeah, and then he good, took what? that. He took that and made a whole video, and he added nothing. <laughs> it's well, like asking what what is what makes a good story, and you say, oh, you know, plot, characters, characters uh, um, words, writing. Careful, you're yeah. giving him ideas. He's going to make a video now. <laughs> um, we got ten minutes left, guys, some... so maybe he will finally bring it home. Which I hope he doesn't make this opening redundant when he like goes back and explains all of them. But you know, who knows? I, I like oh, to imagine he he's has actually secretly occasionally sitting gone in the chat. And... What? I like to imagine he's just sitting in the chat, just listening to everything we're saying, and just vigorously taking notes. Like, it's a fucking great point. Describing that, that's five videos right there. Go yeah, he's turn. like, these guys are doing my work for me. How to create a great story. Step one, characters. <laughs> Many stories have characters. <laughs> Step two. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, it's just, many of them have this. Step two. <laughs> Let's use many an of the characters are characters. In Dead Space, Isaac Clarke is the protagonist. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the lights go down, everyone claps. <laughs> and they just throw oh. money at him. Yeah. In, oh. in Dead Space, sometimes yeah. Isaac Clarke dies. I need to shit too. Hmm. It really together does. these moves. But that's not all. When Ooh. we go into multiplayer, Ooh. we get things like the grapple, which hooks onto a wall and then retracts. Yes, these are things from the game. You don't. We get the grapple. It hooks onto a wall and then retracts. Mm -hmm. It's so because there's so much to talk about about the grapples in in this game and in Apex, where you're like how you use the grapple can be so useful in terms of what you do during the grapple, the angle that you take on things. Like if, you, if you're if you underneath the bridge and you want to get to the top of the bridge, you you angle the backside of the bridge and then you swing upwards and you could go all around the top. And there's so many interesting things you could do that we will not ever talk about. No, Rags. Time. No. You can no. grapple things. That oh, is the whoa, 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 extent whoa, whoa, whoa. of how far we'll explain this. You, no, you, wow. you missed a part where he said it attaches to walls and then retracts. Yes, okay, there you Wait, go. It so doesn't it doesn't even retract. You can't even say it grapples. That's what he said. I mean, I, <laughs> it, I guess it technically retracts and pulls you. But yeah, yeah. It's well, on. Wait a second, Mark. What's that he's, he's holding in his hand? That big fucking what looks like a metal thing. What is that? Tell it's me an, how that works. That is a, an Eva 8 shotgun. It is, uh... What is a shotgun? You have to tell me these things. I don't uh, understand. It fires, um... I think I've gone too far already. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> too much. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we see, got my synapses are just Go fucking uh, failing. <laughs> they're, they're dying. <laughs> I need to explain uh, metal meeting propulsion first. There, I did it. <laughs> Moving on. Grapple, which hooks onto a wall and then retracts, like Link's hookshot on Fast Forward. Oh, like, oh, oh my it. god. <laughs> It's just like he's he says like more often than I do. So the equivalent would have been after I mentioned the protagonist of Dead Space, I'd be like, meanwhile, protagonist of the Witcher series. You're wrong. Yes, <laughs> and that's <laughs> it. That's as far as you take it. You're going no further. Out of context. <laughs> Muller, I like I like how oh, when you the, did the impression. Oh, this, this I, is, I like yeah, how whenever you do the impression, you, you make him sound like a little rap scallion. <laughs> You're just like, yes, well, I wish well. to inform you. <laughs> Such I also <laughs> enjoy video games. I sip my tea while 
while he's drawing such things. That's exactly it. Did I have a little <laughs> symbol <laughs> of whiskey? Video, video games <laughs> have characters. Do you understand my video? I assume not. <laughs> <laughs> you are too small, brain. I mean, ideally, the grappling hook is actually a really excellent way to explain conservation of momentum because yeah. the yes. direction you're traveling at when you shoot the grappling hook will impact your trajectory, essentially, and you can use that to your advantage to, like, and, get around boulders or above bridges or behind buildings and stuff like that. But uh, And that, that plays really well mm -hmm. into environment ver like plus movement of, like, where you aim the grapple, how, and when you time the kind of pull f on it. It, it. Like, if you had the grapple in an empty room, it's useless. But because the environment and the way it's designed, it, the grapple becomes limitless, pretty much, in what you can do with it. Uh, he could talk about the relationship between environment and this movement aspect. I don't think we're going to hear it. We might. Yeah, like if you if I you had a um, <laughs> like I I would say if you want to get around this boulder around the left hand side, like what would be for instance, how would you do it? It's like well, you'd want to attach the boulder or attach the grappling hook as far back into the boulder as possible, so you can you'll know, get your longest pull that you can. So you'd want to make a little little mark where you put your grapple, and then you'd also say, well, but you got to make sure that you're moving in like a you know a, a forwards left diagonal direction, so that you know you're 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 taking that momentum of yours and you're swinging around the boulder. But well, none of that. Yeah, I will thinking, say, Rags, you've got the graphics portion down, but you've already you've explained way too much. You need to yeah, roll yeah, that yeah, back. Clearly, well, the graphics portion would almost like also explain too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you, you made it too I feel like we got more Sorry. explanation in the in the in the Cuphead video than this. <laughs> <laughs> Things like the grapple, which hooks onto a wall and then retracts, like Ugh. Link's hookshot on Fast Forward. <laughs> Combine that with a jump, and you can slingshot your. Oh, it's so so. Oh, so this here is like you take two different grappling hooks from two different games that behave. Only in the most fundamental way, similarly, but in execution, they are so incredibly different. And you mm -hmm. could explain why the Link grappling hook has fuck all to do well, with conservation of momentum. Yes. And the Titanfall Apex one has everything to do with it. And you could illustrate why one is good and one is but like, super it, simple. It would be. It, I honestly think it was just for the member berries, or like the appreciation of of. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Remember which... the grappling hook from Zelda game? I don't even think it. Think the grappling hook's not even relevant. It's, it's the Zelda game. Like, is it Ocarina? I, I couldn't tell from the clip. Like, um, doesn't uh, matter. It's just the forget. referencing that game. in the same way that if um, what's like the most beloved FPS ever? Doom. Um, Doom's one of them. Five. Yeah. But if, if I was just trying to break down how mechanically sound Killing Floor is, and I'm like, in this you do, you know, aim and shoot and you destroy your enemies, much like in Doom. I just show Doom. And then I cut yeah. back. That's like, that is all he just did. Correct. Yeah. At least mine would make more sense, because you do... do you think he knows what he's doing? <laughs> huh? Like, do you think he's aware of what he's doing? I'm yes. not sure. I, think he's I don't aware of know. Action. He might have just settled into, like, it... He does it so much, so often, that he doesn't even know that it's useless. I refuse Like, because all the feedback he gets is just, this is so amazing, it's wonderful. And then they lie and say that they learned something. And so he's like, oh, okay, well, I guess, you know, I keep doing this, this is great. You think he Never knows changed. who he is? <laughs> like, well, he, he, could, he could always does tell he know himself. who he is? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Every day line. when he gets up out of bed, he stares in the mirror for 10 minutes. I am Mock Brown. I am Mock Brown. Brown. You, you can tell are Mock Brown. Brown. <laughs> you are Mock Brown. <laughs> when I, you can tell I'm Mock Brown because when I look at me, I know that I'm Mock Brown. Press A to Ooh. jump, Mark. Press A to jump. <laughs> I am called Mark, much like Mark Wahlberg. He's also called Mark. He fries himself because that was too complex. Yeah. Things like the grapple. With... Yes. Which hooks onto a wall and then retracts, like Link's hookshot on Fast Forward. Combine that with a jump and you can slingshot your way across the map at super speed. Whoa. And we're still not done. Whoa. Whoa. This normy ass gameplay. We're not look, done I, yet. I used my grapple to move towards grunts, which are designed to be free points, and I shot them with my shotgun. Like, like you could play the game and have like a cool clip of you doing something. It's you could like try. Rags, he said we're still not done. No, there's like 2,600 <laughs> people playing this game today, right now. I just love that he thinks he's in any way covered the majority of the content. There's so much I, more. 
<laughs> There's so much more. I agree. I, I agree. We've barely begun to scratch the surface. Dare I say it? We've not even scratched the surface. We've, we've, we've simply looked upon the surface vaguely. This is like opening we've a textbook. Is a fact, we've described the fact that there is a surface. <laughs> <laughs> it is like opening a textbook and it's just title pages. Houston, we can see this. This isn't surface. even like going into anything. This is like when you throw a wrench on water to break the surface tension. This is just sort of like that. I think that's already too much. Yeah, like, yeah. Without throwing the wrench. There's lots you it's can like learn looking from it. at water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe even describing yeah, it vaguely to a friend. What water yeah, like, you're not even actually really at it. kind of upset about is that like we can't really go much further with like making fun of its format because it's just like here's a thing. Oh, yeah. challenge Here accepted. Go. Challenge There's accepted. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, please. I, I encourage anything. I just feel like it's just like, man, I wish this content was less so fucking Shit. stupid. So that way, <laughs> yeah, so that way we could do just do a little something, a little something more with it. He is more well, I, I'm, I'm trying to imagine a situation where he releases a video that ends up being really controversial. He can't. He knows his brand. The, as long as he stays to never actually claiming anything. You know, I mean, if you look on his if you look on his Twitter, he's like super fucking left. Like, of course, all of these sort of media personalities are. So it's like nothing he ever says will ever land him in hot water, except for like mild disagreement. But he, like, like he really totally. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't mean controversial with like mainstream media outlets. I meant generally controversial with any audience. Well, yeah. What I was gonna say right. is like no, his no. videos. If you were to derive a personality from his videos, it would be the most like middle of the line bland person ever. That if you went like, oh, do you think uh, TLJ is good? He'd be like, hmm. It's uh, Star Wars, right? Well, TLJ is a movie. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, Star Luke Wars Skywalker. Movie. You're like, Much no, like no, no, uh, A New character. Hope. It's uh, mm -hmm. it, and, and then every time you push him, it would be like the Twin Perfect debate. It would be like, is it well written? Kind of, yeah. It would be like, you guys know oh, Lemmy? Yeah. <laughs> you guys won't get that, except Rags. I will get it, and it... No. Mm. It was really fun for you. You had lots of fun with it. Good times. It you go Rags, you get that. It was, it was you go amazing. Rags. I love it. Not done, because when you come to land, you can do a slide hop, which is where you hit crouch, then jump to maintain that momentum. Bunny hopping? <laughs> he calls his... A slide... A slide hop. So no one... So no one calls it that. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 it's always kind of been called bunny hopping, is always slide what it's hop. called. Isn't it? They, it's often nerfed in games and things that you used to be able to do it, like you could heal while using it and things of that nature and then they toned it down so you couldn't do it. There are ways around it where you could kind of like twist your character in certain ways to keep your momentum a little bit. But this is just you you're just moving quick and you're you're well, jumping. So now we're getting real weird because he's described like if you could call it a sub mechanic that's come out of comboing up uh, other mechanics that, that relate to a specific kind of like movement when I thought we were we were just talking in really broad terms. It's like, why did you go this specific on this moment? And you're probably not going to do it again. And do you think it's just because of the fact that he did this and was like, this is cool? This is neat. Look at me, <laughs> I'm cool. Wow, when I'm, when I'm moving, when I slide to move quick, I can jump, which means my jump is quick, too. Wow, Until incredible. I slow down. I'm a slide hopper now. It's just like the most basic, 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 basic thing. It's like the first thing that you learn is, hey, when you're sprinting, you could you slide, and if you slide hop, you can get just a teeny, teeny tiny burst of speed. A little Slot. teeny tiny one. The Titanfall 2 players, i.e. not me, are the ones who are always Clearly. thinking about ways to keep the momentum <laughs> they've built up. Good players always think about how to use the momentum they've built up. Keep the momentum they've built up. You're not even paying attention. Oh. Oh. I, I think Which is weird because you show a clip of somebody using the grappling hook to grapple a wall, but to completely change directions and hit the wall to completely negate all of the momentum. They they purposefully <laughs> negated their momentum to kill somebody who was going the other direction. And you're talking about how skillful players use their momentum to play the game. And he and looked like, he looked for like a highlight for this as well. Yeah, so, yeah, clearly. Like specifically, I guess. This one. I'm just gonna let me, let oh me play God. that again. I just wanna Contain see. that momentum. The very best Titanfall 2 players, i.e., not me, are the ones who are always thinking about ways to keep the momentum. See, look, there's a guy right there. Up. Oh, quick. Yep, change directions. Yeah. Yeah, he would have like, lost. Like, I have to stop my momentum. Yeah. 
I think originally he was going to try and go around that wall, but then he saw yeah. that person heading towards the wall, and he's like, nope, change we plan. See and he also seemed Can't to stop once he got the kill. He landed and stopped. It wasn't even... Like, the way you would do it, I think, is you're, you're maintaining momentum. You spot someone that's out of your sequence, if you will. You alter to get to it, and then alter to go back into your original, like, or maintain... Yeah, you know like, I, mean? I would have I would have kept running on the wall. I wouldn't have jumped off the wall to hit that very large target from a very close distance and instead put myself in a position where I've now fallen into the middle of the street and lost all momentum and I'm now vulnerable. People use my bed to move a god. It's like, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What he oh. said. We see similar stuff in older shooters like Quake and Counter-Strike, where bunny hopping to build momentum was a physics-busting emergent strategy not intended by the developers. The parkour gem Mirror's Edge okay. will force you to main- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. But, like, yeah. alright. Buddy hopping, that was a thing. It's like, yep. Or, well, it could be still a thing, depending on what you're playing. So as the rack is wrong, you can change direction while maintaining momentum. Alright, so, here's the thing. He hits the wall, and he, he hits the wall to stop himself, so that he could follow this person who was going in a different direction. He also stops at the end, like I said. It's yeah, not... and then he lands on the ground in a very flat trajectory, sorry, in a very, I guess, very of a steep trajectory so when he hits the ground he's going to be vulnerable too so not an ideal clip to use for it but i guess that looks really impressive to people who've never played the game i don't know mm. maintain momentum if you want to nail its time trials crumble is all about oh. getting faster oh. and faster the more you move and in the platform at n plus oh, that's hang on. getting faster all right. the more you move that's what getting faster is getting faster the you more have you to increase. by definition you, that's yeah that's what oh getting faster God. is unless you're running in tar like dude he kills me he kills me <laughs> like if you stop moving you can't get faster if you stop getting faster wait He's i know how you can get faster while not moving when you're in a car <laughs> He's like a creature. He's just a. You aren't moving, but the car is. I got you guys. I've cracked the code. You're really slide hopping through these points. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You get faster you... the more you move. Like, Whoa! You've blown my brain out, bro. I I need that bong sound right now. <laughs> immediately yeah, that's, that's after one, that. That's one of them. You just hits blown. You get faster the more you move. To maintain momentum, it. if you want to, yeah. you're moving with the car. Though, shut up, shut the fuck up. It was a perfect can someone, point, flawless. Can someone please make an edit of Mark Brown? Just like you know how people will do that, where they'll make someone sound drunk, where they'll just slow down their voice. And they'll be like, <laughs> "The thing I was saying." Well, you have to take. I want. I want you guys to do that with yeah. him and just add occasional bong hit sounds. And you t take like all the some, best some quotes, in the like it's a grapple hook. <laughs> Like in Link with Zelda, it's you get faster by moving more. It really does feel more. like he's high all the time, doesn't it? Because he just yeah. he's just going from like moment to moment, being like, "That reminds me of this thing, man." Bro, oh, like God. grapple. I'm, I'm serious. Someone please fucking make that video. I will be so happy. There you go. You'll make Chase happy, guys. Well, sure so then, Chase happy. They're not gonna do it if you say that. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta tell them to make someone else happy. And make It'll make sad. me very sad. Aww. There you go, Mark. Now yeah. they're gonna do it. Nail its tops. Crumble is all about getting faster and faster the more you move. And in the platform at N plus <laughs> plus, you need to build momentum in order to. <laughs> We've spent too much oh. time on that game already. It's like, you know, you so... need to go faster so that you could jump further. Yes, that is momentum. Move, move, move. I agree. That is momentum. And then he, the second example, he just mentions momentum. He basically just said the same thing twice, but used different word. But he's using so many okay. game references. Like, there's someone out there who's like, oh, I know that one. <clears throat> this video is fucking yes. great. Do you think if he made up a game for one of these examples, anyone would notice? No. By the way, momentum is... So, momentum is mass times velocity. Mass doesn't really come into play in these video games, really, in any way. Does it? Um, I mean, it can. I don't it, know, it can, I'm not Mark Brown. But, I... <laughs> but, I don't know. It's alright. You move. Platform at N++, you need to build momentum in order to make the biggest jumps. Next up is... Wow! <laughs> wow! That's it! You have to build momentum to make the jump! So, that, yeah, you have that's to a run. thing he just taught us, guys! Did you, know that running, did you know that running jumps will let you go further than a standing jump? Oh! 
Oh, I hate him. I hate here's oh my god. Like this is literally That's something you learn in like first grade. <laughs> but even then by first you figured it out because you've like lived. So you know that you if you lived. run and jump, you go further than if you just stand and jump. Man, that is one Dude, low just... bar for understanding this topic. Have you existed? You're like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just I want him to uh, one time, please. I just want him to say like, anything. <laughs> if a caveman saw a rabbit on the other side of like a a, 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 sp a stream or something, the caveman would know. Oh, I'll have to run and then jump, or else I'll get wet and rabbit run away. And then, th so he does it. Like cavemen mm -hmm. knew this. Well, you see, yes, but it needed to be explained. Mark like animals there. know this. They take it down another level. An animal knows this. If it has to get across a larger gap, it has to run and jump. Yep. Chase, do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I figured. You know, do you know that? I, I didn't listen to that one last. Do you know time. it, Chase? He didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Right. I know See, even Chase that. knows it lower than animals. Even Chase. Oh. <laughs> You know, sometimes you don't have to say things that are so mean. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> a fuss and speedrunner about grappling onto blocks and launching yourself. Oh, we've learned about no, grappling. You... No, go ahead. I just. <laughs> I'm actually going to rewind like him because I didn't. Part I... of the appeal of these videos is him being like, look at these cool indie games that I've found. Yeah, look at games I'm aware of. Yeah. yeah. It also gives a sense of. um. I guess, like, he must know what he's talking about if he's familiar with all of these different games. It, that must be the I case, I think that's right? what it is, I really do. Like, he this keeps has, um, all these super indie things. This has, this reminds me of Karl Marx energy. Oh, well, I mean, where else would you learn about momentum? Dude, I would, to... I would love it if halfway through one of his videos he randomly says, this reminds me of Karl Marx and moves on. <laughs> that, would, that would improve it so much. I'd want to read the comments to see what people thought. See, see if they're, they're catching on yet. Imagine just all a troll. Like, he's like, I don't even know why people like my videos. I was just fucking around. These are all parody. Like, I never play video games apart from just getting the footage. And he's just like, I just pay someone to get the footage. Yeah, like, like I don't no, I don't give a shit about video games. I just get him. He just gives me footage and I describe what happens. <laughs> he just downloads, like, all new trailers from, like, one YouTube channel of trailers for games and, and just puts them in. And he's like, this one has stuff in it, I guess. Build momentum. In order to make the biggest jumps. Nice. Oh my God. Next up is Cyberhook, a first-person speedrunner about grappling onto blocks and He's launching yourself towards the goal. This isn't so third-person, guys. I think is about understanding trajectories. Oh, wait a right. second. He, speci he specifies that 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 one was first-person. He never specified that N N++ was third-person. He didn't. I don't even know if is N++ considered third-person. No, I'm not even sure know. what the. It like is. Yeah, you're because you're 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 a you see your character, you're not from the perspective of a of the character itself. Yeah, I know, but I think you go more specific than that oftentimes to differentiate more than just like a binary. Like, um, for example, so with RTS, what would that view be considered? Like bird's eye or? Like yeah, with... Probably. So let me see. 2D? Yeah, I think more Audition. people probably appeal to it so, being 2D first. Yeah, it would be 2D, but that would still be third person. It'd be like an omniscient third person. Well, yeah, it wouldn't uh, be. It wouldn't be second person. Well, I'm not suggesting it. it it's be, just you, like typically when describing them, people don't wouldn't go like, "Oh, M plus plus is third person." It's it's just unusual. That's all. Not that it's incorrect. You're like what? People saying isometric, up down. No, isometric is something that the 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 you. Well, That's I mean, a wasteland yeah. is isometric, right? Isometric yeah, exercise. You, you gotta join you're me. not gonna call like Starcraft isometric though, you know. I don't think it is, right? Oh, fuck. I, these, all these words, I'll have to look into the actual definitions of them. I was just... The interesting part is that he chose to describe that one game that way, but he hasn't really done that for any of the others. Mm. Makes you wonder why. It's just word salad. I just... Oh, well, I mean, just it's all thrown together, right? Words, like, it's exactly. just kind of like... Eh. God's eye view. Noise. ...and speedrunner about grappling onto blocks and launching yourself towards the goal. And so this one, I think, is about understanding trajectories. He thinks, he had a thought. He classified that <laughs> this is the time where he had the thought. It wasn't just something that he knew to be true. Bear with me for a second. A trajectory oh. is Try. a path Ryan. an object will follow when moving under the influence of He's a physical. He's describing the word. But you didn't talk about this using grappling? 
Yeah, he's Which is instrumental like, well, in using the grappling thing from earlier, where your grappling is. will be shit if you don't understand what trajectory is. But what got him onto this topic was the grappling in another game, so... There you go. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to say the exact same thing, but with the words switched around. Doesn't know for certain. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with Bear me for with a second. Me. As if he's, he's acting like people would be confused. Well, you know <laughs> yeah, what? Like, I'm struggling to it's follow. Like a, it's like a computer. They they made like a kind of AI learning computer that's kind of very basic, and it just read scripts to it from other essays, and it's just spouting fucking shit. It's just word salad. Let's that's what this is. Take fifteen seconds to describe what the word trajectory means. Hey, I'm Ruin learning. Trees, you guys are just being whatever. bullies. I'm waiting to find yeah. out how this all comes together. Bear with me for a second. A trajectory is a path an object will follow when Fuck moving you, under Mark. the influence of a physical force. And we ah. subconsciously consider this when playing any platformer, because the arc of Oh, here comes the things, look! See this? Oh. I, just, I just want to point out, Moriarty already barely audibly said, Fuck you, Mark, <laughs> as the video yeah. was playing. <laughs> it was so real. <laughs> yeah. So, this, this like, if you're gonna go to this level... You start off with trajectories. This is where you begin. No, if you talk you about jumping and moving, it, Rags, like, does it not make the most sense to start with the concept of combining other things? Isn't, isn't I don't that even know how start? he addressed that. Okay. Like yeah. he sort of he did, but even in what way, I'm not exactly <laughs> certain because of how bad it was. This is what I mean. This is a fun video to be made here. Like the what is the most fundamental thing about movement? You're starting to think like I guess pushing one thing to make you go one thing. You could. He could talk about like tank controls and how a game is yeah. made to support tank controls and how maps and stuff or they fit into the turnstile and how simply removing one's ability to strafe is a big gameplay element that you have to adjust to and understand and uh, learn to utilize when you're in combat. Someone said um, the art of swindling Patreon. I don't even... People know what they're buying. There's, he's not lying about anything. Yeah, this he's is... not falsely advertising. Yeah. Like, if they want to pay yeah, for this, just, so, go nuts. It just hurts my feelings when you look at it, that's all. I love that we live in a civilization where you can pay for this. Like, it's yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a crime to make bad art, right? It's just frowned upon. Yeah, we so it's like, not, we're frowning you, right you now. You can spend your money on, like, fucking giant canvases with paint just slapped on them and be like, oh, this is mm, wow, amazing. But it's like, you know, you can't, we can't throw you in, in a slammer for it, so. No. We'll consider it. I don't, I don't even have a problem with that. It just, it's that so basic change. that it doesn't feel like there's any point to it. Exactly. That's I'm more disappointed problem. in the people who pay for it than Mark himself. Yeah, thank God. You know what? If I can make, if I can make as, and he makes a lot of money. If I can make shit as does. much money as he does off of this shit, I fucking would it too. I'd be pumping these out. You know what? Here's the thing. Jumping. What is it? What does it mean? Moving on. Like, oh, I'd be so happy! For some reason, Moriarty, the way you said that, I just expected that to end with tonight at nine. Tonight <laughs> at nine. Jumping tonight at nine. Dude, she's got gum Coming cream. Next. Oh, fuck. That is my, that is the fucking nightmare. Fucking gum Gwyneth cream. Hell, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness Ooh, She's coming for me. That's literally what I pictured. That's horrible. Somebody literally went oh, to my man. fucking... Oh man, she does point. look awfully... She looks spidery. It's too late yeah. for you. It's creepy as shit. Those, her hands look like the spiders from Lost in Space. Yeah. Gump, gump cream? Yeah. Okay. Oh, a gump brand. cream. It makes you gump like cream. Forrest Gump. She's not, oh. she can't have any of my <laughs> gump cream. I like the pause. Gump cream. <laughs> That's so <laughs> ominous. Gump cream. Well, that was the face yeah. he's making in the image is when he found out the concept of gump cream. He's like, oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> I just learn. I just I talk with a slur, and suddenly I have all this like southern wisdom on my belt. All that gum cream. Mm. Every jump determined by gravity, but in games with grappling hooks like a story about my uncle and Bionic Commando, the swing's arc is determined by both gravity and the taut pull of the rope. And so to. <sighs> Are Are three of the things in here talking about grappling hooks? He's talking a lot about grappling hooks. He should make a whole Is video about it. Is he just really into grappling hooks? Is this really a video where hooks. he was like, oh shit, grappling hooks. That's movement. Yeah, like if I if I was to say rags, you need to make a, well, if someone else was to say me, I wouldn't say rags, you need to make a thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe subconsciously, which is why I'd do it. But if someone was to tell me, 
Craigs, you need to make a, a video about movement in games. And I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. And I'd say, here's all the games I play, and they have different movement systems, and here's how they work, and here are the cool things you could do with them, and here's how the games are built around those movement systems, and, uh, you know, come up with some bad examples. And But this is just like, he's just, oh, man. This, this game this has a so... grappling hook. This game Basically. also has a grappling hook. <laughs> Did you know this game also has a grappling hook? So what's that? Oh my god, the video's comments are just a circle joke of people talking about mechanics and games. Yeah, they're probably adding more content than he did. They're probably they like, certainly oh. are. So interesting. <sighs> Why even bother? To get the most of the mechanic, we have to mentally map out the precise arc of the swing and know the best time to latch on. You don't on have to map out the precise leg. arc of the swing. You've got a lot of wiggle room here. Uh, yeah, that would no, be a topic. Precise. It'd be like, there's going to be games that like the hardest challenge will be giving you the most limited amount of a platform to land on. Yeah, then, yeah, the more precise you have to be is generally going to determine the difficulty. How hard it is to plan is going to be one of them, like moving platforms are going to be harder to plan for than stationary ones. And also, what's your margin of error? How, how big is the platform? How wide is it? You know, do you have, can you correct your trajectory, essentially? Can you move while you're in the air? Uh, I mean, that makes a big difference. All yeah. sorts of stuff. How big are you? We also see this in games with gliding mechanics. Oh. It's all about the shapes the character will make when moving and understanding how to use that to your advantage. It's all about the shapes the character makes while moving. Does he mean like when you change shape? like their j- posture, their gestures, like the, how they how yeah. they like lo- I've never seen someone describe like changing your um like what wings he's, are doing what. He's basically how. referring to like the wingspan in that game specifically. Yeah, but no, like, so why what would he talk about he it that way? Know. The shapes the character makes. What? The I mm. I doubt the shapes the character make actually changes the direction. It's your input and the animations yeah. are done to match your inputs. He's it's not the animations that are that are determining where you will go. Yeah, if anything it you might your mislead controls. someone by saying that. Like, if the game was exclusively, like, trying to run, like, a physics thing entirely, and then... In that sense, sure, but I... That would be its own thing to talk about. That would be something that would be worthy of highlighting. Yes. I just can't believe that he just went over the concept of, like, your uh, trajectory will change based on your character's sort of movements. He just described it as when your character changes shape. Like... Thanks. I mean, like, <laughs> technically, but no one means it like that. Nobody. How could you come to a video Alien. for insight and if have someone was to say change your way. shape? I'd be like, oh, like I need to lose <laughs> weight or gain weight, or I need to like what? And they're like, no, 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 just move your yeah, just like that. And I'm like, oh, I moved my arm. He's like, pretty yeah, sure your shape changed. Pretty sure he's talking about the shape of the arc while you do gliding or whatever. So what he's saying is like, if you're Gliding straight down, like shaping yourself just like a missile, but then you open up your arms and you have wings and it'll change how everything works. It's like your shape has changed. You're like, yes. Mm. Yeah, that's true, but what a way why to describe have... this. Yeah, why did you have really to say dumb. it like that? Why are you the way you are? Because mm. if he was different, he'd be smarter. <gasps> you're saying he's at rock bottom with these videos, Rex? I mean,. <sighs> I guess you could get worse. Yeah. Like you could just be wrong <laughs> about what is what like he could be incorrect about what's like he's watching. He could be <laughs> conveying information that wasn't accurately explaining, not explaining, describing what is happening on screen. Like in this he could be saying that you know the three the three polka dotted elephants are clearly trapeze artists. So we'll- and it's like, no, that's just not an accurate description of what's happening on the screen. That's worse, I guess. Make when moving and understanding how to use that to your advantage. And also the, no, and also he that's showed it. the shape of the character huh. didn't change at all while it was falling. And then it makes the big upward swoop. The, the shape of the character stayed exactly the same. Yes, but it was an indie game. That's also all he said about it. That was it. That was the whole thing. Then we moving on. To That's it. it. Well, on trajectory, he said that uh, you, you have to precisely mentally map out the trajectory. Also, you change your shape to change it. Like, uh... God damn it. So Next he just up. like, so he did inaccurate. Sure enough, he did inaccurately describe what was happening on screen. Mm-hmm. That's wow. all. Can we all just pray in a seance circle to whatever god that exists that he will never Demon. work 
yeah, or demon that he'll never work in like the teaching or education system. I, ever. I'll have you know, God, many people they show his stuff. I can't imagine they they'd actually show his Ma stuff. Many people claim that they use Mark Brown videos in like educational formats. So I, I, I don't believe. Well, they, they might. They, I don't know. Maybe they're public schools. Because <laughs> it Trudy wouldn't like, it wouldn't not... help. It wouldn't help you. That's the thing. No. If anything, it's just like reaffirmation of hey, our game's fun. And you're like yeah about it this to your advantage and finally i want to touch on and rocket finally. league this game okay. is kind finally? of unique because the character in this There's case eight minutes a car, left. What do you mean, is basically finally? a physics object and you just apply forces in different directions so you can't so you cannot simultaneously say this is unique in the sense that the character is a car it's physics based and the last point you just made was that a character changes its shape in order to change its direction in the air which would be necessarily physics based. The problem, Rags, is that he's already brought up like the grappling hooks in different scenarios, and then he has like a whole section for them later. And so it's like, wait, it's like you can't. Yeah, the grappling hook is absolutely physics based as well. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like he'll just mix and match, and then like claim like this this thing is doing this thing. It's like, well, he was doing it before with the other stuff. Yeah, this but one is aesthetically twice, unique to the others, but it's not. Yeah, like going to be. I, I want to know how it's mechanically unique. If he no, says it twice, though, he gets to double the length of the video. Oh, oh boy. Well, this is the also, thing. Also, you'll notice his name is Mick Bacon again. Hmm. That is that's epic. That's probably his actual that's awful, username. That's, that's an off, awful viral food for him, but all right. <laughs> um, that just I, proves he's epically epic. I'm kind of excited now because once he gets done with the section, like, what's going to happen next? What's he going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, who knows what know. he will this describe. He could, who knows? He could describe all kinds of things. The, after land, this. the land is uncharted now. Who knows what's going to happen? Actions. This allows you to move the car about in pretty much whatever way you desire, leading to masterful. <laughs> okay, so a physics based thing does not mean you could move yourself in whatever way you desire. It's the opposite. Physics are limitations on what you can do. Anyways. It's not like, do you, like adding, when you add physics based movement to something. It's not it's not a libertarian's wet dream where you can just do whatever the fuck you want without consequences. But like that's what that's what people like about it. It it there are rules and there are limitations and there are there, there are things you have to take into account. You can't just mm, it hurts my brain. <laughs> it hurts the thing. You that's hurt. the thing. It hurts so much. He said it's it. like my little fucking toddler cousin wandered into a recording booth and then he just recorded this and he just fucking blathered for like 13 minutes just like and then the car and it changed shape and the, the move, it grapple hook. Mm -hmm. I honestly yes, he, very good. he was like oh, You're so very cool, good cause... Matthew. You can do the the good. rocket fly, and you can do the the blasting yourself left, right, forward, back. It's like yeah, you can do so many things. You can do all of the things. Like, no, 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 no. You went too far. You went too. Bring it back. You can't too do much. all of the things. <laughs> come, it's, come it's back. Right as a toddler, and then he sort of like you know, just repeats. Just full players discovering absurd tricks like making a car fly across the pitch. Or <laughs> you can. It's not hard at all. Like that's like the main element of the game. Is the it's like the the sides are sloped for that reason. Well, you also I've never even played this game, but I can see that the sides are you sloped have... like I, ramps. I want to take. I want to draw attention to the fact that he took credit for that. Like, hang on, why can't I? Oh God, where are we going? Was it? Oh my goodness, oh. I don't want to miss what other, what else he describes. Yeah, you're levitating apples on screen. Together. Where are we? Apple. Uh, back, back. Six ten. We were at like five thirty. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Discovering absurd tricks like making a car fly across the pitch. I'm refreshing it. That's an so absurd cars, trick. Wait till press this guy a finds button to fly. Even... Literally, so, just you well, literally this, press boost and you aim up, and you that's can fly. what I was trying to get at. Is you press A, yeah. you aim the car up, you hold A, and you go. You're like a missile. That's the simplest possible way. This video tips tricks on how to fly is probably just you learn that and then it tells you how to use it in more effective ways. Him saying like you could unlock the ability to fly. It's like that's like one by of the purchasing things. the game. Yes. Yeah. You you almost get more out of just purely the visuals and you just watch this on mute. You'll be like, it's, wow, look at this cool shit you can do this game. I understand uh, this because I'm not a fucking dullard. It's a primary wow, this element game looks of the fucking game. cool. I should buy it and play it. <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of it. He just highlights 
games that you may or may not have played and you either go yeah oh, i played that that's epic I want, or you I wonder go, if any developers approach them they're like hey can you just like use gameplay footage of our up and coming in a game we don't even care what sort of benign <laughs> shit you ramble about just please like just show we have guns but you it's can say pixel art's shoot. really cool yeah there's guns just pixel guns people will love it they'll buy it i want them to mention a dating sim just because even though it's all about movement <laughs> he'll just be like and also in what makes you wonder um, if you have in like... tentacle pr- in tentacle princess four there's, <laughs> oh, no. there's a remorse mechanic remorse <laughs> just he, he just says it and then moves on <laughs> next it, subject it just, and you're like <laughs> <laughs> and your brain just turns the goop, and then Gwyneth Paltrow scoops it out of your skull. Well, was was, there was that one game that was like it was like it was very clearly like a hentai game, but it was like you grope girls on the subway and had like a oh, you rape know, play. A, rape play. I wasn't sure if we wanted to say it out loud, but well, what if you just mentioned rape play? Like in rape I already play, said Negro. Negro. It's fine. You could say rape. <laughs> Negroes. That's just that's Spanish for black. That's okay. No, it's, it's, it's Negro. White. Well, I said Negro. Okay. But the hard <laughs> yeah. end. All right. <laughs> but yeah, it's some disgusting, horrible Wii game. Um, but like, like he could literally just and he. Oh my god! If he cut the footage of that and then just showed the Wii mote shaking on screen and like movement is important and Ray play. Like <laughs> <laughs> he's like jiggling the women's tits on the subway. Like, <laughs> notice, fucking... notice the physics based breasts. Just like <laughs> boobs are great, and then just moves move on. Your character <laughs> close to the Same lady to, to grape her. <laughs> if you are female in my audience, please call me. I am very lonely. I'm I need you for research for purposes. <laughs> I need to describe you. I'm very lonely. <laughs> It's just I really me enjoy, in this box. I enjoy this new canon of, of Mark Brown being so incredibly <laughs> lonely that he's just like a borderline fucking kidnapper. He just doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't even know he's what is like awkward to bring videos. up. He just brings up things like it's like the Teletubbies game where you awkwardly pl- place pieces together of puzzles and then there's just the rape game immediately after. He's just like, oh yeah, you know, there's puzzles in this. Oh, moving on. He's like, oh, yeah, basically the same game. <laughs> you gotta live. <laughs> yeah, uh, to bring us back, it's an absurd trick that you can fly in Rocket League. Mm-hmm. For anyone who's played that game, that is a weird thing to say. There are tricks like making a car fly across the pitch, or doing bonkers bicycle kicks. Trust me, this one is way over my head, but I thought it was still worth mentioning. Oh, this thing is basic mechanic, but all right. <laughs> I mean, you're watching it. Oh, you, you literally found, just you found your it. limit. <laughs> I don't understand so, what a bicycle is. Oh shit! All right, so this is we've done. Recap. We've set the stage. Here we are. Here, I've identified six different elements that great games. I love. You, oh, I love him. Ooh. So I just. Do you listen to the way he said that? I've identified, I've identified six identified. different elements. Let's. Let's. I just want to play it again. He's such a fucking goober. <laughs> it was still worth mentioning. Listen to him. So here, I've identified six different elements. <laughs> I like he's different he, he's talking about like he's discovered something like scientifically he's the first person to find like a deep sea turtle or something and he, he, yeah. he this is his he's found something new and exciting he's, he's and coined, amazing. he's coined new yeah. deep sea life yeah I have discovered six things even though it's really more like three but you know you split I them f- apart I found and, it's kind of like two fucking dinosaur bones in my backyard yeah I found right, amoebas just, on like, Mars. Did you say amiibos on Mars? <laughs> I, mean, I found Mario amiibos. amiibo. I found a rock Mars. climber on the, Mars. The golden Mario. <laughs> it would be Olimar, wouldn't girl. it? He took a ship to Mars as an amiibo. That's true. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Shit. Or Metroid. The great games. Used to make movement more fun. Those are. Oh, whoa, whoa! You didn't say more fun. Oh, you just said that they more happen. More fun. You just said they exist. You didn't say fun anything about how they were fun. Yeah, <laughs> you just movement. said they were. Which, by the way, I am okay with you saying that something makes it more fun just definitively. If, for fuck's sake, you make a claim, just make one. I'd like you to at this point. Instead of me immediately countering with, hey, not everyone finds that fun, I can instead be like, oh, so this is what you find fun. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But I, I guess you could argue that everything he's said up to this point is now contextualized as things he considers fun. Which is more than grappling you usually hooks. get. Grappling hooks. Chaining moves. He thinks grappling hooks are fun. 
yeah. movement more fun. Those are chaining moves. Using the environment. I haven't forgotten. It's fine. But okay. Guess we'll go over it. Environment. Nailing timing windows. <laughs> building momentum. Now understanding trajectories. You're not building momentum there. You're literally, you, you're losing it. You're trying to do what you can while you lose the momentum that you had. Why would you show that? That's literally the opposite of what the text you put over it is. Shut up, Rags. I am video game YouTube reviewer man, master of science. You are I understand wrong. all of these and terms. You are, I you am are a elements. TED Talker reincarnated. Element. <laughs> Playing with physics. Playing with physics. How fucking vague. <laughs> no, I said TED Talk, not TikTok. <laughs> Oh, said Playing TikTok. with physics. I just, I really like imagining Mark Brown on TikTok engaging with his 11 year old fans that think they're going to be game devs one day because they like Call of Duty. Now I'm going to teach you how to button and press. Whoa. I don't Chill know. Out. I thought you were going to say, I'll, te I'll teach you how to unbutton. No! Oh, no. <laughs> <Like he's> <laughs> yeah. oh, no, Mark! <laughs> I'll teach you how to disconnect the phone lines in her apartment so that no one disturbs you or she calls for help. Wow. I'll teach you how to disable your security system. I'm going to teach you how to dox your fans. <laughs> when you Make sure when you bury the body it's at least six feet deep. <laughs> He's just Mark Brown describing horrible crimes and how to commit them. <laughs> like we've invented like multiple Mark Browns uh, throughout like the cinematic like dude, the multi serial killer Mark, Mark Brown is awesome. Twelve year old reincarnated. Him to his worst possible alternatives. That would, though that would explain why he puts so little effort into his videos because he's busy off murdering people and that yeah, takes up true. most of his time. Yeah. <laughs> I have and to make this video as, as <laughs> like, an alibi. He corners uh, the woman in the alleyway and he's like, I would like to show you some versatile verbs. And he pulls out the knife and then it cuts and then it says, slashes, stabs, <sighs> pokes, all the different ways. Imagine he like oh opens the door and there's God. a bunch of people tied up and he's like, I have six different victims. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, I'm just um, picturing it. <laughs> Mark, the, Mark the Ripper. Mark the Ripper. <laughs> oh, no. Like Jay is uh, sleepy tisms and couldn't find a natural gap in our our oh. deep discussion there, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, so. we were being will... really autistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, Good Jay. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye, Jay. Love you. Take care. Love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> different elements. Oh, my <laughs> God. My phone. Making horrible noises. Uh, bum, bum, ba -da 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 gotta pee. Oh. Nice. Buffalo mark. Very nice. Well. It puts the lotion on the skin. Or oh, it gets the hose Or again. else it discovers six different elements. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, just like, it's like, why are you doing this, Mark Brown? From YouTube? Mark is stopping. <laughs> from YouTube.com. From YouTube.com with a very successful Patreon. He's at the bottom of a well. And he's just at the top of it. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about jumping and grapple hook. Buoyancy. <laughs> Buoyancy. <laughs> I don't know if he's just like, vegetables. <laughs> I'm going to be teaching you about moisture. How to cook <sighs> a turtle. <laughs> What, what, yeah, are, what are things, what are things do you guys want Mark Brown to explain to you? Um, why we exist? Yeah, what is the meaning of life? Life has a meaning. <laughs> Thank you. <Moving> on. <laughs> a long and then the curtain closed. Long time ago, closed. there was nothing, and now there are things. There, there are many somethings, and we are sort of just here, playing with <laughs> physics. <laughs> There's many somethings. We are just here, oh, and and, and many playing with physics. That's true. This is just a big sandbox, physics. really. You can do whatever you want. Now that's exhaustive list, and it's that's an exhaustive oh, list. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that felt like a century. I know we paused, but like I feel like I was even watching this in real time for six minutes would have felt like fucking ten, ten, just, twenty minutes. Please, describing it as an exhaustive list.
Okay. No, I think you said that's not an exhaustive list. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I can't imagine him just suddenly being like, that's an exhaustive list. Is it? Is it bad that I wasn't surprised <laughs> that he would say it, though? I don't know. <laughs> it no, seemed no. to fit right in. With physics. Now that's not an exhaustive yeah, list, right. and it's also important to note that many yeah, games mix long, and match these different elements. <laughs> In I Just Cause 3, for example, you need to hookshot onto the environment, which builds momentum as the rope retracts. You can then chain into your parachute and then chain into your wingsuit, at which chain. point you're carefully chain. considering the weirdo trajectory of this also thing as you dive like. away from enemy attacks. You're no. considering <sighs> the trajectory of... Uh, that's not... but you... oh god. God, so like, man. You this know, is like, this is getting into super duper pretentious territory. It's all of it. It's always pretentious. Why do you invite me for this guy? For this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the second time we've had to cover Mark Brown, and um, <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's so bad. The reward the is total. He says nothing, so and you just walk. You end up like after all of this, I get done with this, and I go fucking Mark Brown. Like why? why? <laughs> In your own private time, you're saying <laughs> right. <spursing> his name. <laughs> you just you, sucks. you feel like you just like. Sucks. Anyone with a brain should feel like he's talking down to you. Yeah, yeah. You're an idiot. Because, you know, like describing Mario going like jump, jump, and it, it does the bigger jump, and then the triple jump, the big jump, and then he ground pounds onto a slide and slips down until he builds all the way and fly. Like that process, he would describe it as like entering the first, you know, mode of operation in which he decides to raise his verticality and then chaining into a doubling a combo, if you will, of verticality spreading only to commit to the to the the pure gamble and yet payoff of a third verticality combination and you're like how far are you now and he's like i'm a third of the way into the description we're getting there you know if i make it sound super complicated it makes you feel better as an audience member i guess for understanding something so incredibly simple and then you go oh my god i've learned so much wow i'm smart Mm -hmm. But you're not. You watch Mark Brown, so. Just tell boobs. So this is a sort of table of elements when it comes to movement. Table of the building elements. Blocks that are used and combined to make Six interesting interactions. Because you know how table of elements... Here's the thing. The table of elements builds up the table. They don't make up a thing. It makes, it makes so that's a really weird way to describe it. Mm-hmm. These the are the things that make movement fun, but oh, okay, oh, I I would say it's the 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 responsiveness and the consistency, the and, execution of those you know, things yeah, is what the makes it fun. Execution of those things, but it's all right. What do I know? I'm just a mm. gamer. Why is there anything these that different the approaches to movement You're have? Just asked why. Holy shit! I'm getting not. deep now. He just said why. I'm kind of yeah, surprised. Here we go. This is I'm, this I'm worried. Is, we're finally here. But. Why? Is there anything these different approaches to movement have in common to help explain their appeal? First, all of these approaches are- I would, uh, I would assume the core elements like interactivity. Oh gaming. yeah, then we have movement aspects in games like Dishonored and stealth games and all the impacts that, you know, movement has on stealth mechanics and evasion and that sort of thing. That's mm -hmm. its own, own whole topic. Perhaps we have given him, him too short of a shrift here, right? Perhaps we have not uh, 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 allowed Mark Brown to explain. He was just setting this up. He was explaining the six laid the different work. elements, right, that mm. we needed mm -hmm. to understand before he could explain why and how those being tied together and chained together, as it were, uh, why all of this was going to come together and make oh. movement important as a game, as a game mechanic, right? We're just waiting for the next step here. God, yeah, we're so fucking stupid. We're looking at him, and he's just he's just chopping things and mm -hmm. doing things. We're like, you are an idiot, Mark Brown. What are you doing? You're just making a medley, and then he makes a beautiful stew. And we're exactly. like, oh, we really are the dullards. Well, yes. I, said, I think at the core is interactivity, and then you can get onto the, the topic of why do we enjoy interactivity, perhaps. How, how far is he going to go? Or maybe he'll simply say, well, why, and then leave it there. Who knows? Let's find out. First, all of these approaches allow for a real freedom of movement. They're about giving you options for how allow to get around. Allow for a real freedom of movement. Well, that's real that's freedom. a useless statement. That's not a that's I can't do anything with that because some like we said, physics are literally like limitations on what you can do. And if you're saying, oh, but using physics, I can 
use the grapple to swing around. I was like, yeah, because you're working within a set of limitations. If you right. didn't have those, you could just float up there. Yeah, if we were on go like there. god mode and we could just fly anywhere we want, that would not be better because that would be boring. Be like, well, I'm kind of unbeatable now. Yeah, and there and there ain't no physics about um, oh, what's the protagonist's name from Dishonored? Corvo. Uh, there's nothing physics based about Corvo using Blink to teleport to a spot. Like, it's just it's ma it's literally magic. Not what I'd use to talk about. He's not going to go into anything interesting. He's not going to say anything interesting. His oh, clips is, are going to contradict faith. the things he's saying, and he's not going to say anything interesting anyway. Not giving you options for how to get around the world. You could take a very slow and meandering trip up a staircase, or you could well, run you're up not wall, running, so turn around, might... spring off the wall, and tuck your feet up over the handrail. This effectively turns the entire game space into a traversal playground. <laughs> traversal playground. That's stupid. You, it's it's, it's, it's really like he's you're like you like you're trying to explain what video games are to like a 95 year old <laughs> in a coma. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. He says stupid things just so, all the time. Why do these systems like what's so good about these systems? Well, they're better than walking slowly. Like yeah, <laughs> all right. I mean yeah. I feel like you're begging the question though. Why? Why is that the case? You you said it's the case. You could like he's answered it just with another question. Really, he just avoided it's the a, question. It's a, it's a small consecutive series of it's it's a consecutive series of small challenges that give rewards based on how skillfully you navigate them, and that's all that's all you need to say. Really, yeah, and you is, could, you could expand on it however you want, but essentially that's what's the, what the core of these things are. The better you are then the better you can execute the objective. And it takes skill and repetition and practice to do these better and better, which is kind of the core of what's so appealing about video games to so many people. It's learning how to do a challenge better over time as you practice. The feeling of progression in terms of skill. Walls, big gaps are no longer barriers to impede progress. They are challenges to overcome. And where many games are practically glued to the ground, these advanced movement mechanics add verticality to the world. Second, these movement mechanics typically okay. allow for very analog inputs, which, let me explain what I mean. Oh, please! <laughs> please, do. please do. I would love to get an explanation. Alrighty. When using the like hookshot Sam in Zelda, you must aim it screen. at a suitable Please. point, and then it locks Link into an unstoppable animation until he reaches his destination. It follows a single, predetermined path. In Titanfall 2, however, the grapple works in a very different way. You can latch onto Ooh. any point in the world, you can move while it retracts in order to change its trajectory, oh you can my boost God. the speed with a jump, and you can cancel the grapple He's sort of explaining things. That's like way more than he's ever done in the whole video. I'm yeah, that's actually kind of insane. Yeah. He's defined the difference between the two grapple hooks. We were worried about that, so good job. Oh, I was very, I was very worried. I was very concerned. Like, well, you did one is dynamic saying, and one is static, they're, they're and you totally could yeah affect things, one yeah. another. People are saying, "Please no!" Like yeah, he he's barely said anything at all, but this is more than he ever usually says. So you know, just, just the basics, yeah, of how it yeah. works. Well, yeah, small round of applause for the ba the bare oh, minimum. Oh my goodness gracious! The wow. bar. Almost like we're watching a, something of a video. Maybe I don't know. There is an but almost. This should have been in the first thirty seconds. Yes, it should have. It should yeah, have been <laughs> Not literally more than halfway through. Yeah, because now he's trying to tell us why these things are fun. Instead of the like, what was the fucking point of all of those intros to these things existing? If all you, like, this is just naturally going to happen when you start explaining why they're fun anyway. You may as well just cut that portion and just done it here. Like yeah, the if, first six minutes were a waste. When you made a thirteen-minute video, that's significant. <laughs> like, it's a half right? video. Yeah. Of paths entirely based on your control and desire, and we entirely based on your control and desire. So you again, fuck. does that make it better? Or does or what? Like, tell me. He keeps begging the question. He implies that these things are automatically good, and the 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 big problem when it comes to video game mechanics is like the limitations are often what we want to overcome, um, rather than if I said like the reason this is so good is because of the complete freedom of it, which he said earlier. It's like wait, but we don't want complete freedom as players, very typically. But like, you gotta yeah. explain that. Why? Why? And the idea is the what we I think what you said at the beginning, uh, Mark, with the whole um, easy to learn, hard to, I guess, become the best at.
how to become yeah hard to master sort of yes. thing that can happen in video games which is like the, the sort of magic of them that like you the more you invest into it uh the more you get out of it uh i i wish oh yeah. god i fuck it just i wish he could fucking get to that or say something like even well, relatively I mean, close to that i would argue that that should be the opening and then he explains why that's the case <laughs> Like, yeah, really? actually, isn't that how like essays usually work? You pose a question, and it's like time to explore that. Yeah, if you said like yeah. uh, easy to understand, hard to master, why is this preferable? Why is this what we want? And then maybe there's two halves to that, and you have to go over them. Instead, we're like, or... yeah, we've learned that these mechanics exist, and that some people do enjoy them, and we're trying to figure out why that might be. Or you just say grappling hook. Mm. Moving on. <laughs> yeah because i do know what the gra I, I do know what grapple mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean sort of i mean I you guys can do the it. hard work job or we could just like you know <laughs> we see this in mechanics too like generous mid-air movement in mario being able to bash in literally any direction in ori and the absurdly granular input literally you have any direction in shows a 2d game <laughs> no, you can't go all the directions. Oh, you're just nitpicking. You know, his argument would be, well, obviously, the only directions available within that restriction. And you're like, mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm, right. What do you say about Rocket League? Bash in literally oh, so any direction in that. Ori, and the absurdly granular input you have in physics-based movement input? systems. Like, Let me... That means, like, absurdly. down to the specific. You said it absurd I want to check. again. Um... Resembling or consisting of small grains or particles. I'm assuming there's another having definition. A rough and, having a roughened surface or structure. Is there another definition? Characterized by a high level of granularity. <laughs> Any more? <laughs> Is that it? I like, I I, like yeah, that one. that's all we it's got. It's recursive. Really? <laughs> the definition of recursion is recursion, right? <laughs> No, it means re recursion is characterized by a high level of recursive. It it like it is recursive. So recursive would be characterized by a high level of recursion. Mm -hmm. There you go. Or maybe I don't know. Um, it, let's see. Uh, it's, Wikipedia says the condition of existing in granules or grains refers to the extent to which a material or system is composed of distinguishable pieces. Yeah, what he means when I he don't says think this. He is that you can move in like all down to the finest of angles in R R Rocket League like you have a choice of all 360 or something like that <clears throat> rather than um I don't know eight directions 16 32 like Rocket League is, is as high as it can go I think is what he's trying to say absurdly so yeah there you go like Rocket League, either give you perfect fine grain control of the character, or at least the ability to influence a trajectory. First, those are not dichotomous. When... What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Why? Why would you have those two things as th this or that when they're not? Yeah, like controlling a character, that... every specific movement, or to influence a trajectory. It's like those two things are like. Not even in the same realm. What do you think? A lot of like difficult. That's what difficult platformers are. Having to be very accurate and precise. What a, Third, ugh. when done well, these mechanics allow you to move with flow, which is. What does it mean to be done well? You haven't done that yet. Hello. <laughs> like, just is, like I can make the argument. I'm just like, where's yours, Mark? What are you doing? when you fluidly move through a level without stopping or slowing down too much. So perhaps that's chaining together moves across an entire level or keeping your momentum with careful navigation of the space. Careful. This can be particularly fun in games with environmental interactions as you bounce from one object to another, but that's as much to do with level design as it is the basic movement mechanics. Yeah, you said that already. Yeah. We did this. We don't know so the explanation. Maybe that's that what he's point. getting into now. Oh God, we've done this. Yeah, yeah, we have. <laughs> he's, he can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> we've we, we've done. He does. We haven't done the why. He just repeated the what. Yes. He even yes, said he perhaps did. it's the fact that, and then repeated himself. It's like no, you just circled back. You're cheating. 
fourth, and perhaps most importantly, these advanced movement mechanics are a test of skill. Oh, I think thank you mean fuck. first. You mean he's, first. Did he just say perhaps? I, I can't believe he's finally gotten. I don't care how he got here. He got here. It's a test of skill. So <laughs> thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. We're finally yes, we here, everyone. It. We yeah. did it. He Four also said it to go. was don't waste fourth. It. Yeah. He said this was the Delicious fourth thing game. he's brought up. It's not. It's the first it's thing the first you brought thing up, you should be bringing up. Perhaps. I'm going into depth with Jesus. When moves, you need to know how and when to link these actions together, <sighs> and probably in midair. Oh, or are when we going back to speed. number one? Now, yeah, how and when is timing, and then linking them up is combos, and it's just like, yeah, these things take skill. You can't, don't cheat now. You can't so separating, go, it takes yeah, skill, and then is, repeating mm. all six of them again. He just needed to get the time. Don't be cheating, Mark. Go into why these things are hard and why it matters that we overcome them, okay? To using the environment, there's a certain level of precision needed to guide your character onto a rail or bounce path. I like that phrase, a certain level oh. of precision. Uh, this, this precision required to achieve particular things in a wide, broad environment, you're like, yes. It's a I don't even disagree perfection. with him, that's the thing, you can't disagree with him, because he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say any. he's never said anything, his entire <laughs> life is ambivalence, it... it <sighs> when they're like, do you want to refill your coffee, hon? He's like, hmm. But first, In let's explore well. <laughs> what is coffee. He's like, yes. I wouldn't like to decline you, but at the same time, agreement? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, no. <laughs> Moving on. No, but cups. that implies like one or the other. It has to be one thing and then something irrelevant. Like I could accept your offer, or I could go to the bathroom. And he leaves. <laughs> like, okay. No, he doesn't do anything. He just sits there, staring <laughs> into the abyss. Staring. <laughs> and his and his wife is used to it, so she just goes wife? back to her business. No she just goes back to the bedroom and cries. Oh, yeah. no wife. I feel bad for this theoretical Mark Brown wife. Out of, out of all the years, she's Andre. never heard a single flush or hands wash, and she's it's scaring her more and more each day. <laughs> Rail or bounce pad. And timing, naturally, tests your timing. Momentum Are you fucking kidding me? Timing, timing, timing tests your timing? Tests your timing? Is he just timing, timing me. tests your timing? <laughs> no, I timing remember. doesn't test your timing. Timing tests your predictive capabilities and your reflexes. No, it tests your, your it's timing. Pattern it, 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 it's pattern recognition. Timing is timing, and also timey wimey. Wait a minute. <laughs> just like, just gobbly gook. Mark, I, mean, I was, I was thinking earlier, I really wanted to just do an April Fool's Day video where he's just like, me a big boy. <laughs> me, me, me big boy, like, me play big boy game. And <laughs> we do the cha-cha. Like, just a <laughs> fucking complete gibberish. Just nothing. For like 13 straight minutes. At the end, and then yeah. at the end, he I still mean, has the, the gall to promote his Patreon. I yeah. would be curious how far he could push this. Um, Keep this channel yeah. alive. As each video goes dying, by yeah. being more and more overt until he eventually says something <laughs> like, you know, video games are media. Yeah, but somebody will be like, it's so deep. He's yeah, like, what is he saying? Really? Yeah. Think about it. I like video games. I guess this I like media. Tests your timing. Momentum has a built-in skill check. The faster you move, the harder the game is to control. Trajectories can be particularly hard to understand until you internalize their unique arcs. And physics-based characters... Just repeating all of it. Oh, yep. Oh. Actually, you just said, said like, shit. It's like, oh, I, you know, I really want to play Marble Blast or something. It's it, it, yeah. I feel like that's the only thing I get out of this game is like, oh, that's a cool game. Yeah, Marble I can't want to cool play game. that. And my I brain know. is utterly turned off. That's it's just, pretty much always how it goes with this video. So you're just like, yeah, I really want to play that game. That'd be fucking dope. Uh, that's that's that, yeah, it's you saying, I would rather be playing a game right now. I'd rather be doing something that's fun and engaging yeah, and interesting like, instead of listening to, to Mark actually... Brown. Yeah, pretty much. The worst Mark. Mark Brown. Timing. Tests. Timing. I'm just, I'm just upset he didn't say vertical. How could I, I? I don't understand how you could write that down in a script. Okay, you could look at it for maybe three or four or five times, right? As you look over, he didn't your script. look at it three or four he, or five times. Okay, he looked at it as he was doing it. Hypothetically, right? Hypothetically, you're seeing this. You're seeing it. Where you're saying <laughs> timing tests timing. You're looking you're at that. Okay. And then you have to read it. You read that aloud. You read that with your own voice. You hear that, 
and you you then are still okay. You take it, you put it into your editing. You're doing your editing. You listen to it. You're listening to that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're listening to it. Timing <laughs> has timing. You've read it multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> this timing is a bad it. Timing. You, you, hey, you said Moriarty. it yourself. <laughs> Moriarty. Moriarty. <laughs> then you put it out. Moriarty. You're making this a video. Moriarty. What? Have you? Have you, um, you know who you sound like when you when you get really like loud like that and desperate? <laughs> Ooh, Rick Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> all the Canadian treasure. <laughs> that is all. I just don't, that is, man. Like, that's all I want to say. I, um, I think uh, the CFAP's going well. I would. He, he's argue, the only human being that's on autopilot. Even if he believed <laughs> that he was using the word timing and that they, in a valid way, meant were referring to different things, would it not be worth using a different word to make sure your audience understands the difference? Timing. Well, timing. That's timing. That's. Yeah. I just, yeah. yeah. Might be worth timing. separating them out just a little bit. And physics based characters are naturally challenging to navigate. And so while these advanced what's, moves what's offer a, what huge. What is a physics based character versus a un, non physics based character? I guess it's is when. That... Uh, so if you have. I guess when people <laughs> say physics based, it's more of a. Um, it, it's when it gets to a certain level of physics based. Like people don't generally consider. Um, Mario, a physics-based game, I don't think, but there's elements of it in there. There's some conservation of momentum when you change directions. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, going yeah. up and down. But there's nothing specific about what he just said. I guess is what I'm saying. Oh, like, really? He, he said, yeah. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> literally the same thing we've been repeating because it's literally what he's fucking repeating. And just... physics-based characters are naturally challenging to navigate. Snakes and pipes. Physics-based characters are naturally challenging to av uh, navigate. It's almost like you might have even have thought yeah. for a moment, That's if I have like full not... control of a physics-based character, wouldn't it be easier to navigate them? And it's like, no, harder. You're like, wait, there's a whole subject here, yeah, I think, I... right? Yeah, I wouldn't, I would, yeah, not intrinsically by any stretch of the imagination. There's plenty of physics-based stuff that probably is super easy to navigate. It just depends. Mm -hmm. A lot of physics-based games start off simple, and then they get more and more complex and more difficult. Yeah. And so while the advanced moves offer huge advantages over the more basic running and jumping, such as making you move... I like how watching that Spider-Man gameplay twice now, it just shows how it just doesn't make sense. In what way? Like when he, when he uses the, the spider web beneath him, he shoots upwards. Mm-hmm. Because they the just want it, they want it to be a flying game, but they're like, oh yeah, that's right, Spider-Man can't fly. Webs. Boom. Jumping. I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Advanced moves offer huge advantages over the more basic running and jumping, such as making you move faster, take shortcuts, or get the drop on enemies in combat. They come with a huge skill barrier, and until you can surpass it, you're going to spend barrier? a lot of time scraping your face against the tarmac. But that oh, you see, I don't uh, know about a huge skill barrier is definitely not what. Maybe he is just really shit at video games, which I would believe, and so he would consider that like a huge skill barrier to learn. Just fundamental movement in video games. Yeah, it could be. Like, it's I a huge skill barrier. But that leads to the fifth and final similarity. Oh, shit. Which is when you do have that skill, all of these movement mechanics are intrinsically satisfying to use. Intrinsically satisfying. satisfying. Do you know? Do you know what that word means? God damn. Like, no, satisfaction is something that we derive from things. It's not intrinsic. I don't think satisfaction's intrinsic to anything. It, it's a, it's like a value, almost. You derive satisfaction from things. There are reasons for it. That's not intrinsic to, to get satisfaction like, from overcoming challenges. I, you, and you could argue the reverse again. People who are experts, like crazy levels of experts who know everything back to front, I'm going to get a lot of satisfaction out of everything doing what they expect. And, you know, typically mm -hmm. speaking, they'll just be using it's very um, autopilot y. They're like, yeah, like if you mechanical. watch like no hit runners for Dark Souls, they're very mechanical at that point. Yeah. Like they're, they're just running through. It's like, oh, they'll be the most satisfied. Like, no, the most satisfied players are probably the ones that are overcoming it for the first time. That's probably the peak level of satisfaction when you first 
fully understand it and win. Doing something different. Yeah, or doing, I would say doing something that you know is difficult the first time yeah. can be extremely satisfying. And then you have the other side where you try and try and try and try and then you finally do it. And that could be very satisfying. But it depends. Or you might not get any satisfaction from it whatsoever. You could be totally exactly, apathetic. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, I beat that level its, in Mario, I guess. This is its own video yeah. to talk about where does satisfaction typically derive from with, for different people? Because another one would be when you've definitely beaten the thing and you can do it consistently and you look back on how you couldn't even do it the one time and now you're like, oh man, this is fucking satisfying. I've mastered it, you know? There's so many yeah. different ways it can happen. What a strange thing to throw in there. This is the thing, whenever he makes a claim, we can actually talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. ...are intrinsically yeah. satisfying yeah, to use. Yeah. When chaining moves, you're performing tiny, quick-fire piano melodies on the controller, which wow. just feels amazing. Quick-fire piano <laughs> melodies. <laughs> Dang it. Tiny, oh, quick-fire mm. piano melodies on your controller. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> fuck off. That's the only thing you could say. It's just fuck off, Mark. Holy <laughs> shit. Piano melodies? Your when I am working, when, when I am engaged in a firefight in Halo multiplayer, a tiny symphonic uh, orchestral resonant theme is playing on my keyboard as I move. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. I thought you were saying he was going to describe the gunfire as orchestral. <laughs> this arpeggio of bullets. No, gunfire scares me. <laughs> you think he has like an editor Suburbs. who goes through it and says this isn't pretentious enough. You need to you need to really ratchet. You gotta this crank up. those numbers the up. Mortars fire terms. around me like drums. Make you sound really smart. A cacophony. That's a good word yeah. you can put out there. You can throw it yeah. out there. Oh, yeah. It's a free one. On the finger, you're exploiting the environment. The you're constantly making plans about your route forward and uh, hitting a button in a mic. Constantly making plans about your route forward. That was a constant. That's just a constant. You never don't Ooh. think about where you're moving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on. Microscopic timing window and getting a big burst of feedback is always a hit. This Building game looks. Now easy. he's talking about dopamine. I know. It yeah, really I don't know if I'd say microscopic like windows of opportunity when you're talking about a game like that. It, lo it looks really. It looks it looks really simple. I mean, granted, I haven't played it, so that's all with an asterisk. But it doesn't look like I have to have incredible timing in order to succeed at it. Mm. Momentum lets you get almost uncontrollably fast, putting you in thrilling white knuckle situations as you try not to slam into a wall and expertly oh, navigate. I like how the races. cursor was clearly not on that box, and the game's like, yeah, that's close. <laughs> Let's just give it to him. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> almost you like uncontrollably hooks though. Yeah, more like, grappling, like how many grappling hooks. hooks. Probably fast, putting you in thrilling white knuckle <laughs> situations as you try not to slam into a wall. God, he really missed that one, yeah. That was and it, expertly yeah. navigating a character while navigating gravity. Expert. and Expertly it's navigating expertly. a character. Oh. He just loves his end. little grapples. He likes. He to loves to devalue there. the word. He he loves to devalue mm. words. Expert level. I was like, <laughs> calm down. Other physics-based interactions just feels great. Skimming oh. close to the ground with Just Cause's wingsuit is an unparalleled treat. See, he's um, appealing to individual moments in all of these different games to hopefully hit the broadest audience into making you go, Yeah, I like doing that. Unparalleled. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And when he describes You'll it as expert, that makes the audience feel even better. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. Wow. It's true though. Easy like, to that's, say that's that. what he does is just it's all hyperbole and nothingness. He is hyperbolic nothingness. Oh. Just say video game cool for 13 minutes. <laughs> I like video game. And it's like normie cool. It's not actually cool. Mm -hmm. It's like normie yeah. anime cool. Oh yeah, well he's <laughs> he's just it's from his perspective. He just keeps saying it's cool, it's cool, it's rad. It's like somebody describing bleach at me. Just like, yeah, it's cool. You just, it's, it's wicked. You don't get it. You don't get it. It would be <laughs> that movement in a game feels good because you're playing as a character with awesome abilities, but I think it's the player's physical performance of these skills that feels satisfying. Well, so now you know. So, like, spectacle's a whole other thing. So, if it was like a cutscene, people could get blown away. And if it's the, the, murky line between mechanical inputs and a cutscene, so you press, you're tapping A to do all of the crazy shit, different players have different reactions to all this shit. Like, oh, it's the mechanical satisfaction, though. And you're like, uh, uh, maybe? Could be? 
It could be all kinds of he, things. He could, it's really complicated. He could, go, he could go on a tangent about like the difference between uh, it, input and result. Say, for example, like a fighting game, which is very precise. Everything you press has an immediate reaction. It does the one thing, yeah. and if you fuck up, it's completely your fault versus another fighting game like Batman Arkham Asylum where you're kind of it's more about the spectacle than skill you're just kind of mashing buttons and mm. you're just watching Batman do his thing it's it's that line of input where the game just takes over for you I mean it's a complicated mm. subject and if you uh, it, the game is like press a a b b x y x y a a b b and you type it all in and then your character does some crazy bullshit and you're just watching it you could still be like well that was satisfying because I got it right like, sure, yeah. The line is make so complicated, about... the subject like this. Yeah, you can make this entire video just about satisfaction based on input instead. Yeah. Or you can make a good video. <laughs> <laughs> good video. He has the tools. I mean, I hope so. Fuck. These skills that feel satisfying and not just the super heroic imagery on screen. Wrong. Though, let me give a couple caveats. <gasps> One is that games should look- Imagine caveat and something so fucking broad. Like, well, broad and- sorry, not broad, vague. Imagine caveat and something so vague. You're just like, it's nice when good things happen. Let me caveat that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what you're saying yet, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's really stupid. Oh. For pre but not perfection. So it's good to have systems this that was subtly like my help the player. This, this was in a oh, yeah, yeah. This was one of the greatest FPS levels ever fucking made. It's Don't even so at good. me. To to see this in a Mark Brown video is <laughs> like to value. Why do you think it's it here? So it's to make you think about that and feel good. That's why it's here. It's terrible. Stop. Games it. should look for precision, but not perfection. So it's good to have systems that Fucking subtly help the player. Cause. You should look for precision, not perfection. Is that what you just said? Hang on. One is that games should look for precision, but not perfection. I mean, in the goal of getting precision, pr precision, you, you, you're trying to get it as precise as you can, right? Like aiming for as close to perfection as possible. Unless he's trying to like argue that you want to, uh, you can you can give up at some point as long as it's precise enough. I don't know. This is Weird dichotomy. What? Yes. Like, don't go nuts. Just get good enough. And you're like, but Mark it is good enough. So it's that's good the to thing, things. right? Like he's talking about perfection, but he, he's not talked about anything being perfect up until now. There's no. Yeah. Well, like, this is oh, the caveat you... section. <laughs> this is like, oh, Just... okay. He's infuriating. Yeah. That subtly help the player out. I've talked before about Coyote Time, which is letting the player jump off a platform. More like bullshit time for shitty players. <laughs> jump when <laughs> kind you of. Up the platform. <laughs> I mean, I mean he, if, if he wants to go into, yeah, this, this is throughout games. It's a handicap yeah. for when you fuck up. Mm -hmm. Sure. But, but you want to, yeah. It's fair for, for casual players, it's certainly. It's fine. I'm just kidding. Even if they run off the edge, we can do something similar on the landing by pushing the player to safety if they were just a few centimeters away from the ledge. You might also give the player moves to save themselves from a bad jump, like being able to write your board back in line with the ground in Tony Hawk's, or slow time and dash in Ghost Runner, which can be used to- Yeah, so now we're just talking about things that help you nail shit when you I, fuck it up. Like, these aren't like caveats so much as like, Additional mechanics, of, really. Yeah, really. Realign for a wall run. And in King of Cards, if you get hit in midair, you'll get a free shoulder bash move, which can be used for a last minute frantic scramble to safety. Again, this just feels like remember these games. Yep. Game, all these different games. Right? Yeah. And secondly, this oh, brings no. us back to something I explored oh, no. in a video late last year. The idea of whether the player should be given a power fantasy through slick animation and highly automated systems, or have to earn the power fantasy through the application of hard Wait won a second. skill. Is he actually describing what I just talked yeah, about? We, we, but we, I we... can't imagine he actually did it well, so that's fucking weird. No, he just goes, hey, here's a guy who looks cool in armor, here's the guy who's not. Oh this my god, no! This is this is so disheartening. It's just like What? You mean Spider-Man in a jacket isn't cool? Oh um, my he, god. Well, the, this is uh, the topic of whether or not earning the cool thing or seeing the cool thing. That, that's, that's it. 
by earning. I think, I think a lot of people, a lot of normies, just don't give a fuck about whether they earned it or not. They just yeah. want to see the numbers pop up and get to the next level. This and that to yes. them that translates as I earned that right because I'm here. And I would argue you know? that yeah. helps. The explain... game wouldn't cheat for me, would it? Yeah. Speaking of which, the the fucking uh, doom on screen. Everyone complaining about the the marauder and be like, get rid of him. He's impeding my enjoyment. I actually have to do something in this game. I don't know if that's, is that a hot take? I have no idea. No, that was the, yeah, that was the thing. Like people were actually yelling at the developers to get rid of the marauders from the game because it was too hard, quote unquote, too hard. Um, it was unfair. They're not, they're not too hard. They're just a boring fucking chore that brings everything Very to boring. a grinding halt. Yep. It, you can make that argument, but they weren't. They were definitely saying that like the 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 difference in skill level is just like it's just too high of a mountain to climb. Like I, you're, I would you're say hurting that my enjoyment. I would say I can definitely see why people would say that, considering that they just they appear and you're like, oh, well, this is so different from everything else and how it plays out that I people would it's people would see it as just like, oh, it's just not fun to play because it's I, I totally it's it's because it's not it's not fun to play. It's just mm -hmm. a boring slog and a chore and. Uh, so yeah. this, the, 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 like the faith in the consumer to be like. Yeah, I want more mechanically complex things that I can, uh, you know, increase my skill level at. It's like, I mean, the visual spectacle seems to be what drove video games to being less and less uh, interesting on that level to begin with. Like, oh, um, yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait for us to jump to 8K visuals. We'll be like, when is 60 FPS? When are we getting that? <laughs> can we have that back, yeah. please? Please. Ultimately, we want something that can do both. Easy to use, but hard to. So please oh check Oh my god, out. he said it. He said the thing. I hate him. And that's the thing, he says but. it, but he doesn't mean it. Or he never, like, <laughs> it doesn't, like, mean anything. He just says the word, but it's just, it's just word soup. Well, it's just fucking shit. It feels He's like he talking took shit. 12 minutes to say something that should have been the opening 10 seconds. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, this is where you start. It's like I feel like we've now laid some form of an idea on the table. You're like, excellent. <laughs> this, this should be the, literally the first thing he said. We said that earlier. We're just like, that's the question you pose, and then you try to solve it. And even if you don't get to a conclusion, if you you could just bring up it. Like you could make relatively something close to what he's already making, where he just sort of like talks about subjects leaning on one side or the other. That would be something more. He's just. But in this, he just says things. He just yep. it's just movement, grapple hook, momentum. Thank you. Goodbye. That was 13 minutes of your life. People... Please donate to my Patreon. Just throws that in there. <laughs> and, and this thing. Yeah, when stuff it... like this, it ain't cheap to make. And, and, and the fucking title too. Like the title is just confusing when you think about what he's just said, which is that uh players want it to be that it's easy to get into it, but it's hard to master it. That's how you turn movement into a game mechanic. You're like, wait, what do you mean? What? Those two things aren't... <laughs> <laughs> but hard to master. So please check out that video no. for more information and ideas no, for how to make... More information? Never, never stop watching It doesn't have videos, information. Please. Don't lie to us. <laughs> it's rude. Make these movement systems more accessible to a wider audience. Owned. So how do we make interesting movement systems in games? If you ask me, we're looking for mechanics that give players a real freedom of movement. You said that already. A real freedom of movement, <laughs> but like, no. This is his like third summary, right? So yeah, we like, that like this already <laughs> is, we want to give people freedom of movement, but you're like, okay, well calm down. They say that I repeat like, myself. Limitations are key. Yeah. How many times have you said this? Yeah, and how many I, times have Literally, it's like his fourth summary through analog inputs that let them fully control how their character moves. Well, wait. If the way he's defined analog inputs, meaning that you have, like, full control over them, that's, like, one way of doing it. The restriction on your, uh, let's say, your grapple in a game could be a part of the challenge. Like, your grapple only works one specific way, and that's you have to use it that way, and you have to think about how you can use it that way to manipulate it in conjunction with other mechanics or whatever. Like, being like, oh, well... The, uh, the Titanfall 2 mechanic is just grapples at its best. It's like, well, I mean, it's it's amazing from what the looks of it, but, like, not every game is going to want that to be the case, depending on what its challenges are. Like, what? Mm -hmm. You can't make that a broad statement. Yeah, you want to encourage creativity. 
Yeah, yeah. Asked and you have least. to be creative because of the limitations. That's what I mean. I can't believe he's missing that element of this. We want to test, or at least reward, the player's skill. Test, or at least reward them. Right? Well, like, sure. when you break it down, what the fuck did you just say, dude? Because I... Uh, man... And create movement that feels satisfying when you perform it well. Ugh. <laughs> Let's beg the question again. You can't. You've involved the answer in your fucking question. It has to feel good to play it well. You're like, wait, I've. You've defined all of this. I just have to agree with you. Have you? Have you guys ever seen that that scene in in the movie American Psycho where they're just sitting on the dinner table and the protagonist is just going, "I think we need to promote women's rights and eliminate yeah. poverty," <laughs> and just he just went on with this lot for like 30 fucking straight seconds and everyone's like that was beautiful patrick and he just doesn't provide any solutions whatsoever he just lists yeah. off all these really impressively grandiose sounding things and they're just like tremendous excellent yeah. yes we he should really just says like we need to feed the hungry we need to like build infrastructure in africa we need to like he, he just lists like vague things but not how to do them and people go wow yeah. you're a people genius like, that's so brave well tell me what you so disagree brave. with the statement things should be better no that, that but it it like sorry yes. what's your patreon oh, yes. <laughs> 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 Fuck! God damn it. Well, before we continue, what is your Patreon? <laughs> oh my god. Because I create think things should be better. Movement that feels satisfying when you perform it well. I hate that. Epic. <laughs> feels satisfying when you perform it well. Oh. It hurts. Whether that's through quick fire finger action on the controller or stomach clenching, don't, don't say finger action. Lines. I've established a number of elements that work towards these goals. Six. From... You, uh, I have established a number of elements. You have like described <laughs> some things loosely on screen. Yeah, but he, this isn't going to help tools. you make a video game. No, it won't at all. If someone made a great video game after watching those Mark Brown videos, I'd be like, it was you. It wasn't him. It was, it was coincidental. You. Yeah, it was no. you. T don't let him take credit. It was you. Your brain did this. It wasn't him. <laughs> he's, he's, he doesn't tell you anything. From changing a big load of actions to toying with the trajectory of a... He really did repeat himself over and over and over again. Yeah. Just to mm -hmm. get this runtime out. Wingsuit under gravity. But there are probably more to discover and this probably, probably more to <laughs> discover. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mark. You're sparing us from all this wealth Billy of Billy information said, you're holding back probably. on. Earlier he said it wasn't exhaustive, and now he's saying there's probably more, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to Maybe. click another video to find out. <laughs> More. So, in the comments below, what's your favorite movement system? Oh, I hate that. It's the appeal oh, I, to I, nourish the algorithm. What can I, we... yeah. I, I wrote in the comments, my favorite movement is legs. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, could you talk about forwards? Just going forward. I want you to just break it okay. down for me. No, forward implies some kind of, like, progression. <laughs> it's okay. like, I hate that. There are so many angles, and of all of them, which is the best? This has been argued for time and time again, but we all know that forward is the superior master angle. <laughs> I oh, yeah. don't know. What about the acute angle? Yeah, there angle, you go. The obtuse angle. And he's like, you're getting far too complicated. <laughs> I Stop just... that. I, that was too precise. I couldn't even do an accurate representation of the fucking god brain that is Mark <laughs> Ass Brownlee. System in a... And most crucially of all, why? Do why? <laughs> yes, it's why? No, why? No, this is where the video begins. No! <laughs> no, Mark, please. <laughs> no, Mark, this is where he's supposed to start. No. <laughs> he's, he's breaking convention. Oh, he God. starts from, He does it. It's like memento. Oh, he does it all my backward. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. <laughs> Figure it out for yourself, gamer. Figure it out for yourself, <laughs> gamers. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've given you the puzzle pieces. Time for you to... Remember when he made us figure out the secret of Mara's job? Now he's making us figure out the why of his whole video. How could you? I, I love that he just ended with why. <laughs> <laughs> like Gordon Ramsay walking at you out of a dark alley, just why. <laughs> it's like, I don't... I don't... Oh. I don't. Well... It was, it's always nice to go back to Mark Brown, huh? Nice. Yeah, no, it's, it's very nice. nice. That's a weird word. It's great. 
Look, wow. okay, so I think that one was worse than the Cuphead video by by like several measures. Um, How would you decide said, that? You he that? said even less. Yeah, somehow. I would say that he was more inaccurate on this one. Which is rare for him, yeah. Yeah, because he would he would legitimately have be talking about something and showing something on screen that was just contradictory to it. He doesn't know what intrinsic means or <laughs> caveat. <laughs> Or quality, um, he just there's there's so it's confusing if you actually pay attention to it, and it's not helpful in any way. We, it, it almost it this gives me the idea that if you were going to make a game and follow these video, I want to say instructions, but that would be too generous. If you're just going to use this as a loose guide to make a game, it's almost like you'd just be painting by numbers and making something dull and bad. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, Chase, you still there? Muted bastard. Oh, uh, yeah, you, I'm here. You, I'm just, you suggested earlier that we look at someone for contrast, Mr. Ahoy. So, I don't know if yes. he has, um, like, copyright stuff on his videos. I guess we'll find out today. Um, I and, do not believe so. He does all of his own music and everything. He just shows video game footage. And we will, uh, we will try and comment on it, um, here and there, but, like, we will, I guess we'll play the whole thing or whatever, but I've selected mm -hmm. a shorter video for anybody in chat who's like what's this ahoy person let's just i'll, I'll show you a bit of a video the similarities and we yes, can please. we'll see what we can see oh he's fantastic just um spot the good youtuber yeah, is what the second yeah. is called the best designs are timeless the wheel light bulb sliced bread i don't know if this I weapon light bulb timeless. ranks among them the M1911 is an American semi-automatic oh. pistol whose use spans over a century. So what set this weapon apart from early semi-automatic designs? I mean, I'd say if like, um, like if we want to talk about how like timeless, I suppose I'd, I'd wonder like in what sense, I mean, like iconic. I'd probably use iconic instead of timeless, I suppose. Because he said the light bulb would, was timeless. I'm like, no, those are not gonna. No, that's no. We've been we're, we're those aren't gonna be a thing for you know. Notice he but, did he did the, he's what what we're thirty seconds in and he said a thing the the thing that is the subject and he says mm -hmm. and he posed a question why is it so such and such why is it the way that it is. Well, yeah, um, like some can... of this associated with the M1911 has been around for fucking ages, and so if you know that, but you don't know why, you should already be intrigued now. You're like, hmm, why is it around for so long? What, what's so good about it? And him, I doubt he means a literal timeless um, for any of the things he mentioned. I imagine most inventions aren't going to be yeah, timeless. Yeah, I assume he'll elaborate on it. Because, yeah. um, of, of course, the M1911 isn't timeless either, but uh, nor would any gun probably be timeless. It, it, uh, unless you're talking not. about, I would say like, um, yeah, I'd say iconic or revolution. Well, I mean not revolutionary, but I iconic is probably a good way to, I'd say it. What's well, like a step down from timeless? Time, um, it it, it lasted say, for a while. <laughs> I would I would say I think iconic would be that one because of its. Well, actually, I don't know. There are things that are iconic that weren't really used. Um, but I know yeah, it's kind of Cudi has to say yeah. The wheel is pretty I, I timeless. Know. I mean, there'll probably be a point where we won't use the wheel. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm going a little bit crazy here, thinking about when we evolve into like energy blobs or some shit. <laughs> like, <when we> go <laughs> really oh man. Uh, okay. How has it influenced Eta pistols? And how on earth has a wartime design remained so popular? Yes, a couple of very good questions. Yeah. Around the turn of the 20th century, the earliest self-loading pistol designs appeared. Inspired by Maxim's machine gun, weapons like the Borchardt C93 and Mauser C96 attempted to scale down a repeating mechanism into a handheld package. The first American to do the same was John Moses Browning. Oh, he told us where it was inspired from, what they're trying to do in terms of reducing a bigger thing to a smaller thing, and then who did it. Yep. Like history lessons right now, and then probably application. Yeah. A legendary arms designer credited with many firsts. Amongst them was the first production handgun with a slide, the FN M1900. His semi-automatic pistol designs saw iterative improvements over the next decade, culminating in one manufactured by Colt and subject to trial by the US Army. 
six designs were submitted, but only two were in major contention, a Savage Arms design providing a rival to Browning's. Over an endurance test of 6,000 rounds, the Savage had 37 malfunctions. The Colt had none. 30, by the way, 37, pretty impressive considering what it I was in the was, time period. I think that's what he was trying to do with that, was like, man, what a small amount of malfunctions. And then he was like, the Colt yeah. had zero. It's like, whoa. <laughs> that is extremely impressive. Mm-hmm. Performance led to its official adoption in 1911 as the M1911. We we'll know where it got its name. Yeah, look at One of the weapon's defining traits is its calibre. 45 automatic Colt pistol. The rimless, straight-walled cartridge is designed for two things. Reliable self-loading operation and stopping power. The US military's earlier experience with 38 long Colt revolvers had led to one conclusion for any future sidearm. Nothing less than a 45 would do. Browning's design has been particularly influential. Many modern pistols follow its form and mode of operation. It does lack some modern conveniences. It is single action only, meaning that the hammer must be cocked for the first shot, either manually or by racking the slide. However, I, w I wish he would elaborate on that just a little bit when he says the like manually or, you know, cocking the slide. Uh, the but. one thing about this is this is a series, and so I I don't know if he assumes you've seen other videos where he may have explained these portions. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think he expects that. Um, maybe like, maybe. Well, is at it, the you same would time, assume that manually means racking the slide because you're having to do that. But yeah, I, I you know, a little thing, just a little thing. Complicated design does have some perks. A crisp trigger and reliable yeah. function. Mm -hmm. Its short recoil operation is equally elegant. The barrel pivots about a swinging link, seamlessly locking and unlocking with the slide during firing. This principle has subsequently been imitated in a surprising amount of modern pistol designs. Models by Glock, H&K, SIG and more all have an action with a tilting barrel and all owe this operation to Browning's 1911 design. In the early 1900s, the US military was relatively small, a product of non-interventionism and reticence for war. However, the increasing scale of global conflict proved impossible to ignore, and with America's entry into World War I in 1917, a period of rapid military expansion followed. In response to wartime experience, the 1911's design was slightly revised as the M1911A1, principally to fix minor ergonomic gripes. The changes include a smaller trigger with smoother frame molding, and a longer back spur to prevent any painful interaction with the hammer while firing. The weapon really came into its own during World War II, with a huge ramp in production during this time. Nearly two million such pistols were procured by the war's end. Plenty to go around, and enough to ensure surplus for years after. I feel like something should be said. <laughs> um, there's the, so little uh, to say, because it's just such a good video. Yeah, yeah it, it is it, really good. I would... Yeah. Um, like, you just it's get like I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting some bits of history, as well as some of that earlier, you know, aforementioned... Oh wow! Yeah, I remember how cool this game is. I want to play that. Hell yeah! Like well, he, yeah, just, so he makes me want to play shooters every time I watch second, his fucking um, content. Off, if you will, of any gun breakdown, we'll just he'll show how the guns are in, in like loads of games at once, and uh, yeah. usually yeah. talk about their influence in media as well. Um, hence, because maybe like, someone was like, "How does this compare to Mark Brown?" It's like, "Oh well, actually, uh, Ahoy does loads of video game stuff. He's just also a he likes guns a lot." Yeah, oh. and that plays a huge part in video games. Yeah. Like they're using real world weapons. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, the the great thing about this video too is like I'm also really fucking quiet because like uh, I I this is actually one of my favorite handguns in history. But I I'm still learning shit in this video. Like I felt like I knew just about anything or everything about it, but there's so much more that I'm getting out of this, and then we're only halfway through this video. I'm just like kind of wowed by it and its production value. I've seen this stuff before, but like I, I'm never not wowed by his videos. Oh my god, so, yeah, they're super, super slick. But yeah, I mean, the video is going to be about eight minutes in total. So 
he's not he's really very cover, efficient. Yeah, he wants to cover the basics because like there's going to be channels yeah. that go into way more detail and tell you a lot more about any of these guns. Uh, but these are like primers, I guess. Intros. Yeah, his intro was like thirty seconds, and then do 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 keep going. This that reasons why here. Yeah, there's he doesn't waste time. Like Mark Brown and, wastes time, he, lots of time. Well, <laughs> really long videos too. He he is the anti Mark in Brown. half the time. I feel like we've watched like seven Mark Brown videos now in terms of vague information you might be able to piece together. It's like, well, you're getting there. So his best video, if you ask me, is um, the first video game, which is an hour long video. Uh, it has some oh, yeah. of the coolest. Just the the. He, I don't know if he actually did it with uh what what do you call it where where it's like photocopied onto um onto a transparent sheet that you can like shine lights through oh um you know, like projection sheet type of thing wow i used to so, know what they're called why am i blanking on that damn it i'm old yeah it was called overhead projectors or some shit yeah, yeah but yeah. it's like I whatever the paper's term. called um uh, I, I can't remember but he does the whole video on those yeah and like records it like microfilm style it's so incredibly cool and just ah and the the actual research that he does in there man it's... well yeah you might think to yourself like the first video game how do you even find that out well he lays out how he's gonna try and find it and he gives what is the best answer you're probably gonna find what the, the first yeah, game it's is. Great in. It's fantastic it's one of those things where you go I think this might have actually changed the discussion around what's the first video game mm -hmm. you know he makes uh, some very <clears throat> compelling arguments and the research is very solid the material is called acetate apparently acetate sheets Ooh. uh yeah yeah polybius the video for that's fucking great as well oh yeah yeah oh my, he did the, so good all yeah. the stuff he does is fantastic well, like i've him. never come away from one of his videos <clears throat> going oh wow they could have been better yeah, you kind of missed on that one <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the, the fact Jesus is, well, you got, Step it up. you got the voice and the the presentation. So even if he's not too great script wise at any point, it's an enjoyable presentation, which I I think Mark Brown at his best has as well. But like, fuck me, the scripts just never have anything in them. So it's just just empty, empty calories. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you I'm enjoy surprised. seeing indie indie uh, games and stuff set to like lo-fi hip hop beats, if like that's your thing and you don't really give a shit what you know if anything of substance is being said, then yeah, Mark Brown's fucking great. He's totally your guy. But you know, if you also want to take in new information, then yeah, maybe yeah. go with a Hoy instead. Fuck yeah. me, if anyone subscribed to Mark Brown, subscribe to a Hoy, please. Like, just <laughs> you could be both of them, right? Amazingly. In World War II shooters, quite often. Where American GIs are found, so too is the Colt. True to life, the weapon is shown as a sidearm, a comrade to weapons like the M1 Garand or Thompson. It's rare that it's given a prime role, but it's often at your side. Saving Private Ryan shoulders the blame for the popularity of World War II games at the start of the millennial decade. It was the Medal of Honor series that opened this trend an attempt to recreate some of the moments a soldier might have experienced from a first-person perspective, with a full complement of wartime weapons, 1911 and all. It's also here that the Call of Duty series first emerged, and as interest in wartime shooters waned, there was instead a transition to modern warfare. But of course, the M1911 would remain. There was simply no hurry to replace it. Most modern pistols use a similar principle, and while there are lighter designs of a higher capacity, the 1911's bulk does help to tame the recoil of its powerful cartridge. Still, its time in mainline service did come to an end with the US Army in 1985, when it was largely replaced by the Beretta M9. A controversial decision, but one needed for NATO which, standardization. Yeah, which shouldn't have been. Uh, why? Out of curiosity. I just I feel like if you you have a the gun is really great, but let's be honest, a a seven plus one capacity sidearm of its size is that's you know especially when a, when you get closer and closer as better and better and better things come out, you're just gonna have to get with the times eventually. It does seem odd like to I me would <clears throat> that they wouldn't have had something better in that amount of time, you know. Yeah, it it's it's just it's it's very. 
it's it's very reliable it is very iconic it's what it has is not at all bad but you just kind of you get to a point where it's obsolescent and you gotta you gotta move forward it's like the grand you know it's insanely good firearm excellent fantastic arguably the best battle rifle of the time probably probably say it was but you gotta eventually you gotta move forward you gotta change with the times and take advantage of new designs and yeah, pictures people just really go. liked it that's probably what was oh yeah it's yeah. super likable there's a lot to like about it it's great that's why we keep seeing it that's why people still buy those things like crazy yeah it's it's a right. it's in, like to this day it's one of the, the most popular and loved like sidearms and it's just a, it's just so fucking cool like i don't i know that's like a really like kind of dumb way of describing the game a uh, gun but like yeah, There's just cool. something yeah. so appealing about it. It is like the cool factor is, I don't know. It's just uh, like I see when you see that gun pop up in a movie or something, I feel myself just getting kind of giddy and excited. It's like this old classic, this old dog of war gun. And the fa it's a testament that it lasted so long, like 1911 to 1985. That's fucking incredible. Like, I don't think a handgun has ever been in service for that long in the modern age. I'm sure it's. I'd have to check record, longest guess, uh, uh, sidearm in service. Um, even in the Wild West, there was a lot of changes from Colt to single action army to. Oh, well, that's a. That, I mean, sorry, the that's still a Colt, but. Pistol. And the T800 used one in T2. It. Hell yeah! I think it is. Yeah, that's the right. With the laser sight. It probably oh, wait, is the 1911. T2. Yeah, or the um. Yeah, I'd probably, yeah, I think it is in terms of sidearms. Yeah, it's up there with the B-52 and the M-1919 and the M-2 Browning. And mm -hmm. I think the, the, the M-1903 Springfield they used for, oh, fucking ages. Yeah, it, it's it's insane that this game, this, this one gun existed <clears throat> from when the West was being kind of conquered to 1985. You know, it was it was right up there with Wonder Woman fighting a cougar or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> she was. Uh, yeah, I think you saw. I think. Yeah. Think about that, gamer. Uh, gamer. That's very epic. <laughs> Batman's parents were gunned down by 1911. Yeah, reliable. That's very true. Reliable. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Reliable. No, they fucking were. They fucking I mean, you got to break those pearls, man. You need yep. something hefty for that. <laughs> it's so fucking impractical, but I love it. Standardization. Nevertheless, the M1911 does remain with some units, notably with the US Marine Corps and some special forces. For those with the freedom to choose, it absolutely remains a favorite. Oh, I love this gun so much. A relic, so much. perhaps, so good. a holdover from a different age, but a worthy elective for those who respect their it elders. It was one of the best sidearms in this game. It's a signature weapon of Captain Bryce in Call of Duty, someone who clearly holds military tradition dear. It plays a pivotal role at the climax of Modern Warfare, and its reunion with Bryce gives rise to a brief ceremony in Modern Warfare 2. A torch passed from one generation to the next, a remembrance of roots, and a nod to the series' origin. While the 1911's military role has been reduced, it is now more popular than ever in civilian hands. Commonly yeah, seen man. in competitive shooting, Recreational use, or in concealed carry, courtesy of its low-profile single-stack magazine. Its long service lends it a potent dose of. I don't, I don't know. It's a 1911. Is it's a big gun. It ain't a small gun. It's yeah. You know, it is. I'll say in in modern day, it is a very big gun for how few bullets it holds. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Patriotism. It is a strong symbol of America. It's a display of allegiance for irregular forces. Soldiers of fortune who might not bear rank, but stand for freedom nonetheless. A fitting match for the machismo Oh my of... god, Duke Nukem Forever. Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> that, that came game. out ten years ago. Whoa, that yeah. was a game. ...of Duke Nukem. With a big enough bore to shake any feelings of inadequacy. There's little doubt that the 45 is all man. Wow. <laughs> A century of service, and ready for a hundred years more. A classic without compromise. The perfect intersection of ergonomics, reliable operation, 
and 45 caliber power. The pistol that forgot to become obsolete. The M1911. So slick. So slick. Antique. Veteran. Patriot. I literally have an erection. <laughs> I know, right? Thank so you. I, wish the one, I really <laughs> wish he showed the one from Killing Floor 2. The 1911 Mark Brown, from Killing Floor 2 the fuck is so out. fucking smooth. See, oh. so yeah, this is what it's like when we're Brown watching Brown. a video that is well made, immersive, yeah. and entertaining. There, there's know, not right? a whole lot to say. Oh, you know about what? It. That's what connects a Mark Brown, Stuart Brown. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> also, fun, better fun, Brown. fun fact. Fun Brownie. fact. Uh, Ahoy also has a channel. I don't think he uploads to it anymore, but he would review like alcohol. He would review like stouts and stuff. And he made it sound really fucking good. I don't even like stouts, but he made them sound chocolatey and creamy. And I was just like, I one of those now. Stuart is the best brown. He is. <laughs> yeah. True. The better brown. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I recommend his channel, especially as an alternative. Uh, you might learn something. That could be neat. Here and there. Pieces. Yeah, that was an eight minute video. Half as long as the uh, <laughs> movement. Yeah, eight video compared to 13 watched. and a half. Yeah. Lots of information. And I it want more. So good. So well, approachable. Uh, this could have been longer. Inject it in me. I um, want it all. Put it right yeah. into my goddamn veins. Very good. As, um, Inject it in my dick. As, oh. <laughs> Don't put it in. Go on. Thank you. You're saying? Uh, as, 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 oh as Moriarty mentioned, uh, that's Wait. a link in chat right now to his the first video game. Once the stream's over, go check it out and then decide. You know what? I might subscribe. Do do that. All right. Yes, genuinely, that's a really good one. That and uh, he did he did the uh, Polybius video that he did the entire soundtrack to, and I paid money to have it because it was just really good documentary backdrop music. So it if you is. ever ended up wanting to do, if you ever wanted to end up editing something together on your own, you need some slick background music. It's fucking really good OST. And he, really, you he, can use you can use it. I, I, mean, I guess. Know that. I'm guessing so. Yeah, with no yeah, like probably. copyright and shit too. I'm sure. Yeah. Which OST? Uh, Ahoy did a uh, Polybius video, and it has really good kind of like that, almost like Tron Legacy kind of like low energy synth wave throughout mm -hmm. a lot of it. Um, it's very slick, very relaxing, very calm. I don't okay. know. I I can't I can't say with certainty that it's completely copyright free, but uh, oh, okay. I just have used it in like personal projects and stuff. But uh, yeah, if it's on YouTube or whatever, I, I doubt he'd copyright it, though. He made it. I'm sure he's fine with other people using it. So yeah, which, go uh, try it out. Let us know. Which brings us to the tonald. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the one we've really? not seen his final. This is his last available food video. So uh, we're gonna see what Zelda either wants or is going to fight because it says Zelda versus food. Oh, oh, so, yeah. Well, Who knows what we're punching for. a brisket? Oh. oh, I should probably be careful with music. Got me copyright hit last time. No, he remembers it. He remembers. Yeah. So three of our food game show featuring Princess Zelda, a character that just harkens back to my childhood. Yeah. So on the menu today, we've got something really divine and regal. We'll make a crispy skin duck divine and regal. served with stuffed gnocchi, pumpkin, and a ricotta puree that is so tasty I will. Oh lick my god, I know some of those words. Clean. But oh. enough chatter. We've got a lot to do, so let's get started. All right, so first off, we're gonna make the gnocchi. Bake gnocchi. the taters, precious. <gasps> Three fitty, taters. one hour. We're making beet gnocchi stuffed with a horseradish jelly. So peel a couple pounds of beets and blend them into juicers. Wow, look at... <laughs> Gotta get them slow, oh. Covered in blood. <laughs> Put it in the you blender. Missed one. Blend it up. He did. Oh, he got, he's going to get it. He's going to get Dude, it. Dude, I wouldn't mind right now just biting into one of those. Just yeah. a juicy fucking beat. Cool. Yeah, they're so good. And we got the sick beats in the background too. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. I'd also let Tonal so beat me. Concentrate the flavor. I'd also beat Tonal's meat. <laughs> 
Do you know Whoa. what I'm saying? Uh, do, do you understand? No, I don't. What do you mean? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, <gasps> now he's rapping. Filling while that is reducing. Did he say meow? Cream, I shallots, girl. We confirm. <laughs> I think yeah. he said meow. I shall return to the. He is playful and cheeky meow. like that. Let's make the filling. Yes. All that is <laughs> meow. meow. Cream. And in the background of one of the scenes, you see like meow. headphones. Fresh. A subtle hint to Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> that was a, that was what you might call an Easter egg, gamers. Oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of eggs, we'll need three for this recipe. <laughs> That'd be such a good transition. Bring to a boil and let sit to infuse. You know, sometimes when watching cooking videos, I just see stuff happening and I'm waiting for it all to come together. Bring back to yeah. a boil. And very agar quickly, powder. Some agar you know, just powder, get some of your agar powder that you have lying around. Do you not have incorporated, any? Take it off the heat and pour into... I'll be honest, I don't even know what agar powder is. Kill it. I don't it's either. A, it's a thickening agent. Like, oh. uh, you would use, like, flour, cornstarch... Okay, um, Mark, you fucking cooking some... savant. No one asked, you piece of shit. Uh, he Fuck did you. ask! <laughs> I'm sorry, <'cause... laughs> Continue. <laughs> I, I was all it's literally bored. just a thickener. That's it. <laughs> you make people thick, you know that? <laughs> that could be interpreted. <laughs> Fuck his piece of shit. And very Please quickly, some agar powder, which is going to help set the filling. Once it's fully incorporated, take it off the heat and pour into molds. And then throw them in the freezer to fully set. Oh. Gotta get that slow-mo. Did he ever say who his cameraman is? His wife? I think it's his, that's him. Yeah. That's he's doing it. That's it's <gasps> him. He's doing it. He's Goro underneath his shirt. Science. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a goofball now. Yeah. Now we're ready to actually make the gnocchi. And the, the we're gonna combine text. Oh, three egg eggs with the hey. potato, which we will shove through a ricer. Oh my goodness. Double zero flour, the beet juice reduction, and salt and pepper. Oh. Strangely not used for rice. Strangely sexual. Yeah. <laughs> Right on the countertop, too. He knows what he's doing. That's Lovely. the kind of countertop you could eat off of. It's like my tank. Yeah. Now that's oh. a real man. I'm rolling this very, very gently, trying not to mess with it too much. Kneading dough activates gluten, which makes things more chewy. Gnocchi are little soft pillows, so be nice to it and don't mess with it too much. Mm -hmm. Be nice to the gnocchi. Like gotta, be nice to the gnocchi. That's to live by. Be nice to the gnocchi. It almost looks like meat. Oh, you're not being nice. <laughs> oh, the disrespect. And roll little beautiful balls. Work very balls. hastily, my mm -hmm. friends, because the delays balls. will start melting. So make a sound bite of beautiful, beautiful little balls. <laughs> oh, you push that right in. Oh, no. oh it as it this is it's actually food porn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you've got them all done, put them in the freezer. I've Before never wanted to fuck them in the food water so bath, much. Set to mm. 180 degrees Fahrenheit Sous for about 30 minutes. Jeez. The uh, contemporary oh, jazz. Oh, he even Asian even the text was wavering, result. like it this was in the water. This ricotta cream sauce mm, is nice. pretty damn good, and it's really easy to make too. Combine warm the milk, little ricotta cheese, softened butter, salt, pepper, and freshly ground nutmeg, and then blitz it. Nuts. If you skip the nutmeg, you are a fool. It the really does make a difference. Nuts. Make this in advance and just let <laughs> he's, it chill out he's just like outright. Don't now. skip the nutmeg, or you're a fool. That's on point. While that's happening, we're going to prepare Ooh, the, the rest of the components for our dish. Oh. Since we've got sort of an autumn-themed dish going on, we're going to roast pumpkin in brown butter. I want to get these cuts like really the uniform since in the we're background. cooking for a princess, for God's yeah. sake. Spooky pumpkin theremin. Spooky. She needs a sharp element, and watermelon radish is perfect for this one. I know why they call it that. Just beware of the dreaded man. <laughs> is, that, is there whispering Rocky. in that song? Yeah, there was. <laughs> For anybody like, who doesn't know, he injured himself on that horrifying like, device. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, he's that's still got the, the band-aid right it looks like yeah, too, he's... actually. If you I think his like right hand pinky is like all fucked up. He's holding a grudge to say the least. Well, Can I just say I've never like 
I've never felt this way about another man before, but when I look at Tonal's jawline and his his uh, his hair, his five o'clock shadow, it just does things to a man. You know, it makes me makes me question all the all the decisions I've made mm -hmm. up until this point in my life. It makes me think to myself, what if what if I had chosen a man instead of a woman? What if I had gotten more <laughs> into gourmet cooking? These are things I should have thought about more before I committed to one choice. I just want him to cook for me and treat and, and treat me like his favorite son, like like his print, like here, like uh, like you're his princess. Mark, I, Mark, I just like that little pause to fall by, a, a, just like a stammer. You're like, I don't know what to say. Well, I, I think it's also because you kind of stole the words out of my mouth. I'm like, I, no, not me. <laughs> what if you hold me and cuddle me and treat me? Like the, the most so important thing. Love me. Tell me everything's gonna be okay, Torold. <laughs> like We're gonna, gonna make it right. right. We're gonna Just make bison it. Feed me little fuck me in the ass. <laughs> oh no! Just feed me little gnocchi. I'll be your little gnocchi. <laughs> okay, gnocchi sounds like now. the. It sounds like something that like like it's an onomatopoeia for what a stuffed up nose would make. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, or like a really aggressive penetration. Like. <laughs> <laughs> You're like an onomatopoeia for a really aggressive penetration. Duh. Yeah. You made Rex on the like, tracks. Uh, no, I don't see it. You don't have to. It's fine. That's right. You're just blind. I don't need your approval. Well, he's got I'm shades not blind on. to live. I'm not blind <laughs> to penetration. Some of those so anyway. you just find yourselves in the hands of a man yeah. and you just feel like something's right. You oh, the total's face has just been fucking fiercely Milky staring me. at the... <laughs> He, he, he just, he just, I just, you just want to, you just tell him to gnoke me up. Oh yeah. <laughs> just just give me your soft gnoke. He's <laughs> 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 firing his eyebrows. Oh god, careful. I'm so. Careful. Oh my god, I've never yeah. been more tense in my life. These, Whoa. these are fucking scary. I hate these fucking things. They suck. Yeah. They often come with little things to little um. Like like blocks or something you could hold yeah. the top with so that you don't cut your finger off. Yeah, but you're yeah, kind of true. a pussy when you do that. So oh, damn. That's that's like I don't use I don't use mine. I'm I'm a I'm a fucking oh. baller sauce badass bitch. Pumpernickel crumb. <laughs> that sounds like a Harry Potter character. Now you take your pumpernickel crumb. <laughs> pumpernickel oh. crumb is the, the the defense against the dark arts teacher. Yep. <laughs> He's the one who's nice and turns out to be evil. Yeah. Am your pumpernickel? Professor Crumb. Troll! And wow, he says, just... please, call me Pumpernickel. And you're like, no, that's too many syllables. We're calling you Crumb. He's like, oh. You call me Pumpy? Aww. Ooh. Man, we never are in Harry Potter. What is this? I've never been more sexually attracted to fall in my entire life. Yeah, he's making yeah. autumn pretty sexy. to getting a nice perfect caramelization when you're roasting vegetables i'm it's still on step one man <laughs> and when you put the stuff in the pan just don't touch it just walk away let one side get crusty and golden and then turn it over and just wait for the other side to caramelize too oh my goodness once it's it looks almost like fully cooked add butter and let it brown oh. look like cheese that won't melt yeah I hate it. The cheese is resisting the conditioning. The duck. <laughs> Stop resist. <gasps> duck is delicious. Mark, you just quietly here. You go. Mark, I just quietly here. You go. I hate it. Amount of fat. fat, fat. <laughs> and the goal here is to finish crisping the skin up at the same time. The Whoa. flesh reaches an internal temperature of around 140 degrees. This is going to give us a medium doneness. With very doneness. little pressure, score the flesh. I, I prefer doneness myself. Why don't you just sous vide it, you freak? Mm. Oh, he's chopping. Oh, he's a freak, all right. Bison. Oh, uh, crosshatch me, daddy. Give me, mark me up. Oh, because your name's Mark. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Listen, these videos do things to a person. Roast it. Just have to stop the video, like Mark. Until the skin is crispy. <laughs> Enough. And then I need to talk to you. I can oh, hear man. your Jesus reaction. Christ. Don't <laughs> what? Don't be a dog. Design. No, don't say those words, Tonal. I need you to gnocchi me. 
they're out of control. Have what do we do? Duck is great. If I you don't, don't have duck, you need to treat yourself <laughs> and have some delicious duck. Yeah. Something I've been saying about like North American cooking is that we don't embrace alternative meats and like duck, uh, venison, and like oh, lamb. Venison, we eat we just, the shit out of. We eat the shit out of venison. We need to eat more, really. I think it's not commonplace, which is stupid. It's so sensual. Tonal, the kind of cook who be like, sometimes I cook with wine and sometimes I even put it in the food. <laughs> That looks so insanely good. I can't even <laughs> begin to describe how much I want. Yeah, like I, my first thought was, oh, I wonder what kind of sauce I dipped that in. I'm like, no, you don't need any sauce on that. Ketchup. <laughs> no. <laughs> Grilled <laughs> mustard. Oh, the I was going to do the little, the little fucking final like cum shot, little bit of garnish with the sauces <laughs> at the end. Place it in such a artistic way. Yeah, this his is an little, art his form. plating technique. There it is. Yes, uh, it's always with the garnish. Oh, total, fuck me, total, fuck oh me. Oh my god, the bouquet garni. I like it. So, because each part, it's not all like mixed together willy nilly. You know, like yeah, it's if you very intentional. Yeah, you yeah. know what you're getting uh, into flowers. when you stick your. Well, well. He's even got the pomegranate seeds. Oh, he's got the swash. The blood. <laughs> yes. That's that's what's yes, left. That's, that, that's the rest of the duck. He put it in a blender and he's just squirting that on there. <laughs> he find, he find no, that's what, that's what he did. He, he cut his wound to open. He cut his hand open oh. again and he just got creative Jesus and used Christ. it as a garnish. It looks so princess appropriate. Yeah. I know. I just want to freeze it and and preserve it in on my counter forever and ever. Oh, guess. And I. The guy's got his little napkin tucked into his shirt, you you little nerd. Oh, no, he got the handle <laughs> on the food. He's in Flavortown. He came! Oh, he came! Gracious. He's got a one-way ticket to Flavortown. <laughs> He's the, that was heavenly the music. It tasted great. It's perfectly suited for a princess like Zach. I have an amazing If you'd like, cook. I left a pinned comment down below. I don't know, I feel like a girl who gets herself captured every episodes. fucking game doesn't also, deserve anything more than a McDonald's or Arby's. I agree. <laughs> get that month, bitch a McDonald's. Sort of that bitch you know don't destroy me! You know captured? She just sits there. <laughs> Or something. Hey, dumb I wish you the best and the warmest of tidings. I'll see you soon for some tasty, Mwah. spooky Halloween goodness. Mm. You will not want to miss it. Donald, I love you so much. <laughs> Ooh, you squirter. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks like such <laughs> shit. <laughs> but it's so cute. Get out of my kitchen. Featuring Princess <laughs> Navi. You interrupt me one more time, I'm gonna kick your ass back to Hyrule. Oh my god. Okay? Oh my god, does it even have an ass? Get Possibly. the hell out of here. Featuring this is Princess like... Zel What's he gonna do? Oh, is he gonna take one of his sharp utensils? Punch it. <laughs> oh! Uh, oh my goodness, in slow-mo you can see the explosion. Shit! <laughs> Total! Don't do that! Everything before that was great! Don't- First of all, it's Navi! Like navigation or like Navi? You don't say Navi. Like it's fucking Wait, Middle Navi, Eastern. Aren't they the? Aren't they hey, the, the, yo, the blue Navi, people from Avatar? Hey, Navi. My yeah, little cousin people. Navi. Navi, Navi, Navi. <laughs> My cousin Navi. So it sounded like Yogi Navi. Bear. Hey, Navi. Hey, Navi. Hey, Navi. Hey, you hey. want to go cooking in Donald's kitchen? And, and what was that model? You could have used like a fucking better 2D model or like gotten someone. Like, look, you're fucking. You got this super nice lighting and DSLR and three point lighting setup, and then you just got this fucking shitty. Like, it adds <laughs> to the charm. It adds to the charm. <laughs> no, that is it's, 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 no. Funny. it's kind of funny, and then this is like to boldly flee level of fucking wow. right <laughs> no. To compare no, the really great tonal to great. channel yeah. awesome. I like the slow mo, so I could see the explosion. I, I liked it yeah. when I saw the fairy explode. I liked it too. He's, it was cathartic. He's like a 2006 meme Giles theme goes with everything. <laughs> 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 that meme, that meme is listen. That meme is like the 1911. It's timeless. Oh, it's, it's so, so good, but it's so old. 
They'll be like if he put a troll face in there unironically. Or if like he turned to the screen and he, his face morphed into a troll <laughs> face, but it's not his face. I, no, I don't, okay, let me rephrase. The troll face doesn't appear on screen. His actual face yeah, his morphs, morphs in it with like 3D into, like, fucking troll. sculpting. <laughs> So 2006 was 15 oh. years ago. So a lot of yeah. people will have no idea about the Giles theme meme. Most people don't. Just statistically remember that most people don't yeah. know about the yeah. Giles theme meme, especially so, because it was 15 years ago. Giles There's a lot of people. Fighter two a lot of people in the onward. chat saying that you need to see the names in the credits. Oh no! Have Tony Loki, Tony Baloney, Editor Tonald. <laughs> Oh wait! So did he call himself Total in the credits? Yes, in the did. editor. He's yeah. edit editor as Total. Can you, can you snapshot that so I can put? It yeah, in? absolutely. Thank you. I can't wait to see it. But it goes with everything. True. It do go with everything. So anyway, Guile, Guile is a character from Street Fighter Two. The dude who represents America, and he has a big fucking blonde, uh, blonde yep. ass mouth. Tony Mohawk Ravioli. Thing. Food shop. And, food uh, shop. Yeah, editor Tonal. There you go. Well, Tone Loki's uh, got it with a capital K did the shopping. Anyway, and he just, yeah, he has a really cool theme. It's very patriotic and, like, very, like, 80s action sequence sounding. And uh, people put it to all sorts of cool action scenes. And that came up with the meme of Guile's theme goes with everything. And it indeed does. I, I love that he threw it in there. Like, he had a fu he had the stock explosion, like, green <laughs> screen the stock effect. Yep. What, what is that, like... Ocarina of Time Navi looks b higher quality than that one right there. And, and the thing is, is that in Photoshop, even, okay, like I said, Blender is free. In Photoshop, he could make a flat image of a round or ball with a, like, fall-off light effect, make it a PNG, and then he could just animate the wings just slowly flapping in post. It would be such yeah. an easy little, like, piece of shit job got, and it would actually everything look else better. Like perfect but that so that's like the only I, blemish on the entire thing and, the, and, and at the same time it, the cheesiness is fucking like just warms the cockles it, it like oh, it's no, just it's such a shitty cock. little fucking green screen effect twice he's like the fucking like explosion guile's theme and i can't just oh, help yeah. but laugh it's great it's wonderful it's Based so tonal. Based. Well, what if in the credits it just? Pill. What if in the credits for like fucking treasurer or something it just said like red pilled tonal? Yeah, <laughs> budget CEO. allocation. Yeah, I like it. DP grip, best boy, double penetration. <laughs> yeah, he know, specifies two, two DP and then all the director, <laughs> director of photography. He separates <laughs> them to be a cheeky little lad. Which means, uh, we'll be on to reading out them super sheets now. Um, hey! Jeez. Do, do any of you wish to escape? Or do you wish to hang? I will um, probably go at some point in the next hour, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But that's that. When, when Mr. Mark leaves, so will I. I also leave. Wow, cuck. <laughs> wow. <You are laughs> do do as your master come on. This, this is like a, a, like a national reverse where i i do the thing and then you follow because get it like you're the american and i'm canadian but now it's reverse because canada just fucking like america's like jump and we're like how high master no, what, the i didn't state? follow what you just said at all but mm -hmm. it touched my heart man north of dakota I, I felt the sentiment north. deep deep down inside me yeah, yeah exactly it's gross don't ever do it again I'm sure Don't I'm... let me see you doing that shit ever again. To the great white north. You little fucking fairy. <laughs> <laughs> you fairy fuck. You should remaster his I video know. and get him a good Navi. <gasps> I could do that. <laughs> He's editor. <laughs> let let me you be your editor. Did, I'll be your tell, fairy editor. Me... I'll be your little fairy boy. <laughs> I'll be your little Why fairy do you guys boy gotta make editor it boy. Sexual? So I want to I want to make sure you get your fairies just right. I speak for the can, fairies. I am Mark and I speak for the fairies. You can just call me Monald. I guess we, I guess we can do a conclusion <laughs> on like the beginning. what a crazy triple video we saw. You know, yeah. Where it was just it's just and two of them were good. Yeah. Dare like, I say epic? You you dare. <laughs> you dared to do it already. You just said it. <laughs> it's too late. Game man. Um. I hope we don't have to watch Mark Brown again for a while, but if he 
happens to drop more videos that are just Mahler, Mahler, beyond. it's your show. No, no, that, that was, I was, so I was going to release the qualifier there that would make that statement make sense, because I understand oh. you'd be confused. You were going to add a caveat? Like if we he, can, yes. you and I, we can decide what we want to watch at any time. <laughs> um, when he enticed me with that video title, because I didn't imagine I would ever watch a Mark Brown video again. We did not We did the three. You know whenever you cover someone three times, it's like, well, you had your chance. You've done it now. But, um, yeah, after that... If, video, if the, we're just going to read Super Chats... I feel like we're we just a... going to read super chats. Well, yeah, no, I was we saying take them very seriously. Super... Yes, just say. Oh, you're not going to do anything else? No, nothing well, else. Well, I might, I might casually play a game of the back, or I don't know, masturbate. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but there's like, a, uh, a... but like, Mahler's not going to play the dolphin emulator. No GameCube games. No. Oh, okay. You know, oh, you're not. No. Did, did you run out of the? You could always replay Luigi's Mansion. I play will. Wind Waker. Play Wind Waker. Play Wind Waker. Yeah. How would that be in any way relevant? Play, um... <laughs> Why do you guys say that? <laughs> Why do? Why do you suggest such awful, awful things? Play Tales Fashion. of Symphonia! God, you're obsessed with video games? It's gross. Play Pikmin 2! <laughs> What's wrong with Pikmin 1? Pikmin 2! Pikmin. Play, play, also play Skies Pikmin. of Arcadia! Alright, fine. I'll version. play Skies of Pikmin 2. Cart. Play Sk Play Cyberpunk on Wait. Dolphin Emulator? <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about Pikmin, but I'm a Play Pikmin Luigi's girl. Boncher, boncher. So Sorry. anyway. You guys ready? Uh, the first one is usually the best one. Oh I'm fucking ready, big So ready, right gotcha. Yeah. Alrighty then. And look at this Mario shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mario ass Mario. Mario You can't say this he's got a Mario ass, ass Brownlee. <laughs> <laughs> Mario ass Brownlee. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Everything is now. <laughs> God damn it! I don't want to think about that man anymore. If I could, if I had like not not like Death Note, but if I could will people out of existence, like they're not born anymore. Jesus uh, Christ. I'm not <laughs> saying Mark. It's a nice mustache, as... Mark. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that? I've slimmed it down to a certain section. <laughs> to a certain, just rectangular little yeah. <laughs> it's very pronounced. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck um, it. Chase me through that bullshit. If I could dream somebody away. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound so peaceful. So yeah. If I could dream. No, I'm so glad Hitler's already dead, so yeah. I, I have to pick Mark Brown I'm... over Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> when I was faced with a choice, I just yeah. Uh if you here's a here, here's a real dilemma. Um you you get rid of Mark, but Hitler's back. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, oh, Hitler oh, said yeah. things. Got the, uh -oh. Hitler had points <laughs> to uh -oh. make. To really convey what's going like, on. A little Hitler sound made effect. statements, right? Hitler didn't just describe things. <laughs> like, like you make a joke Hitler and you go, good huh? YouTube videos. Like, you got that right, huh? Hitler was a visionary. <laughs> yeah. Whether you agree with that vision is where the conflict comes yeah, that's, in. Yeah, he was that's more consistent. Way, yeah. Hitler was way better at with Sony Vegas than Mark Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Just what so Hitler true. did with 13 <laughs> minutes. So fucking true. Oh God. He, because that's because Hitler would use Sony in Vegas. You, so you know how I said no. the first one's gonna be great though. I just really want to read it out because it's just yeah. relevant to what Rags just said. Okay, so oh, right. it the says yeah. poop on my dad's chest, Mister Wags. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I mind erase him? <laughs> It's yes, too late. Get rid of that man who just got. <laughs> why don't you? Why don't you just erase my poo so that I could sort of like, oh, like do it, it but not do it? Hmm. We could have a discussion on whether or I not, just, if I, I was to do it, if the poo disappeared, would it still like count? Like I in spirit. The, I think the wags at the end really fucking <laughs> sealed it. <laughs> it also, yeah, it's, the, it's like the end, but then he it knows goes the way to a dog's heart. Yeah. Are you wearing a diaper, you fuck ass? No, he in just he's life? just being. He's being playful. That's one of my, my, my toy names. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, I apologize. I'm probably peeking like fucking crazy because this is temporary mixer. So oh, you peeked years ago. I apologize, but just. Oh my just god. Oh that my hurts. god. That hurts. A oh, bit. oof. Oof. <laughs> but yeah. So if I'm like I'm right readers, now, I apologize. I can't. I can't really control it. I'm but glad you fucking apologize. Like What's the next little super chat? The next little little, little chub. 
Chubb. Next little little Chubb. Chat, little chatty waddy. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's not a good play name, but... Looks next the Chubber. best play name? Why would you say that? <laughs> uh, that one ended with also high wags. I just wanted to make sure we got that out there. Oh, oh, oh hey there. Hey. Really sweet. We appreciate the oh, sense fuck, I'm getting beaten up. Help me, Chase. Give me advice. What? Any advice. Yeah, any. Just any any advice? Yeah, go. Uh, wherever you spend most of your time, be it your bedroom or your desk or your workspace or whatever, <clears throat> don't let anything pile up and constantly clean everything because the more shit that is on your desk takes up more cognitive resources in the process and you find yourself getting more short-tempered and burned out at the end of the day. Wow. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's actually really fucking good advice. I'm not going to lie. Well, um... I think we've all learned something today. My my advice <laughs> is that you can you could spice up your normal body functions by uh, squeezing <laughs> glitter into your nose before you sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> how about how about, how about <laughs> I thought, um, I thought you were gonna be like put glitter inside of your urethra <laughs> <laughs> and having a little fucking pew. Excellent. <laughs> You didn't deny oh, that. you can use. You will um, not get an infection. This is. Oh no! You have to. Well, you sterilize the glitter. Medical you, recommendation. You boil the glitter before you put it in, so it's sterilized, and then you uh, get like a turkey baster. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I like in this. Just and boiling fucking melted glitter in your fucking You don't. You don't, <laughs> you don't like it. You don't goes like right how that down. sounds. It goes right down. No. It goes right down. Slides right down your hole. <sighs> I feel like the ZFAP took a turn when we stopped the video coverage. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the apex would be putting like a fucking push whistle in there. Uh, Give me a slide whistle. He's got a good, it's, it's, yes, a slide whistle, whatever. We call yeah, it you actually need to order a slide whistle, Molly. I've, I've got a tip. Please here's a tip. That. Here's something I've, uh, here's something you could do. You can, um, you can dramat, you can save on dozens of calories whenever oh, you get in an elevator. Book. No, no, not at all. Uh, but whenever you get in an elevator, you can save dozens of calories by pressing the button of the floor you want to go to only one time. Wow. You can walk your dog. But why would you want to save those calories instead of, you know, doing, like, You can exercise? have a dog. You can have a dog, Oh, yeah. right. Oh, here's one. Uh, right before you... <laughs> the, next, <laughs> the next time you're going to eat ice cream, uh, what you do is you take Fight your spoon... Fight a bell rug. And no, you, you take your spoon and you put it in the microwave for oh, one no. minute on high yeah. so that when you take your spoon out of the microwave, it's a lot easier to eat the ice cream with because it just goes straight through it because it's hot. That sentence was a slog. Yeah. Yeah. Also, please don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Just so we're clear, please don't do that. The, the thing Ever. I said, that was a joke. <laughs> Please don't put metal inside of, ref of, of I refrigerators. refrigerators. You can put metal in refrigerators if you want them cold. For now. However, For now. Um, you, can, you can put snow well, in your refrigerator forever. as well. Yes. Oh, snow fact. Um, Ooh. I, snow, snow fact. fact. <laughs> so when I, uh, I think I really snow fun. fact it bids. What? Snow fact is not only a great name for a white dog or cat, but <laughs> what? you... But the the I had a beer while we were watching Mark Brown, oh. and it was the it was the last beer that I I'd been using the snow in my fridge as like like I put my beer on it so it'd stay extra cold right mm -hmm. and it, you know but it, this was the last beer on the snow and I used it so Damn. all the snow is going to be gone in a little bit. Still have some the in there, still arc. hanging on. The end of an yeah, era. I grab a beer. And there you go. I'm gonna grab a bib. I'm so. <laughs> Super bib. chat number two. <laughs> Save there. money on bibs by drilling on your shirt. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. How's that help? Value involved. Dr. Seuss yeah. had his chance. Hi, Rags and M and others. Hi there. Oh, hi. Yeah. That's a very ominous name. I'm, I'm Dr. Seuss waiting. had his chance. I'm waiting for the Dr. Seuss redemption arc, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure he's going to bring something out that's going to really just make everyone go, you know what? We were wrong. I look at Cat in the Hat, the movie, with Mike Myers differently now. I, uh, I saw a really stupid fucking meme of, like, um, uh, what, what was it? The Tesla? Who was the guy that had the, the cat with the, the N-word name? Oh, no, H.P. Lovecraft. 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 <laughs> Lovecraft. I mean, yeah, it was just, it was Lovecraft in Minecraft, like, 
holding a fucking name tag. <laughs> Lovecraft, my love, and they're just they're just like Lovecraft. No. Pressed <laughs> <laughs> off. HP Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Um. I've got another. Um. I've got another fun fact that you know you, you could find out your DJ name by putting DJ in front of your name. DJ Mola. <laughs> Oh, is that your? Oh, mine yeah. is uh, mine's DJ Rags. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That was pretty. That was pretty fun. No, nah, I don't like that one. We we do have we have fun here on. Yeah, YouTube. sometimes it gets a little out of hand. I agree, but you know, yeah, yeah, with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, Life this one just says long. sea lions class. Sea lions. I don't know what that. Oh that is. right, the 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 silence. Sealance? Oh, the crazy Frenchman who taught us ah. once upon a time. I remember. Mm. Silence! And then, like I said, he would bang the table with his index finger. It was really weird. We all laughed. It didn't work. Whatever his plan was. <laughs> it didn't work. You <laughs> <laughs> failed. You failed. You think you have power here? Crazy Frenchman. <laughs> Imagine Mark Brown in school. He probably got beaten up a whole bunch. Was like Probably. these elements. I still really like the idea of Mark Brown just being like a fucking like rapist, fucking Whoa. like murderer. Or, like, <laughs> the way we, the way we like made up all this lore for him. How to dox your audience? <laughs> to dox your <laughs> family. Oh man, he's 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 involved <laughs> in some nefarious plot to get people to sign up to his Patreon so he can like hack into their bank accounts and something like that. And then he makes one final video, announces his plan, and disappears like DJ Cooper, DB Holy Cooper. Mark, sorry, I was thinking. DJ Mark, I, just, like, I like I like to <laughs> imagine him just like DJ how, how, how to DJ dox people. Cooper. <laughs> yeah, how to dox people. He just pastes it into fucking. He pastes a screenshot into Twitter. Hit Control Enter and say, "Oops, did I do that?" Oh, <laughs> the entire guide. Oops, it was an accident. But the I thing is, you it. have to legally, you have to say oopsie whoopsie <laughs> after, <laughs> after doing the naughty watty. You shan't <laughs> want them to discover your true motivation. It's like it's like I saw this stupid fucking onion esque article, and it was like, here's a bunch of helpful tips for dealing with the police, and it's like. <laughs> If Here's you some can hacks. ask a you can, yeah, it was like life hacks. It was like police you, can ask a police you can ask a police officer if he's ever smoked pot, and he has to say no, but he can wink. <laughs> it's, just, it's all the stupid shit. It doesn't what? actually mean anything. God damn it! Or it's like if you see a, a, a cop that's dressed in, in all red and has devil's horns, that's a super cop. If you beat him in a drag race, you become a cop. And it was just like the most oh. fucking asinine, stupid shit. The real life version of that is literally just anything revolving around like sovereign citizens. Like they think it's life hacks for like <laughs> getting away with like any crime. <laughs> Did you know that you can never be ticketed ringing. if you say that you're traveling, not driving? It's yes. true. Oh Try it. It'll God. work. <laughs> Try it. Please. It works. And every it. cop will that that Don't. works 100 percent of the time on literally every cop always. <laughs> and please, Make sure you film it. Yeah. Whenever, Don't whenever ever sovereign hit citizen stop. people show up, you can always see the cops' face. They're just like. All right, it's gonna be one of these. Like those fucking poor bastards. <laughs> Sovereign citizens have an un it's an unofficial code of conduct where they have to post all of their L's online to YouTube, and think that they're actually W's. I sure showed this cop by getting arrested when I told him that I don't need a license or registration for my car because I'm traveling, not driving. I told him. Lol, jokes on him when I'm getting arrested. Now everyone gets to see. Yeah, he's gonna be so embarrassed when he sees himself arresting me on YouTube. Yeah. History is gonna prove me right, and here is the proof. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving this one he's for gonna, posterity. He's gonna I'm be so embarrassed game. when footage of him doing his job props up on the internet. I'm Innocent like, boat captain pick. assaulted by road pirates. <laughs> road pirates. <laughs> That's pretty good. A sovereign citizen is just a libertarian with a victim complex. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wrong. I mean, that's kind of synonymous, though. No, like, I, I consider myself fairly libertarian, but not, like, crazy. Okay, gay. Oof. <laughs> I will rack for cover. I... Like... Yeah. Just well, fucking guess what? It's totally aggressive. okay to be gay in my libertarian society. Ah, uh, mm, it's all good. Shit. Um... Fuck, right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. He got me. Oh, 
Fuck. Don't you guys love sending all three red shells into a single person, but like pacing them out so they keep getting booped? That's I've sent a red shell into a person. You are playing a video game, you fucking cuckold. Those are you you're piece of about. actual human dog shit. Oh, hey, only Rax will be on this next slur. one, actually. Um, you're a shell of a man if you do that. Because I'm the only one here oh, smart enough to no. understand the, uh... <laughs> Um, this high brain autism strat. Rags, when you'll get this, <laughs> Jonathan did one last see Kyle at the tornado. Wow. <laughs> Rags, you know that John was hunted Wait, one. John, are we did doing you more super John? chats? That's, yeah, that's a what? super chat. It's about Man of Steel. Was it a. Was John, that a yeah. yeah. John hunted one last see I do, yeah, because of his, his arm. He's hunted? <laughs> Where'd you get punted from? The deleted Snyder cut. Wait, what? Punted? <laughs> Where'd you get punted? I'm confused. What, so, what did you say? I said, I didn't say punted. I don't even know what word sounded like punted, but. that yeah. That's what confused me because I thought you said John punted one last Sieg Heil at the tornado. <laughs> See, the original which, is was... tech, which is technically sort of a functional sentence, yeah. but it's not a sound sentence. It is confuddling, you might say. But, um, so what was the actual super chat? Well, it was Jonathan did one last Sig Heil at the tornado. That's how I don't. I, don't I, know I agree. Yeah, from. I saw the. Yeah. yeah, I saw Man of Steel. It was very horrible, very... and that super sad is funny. I thought it was hilarious, and that <laughs> I is enjoy it. a good reason to enjoy anything as any. Um, how is TFA parts four, five, and six coming along? Time schedule for any of them? No joke answers, though. You massive? No joke answers. I don't give joke There's answers. There's no for serious those. answers. A joke answer can at least exist, but a serious answer can't. Um, the current video being worked on is The Boys, and it's a full season breakdown. Now, if you remember how long it took to do individual episodes of the Game of Thrones episodes, and that was a show that was really bad, and this show is also really bad. So, it's a huge video, and it's taken a while, but um, it's coming. And then uh, TFA Part 4 will begin production -ness. Those things aren't, like, time-sensitive. They will be um, as insightful, I would hope, as being released tomorrow or even 10 years from now, all right, folks? Not that it would take okay. that long. It'll be all right. They'll get here eventually. But yeah, The Boys is next. It was bad. No, I'm not doing a video on WandaVision. Why would anyone assume I would just make a video on WandaVision? It wasn't, it wasn't you know, as bad as the last episode for the whole thing. Jeez. This it curiosity bad, about, like, whether or not the first there. few episodes are still good, it's like, I'm pretty sure the first few episodes are still good. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Like... They don't involve anything to do with sword, so they're probably good, you know. Turns out it's really easy to make a show that's somewhat good if you don't have to worry about Bullshit. any payoffs ever. <laughs> yeah. Like Lost. Ew. If you just ask, it turns out asking questions is really easy. Mm hmm. Yeah. The difficulty comes in answering them correctly, Thanks, as many years of schooling eventually taught me. Really disappointed. In one yeah, thing. teachers are fucking. <clears throat> yeah, that's easy. All they have to do is ask questions. We have to do the work. We're we're the ones. The students are the ones who have to answer the questions. That's the hard part. I don't see why the students should shouldn't get yeah. paid. Yeah, teacher does. That's bullshit. Yeah, I can ask that's questions why. too. Oh, what's the formula for momentum? Yeah, Dude, what's the square root of negative one? See, we can. I can ask questions. That's, Zero point that's three. That's easy mode. He's just fucking asking shit. Where's the challenge? Yeah, where the how? Yeah, where'd they get to school? Yeah. Their teacher just ask them questions? This is the problem with the school system. It's just a vicious cycle. Schooling should be banned. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, hello all. In your eyes, how does one judge acting? Are there objective ways to judge acting, or is it mostly subjective? I would say it's mostly subjective, but yeah, the... with an aspect of you can... It's like, it's probably, it's mostly subjective, but you could definitely make very compelling arguments. Interesting yeah. that we all seem to have um, a vague agreement on the worst and best actors. We usually differ on, like, awkward pieces in the middle, and it's because, um, well, that's one thing to consider. And then there's, of course, you could appeal to, like, this is bad because nobody acts this way. And then there's, like, a video online of somebody in, in a similar scenario acting that very way, and you're like, oh. And so then it's like, what are you appealing to now? Like, how you understand people portraying emotion, or how one should, like, it, it, it gets difficult. Um, but at the same time, Tommy Wiseau in the room, we're all like, well, that's terrible. Like, hmm, but why? Yeah. But why? I think one thing that I don't like about criticism towards acting is sometimes, like, a very, a pretty reputable actor 
has a bad role or there's just scenes where it's just the bad and somebody will take that clip out but the thing is also that acting is subject to the editor as well like True. they have no say in what clip is going to be picked and sometimes an editor is just not a great judge of like character what clip really works the best and which was the best one after all these clips that they that he has to surf through and sometimes you really do just get the worst one and that's not just some shit i'm making up like actors have been like fuck like they actually use my bad take well um shit. you mean like fucking indiana jones part-time no oh, part-time yeah. um, yeah. the uh the thing i did in a uh, tfa part three that take the the documentary dude had of of leia delivering her like last scene in that movie is like that's a it's just better than the one in the movie i don't understand yeah and then he said fuck it take that one out also we don't need to see luke morn <laughs> um as a bit of an aside i uh one thing that always annoys me whenever people it's like some people act like uh, bad acting or good acting is so intrinsic like it's just so fucking inherent and just something that you know is universal like everyone knows exactly what i'm talking about kind of argument um and I've noticed that if there's <clears throat> a moment in a game or a show or whatever that's genuinely like emotional and there's like sorrow and it's like it takes a lot of, you know, energy to be really serious and all that. Some people who are really like uh, really afraid to like, uh, you know, embrace seriousness and they just want to kind of spout jokes and be memey all the time. They're like some of the first people to jump out and school. This acting is so bad. Like if it just kind of makes them uncomfortable. They're just like, yeah. no, it's, it's, it can't be anything wrong with me. This is, pff, they they showed emotion in the scene. That's really cringy. You know what I mean? People that do that sort of stuff. Oh, how cringy. He's trying. It's like, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's succeeding, actually. But, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what a fucking sweaty tryhard. He's trying to fucking Can... go to Hollywood and be an actor. Fucking loser. What a beta. All right. My question is, can you ever really know if someone's a bad actor? Yeah, I mean, a it, it, line, assuming you're applying yeah. a standard, right? If they, for example, if someone's no. like, I'm going to be Elvis. You're like, all right, we could probably judge how effectively they do it. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no, no, I, I think you missed my point. Like, what if, like, if they're a really, really good actor, then maybe they're just acting like a bad actor. That's, I'm, that's what the, the thing was. So maybe you, you can, you never really, you can never really know if someone's a bad actor. Well, I know that Lucas Black is a bad actor. Wow. Well, Calling maybe he's just, at, maybe he's got a plan and he's just acting like a bad actor. He's trash. Excellent. He's a trash. Trash actor. No, he's Don't he's brilliantly it? acting like a bad actor. Oh. He, his performance, his incredible performance, is putting on a super convince. See, it convinced you a super convincing bad performance. Yeah, when you said it was bad, you fell for the bait. You fell yeah. for the. Oh. You fell for it. Wow. Okay. Just think about out. that when you're sleeping at night, and no, you, remember that whenever your parents tell you they love you. Oh. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> They're just bad actors. Oh God. <laughs> Good. Just, uh, just uh, un unrelated in every way, but uh, mm. just something to consider. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Well, thank you. And then ask yourself, when's the last time you told your parents you loved them? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Well, if your parents are I dead, do. you know what? Don't worry about it. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. What have they done for me lately? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, kick J, please. It's like uh, already ahead of you there. <laughs> done and done. Yeah, accomplished. He knew it was coming pre-cog. He just oh, yeah. exited. Um, also, hi, Rags. Hello. Moriarty, have my children. <laughs> um, uh, hey. Hi. I guess they're asking for your <laughs> like consent. He, like yeah. he's huh? Wait, like he's giving them away? I guess so. They, yeah, they oh, don't want their kids like that, like no. a box of puppies. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't not like that. No. Like here, have my children, and you're like, oh, but it's too late. There's already a box in front of you full of kids, and they're running back to their car, and they're speeding away to live in. Tijuana. Well, you don't gotta pick up the box. You can leave them to rot. Just, just. I don't know. I feel like you have a moral obligation to do something. I, no, I would leave them. Fine, just leave rot them. is an option. They'll eat each other. The strong will survive. Yeah, it's true. They're, they're, they are kids. They're not puppies or anything. And so then you come like... back for the strongest baby. Yeah, once it's consumed the other weaklings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark, is, is this Darwin. gonna be your process for seeing what your fucking sons is, <laughs> is, is fit to fucking carry on your family legacy? Yeah, I'm just gonna I mean, leave you with a hot car. Whichever one you I'll name you Darwin because you love islands. Yeah, 
Okay, I, I'm I'm so sorry, but that hot car shit is bullshit, and I'm gonna pick the one that fucking comes out not <laughs> dead, because like, I think he's it's just superior gonna... form of genetic training and conditioning. If, if the one toddler can figure out to suck out the life force from the other toddlers <laughs> to survive extreme conditions, Jesus Christ! Oh, that would be a pretty funny reveal. <laughs> You're expecting some kind of like battle with like hitting and gnawing and stuff. You come in and they're using like spells to sap the spirit of the other babies. You're like, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ah, uh, toddler necromancer. Yeah, holding magic wands and <laughs> toddler shit. necromancer. I mean, it's not impossible, right? I want to make sure we haven't made sure to rule every <laughs> option. Necro. If you were, if you're a magician <laughs> who is um, working at a bank, you could be a check romancer. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like in a situation like that where you're in a hot car and you're a necromancer and you can just like summon a spirit or like summon something. If it was like corporeal. I feel like it would be more practical to just throw the fucking, like, lifeless zombie thing at the window and break it. Just yeah. It at yeah, that point, like, kind of removes all the magic. You just summon this thing and just fucking check it at the window. Yeah, but he's he's also a toddler brain, so he can do these magical things, but he looks at the fucking, like, spirit and he goes, oh, Get me a Mountain Dew. <laughs> that's what he wants to that is the, That's the That's the most... Like, Mountain Dew is, is a pretty, like... Oh, that's the worst way I've ever heard the words Mountain Dew said. <laughs> and then they used to have the ad. Tired little elderly southern woman. In Mountain Dew, it started off as like a, a hillbilly drink. Like Mountain Dew. And, and the ta their, their tagline was, it'll tickle your innards. Ooh. It's true, because it has fucking flame retardant in it. I didn't say he was smart. He's a toddler. He wants his sugar drink. He doesn't know that it's going to dehydrate him more. That's the comedy. You know what? If, if, if you like the Mountain Dew and I used to, if you like Mountain Dew and I used to, look up the ingredients and you'll see that it just says uh, orange There's juice. no mountains in there? <laughs> what the Engine fuck? Fuel. No, they didn't, make a, they didn't put a single mountain in anywhere in the formula. <laughs> it's just orange tough. juice. Orange juice is a base. It's just fucking orange juice. Orange now juice go drink a Mountain Dew and realize it's just shitty fucking orange juice. With realize they lied acid. to you. They lied to you, those fucking big wigs. No, that doesn't taste anything like orange juice. Driving under the influence of. It literally is like eighty percent orange juice, right? No. Well, that's well, that's different. That's different than tasting like it. So I don't even know why you brought that up. What's fucked up is Sunny D ain't orange juice. You know, Sunny D is like acid in your mouth. I know. Yeah. It's I like a sun a in your mouth. It's like eating the sun. Wait, would you have that shit as a kid, like acid? as an adult, and you're just like, Ugh. it's like shitty you tang. Feel the diabetes <laughs> setting in. Yeah. yeah, there's something the 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 difference between how that tasted when I was a child versus now, and I'm just like, how how did I? Because kids are dumb. Because yeah, I think that you could classify taste buds. You could classify Sunny D as like antibacterial because you put that in your mouth and it just is like acid and it eats away at everything in there. Yeah, it's yeah. like a holocaust for germs with a so, nice fruity twist. Someone asked Dew at least contains dew, and I'm sorry to say it does not actually. Was it Sunny? A Mountain Dew? Sunny yeah, Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew does not taint. Sunny Dew? Do. Not taint? Sunny Dew. It Sunny does Dew. not taint. But, uh... Okay. Completely forgot what I was going to say before. Oh, no. Fist play shove. I bullshit. Oh, no, I was going to say, was, was it like Dane Cook came up with a joke about, like, Sunny Dew, Sunny D tasting like a, a clown's asshole? <laughs> Something like that. What a... <laughs> I always like that joke. Yeah, I, I do think that a clown's asshole would taste very sugary, both on account of the clown itself, but also because the clown probably eats a lot of sugar. So there would be a fine, like, sugar residue, like dust that was sort of caked around the entrance of the asshole. Kind of like, a, like, a, like, like what is it, the, the pixie sticks? Mmm. Yeah, they get a little moist, and then it's just like, a, you know, it's like, I don't know. I definitely, clumpy I definitely sorta. gave it that much thought, Rags. You should have. I definitely, yeah. No. Like, all that came up, I all that ran through my head too. But you just said it first, so. Yeah, all right, that's fair enough. Yeah, I still want people thinking I'm stupid or anything. Oh no, 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 not not about no, not with this. No, not, not me. Not about no, not this you. specifically. No, this no. isn't. No. This is very important. Opportunity with the Despicable Me franchise, but uh, Mountain Drew uh, grew. Mountain Drew. <laughs> Uh, I almost, I almost this, thought you said Mountain Drew. This is my Drew. friend. This is my friend Mountain Drew. He fucking <laughs> lives in the mountains. Howdy. Mountain Drew. Mountain Drew. 
Sorry. I like oh, it. Oh, so good. We're all very... Another one? Jesus. <laughs> They've sent fucking three blue shells out to me, you cunts. This is the hardest now, difficulty as well, so you could tell that the that game was like, oh, this will make it hard, I guess. That'll tickle your innards. Yeah. Oh, um, Mor Moriarty, I figured I wanted to ask you about this quickly, uh, as, as a medicine man. Hmm. Um, yes, sir. Have you heard of a new legal product known as Delta 8? I have not. It is literally just uh, like a marijuana compound that is 70% yeah. as potent as normal marijuana. Uh, and it's perfectly legal because it's like one or two molecules off of... Because like, I guess marijuana is Delta 9 or something like that. And so I just went to the shop and they're just like, oh yeah, we have this thing. And I was like, what is it? And they're like, do you have to pass any drug tests? And I was like, no. So they just sold me some. You can't be taking just... drugs to take drugs, sir. Everyone knows that. <laughs> you have to take a drug test before you buy marijuana. Oh god, people are saying Mountain Jew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is... <laughs> That's his brother! Yeah. So anyway, uh, th that, is, that is absolutely made being here Look, way I am. more fun. Oh my god. I, oh, I was... I, I, because you were telling me about that the other day. I actually didn't know you yeah. were some. I thought this was something you learned. Yeah, it's yeah, actually... no, no, it's uh, it's great. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know where else they sell it, but here in Texas, it's totally fucking legal and has been for like a year. Why do so I think like you're Canadian all the time? I like, I was know. sitting here, you're like... Oh, He's yeah, from yeah, Texas. Like four... Can Canada's we like, it up here. Like four Texas. times Moriarty. I know, every time, every time I'm sitting here, you're like, too. oh yeah, I got some, some Delta 8 and it's almost like <laughs> it's marijuana. It's so <laughs> flipping pleasant. <laughs> and me, yeah, I'm right. sitting here going, but isn't it legal up there in Canada? Like, I just didn't say it yet. Nah, down here in the southern belt, boy, we can't have anyone doing the devil's lettuce and enjoying themselves. No! <sighs> What was Use the shell. <laughs> Enough of the blue shell. Use, <laughs> you, you need to dodge roll like uh, Dark Souls. Dodge roll. You're right. Hey, hey watch out for that shell, that blue one that just hit you. You need to. Yeah, you uh, you need to use blue. momentum and oh. movement mechanics. You know, and if I'd watch the mock wait, brown videos, yeah. I'd be to... winning. <laughs> I'm done. I can't hear any more about movement. <laughs> he puts me off make... playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, it makes me appreciate games less. I kind of like, I watch a Mark Brown video and I go, I'm a fucking nerd. Like, yeah. what am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to buy into stocks. <laughs> Just decide one now. Dogecoin, stocks. do it. Fuck this shit. Um, Rags, thoughts on Fallout the Frontier, not counting the controversy? I've never played it. I, I hear the writing is super fucking cringe. Ooh. And it's just... Uh, that's basically all I hear about it, and what it's I've like seen about game. it has been mm, not good. I haven't played it though, but I'm uh, I'm I'm not exact. I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna play it. I'm not impressed enough to play it. I don't. I'll, I also don't really release? care about it. No, it's a. I think it's a fan, big fan mod I, adventure. Yeah, I thought so. Through time and space and pedophilia. Oh. <laughs> and lizard rape. But oh, that one! That, Fuck, right, of course. I'm there. Um, also, Actman is dropping a new Vegas video, and I really like his Cyberpunk video. Well, wow. yeah, good nice. stuff, yeah. Cool. You guys should EFAP movies, Conan the Barbarian, and the sequel. I just want to see Rags react to James Earl Jones turning into a snake. <laughs> <laughs> the wonders of visual effects. Wow, way to spoil it. Right? What you what you think he actually turns into a snake without he visual does. effects? I don't know what yeah. that has to do with what I just said, but yeah. A yes. black member. <laughs> yeah. You said that. Whenever you say yeah, I'm like, wait, Australian? Yeah. What? <laughs> Australian. Turns Australian. into a black member. I saw someone at in the James. chat. Is he here? Because I don't want him to be yes, offended. Yes, he is. He was in the chat. I'm so sorry he was down lying. under, down under this video in the chat. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Um, geographically, the Indian Ocean is not under U.S. Under us? Apparently, yeah. Because you said U.S. Just to be, did oh, they mean us? It's not under us. Definitely spelt U.S. rather than us. Uh, we're all over. All man. right. Mm-hmm. Um, Chase is a special boy. Isn't he, though? 
I do have three separate learning disabilities, so yeah. Aww. Yes. Any? Are, you have any favorites? Oh, he's retarded. Uh, ADHD, <laughs> ADHD has its perks. What perks? Oh, wait, no, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Uh, damn glad to see you back on with the massives. Hashtag drink your beans. Yeah. Also, hi rags. All hail the long man. Oh, hey there. Yeah. Uh, bean drinking is a sport that uh, Jay does indeed engage in. Uh, I'm gonna say I definitely recommend it, but you know, worth trying lots of stuff. Second place, lol. Yeah, I got annihilated. What do you want from me? Also, you're welcome to join us if you wish, Brungo. Um, don't know if you. Who is Bap? Hmm? I demand to know who Bap is. Bap is best at persecution. Bap is, Bap is our sister podcast. <laughs> yes. Brap. Bap. E Bap. <laughs> Um, hello, Mola, Rags, and J Markham Face. Kick J. Oh. Well, hello. Hello. Never seen an EFAP at the start. Enjoy the stuff. Cheers. I'm glad you do. Uh, tips for improving audio? My gaming headset gives clearer sound and less background noise than a mic. I spent $100 on. Uh, do you also do multiple <laughs> recordings or one big recording, including the breaks? Um, oh, I do many little recordings. Yeah. I don't do one big one. You wanna you wanna give yourself, you know, time to rest and get more passionate. You don't wanna the one thing that can really go bad if you record all at once is maybe you start getting a little bored and then and then it plays into your actual readings and, and then oh you don't want that. You don't wanna sound bored um, while doing a video. Yeah, you could put in breaks up. and separate them and all kinds mm -hmm. of board stuff. Re record standing up because it's uh less stress on like your um I forget what it is, but like your chest, your diaphragm, like that. E. diaphragm, that was it. And uh, yeah, so you just have more. Uh, take take deep breaths before you speak. Just like at the very beginning of a sentence, just take a big deep breath, so that way you're not scrambling or panicking <gasps> to get to the end of a sentence if it's like a long one. Uh, yeah, speak very conversationally. Definitely take your time. Uh, for me, I usually just write one big ass script and then I just kind of pound it out and record it. Oh. Uh, bad takes and all. Hello. What up? And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Otherwise, just, uh, don't be bad at it. Don't be bad at it. That's the main one. Don't be mm. bad at it. That's just, gen that's good Mark Brown level advice. <laughs> just don't be bad at it. Whatever you're doing, don't be bad at it. We should take that advice. Yeah. You should take that advice. We're all learning so much metal, today. Metal, I love you. You. Oh, my sweet Thanks. little metal. Yeah. Kiss me back! What is, what is oh, your no. favorite, what is your favorite metal? Core. Nickel. <laughs> of course. <it's> magnesium. <laughs> I like iron. Good old fashioned iron. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Iron, 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 iron. Classic American deal. Iron Man. They hit me with the bullshit shell right at the end of the race. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Should ask what they learned from Mark. I, <clears throat> I heard you learned about movement from Mark. That's what I yes. heard. Yeah, yeah. They learned all about the fact that games have movement. Oh, I, I bet you told you that. Like, and sometimes the way they go about it is slightly different. Yes. Mm. Sometimes you move with legs. Sometimes you move with momentum. Sometimes you use a hook shot. Sometimes so what? you use big hook. Sometimes you slide. So we basically started streaming at the same time. I was just streaming as well. And I clicked in uh, once and I only heard there's like a huge barrier of entry. What was that about? Barrier of entry. Yeah, Mark Brown said that, I think. Oh, I don't recall about movement. That's because I don't. I I suspect Mark Brown is really horrible at video games, and he doesn't play them very often. Mm. So he thinks like I like the idea of beating a video game is an incredible Herculean task. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like when like you when you were like ten or eight, like the idea of actually beating a video game was incredible. Like holy shit, I beat a video game. I got to the end. <laughs> Stuff you grow out of when you, you know, you get 12, 14 years old. Yeah, yeah. Good times. It's hard yeah. to remember the Mark Brown videos beyond learning nothing in them. Oh. <laughs> Wish I could be more All I learned is nothing. that I learned nothing. I, I, like, I like his Adobe After Effects pre animations. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 
when, when we I like, when, the, I, I like the part where he downloaded the the composition someone else had made and he just said I did that I'm good at it I think I'm video essayist yeah hey, can, those can downloads we, don't pay for themselves yeah like, used as yeah, actually they literally do though but <laughs> <laughs> um, timing right. tests timing yes plus timing <laughs> minus movement movement this Mark <laughs> Brown host fucking Sesame Street I don't know why this is that like Elmo? It's like, can you even move, you disgusting creature? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Berates all these children. <laughs> he never really even went into racing games. No. Fucking hell. Which well, is race. really he weird. He never really went into racism yeah, games. Race. Yeah. <laughs> racism games? Really, I need to he know did mention, that. yeah, Bio he mentioned no... Me. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> yeah, none of that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like confused. every time I'm so pissed me off. This is this is what happens when you experience the Bachbrow video. You just your brain's <laughs> melty. Um, you don't no, you don't listen to Mark Brown. You hear him. <laughs> I think I, th you. I think it was I think it was the Delta. There was the Delta Eight mixed with the Mark Brown that just caused a complete fucking <laughs> rejection of any rational thoughts. I just like the idea of Mark Brown reviewing racist games, including yeah. Bioshock Infinite. Mark Brown reviews Mein Kampf. Yeah. 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 Maker Mark Brown's book club. Which is the best rate? John, all of why why I did it by OJ Simpson. I covered the, 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 the intricacies of eugenics. I don't know. I mean, I yeah, like would, you know. Let's find the out upside of the on. Holocaust. We need to wipe this whole, this this whole video game essays thing isn't working out for me, so I'm gonna try <laughs> to make fucking literal QAnon pandering videos. Why not? Oh God. Do it, uh, gamer. Oh. Do it, gamer. <laughs> get, get that bread, gamer. Do it, gamer. You know what they say. Fucking dirty. <laughs> EFAP movies Kazam, please. I need it. I don't know what that is. Kazam. Kazam? I'm gonna Kazam you in your face with my nuts. Kazam? Racist. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but uh, maybe one day. Ooh, bloody nose. Maybe they're mispronouncing hit. Chasm or Shazam. I, I'll, ta I'll take the airship from Juno. I'll be right there. <laughs> one, maybe the thing one is, is if they joke. were mispronouncing Chasm, it would be Mauler that was mispronouncing. Are you mispronouncing the word Chasm, Mauler? I don't believe that I am. That's or maybe opinion, the person though. misspelled it, or... Maybe. And then, as a result... Maybe Mahler accurately translated the wrong word, or pronounced mm -hmm. the wrong word. Fucking idiot. Whoa. <laughs> we don't use those words That's here. That's so mean. Shaw. He didn't even learn anything from Mark Brown. Wow. Didn't. <laughs> I was like shouting out from the darkness, fucking useless prick. <laughs> you're in like, a like, hospital, both cool. your legs are broken. You're like, I'll watch a Mark Brown video. He's like, you didn't make me feel bad. Fucking <laughs> asshole. You had one job. Um... As for tips for improving audio, reduce background noise as much as you can when recording. Yes. Yes. That's a good yeah. one. Actually, uh, if there... you have if you have hard sorry, if you have hard reflective surfaces all over your room, the reason why bathroom sounds shitty, all the tile, it reflects all the audio and it, it reverberates forever. Um, you want to reduce as much as possible. That's why your shits Having... sound horrible. It's done the... <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're always done in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, no exactly. It's why it's why you're singing sounds better, because the acoustics are better. Uh, but I thought you said you it sounds hang, worse. Can... I thought think, you said things sound bad in the bathroom. No. Uh, when they I'm... sound more echoey. They sound more harsh. But if you're trying to, if you're singing a song calmly, like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, it, it can sound more resonant and more, like, rich. Mm. Which is why people record giant fucking, like, performance tunes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, you want to cover up all the hard parts of your of your recording space as, as much as possible. I have a big tarp on my desk that all my monitors and stuff are sitting on because that's one hard surface that's right in front of me. I have, like, tarps and fucking uh, acoustic foam pads hanging up and everything. Okay. Those are good for that. Apparently, Kazam has what? Shaq in oh, it. Yeah, go ahead. They're disappointed that we Show didn't know. Oh, the Shaq movie. There you go. And... That's right. That doesn't exist. And they already kind of do uh, fucking... Kung Pao, whatever it was, that one game. Wow. Shaq. Probably offensive. Shit, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Shaq Fu. 
Trek Fu uh, was not funny. Wow. Yeah. Then Aaron Carter came out of the blue. <laughs> and they mean, both they took... took the more recent game, I guess. Fuck, what are the lyrics? Oh. Uh, um. <clears throat> Started beating up Shaquille O'Neal until they both got flattened by the Batmobile before the Batmo Batman could make it back to the Batcave. Abraham Lincoln came out of his grave. That's that's it, right? And he jumped in the well, air. Well, an AK-47 out from Abraham under his hat Lincoln blew Batman away with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. <laughs> Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. <laughs> I remember. That was some good shit. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. Back. It wasn't even like a good song, it was just like pretty novel. How dare you. You're not even a good song. In your bathroom. Whoa. I can sing what? okay. <laughs> How could you just say this to me? Hold a note right now. You will not insult my singing. Mm. Call me what you want, but leave my singing alone. What was the lowest note you can hit, Mahler? Oh, that's seven. Holy shit. What's that? What's the highest? Where'd that Mongolian come from? Hey. <laughs> What's the highest Golian. note you can hit? Oh no. E? Don't shy away from this, you pussy bitch. I am under attack. <laughs> I'm <laughs> literally being like fucking persecuted right now. <laughs> well, it wasn't Not even again. the last lap. If it was, that would have been epic. Damn it. Not again. That's the one thing I didn't want to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Jojo Chase? I, I, I guess they wanted to. Show. Yeah, they wanted to talk about it, I guess. Vaguely. No, they, they just wanted to- they probably were um, outline, outlining my avatar, which was drawn in a oh. uh, intentionally JoJo way, just like, for the fuck of it. What's- why the- the- isn't it redundant to have two Joes? Why not just the singular Joe? <laughs> because, uh, it, it's a contraction of the first and last name. So, for example, originally it's a uh, Jonathan Joestar, and then Joseph Joestar, and then Josuke. And then eventually, uh, Giorgio, and blah blah blah, so they all have a J sounding, like, sound oh, in the beginning of all the I hate that explanation. Can somebody in the chat, please, oh, because I want to live in a universe. <laughs> I, I've been wanting this for years. Can you, uh, Photoshop an image for me? I'm gonna give you the details, hold on. Oh. Uh, I want to live in a universe where, in JoJo, there are two Joes, but all you have to do is take the Odd Couple movie, and then Photoshop the title to Joe and Joe. Ba and then da -da -da -da. Trying, trying people into saying it's the best anime right now. It's just these two old men. <laughs> Mark, kill yourself. Damn. All right, well. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> I love you. Don't ever actually do that. I'll be very upset. I'm just waiting for my little JoJo. Oh. <gasps> I'll show you my little JoJo. No. What? Fringy, Fringy, give me a kiss. <laughs> no. Give me a kiss, Fringy. Well, over the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. How, now, how, how does one do that? Kiss your mic, you fucking retard. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. I'll kiss your mic for you. You don't have to. You don't have to. I'm not kissing my microphone. Yeah, that sounds like Srape. I think I, you should yeah, stop. How's oh, no. <laughs> <It's rape. laughs> don't put so much pressure on me. me. One with it. <laughs> lick it, give, give it a little lick. No. <laughs> Enough of your licking. No, no, daddy, please, yummy tay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> um, oh, this one's good. I come in precisely who I mean to from Glansdorf. Oh, I guess that's that's good for you. That's, yeah, that's, we were talking about how wizards seem perverted, right? Yeah. It's inherently something nasty about wizards. I feel like they're just all pathetic. Leave him alone. <laughs> what a dumble dang did he use? Step on my paws, Double please! <laughs> oh, I, I just want to mention I'm playing Rimworld right now no. and I tamed a rhino and it's called Jay. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like the name of a good gay bar. I was gonna say, it sounds like. Rhino little... or Jay? Or... Rimworld. Oh. Rimworld. <laughs> oh. Everything related to rims and anuses. Anus. Anal discovery. Oh, the anus. Anal discovery. What is an hold on? What is an anal discovery? It's like well, when you everything you want it to be. Find something up there. Yeah. Get an up there it could be a treasure chest. <laughs> something else. Yeah, exactly what I want to hear. Or you're just surprised there is one there. Uh oh. Like I didn't know you had an anus. <laughs> yeah, I just bought it yesterday. It's really handy. 
Wait a second, this is a bog standard fleshlight. What's this asshole doing here? <laughs> Wait a second, what the frog? <laughs> bog well, standard. Well, freeze right there, stop it. Um, but anyway, Lord Longbone of Mewswington <laughs> Abbey. Nice segue. I know, right? I'm very good at them. You've done a Godzilla EFAP, so would you consider doing one for Peter Jackson's Kong? Yeah, we're on board with that, I think, already. Uh, I don't know when we'll get around to it, but for sure. I'm curious as your take on it, not just its sketchy structure, but with the attitude it was made with. Oh. Um, are, so you're a big fan of uh, that guy that we talked to last week? Oh, why? The attitude it was made with? Is, is he somehow well, connected so... to the attitude it was... Oh wait, you're talking about... I thought you meant like Twin Perfect had a video about this. No, 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 just the Twin Perfect's whole thing of like 0% death of the author, the intentions of the, the well, creator. I'm assuming know. this Super Chat is just curious oh, no. for our take on whatever the okay. attitude was. I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah, I think it's worth considering <laughs> sometimes, just, you know, Yeah, curious. no, true. I, I, when you say Twin Perfect and that, in the same sentence, I, I'm just like red flags. <laughs> 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 there should be red flags for yeah, any sentence that has terrible. Twin Perfect in it. Fucking communists. Yeah. <laughs> what? Are, are they? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out about that at some point. By the way, what your wagsies squ squ squitches for the good boy? <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, How do you guys feel about the deleted torture sc screen between Kylo and Chewie and Tross? Fuck. Was there a deleted the, torture scene? No. I got no that clue. Really? I'm sure it yeah, was. I never heard about it. it was... Chewie just wants to have Wookie, just wants to have Wookie pain. <laughs> all yeah. that Chewie oh. is is a chauffeur, and he gets tortured. That's yeah. all he's worth. Mm -hmm. Kind of really lame. But what are you gonna do? Mm. I guess. My problem, my problem. <sighs> Better than yeah, watching Mark Brown, though, right? <laughs> Metal just goes. Shit, you told him. Yeah. Um, hi, Rags. Hey! Hi, Prospector M. Oh, hey. Hi, Mr. Ratboy. Oh, thank you. Hi. Kick J. I thought you were a, um, a schmousy. Wow, they didn't even mention uh, Chase. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Are you just like, you're <laughs> just, you, it stands for all rodents just in general. Just the oh. whole clade. No, no, rats are like the super race of like rodents. Yeah, hmm. rats are pretty great. Yeah, they what are. Do you feel I mean, about like capybaras. Uh, they're kind of the chillest animal on planet Earth, and I kind of regret my choices in life of not uh, standing one. I thought you were going to say not being one. I was like, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's not too late. I, I, I can go with the tusk method and just morph my body into one. I've seen Tusk. That's a weird movie. Yeah. It's weird because it's like it wants to be human centipede, and who wants to be human centipede? I mean, it was so powerful, I watched it three times and cried and then posted the pictures on Twitter.com. Oh, that's a reference that I understand. I don't know if anyone else does, though. <clears throat> um, I think I might. What is it just to be, uh, just to be certain? Good old, Kevin well, Smith. the director. Kevin Smith watched WandaVision last episode and he cried three times, or he watched it three times oh. and cried as a pick. As he does it with Christ. fucking Fuck, everything, the, it's I weird. I saw the tweet and I didn't get the reference, I'm so ashamed. Damn. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> That's all I have to say. You me. Um, remember EFAP is that Daylight Savings is on the 14th, so set an alarm for it early. My, I think my favorite part about Daylight Savings is that it means that getting up for EFAP at the normal time would mean getting up at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Hooray! <clears throat> so, uh, can you EFAP... Can you EFAP movies airplane? It could be fun listening to everyone laugh for an hour and a half. I mean, it's not out of the question, but I would worry that that would be all that would happen with airplane, because that movie is fucking funny. Airplane? We would just yeah, be giggly gaggling. Um, not a fan of space... Jism. They just J S M. Space Jism. Space <laughs> Space Jim. Um, space Jim, which can either be a cool character <laughs> or just a nice way to stay in shape in the future. Yeah. Ooh. Space uh, Worm Jim. But I am decently upset over the Lola thing. Then again, I get upset over any politically motivated desexualization of a fictional character on the matter of principle. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Lola Bunny's not as hot. 
Um, oh, yeah, that's the... That's that's... About. I was curious I what the it's... principle would be here. Like, the principle of never make something less sexy? Is that the principle? Is that, is that a... That I just think like, like it's just a general <laughs> trend, in a way. Um, uh, well, I mean... Like, can't have... I just want a, a hot fuckable rabbit. Right, but well, what is the principle? I don't understand what you mean by the principle. I'm curious like, what the principle I, being breached there is, yeah. Is it... I object to changing a character's design because that would be absurd. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's not what you meant. I'm assuming it's the sex part of it. But what if, what if like, the creator is like, so here's, like, the reason why and it all makes sense and is informed in the story, well, then what? Here's a question. Oh, yeah, then it's fine. Can we make them sexier? Okay. Or is that out of the question too or is that yeah but if that if if that's okay with you then i imagine that there's something else at play here it's just that you want to have sex with lola buddy that's okay <laughs> it's okay it's yeah okay. that's All just right. a given though you go right ahead yeah i mean it, i find i look space jam is actually a pretty fun cool movie so yeah I'm actually we'll, we'll do that for fat movies i think people. space jam yeah or not. I, it's I gonna be shit tweet. the new one's gonna be shit like all remakes <laughs> um well it's not a remake it's a sequel Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a sequel. <laughs> with Maybe uh, LeBron know. James instead of Michael <laughs> Jordan. Um, but I, I like the, uh, from the screenshots, the art style. Like, I think, I think it looks really cool. And I saw a tweet that, um, was just celebrating that, like, kind of just the ubiquitous Disney style is starting to sort of get phased out in favor of, uh, more unique art styles, at least in terms of animated films that aren't made by Disney. So like, you know, when you got into the Spider-Verse and then there was going to be that one that uh, got canceled when Blue Sky got shut down that probably would have had a really unique art style and a couple yeah. of the DreamWorks ones. He means changing a character for political reasons external to the story. Um, political reasons? Well, I don't, is that, is that, is that political? It is if you is just that... say it, everything is. I, I'd be work. curious how we know it's political, and then I, I'd want to push that principle. I want to be like, when are we always when never allowed to do yeah. that? Um, I would ask how the change helps makes the story better. I would ask how the change makes the story worse. Because <laughs> if yeah, it doesn't it... make it worse, then, then there's nothing to talk about here. It's just that you don't like it, which is fine, but that's not, you know, but yeah, you can't say them, that that's like... Let worse. him pine it's over the sexy bunny, it. Fringy, Jesus. I mean, I, of course, I, I like, if, if they if they changed the old one, like, if they went back and reanimated Space Jam to change her design, then I would think that's kind of stupid. Yeah. But like, for a that's... new design, I don't care. After yeah, Lola it, it... Bunny had a horrific back injury on set, yeah. they edited out her uh, scenes yeah. in the in the old Space Jam. Yeah. Uh, they changed Lola because they wanted to make her look strong. Is that a problem, necessarily? <clears throat> Is that political? Uh, I, I think I think it's the wording though, like as if like her new body as indicates she that she's strong. Before, strong. Right. Yeah, she yeah. Was, she was literally like the strongest player on that team apart from. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is that is but funny, she was sexy right? Because, and, uh, mm. because it's like, what are you implying with that statement of she looks yes. strong? It's like, didn't she before? It's a, it's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she was yeah, the best player on the team. It's a very loaded statement because you can easily apply that uh, if you have curves, you're not strong. Yeah, it feels it, like, like an accident. Yeah. They and I don't think that was their intention, but we like... We get it, it Free, your so... pro-censorship. Wow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Pro-censorship. Yeah, okay. I knew oh. it. Bringy's cancelled. I, I agree that if something isn't in service of the story, like, I can hand-wave a lot as long as it's explained in a cohesive way that makes sense to the narrative, because it's, everything is in, in service of the narrative in the story. Absolutely. So, um, I don't give like I really don't give a shit apart like this the only thing that bothered me slightly was the statement yeah and I'll that's that. only it can be misconstrued uh oh I mean somebody said something is, is if it's a sequel is the problem um to change a character's body type like as in is it not consistent that she looks different? I want to milf Lola bunny well I was gonna um, say <laughs> If she's we just had, thick as fuck. If someone was like, wow, Luke's a little fatter than he was in the... I'd just be like, I mean, well, I... <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I guess the thing is, is, like, did Lola get breast reduction surgery? Blue. Like, you know what I mean? What, what would happen? <laughs> if she's dead, something like that in the movie, I, I take it well, all back. If, I fucking love this movie. What if she's breast really reduction like, surgery sounds very empowering? What, what if she was wearing, time. like, a push-up bra or something? I don't know. My back was yeah, killing I mean, me after I... <laughs> died. <laughs> That's the big reveal, because Bugs notices it straight away. He's like, what happened?
I was living a lie. What happened to your fucking amazing tits? Yeah. <laughs> He's like drunk. <laughs> Lol, like tell you just for for some Lola reason. Lola drunky. The weight of breast was too much, but she can take like an actual anvil to the head and still be okay. Um, quick reminder that despite making up thirty three percent of race contendants, metal consistently makes up zero percent of the winners. It's only been yeah, two races. Funny. Oh no, wait, that's there's been three crazy. races. Fuck. I'm sorry, Mel. You'll win one one day. Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't want to promise anything. One division tried so hard to make the sword direct to the bad guy, even though I think most people in yeah. his position would do close to the same. Up to the shooting of innocent children, sure. <laughs> that was yeah. where they lost me a little bit. That was pretty annoying. <laughs> How they just turned him into a comic. really bad. It's really bad, yeah. Um, I, I saw someone uh, left a comment on um, my tweet. I can't remember who it was, but I think it might have been Evan Monroe, but he was, he was like, so weird that he's surprised by running out of ammo after shooting all the bullets in the gun, too. He like looks at the gun like, what? Yeah, what? Like, this isn't ammo? supposed to happen. <laughs> ammo? What the fuck? Also, the slide doesn't lock back even though I'm out of bullets, and this is a Glock, because fuck it. We don't have to know what guns are in Hollywood. Just Ooh. make them go pew pew. Fuck it. We hate guns. We watched a gun video today, it was pretty neat. Um, what is everyone's favorite game they've played, and everyone's objectively best game they've played, also high rags, and Kick J? Hi, I think we answered something like this yesterday, but... We did, yeah. Uh, what objectively best? I don't know. Uh, That's a tough one. Pong? <laughs> Tetris? <laughs> Wait, what's that? What was the question? What's like, what, what would you say is the objectively best game you've played, Fringy? Functionality. Tetris. I think Tetris is incredible. Like, Tetris is legitimately probably in my top <clears> ten <throat> favorite games of all time. I think Tetris is like the most genius idea for a video game ever. Um, That's some high praise. There's so much about it that works. Um, there's so much about it that I find clever. Just the <clears> fact that it's... Uh, I think Tetris 99 was probably the game that reminded me of that. Like, that's... I'm pretty sure Tetris 99 is my most played game on Switch. Um, oh yeah, that game is pretty fun actually, yeah. That game is a ton of fun. Um, of course, that game isn't like, you know, that's got the fundamentals of Tetris, but that game has sort of like extra modifications on it, but like on a mm. fundamental level, just what Tetris is, is really clever, I think. And then favorite game of all time? Oh, my favorite game of all time is probably it's something between Crash Bandicoot or Ratchet and Clank, like the original three games of their respective series. Um, that or like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, yeah, uh, I've said before, like, the Metroids tend to take my spot for favorite game of all time, but there's a whole bunch. Dark Souls likes to fit in there sometimes. As for a choice of best game, oh. try and go for something a little more varied than one of the classic like structurally sound games i i'm not even sure where where my head goes to first with this uh I minecraft are, minecraft yeah. could be it minecraft yeah <clears throat> that's probably pretty close especially with how much it gets I, updated all the time to make sure everything's working as well as it should i feel like uh the, what would be the best game has to be something that has just like a really simple fundamental idea but is massively complex and and can expand depending on um how much you play it you know low skill floor high skill ceiling as it were mm. uh yeah um that's probably we, we went into a lot more depth on this one on the prior e5 gaming so that'll be out eventually and we've probably answered it before. I just, I don't know what else to say without treading oh, around, you know? Somebody, apparently there's a quote from Entertainment Weekly about uh, the Lola thing. So the quote from Malcolm D. Lee, I'm guessing he's the director or something. This is 2021. It's important to reflect the authenticity of strong, capable female characters. Ah, see, yeah, that's what... Oh, I'm yeah, thinking, which like, Lola Bunny was definitely like, not a strong, yeah. capable female character she before. Was she was but the now, that, player now that we've team. desexualized her a bit, she is definitely those things. She was the best player on the team! Did you not watch the... Like, yeah, did she didn't take shit. Yeah. She was super yeah. strong and confident uh, and all Bunny that stuff. Was, yeah, the video that's game, was the video game question for just, like, a few people, or was it for everyone? <clears throat> Anybody who wants the to jump in? Um... I gave this some thought, and, like, objectively best game, and, like, f my favorite game kind of blend together, but I'm a really big fan of Final Fantasy Tactics, which is, like, a 
strategy RPG. It's kind of one of those isometric, almost like chess-like games. Uh -huh. uh, and it has it is like permadeath, and you can mix and match player classes. And the story is like uh, incredibly grim. Like there's a sort of a heavily insinuated mention of rape, and uh, when a girl brings up her past with like her adoptive father, and just like there's all this stuff in there that just you look you look at Final Fantasy, you're like I'm pretty sure I know what every single game is like in this series. Just like looking at the art and everything, you play Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics, and you're like, holy fucking shit, this is way more of art than anything else I can think of. Just the entire experience is really, really good. But, uh... I, I always say the cliché, like, my favorite game is Monster Hunter World, but now that gonna... I've, like, beaten that game and gotten to the end of it, I'm kind of, like, <clears throat> burned out on it. I, I, I imagine I that's inevitable. Who... It's a long one. Yeah, it's fucking great, though. But, yeah, I mean, ugh, just, there's so many good options. Yeah. I, I couldn't possibly answer that with, like, precision, but... I would just say Final Fantasy Tactics, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go give it a try. It's uh, I only played Advance it on and Grimoire of the Rift. I never played the first. Uh, uh, Tactics Advance was really great, too, because, like, without spoiling too much of it for anyone that hasn't played it, not like you're going to pick it up for the first time now. But, you know, That's it's good. like you're in fucking, you know, this little snow town with your friends, and it's like you go out and the, your new, the new kid, your friend, uh, is, like, getting bullied, and it's like everything's all shitty, and... This other person is having problems at home. Your dad's kind of a deadbeat. And you find this, like, magical book called Final Fantasy. Go figure. And uh, you read it out loud, like, all the incantations, which is totally a great idea. And the next day, they all wake up, and they've been transported to this magical world. And the main character, Marsh, is just trying to figure out how to get home. And he sees that literally everyone else, everyone that got transported from the real world with him, uh, they're all, like, all of their lives are better. So, like, they all try to stop him. Like, no, we don't want you to fucking break this illusion and, like, go back to the way things were. Like, we're happier this way. And he's like, no, I have to. It must be done. So, like, you are kind of the villain because you're trying to do this selfish thing. And it's just... For being a Game Boy Advance game, it's really good it's music. It's really simplistic, but... It's pretty good, though. Like... I, mean, I like, said it was to... uh, simplistic for you to say that. Yeah, no, uh, feel free to elaborate. <laughs> I don't what you really care. <laughs> He's uh, kind enough to fine. say it, but not enough to go any further. Yeah, very yeah, basically, yeah. You'll never hear me like change my mind on my favorite game, but it's just Okami. I just love everything about Weeb. it. I fucking love. C can you sell me on Okami? Because I've tried to start it up three separate times. It has the longest, most tedious intro. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, it's to me, it's like it's the best Zelda game that isn't even a Zelda game. There. And right. also the art style is kind of objectively better apart most from Most people I noticed June? that really like Okami. Most most people I really noticed that love Okami as inside as their favorite game tend to be chicks. I don't know why. Ooh. Have you noticed that? I know yeah. a lot of girls that Those like Okami. And I just dogs. say it to get pussy. Let's be real. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and it's working. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just say oh it because uh, when I talk about their favorite game with them, uh, they suck my penis. So... Um. Uh, also, my favorite band is definitely My Chemical Romance. No, I don't know. I, I, I picked <laughs> a fact. random off the top of my head. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, My Chemical Romance? Who the fuck cares about that anymore? Another interesting little factoid about me. Um, just an, um, by the way, I have this interesting mood board you might want to check out. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm really into Bee and Puppy Cat. It's this obscure cartoon you probably never heard of. <laughs> Oh, also, one thing I've one thing that I've kind of told Mark uh, on the topic of video game stuff is there's this old, 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 old MMO called Final Fantasy XI that used to be really good, and it's you know still the servers are still active like 18 years later, but uh, everything about the game has changed so drastically to appeal to like new players. So it has all these weird almost like gotcha elements where everything's very like yeah here's a random chance to get an experience points boost, and it's just very like. You know, by by the time you get through this one quest line that gives you a key item that magnifies your experience, you can get from level 1 to 30 in, like, 5 minutes. It's just, like, completely trivialized. But uh, some dudes came along and they're like, hey, we miss how Final Fantasy XI used to play. And so they made a private server called Eden. E-D-E-N. Uh, e and it's completely free to play. It doesn't cost any money to, to buy it or to have, like, a subscription or anything. And it's really fucking fun. And I play it with all my friends every minute of every day. It is the most fun I've had in probably 20 years. Because I'm a, I'm a big old boomer. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, yeah, someone mentioned Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, FF14 sucks. 
Play <laughs> eleven instead. Thank you. Uh, if I, because I've never played any Final Fantasy games, which would be the yep. one that I should play, and don't tell me it's seven. I don't want the <laughs> nine. boring answer. Nine. Give me something nine. else. Nine. Nine. Yep. Okay, not six. I hear people say that six is. Really six good. is fine, but like, if you're looking for like a good Final Fantasy that's kind of representative of the other ones to like, you know, introduce you into the series, then I think nine is good. It has the everything. Chat's gonna light up uh, with like, no, the correct one. Chat, is... fuck you. Oh. Final Fantasy nine is objectively the best Final. Final Fantasy seven's no, great. It's Final Fantasy eight. Final Fantasy two and eight kind of suck my nuts. It's okay <gasps> if you like those still. But, Somebody you know. said start with one. I'm not playing all of these games. Like, no, here's, here's, the, here's the fun thing. So if you do play one, play one on the PSP remake. The, yeah, the remaster thing or whatever. Um, and it's just a really lean RPG. It's just like a fucking hero story. It's like go off and save the princess and shit. And you can totally tell it was made the, in like the late 80s because it's so mind-numbingly simple. But it's really cute uh, and okay. the music is really enjoyable. And So that wouldn't even be like a bad... Play it on your Game Boy Advance SP. You I could, it, you actually oh, man, I... Oh, well, I but still the, have my... But the PSP is a sleep button, anymore. so... I got my DS... Uh, DS Lite. But anyway, so DS let me make my case. So, okay. at one point, Square Enix... I believe they were Enix at the time. I don't think they were soft <laughs> anymore. Uh, came together and they did a big press conference. So like, we're gonna announce three games right now. And they're like, okay, let's hear it. And they're like, okay. Final Fantasy IX, which is gonna harken back to classic RPGs. And they're like, okay. And they're like, Final Fantasy X... Which is going to be like a modern, sort of futurized idealization of how the format could be refined. And then like, okay. And like, and we're going to make Final Fantasy XI, which is an MMO. And like, alright. And so Final Fantasy IX is just like the most, uh... It's the most... Just pure? Of them all? And it's, it's very like... There's, there's a lot of really good plot beats. Like, I can't really say much of anything at all without spoiling it, but... That's uh, okay. The um... cast cast is fucking fantastic and they remastered it on, on uh, Steam so, and uh, PS4. See now my mind's caught up on does Square Enix have a habit of announcing three games in the same series at the same time? No. Isn't that what they did? Isn't that what they did with Final Fantasy 13? They're like, hey, we're doing like a big oh, kind of or something about crystals and then everybody hated it. <laughs> so, you for know, your first Final Fantasy, avoid anything from like 11 onward. Oh boy, because, so like uh, avoid the last, what, 20 years of this series? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, right. pretty much. Yeah, actually. You know, I mean, when Final I Fantasy see that 10 trailer... Is, Final Fantasy X is like cool. It's a really good, like really well-rounded first-time game. Isn't but that the one where the guy goes, ah, goes, ha, 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 ha. Okay, listen. Goes. Listen, motherfucker. Yeah. Everyone takes that clip out of context. The whole point of that clip was that she was going on a fucking literal suicide mission. Okay. And uh, she was really bummed out about it and sad. And everyone else was super bummed out about it. And yes. Titus is just like, hey, uh, hey is that sometimes you just cringe have to force thing. yourself to... Yeah, if you just... Uh, I unlocked the Waluigi racer. You either really forced laugh, and then they look at each other, and they smile, and then they really laugh. And it's like, oh, right. okay. So that, that whole thing was like a big setup to be like, you know... But it was still cringe. It's yeah, that's the whole fucking point. He's being a dork, you dumbasses. Whoa. Fuck um, you. Yeah, yeah. Stupid. Get out of context. Whoa. It's it's like the uh, the Final Fantasy VII. You still owe me a pizza. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> no, also, someone yeah. added me and said Final Fantasy XII was still good. I agree. I like Final Fantasy XII despite all of its issues. But for a first Final you. Fantasy game, fuck no. Are you kidding me? I don't. No. I don't know much about Final Fantasy, but when I see the original trailer for Final Fantasy Versus 13, that game looks way cooler than Final Fantasy 15. It's not like oh, really yeah, no, a game absolutely. at all, but as a concept, it looks way cooler than what ended up coming out. It's um, gonna take place in Somnus and all that shit. And, I, I do. Insomnia, I think. I just, I guess, I find Square Enix is an interesting company to me. They get really mad about the Western properties not doing as well as they want, but then they spend 10 years making a Final Fantasy game. Like, I, remember, mm -hmm. I, I distinctly remember this, like, in 2013, I think it was, or, like, around that time, they'd released, like, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Hitman Absolution, uh, and Tomb Raider. And all three of those games sold really well by, like, any reasonable standard. Um, mm -hmm. But all of them were considered to be commercially, like, either failures or underperformed. Um, and it's like, man, yeah. you know, the, our Western exploits didn't do so well. You guys over in the West, you gotta do better. But like at the same it's time, because in, in, in Japan, everything is on. Years. Like Square Square Enix has put everything on mobile phones now. You can get Chrono Trigger, oh, and like you, you okay. can get Final Fantasy VII Classic on your phone. 
like the PlayStation One version. It's Somebody just, said and, ten and years be, of that's because that's interesting. So they focus on phone games. <laughs> they, they focus on phone games a fuck ton because everyone's commuting all the time on the train, and yeah. so yeah, having plain. any actual spare time to just sit in and front of course. Of your TV, a lot of people no, in Japan no, don't have TVs because they live in closets. Like, <laughs> their house is big enough to fit a TV in it. <sighs> All right, Someone then. said they shoved Van in Final Fantasy XII after ya Yasumi Matsuno left the project. What does that have to do with a Van being more in the story? Sorry, I just didn't... I didn't and those to games sold better than Final Fantasy VII Remake. Really? Really? Wow. All game? right, that's... Just, uh, <laughs> I think... I think they're saying, like, the games I listed, like, Tomb Raider. Because I remember Tomb Raider sold, like, six million copies. It was massively successful, mm. and they just weren't happy with that. But again, it's like, I don't know, this is just amusing. Like, how much money did it cost to make Final Fantasy XV? I, I would be honestly amazed if that, that game made its money back. Ten years. Ten mm. years. Um, yeah, and also, I don't know, it's like, in terms of Final Fantasy games, like... It's always just an RPG to save the world and who you end up like, you know, what kind of settings you want to go through, what kind of characters you want to spend time with, what sort of battle system you want. Those are the main things that change from every Final Fantasy game. But like, right. you'll see, you'll see, um, you know, common things like chocobos. Chocobos, bird, right? Yeah. House, the bird horse mount things that you ride around like horses and moogles which are like pandas with bat wings and pom-poms on their heads Ugh. and shit so it's like you could feasibly you could feasibly start at any final fantasy game you wouldn't, really, you wouldn't like miss much it just might sour your opinion so for example final fantasy 2 super super old game where you have to like memorize phrases from people and say them to the right npc kind of unprompted uh that got annoying but mostly the combat was really shitty because the more you the more you did things the more you would level up those skills which sounds really great until you realize that like you'll end up using that as an exploit to like you'll go into a battle and just start hitting your fucking teammates just to get their hp to level up so it's just like yeah maybe if you try that for a first final fantasy game then people you're not really gonna like the series that much he Right anyway, on. what's next on the question bracket? <laughs> question bracket. Let us discover. Uh, Let us find wait, out. Go ahead. Yeah? Uh, not Quinton reviews. It's either Quim or Quinton. Probably the latter since he's never getting any Quim. <laughs> well, I see. Man, as I'm looking at this double dash footage, so many memories, man. Yeah. Double dash really, uh, really gave the Mario world like a sense of place like you're in this mushroom city i remember as a kid thinking like man i wonder what's going on in this mushroom city what they're getting up to they're racing <laughs> well they're racing but there are bob -ombs race and stuff rolling around the racists too. no like, this, this I looks never like a big that. old city with a lot going on double dashes uh, if, if you look really closely on one of the pixels in the side of the screen you can actually see Toads kicking out indigenous races of people from this. Oh, I was not. I, I thought you were going to the left shoulder. Like in one of those towers, you can see a toad just say, "Like life ain't worth living no more." Ah! <laughs> Jumping out. You see him He's on just... repeat, slowly drop. You from see the, toad uh, lives tower. matter practices going on. Oh, no. But <laughs> Mark, I like when I tell a joke that you're not comfortable with, and you just go, "Oh no!" <laughs> you yourself just quietly. I, like, I imagine that myself. there are a lot of political issues, though. <laughs> you know, like, I'm oh, sure God Toads me. have a lot of issues with Mario in terms of, like, just him killing them all the time and stomping them to death. Imagine the Goombas it's have quite a bone to pick. Koopa lives matter. Uh, <laughs> Get it? Uh, bones. <laughs> what, what's Dry Bones? Is that? Yeah, Dry Bones, right? Dry bones <laughs> it's sorry. Uh, Whatever, he's unsaid. Uh, uh, I like these invented uh, names. <laughs> Fun, aren't they? Um, Paratrooper. That's really clever. It took me like 20 years to realize why that's so clever. Um, because they, well, uh, they've they always used Trooper. They're, that's what they call yeah, called. Yeah, Paratrooper. Yeah, it's like Paratrooper. Yeah. Well, Paratrooper yeah. is like Paratrooper. I don't know if I Troopers call that clever. Just... Yeah. You might have just had a bushy brain. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. <laughs> hey, look, alright, I think it's kind of neat. Alright. Yeah. Uh, would her candle be a weapon? I do not know what that's referencing. I have no idea. A cab, all yes. troopers are bad. 
<laughs> no, no laughs. All right, I'll I'll retreat. <laughs> I'll, I'll kill yourself. Oh, right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, no, no. Uh, Please, no. Yes. Sup and hey. The candle question. Oh wait, what about it? Do you, do you know the answer? No, I don't. I was just saying yes. Oh, <laughs> do you know the way. See, he does not know the way. Okay, um, I recently bought my very first PC. I should any day now. Okay. Are you proud of me, Mr. Ah. Rags? I'm evolving into a PC gamer. Oh, I am. I hope you really enjoy it. I bet you will. Yeah. You're gonna have a step fun up. PCs time. are epic. Uh, this one just has a Shibo emote. Nice. Oh, sweet. Oh. Um, hello, I'm Muller. The people have spoken, and now me and Drags are proud to announce our complete EFAP gaming series on Enzai Falsely Accused. What's that? <laughs> Enzai? Anyone know what that is? Enzai Falsely Accused? I think got nothing. Enzymes? <clears throat> Enzymes Falsely Accused. <laughs> Not familiar with that one, but I hope it's good. Ew, fucking shitty bonus. I need to stop playing as Mario. I need someone who's better. He's shit. I'll take. Oh my god. No. Oh. EFAP movie Space Jam when? Also High Rags and Chase. Uh, ah! I'm on board with doing that. I don't know when. We got so many to watch. Like, the EFAP movie's backlog is enormous. So, be afraid, I guess. That's what I'm saying with that. Be afraid. Um. Prepared. Jay, you had an, <laughs> Jay, you had an entire year of quarantine. Please tell me you finally watched Lord of the Rings. That's the big no. Big no. What? Big no. Oh, there. shit. Even I didn't know this. What the? It's pretty bad. Like, to not watch Lord of the Rings at this point, I think it might be illegal. I don't Disgusting. really want to. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Pretty embarrassing. I think as soon as the border lifts, like, the New Zealanders are just going to come get you. Yep. Proper authorities. <laughs> Scoop you up. Be afraid. Scoop you up. Take you out. Ah, I like and then they're just going to force you to watch Hobbit at 60 frames per second on loop. <laughs> They'll make you watch it at 200 frames. <laughs> 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 it literally like, like, like fade to credits, but it just fades into the first scene of the first film. And you're like, no! <laughs> Mercy! No! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> like fucking Clockwork Orange. <laughs> Um, favorite color? Mine is orange. Purple. Yeah, mine's. Fucker. I like. I really like red and purple. I like both of them. No, I, I clean purple. Yeah. Fuck off. No, rude. You can't. Clean Only one color. of us could have one favorite color. Do you know what Wonder Woman <laughs> said in BVS? She said, "Boys don't share." So thanks for proving her right. Fuck. <gasps> well, the last thing you want to do is that. prove a rapist right. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Mark just trails off with mm. Stop. It must be right. really Ooh. weird as a paratrooper to be juggling the body parts of your friends. I, I What's well, think... just the shells? Maybe they're like toenails for them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like it would Juggle also toenails. be weird if somebody was juggling my toenails, but you no, know. Well, if they were a good that... weapon, I, I don't think we'd care anymore. It's just, you know, it's a utility thing. Um, I guess what? I, yeah, so I imagine, suppose that. Yeah. yeah. Imagine you juggling like a perfect like skin suit of a friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, this Just skin, the you juggle the flappy skin. Going yeah, around. flappy skin <laughs> with like the hollowed out eyes and mouth, and it's just kind of like, yeah. Some blood occasionally drops out. Some sort of ooze, some sort of ectoplasm. Yeah, it would be an ooze, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be an ooze. Um, I mean, movement is a mechanic. Gross. It takes a lot of tweaking to get movement to feel right in a game. Agreed. Yeah. The video was nice pretty good. Covered that. Yeah. I wish we heard that. <laughs> the first line of dialogue spoken to Amber Heard in Justice League is, You took one hell of a hit, and they say Snyder is bad at foreshadowing. Oh. I mean, he gave as good as she got, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Did she bite the finger off? What happened there? She uh, I it. think she threw like a knife, or, or allegedly, allegedly threw a knife at him, or, or some sort of sh object, and then it cut the tip of his finger off. Maybe it was her allegedly. vampire fangs. Um, I just assume she's a vampire. It seems. It I uh, I find it so interesting, just the whole situation in terms of her like being part of DC going forward. It's like, is it? 
a DC sitting there, or Warner Brothers, just like, fuck, man, like, what do we do? Like, we, we, if, because as far as the law's concerned, like, she's done nothing wrong. Well, but, like, everybody is convinced that she, uh, yeah, that she's, that she's guilty. Johnny Depp got removed, like, as soon as From, the, uh, the answer came out, the right? Came down, yeah. yeah. He got yeah. kicked out of, uh, I have to Harry imagine Potter. she was gonna get removed if the verdict came down the if other way. If she lost. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, I don't know. I think, I think that's the whole idea is that if you, you know, if you like lose a civil case, you breach some sort of clause in your contract. So like, then you have the pretext. Whereas if they wanted to fire her, they'd have to like pay her out, whatever her deal is in that contract. But mm -hmm. my immediate thought is, is that, is that money that is going to cost you? Is that enough to make up for the fact that you probably are going to not have make as much money on Aquaman 2 if she's in it? Or, do, or, or is there thinking like, nah, they're not actually gonna not show up. People are still gonna go watch it. I wonder. Maybe, yeah, damage control too. Sometimes just as a matter of that. And uh, I guess I it's have just mixed feelings yeah. on that. It's, it's, uh, it's, um, yeah, super. Warner Brothers should just reboot, cut their losses, and do over. I mean, I agree, but they're not gonna. <laughs> yeah, people you don't, guys told people them don't that actually Zam give a good. shit about the story. No, you right, guys said Shazam day. was good. You guys what you guys said that you really liked the fun tone, but then some of you said no, we like the dark tone of the Snyder stuff. So now they don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> like in terms of making this, they're getting well, so much get, mixed messaging. You get Suicide Squad, the the un yeah. ungodly combo. It's this weird, horrible yeah. monster. Frank. Friggy at Attorney Frog. <laughs> <laughs> uh Mark the gave Oh, sorry, I just wanted to clarify. Somebody said the court documents and actual evidence presented in court is why people think she's guilty. No, I... What? Okay, so I don't think you understand. Like, I am pretty sure that she's done many, many bad things. It's just that as far as the law is concerned, she is innocent. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. From a legal standpoint, she is innocent. But it's it's basically an OJ Simpson situation where it's like, the law says he's innocent, but like, come on. <laughs> you know? Come on. But, it, like, even, like... I think the the thing that sucks though is like there wasn't even a, a verdict yet, and then he lost his job. Then flip side, mm. and she was still working. I think she might have been let off uh, recently though. No, she's she's still on. To, oh, okay. Like, Aquaman I, I, I mean, I feel that, like I'm just was... hearing fake fucking news about that whole situation constantly. I'm getting like people are like, yeah, yep. no, she got fired. I'm like, oh, okay, and just I'm just okay and passing. Like I'm not that invested. But then, uh, then I hear it's like, no, that was wrong. It was uh, like false information. Well, apparently, just, yeah, happening. her reps have said that that's just not true, that she's part mm. of it. But then you hear other things like, oh, she's on thin ice, you know, they're trying to write the story so that she can be removed at any time if they need to. Uh, okay. And, um, and it's just, uh, you know, it's, um, it's funny of them imagining them trying to write stories with goals is kind of amusing. Yeah. <laughs> we can't just write whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> what if something has to happen? Nothing, that's it. Mario Coliseum. Do you want to oh. keep delivering, Can we make a movie where everyone just stands around looking at each other awkwardly? Should we, we re-deliver the hot take that Justice League is better than and then we just insert any one of the DC films? <laughs> just to make everybody <laughs> feel bad. Justice League is better than Aquaman, guys. Aquaman's yep. terrible. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Aquaman you know, is absurd. Nobody commits any atrocities during Justice League, so that's kind of a plus. No. <laughs> I like how adding, in, in I like how adding, adding, adding like no how atrocities. The word guys yeah. to the end of a statement automatically makes people way less interested in listening to you. Um, just I'm like, sorry. It's just like, I'm from another planet, guys, and it's just like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just add, add guys to the end of any, any sentence where you're <laughs> desperately trying to convince people, and they'll just look at you like, yep. Say gentlemen, that'll work better. <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> oh well. I've never been so flattered in my entire life. I didn't look at chat. Have they dealt with our hot take? I was gonna <laughs> say Apparently that, there uh... was a Twitter post that had five K likes that said the Justice League was better than the Avengers. Okay, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I like I like how you were just like I I can't look, I don't want to see the damage. Did they say something? Please tell me. <laughs> well no, I'm I'm doing my racing. I'm racing. No, no, I just like how that's kinda how it sounded. It was just like <clears throat> I'm too scared to look. Please check Is for being me. white racing? Yes. <laughs> it's um, life in the fast lane, baby. Oh I actually think objectively Aquaman's better, 
than any of the DC movies because it has the goblin. Sorry, goblin poster. Mark, I, I honestly thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say, honestly, objectively, being white is just the best way to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, objectively, you kind of like, it's like cheat codes for life. Uh, yeah, I found I think just like, uh, <laughs> oh my God. I think, you know, I just think, type, uh, in, type in Rosebud 100. And, uh, you just get all I the money. Like... Oh, I feel no. like Aquaman would have been better if uh, Willem Dafoe said I'm something of an Atlantean myself or just oh, some sort of reference to Spider-Man. Yeah, something to hark back to. <laughs> We'd get 17 points immediately, so yeah, that's probably worth it. <laughs> yeah. What is, what is sucking? The connections. Lighthouse. Triton. You know, he, oh, they could have done it's something there. Brain yeah. blast. He could have he could have grabbed Aquaman and be like, "Ah, Gwenslow, a curse upon you." Gwenslow Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm Aquaman really impressed. Mark low. missed that. Somebody uh, said Aquaman's VFX is so badly blended. It for half of it feels like an animated movie. Yeah, that movie feels very fake. I it think is the very movies. very fake looking. Absolutely, like they made they somehow made Earth and the ocean seem not real. Yeah. Um, the EFAP movies for that will be fun when it's out, however long. You think um, the way it's going to work timeline wise is that uh, Meme Repulse is always going to try and get our coverage of Justice League before Snyder Cut, and if we're lucky, uh, Suicide Squad as well. Um, also, Line. Absolute Madness in the chat said Aquaman would have been better if it was self aware cringe at the fact they're fish people. Just full on self aware cringe. Well, um, I, I don't know. Hey. I, I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> a different movie would have been better. Oh, yeah. I think a different movie would have provided uh, results that were, you know, dissimilar from the ones we had. Yes. I'm writing a Mark Brown video. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God damn, I fell for it. Moving How does on. it feel to go for a swim, Mola? Well, it was refreshing. I'm, I'm so hot from all the winning, you know? To relax and calm down. <laughs> That would probably be pretty nice to just get splashed into a big yeah. tropical ass fucking lake on your go kart and then just get lifted right out, no worse for wear. That'd be a really fucking fun time. I mean, this is like a roller coaster theme park fun ride. That's what this Dude, is. Dude, if it you is could actually level. ride on on if you could ride on tracks this fucking ambitious in a real like in yeah. a real go kart place, I would be go karting oh. like, every day. Bringy, look what just I'd happened. probably get shut down though. Yeah, that's true. It's a Bring you look what just happened. Somebody recreates the Nurburgring, but for go kart. Oh, how lucky! Jesus fucking <laughs> how Christ, lucky! Mahler. How how much have you played this game? Th that's not anything that I have control over. <laughs> it's something that I got I really lucky that. with. The luck of the cart. I think it's because I fell in the water and I got all refreshed and carts. I want to win more. I like that. <laughs> how it works? Just the luck of the oh, carts. No. I hit oh, the it's just the luck of the carts. Oh, what a joy to her. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you get my shillelagh. Oh. Um. Mr. Frotto. Oh. Sound like a Goron <laughs> noise. Oh. 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 <laughs> I do love something as simple as like a noise kind of going up like an octave or down an octave. It <laughs> like, can indicate positive or negative. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah. oh. Like curiosity or, yeah. <laughs> Some sort of cheekiness. Uh, Mark gave his kid a credit card to afford Mark Brownlee's OnlyFans. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I realize there's a lot of Marks going on around here. Weird. Mark Brown after dark. <laughs> Us Marks in the dark. The, we just link up he... like Voltron to make a stronger Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he will be even more obvious than before. I want, to ask, I want to ask level. so I can read the responses while we go into the super chats. Chat, are you excited for the new Pokemon slap? Sla <laughs> new Pokemon slap. <laughs> slap. New Pokemon, Pokemon slap. snap. Pokemon um, slap. Are you Wait. getting it? Because I'm very fucking excited for it. I really hope they don't fuck it up. But I was a huge fan of the original Pokemon snap. I want to are know if I'm the only one. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're actually making Pokemon snap. They're making a brand new one on the Switch, yeah. Are you fucked? This is the only yeah, thing I've been find... waiting for. Yeah, from Pokemon. Let me find you the link. Yeah. Since Nintendo 64, this, this is the, the only thing I've ever really wanted good. from them. Oh, you cunts! It's weird how they didn't oh, make you one fucker. again. Uh, of all the things, like out of a series where they, it's literally just like, okay, I'm sorry, this is a hot take. But yeah, like, you'd it's, think it's... that people who are used to mindless uh, gameplay would love a <sighs> on rails camera simulator. Oh, Rex, with the double what? punch. Oh, Look what? at me, did, I'm, did I say anything I'm better than everything. No, did I say something controversial? He's, I thought that... Oh. He's better than a lot of stuff. 
And you play <laughs> Pokemon Snap? Fucking Christ. I'm sorry, Pokemon Snap is objectively the best thing Pokemon. <laughs> it really is. It could be. It wouldn't be a high bar. It's it's just it's just a genuinely <laughs> fun lighthearted time where you're just you're just going on safari and trying to take pictures of Pokemon and then later on, like as you progress safari. in the game, you <laughs> Safari you unlock uh, tools and, and other you know things to make capturing photos of Pokemon easier. And then every time you play through each subsequent stage after getting tools, you go back and there's like new shit to uncover. Yeah, so it's and, just and very I... like you just it teaches you to be like really quick and like uh with the lenses I, i'm not even I'm kidding precise, pokemon yeah. yeah like pokemon snap is legitimately one of the biggest reasons or like or i'd say a very major reason as to why i got into photography i'm oh, not even kidding it had That's such cute. an impression on huh. me i was like this is what i want to do like wildlife like architecture people like i just mm -hmm. want to like i this is what i want to do Outside of this Pokemon game. Snap gets you into architecture or taking pictures of architecture. Oh, of, of course, taking pictures of everything. No, there's like, no of everything course I when we're talking about Pokemon Snap. We just wanted to be, just wanted <laughs> no, to make I'm sure. No, I'm taking. Yeah, you're right. I'm talking and taking pictures yes, of Rex, actual I, real I, life. I wonder, I wonder if yeah. his interest in taking photos has anything to do with the game about taking photos. Hmm. No, no way no, anyone could no, have inferred no, that. No, oh, not at all. I'm ready. No, because I my diaper. If, <laughs> I mean, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna assume his reasons. I've. I. I didn't want to assume any reasons maybe there was some connection in his mind between yeah. like the structure of architecture and its style with him you know playing pokemon snap yeah. I, I didn't know yeah, it's I the played, photos. maybe there was something I in play it plenty yeah. of games that yeah, i'm not interested in the real life you know hobby vision of i don't go go-karting regularly yeah no yeah. exactly it's like After i fucking Yukosa. hate tennis but i love mario tennis also yeah. um uh <laughs> Mark, I, sent the, I sent you the video on discord perfect i was gonna i say hate that... dead people but i love zombie games yeah i was gonna I was gonna say that I love Yakuza, exactly. so I've actually just booked a trip to Tokyo to punch a lot of uh, Asians. There you go. Whoa! Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah. It could be it seems to be a main else. component to the game. So, <clears throat> Yakuza was the game that finally proved that video games cause real life violence. Yakuza. <laughs> the one and only case, and this is the only autist. one. They're all good <laughs> except for Yakuza. It's the only one. You know, you're saying about the whole like, oh, it'd be cool if these are like real life ones. There's like a lava pit in this. I don't know if that would be chill or not. You know. You know Every time I, mean? I hear people rave about exactly. Yakuza, and I, if I ask people why they like Yakuza or what's enjoyable about it to them, that was just kind of the same to say. They was sort of say the same wishy washy shit. It's like, oh, it's funny. It has like a really serious main story, but then it has like kind of goofy like side missions and side quests. And oh, you really, you really get used to. But the what's city. the real it's enlightened really opinion? Oh, fuck you, Wario. <laughs> just, I, I think the real like just say it's fun, but they... I think the real enlightened opinion is that it's a lot of people that have never played the, through the Metal Gear Solid series, and they're just now discovering how fucking enjoyable it is to have a really likable protagonist with a really serious setting, but a bunch of like wait, goofy wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, you said likable protagonist wait, in Metal Gear you... Solid? I don't was there, how, maybe I missed the other ones, it? but it was very funny because I because I play I've played five, and the main protagonist is not likable. So you uh, played the what, bad one. You? Uh, what, the one it that they got bad. seven it was years to make? Yeah. Uh, yeah it's fun it as a game, really yes. Fun. The story yeah, is it. objectively the worst one. Oh, aren't is they all the no... worst one? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> Metal Gear what? I feel like I'm caught in a war. I don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah, like, even mm -hmm. for Because I feel like all their stories are probably a... terrible. Didn't Metal Gear Solid well, all the stories are pretty with the pretty president the of the United States having yeah. tentacle arms and fighting right <laughs> in the fucking <laughs> Wall Street? <laughs> what do you say like that? <laughs> Flying <laughs> sofa with a samurai sword, and then he dies reaching up at a fucking George Washington monument or something. That Metal Gear Solid too. Yeah, but you're Fucking taking away the context of everything else. That can, yeah, well, it is pretty yeah, stupid, but like, the there context. is some realism that sort of tries to ground it, which I appreciate. Dude, Even though Metal Gear Solid 2 actually has I see one Revengeance of the better stories. Grounded, yeah. Yes, it does. It, I would say it's probably the best story, apart from Revengeance. Uh, like, Metal Gear Solid 2 has this really way. fucking interesting point where it's like, if there was like this, you know, if the Patriots really did control the, the digital flow of information, how would you really know what is a fact? Like, what is the truth? Like, how many chromosomes are in the human body? I mean, body? I, I guess it's worth, uh, it's worth noting that there's stuff Teams about Metal Gear Solid 2, like the memes. memes that I've seen, and like those codec calls that I think are really cool. Like yeah. the whole yeah, idea yeah. Of talking about the, I guess the problem is like my problem. Uh, I now it's worth noting that I am not super exposed to like Metal Gear Solid as a series, but sure. um, 
I've always gotten the impression that the actual like dialogue writing is pretty weak, regardless of what the yes. ideas are. Yeah, it um, could be better for sure. I guess it depends which game you're talking about. The early ones okay. definitely, the middle ones not so much. The later ones maybe slightly. So the middle ones being two and three, or <laughs> um, what are the middle ones? <laughs> well, yeah, I would like... say I would say two and three. Four was like okay. I don't know. It's really hard to like. Because with a lot of chase is talking, I guess I'll take this quick opportunity to just uh, go go ahead and jump out. Um, okay. I, I felt that, you know, since Chase was talking, that's a good time for me to. That was a good time. <laughs> Holy right? shit! Racism. It's, it's been a perfect great. opportunity to step in there and say something creep. valuable. Oh. You know, oh, <laughs> and boy. something that people cared about. Um, <laughs> with, with his. <laughs> <laughs> Which nice. is that I'm leaving, and this is very sad for everybody because now they're left with Chase. Yes, you may is. now all cry. <laughs> it's Please been clap. leaving. There's no more reason to live. Yes, exactly. We shall have Thank to you catch very much you in the future. For having me. Oh yeah, yeah it's man, fun. fun. Take care, more great, man. I wish to torture you in the future with more Mark Brown. <laughs> Please no. Run, no more run. Mark. run. <laughs> have a good night, guys. Oh, yeah, take care. Bye. Bye. Um, so what we're saying? Stop memes, kissing everyone, you whore! Memes, memes, piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you! Solid. No, what's happening? <laughs> what? Jealous? Do, yeah, doesn't Metal Gear Solid Four have an hour-long ending though, where there's like literally twenty minutes of exposition dump? Yes. Like yeah. I, I don't know what I'm meant to say. Metal to Gear Solid Four kind of sucks dick. Uh, but does Metal Gear Solid Three also have exposition when like the boss lady gets killed and she basically just explains everything about the reason why she did everything that she did? Uh, to an extent, no. because no, 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 to because all the sequel, no, 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 know. she, she, she just like she just leaves some parting words. She doesn't really explain anything. Well, In fact, the okay. whole motivation to the oh, games immediately after that in the timeline are there's they take her words as gospel, but there's two sort of We're divergent paths. Yeah, like the boss's yeah. legacy, <laughs> and uh, between Big Boss and Zero. They sort of have different ideas of what she meant, kind of like okay. how the Bible can be interpreted, essentially. <laughs> and they take these two ideologies and they fracture, and then it just causes a whole bunch of shit. Like that's now, and I, that's yeah. I, I guess uh, I know because I've I've only ever seen videos on it, so like I actually probably know a little bit more than I should as somebody who hasn't played any of these games. But like all I've ever gotten from that series is that there are some things in it that are neat, <laughs> but that it would really bug me how everything connects together. Like for instance. The, the, the idea that the end of Metal Gear Solid 3 is basically just like, um, you know, the whole tiered, like, he's there at the grave and then you can sort of immediately tell, like, oh, right, he's gonna go on the path to villainy. It's like, that's a really cool, that's really cool, but, like, hmm. what about all the stuff that got us there? Like, the guy who shoots electricity out of his hands and grabs people's cocks to, like, tell who they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? How the fuck do I get past all that? It like, is a mixed <laughs> bag, that's no, the thing. That, that's, that, that is the thing, is, like, you have to understand you are playing a video game made by a very fucking eccentric and weird Jap... I guess it's synonymous. Uh, weird fucking Japanese guy who who literally just comes up with the weirdest fucking shit and it's why death stranding is so terrible is because he he eventually was just like oh everything Wrong. i make is a gold <laughs> <laughs> and he forgot he can fail and uh but yeah no it's just it's it's like there's this great quote where it's just like at one point mr kojima came up to me and asked me if he could put a vampire in the game at first i thought he was joking but again, I soon realized he was in entirely serious. It's just like, that's that's mm. the running meme of Metal Gear, is just, Hideo Kojima's a fucking whack job. And it's yeah. usually very charming how funny and stupid shit turns out to be. Because there are like, there are the more serious aspects of it, which are the main story, but then there's like the dumb side shit, which is- Hideo uh, Kojima guess... comes across as someone playing a character and it just got way out of hand. Yeah, pretty much, actually. Mm. Like, uh, like, there's this great, there's this great line that doesn't make any fucking sense in, in, in Metal Gear Solid 3, where he's just like, he's talking about some sort of genetic link between two things. He's like, it's a genetic link between mankind and, and, uh, you know, Dolphins. the primates or something like that. And then he goes, a type of Metal Gear, if you will. <laughs> it's just oh, like, no. what does that mean? Oh, does it no. mean anything? 
No, uh, don't you like, see the genes and the memes? <laughs> it's 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 basically just it's the same reason why uh, people might watch JoJo. It's like there are central people and events that are going on that are important and that matter and you care about these people and then they have fucking like superpowers and shit so it doesn't really make that much sense but it ends up making it so that the end of certain climactic superpowers episodes can make sense. are insanely fucking interesting and just like how the fuck are they gonna get out of that no wait that was insane like it's kind of one of those shows yeah I, um, um, Metal Gear is mm -hmm. kind of serious it's I was gonna say the balance sense. The balancing act of like how it can simultaneously make you laugh out loud and scream at the TV and be like, "What the fuck is this?" And yet you're still kind of appreciating it for some stupid reason, and then also yeah, make talk, you fucking about actually the, cry talk about the later haunted on. Haunted forearm. Let's talk about the haunted forearm from oh, Metal Gear Solid One and Two. Yeah, brother, I fucking put some goddamn nano machine genes into this arm, and I fucking I, hijacked an old Russian's mind. My favorite thing is that so so the guy who voices oh. um, the guy who voices uh, Ocelot voiced Elroy Jetson as a kid uh, from the Jetsons, the little kid. It's like, <laughs> gee, dad. Oh. Um, and I I, I gee, love that. I sure do love torturing people. Yeah, he's like he's a whole spaghetti western like parody stereotype guy. So the entire game he speaks like this to Snake and says the name is Revolver. Ocelot. And but then like when when Cyborg Ninja comes over and just slices off his hand, he just goes, My hand! Like he just drops the fucking <laughs> yeah. voice entirely. Do you remember that? My he's hand. like, My hand! He just says it so normally. He's like, but before he's that, like he's just, well, before that he's like, Don't even head, think so. about using auto fire, or I'll know. World's greatest handgun. <laughs> like he's just such a he's such a cowboy. Even though he's a Russian, you were that's another thing. Auctioning it off as a collector's item. That that engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Oh my god, I love how you do both their voices. This is the guy so who fucking well. dresses up like an old western <laughs> dude with red gloves and a bandana. <laughs> and you forgot one very important thing. Huh? Who uses a revolver? You forgot <laughs> what it takes to beat me. Damn. Um, I love all the fight. It's it is does have a lot of like anime sort of elements that if you like right, anime. anime. Like it's not it's not like fucking uku wow, kawaii. It's, it's, yeah, it's, no, it's no, more no. like it's more like uh, uh, kind of anime. You know? Oh, like I mean, I, I don't know what the difference is between those. Well, that's one's just anime. higher pitched than the other. No, I no, like no. how I like how anime is just a genre of thing that like you can describe it by just go like uh, uh, like that's just the sounds that they make it. I don't understand why how people could take this seriously. Well, <laughs> like, the I Japanese are very. <laughs> The Japanese like to express things in a lot of very small ways. So, for example, if you just say, "Is that small?" Uh -huh. Is that small? <laughs> there's, you fucking... there's, there's nothing. <laughs> what is small about that? If you if you say if you just want to give a quick confirmation, you go, mm. like literally, literally the letter N in in uh, hiragana. I mean, one yeah, of the so things that we do is we nod, so we don't even need to make sounds. Um, yeah, no, they, to, they just uh, they do a lot of stuff with their hands. They do a lot of stuff with their breath. We know Italians, but no one thinks they're good. silly. It's expression yeah. <laughs> dollar for eleven. That's literally what it's always been. It's just okay, like, right. yeah. It, also, uh, maniac. Oh, fuck you, whatever. Uh, no, I understand McDonald's. that he was pretending the whole time. <laughs> I, but also, like fucking revolver, just being like snake i was pretending to be your brother to continue the boss of you <laughs> it's like it doesn't it, i'm not oh, like God. i'm not even gonna say it's stupid it's just that uh like it, it's not even worth mentioning because it's all fucking like it's just all up in the air you know i don't i like i don't Jesus. care that he was pretending the whole time i, I, I think uh metal gear solid 5 deserves way more fucking credit than it's given just because Konami like pulled the plug and made them rush it out with the, an incomplete ending, which does suck. Wait, better. hold on. No, you know what? Are you, for Metal Gear Solid Five, honestly, you got seven years. You got like eighty million dollars. I would expect a game by that point if I was the publisher. I would be yeah. like, dude, what happened? This, yeah, this no, is and that's the thing, right? That that's the other thing is that there's this whole narrative of like fuck Konami and Koji Kojima is amazing. Well, uh, and yeah, like, the yeah, to some degree, I'm definitely not. To some degree, yeah, I'm definitely not going to defend. Publishers are bad. To some degree, you know, I'm not going to defend, uh, you know, this big ass fucking corporation because corporations aren't your friends, etc. But it's, I, Ko Kojima was Kojima. so insanely no, wasteful. No, no, no. Fundamentally, yes. I just would appeal to if I'm a company and I'm like, I'm going to give you eighty million dollars. I will come back to you in seven years. 
and like I come back in seven years and say, hey, where's my game? And it's not done yet. That you're at fault for that, and, like not me. Yeah, no, I, I mean, and that's, that really is the thing, is that like, Death Stranding is what happened when a publisher gave gave Kojima way too much leeway. And even after he was like a certain amount of the way along, Sony came to him and they're like, dude, what the fuck? This is costing way too much. And they got really mad because it didn't make back even like half of what they spent on it. I wouldn't be surprised really? with all the actors yeah. that you paid for and everything and all the technology. It probably was really expensive. Yeah, um, like the whole game was just a flex for Kojima. That's the thing. Well, so, at least some so, like, of it here's, was here's, here's the funny thing, right? <laughs> so Metal Gear Solid Five, Miller gets these very particular aviators, right? Uh, I think Big Boss does as well. Um... I looked up, I think they're Hurt, not Herman Miller, that's a chair company, but it's like some, you know, similar fucking really mm -hmm. highbrow brand. I forget what brand it is, but I'm sure I could find it, like, with a quick Google boss. search. It's, it's like that level, yeah, where he, there, there is literally a fucking, a brand of, of, of sunglasses you can get in Metal Gear Solid 5, and when you go and you look it up, I believe they start at $3,000. Yeah, he oh, does so a lot they're, of product they're sunglasses placement. for dumb people. No, but he does a lot of product placement for bougie ass shit. That oh yeah, none of his fucking audience can even hold. Yeah, to I was afford. gonna say that's weird because people who yeah, I, I imagine that generally, he's just not gonna. You, if you're gonna advertise for that level of stuff, you want to yeah, really wanna target, target your audience. audience. Yeah, you exactly. get actual yeah. authentic Ray Bans in Death Stranding. Like nobody talks about that. Like they have the the logo and everything. You can like customize yeah. them and shit. Like Ray Bans are fucking. That's the thing. They took expensive. money from Monster and shit. They're just like, please, yeah. please, we need to extend this development somehow. The Monster stuff well, is awesome. pretty cringe. Not gonna lie. There's Why does Kojima do the thing where like in the actual film itself he puts the name of the actor, like the character pops up on stream and it goes like boom, like Solid Snake, David. Why does he do that? Because he wants to direct movies. No, yeah, yeah he's done that I forever. He was praised I don't in, care if like, done, I guess I'm just wondering why, because, like, nobody does this. From <laughs> like, all the way back to Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PS1, it was, like, the most cinematic game for the hardware, and it just blew people's mm. minds. Like, even going to, like, a Metal Gear Solid 1, or, sorry, Metal Gear Solid, yeah, this is my, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, MGS1 was the first mind. game to really use, like, voice acting in a convincing, it, it, like, serious way. Whereas would, before, people yeah. thought video games were like toys. So if you told them, oh, yeah, we need, like, actors for this, they'd be like, what are you fucking retarded? Like, it's just Video toy. games aren't it's toys? Like, just just grab, a, grab a programmer, have him record a thing. Who cares if it's good or not? Like, that was literally um, how... That's why in Wolfenstein, whenever one of the fucking German guards dies, he says, Mein Leben, literally, my life. Yeah. Like they just didn't Do not say that <laughs> when you get over there. Yeah, that's that kind of what, what I'm getting at. Like. My life, my life. It always feels like Kojima would rather be making movies than video games, which is fine. It's just, I guess, it's just weird to me that um. <clears throat> yeah, no. You, you guys just I mean, hate Kojima. He, he said if uh, he said if the Death Stranding didn't go well, he was he and his team were going to focus on movies, and I'm like, yeah, but please, I, I, please I find do that, that so you can see how bad you are. I was about you... to say, if he did films, like, he would get flayed alive, I would Oh, imagine. yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like nice when general him. audiences don't know about, yeah, the, oh, oh, but it's Hideo, Hideo Kojima, they don't know who the fuck yeah, that he, is. Yeah, he gets, he gets the anything. fucking preferential treatment of his audience because he made the Metal Gear series, which is so insanely fucking enjoyable. I think it's, more, so I think it's more fundamental than that. I think our bar for video game writing is just lower than it is for everything else. Like, oh, I that think too. People, yeah, for sure. I think people, yeah. like, again, the fact that The Last of Us is considered Citizen Kane, it's like, dude. Oh, it's, like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that's I love it, but still. how low our standards are. Like, yeah, I like that game a lot, too. Boy. Yeah. I like that game a lot, too, but that, I mean, that game is like a 7 or an 8 in terms of story, and it's like, oh, that's that's pretty good, right? It's like, and that and is Honestly, if, the best. if a game's story throws off the veneer of, like, you're a good person, and you're fucking, you know, this is everything you would do, and just writes it in, like, you're a fucking asshole that will kill anyone if there's even the slightest chance they might hurt you. You give that anti-hero trait to any fucking character, I'm, like, 80% more likely to be like, this is a good game. I guess, like um, I, okay. I'm, I guess when you talk about, because you were saying like Metal Gear Solid was considered cinematic, I guess that's because Thief the Dark Project came out the same year, mm -hmm. and like yeah. Thief mainly does environmental storytelling, which I think is just a, a lot more interesting as a video game story. For, right? like no, no, like that, that's a good argument too, because it's, it's an actual mechanic in the game versus Metal Gear Solid where it will cut to like letterbox like 235 by 1, just like and it's like and it looks really cool and it gets you kind of immersed in a really interesting sort of way because now you're like 
enjoying this sort of story and it, it bridges that gap between film and video game but mm -hmm. yeah no i think environmental storytelling is gonna kind of always trump just cut scenes. i guess it's just yeah it's the idea of Personally. i really like i really like the idea of so like in for instance like in thief 2 you have like your opening cut scene that's just all right here's the context uh garrett needs to go to this place to to grab this and then it's like, all right, what is the environmental storytelling or just the emergent storytelling? So first of all, the map that you have is like diegetic. The map was drawn by somebody who exists in the world. And so the map is incomplete and has notes written on it and like mm. little squiggly and you know, like maybe it's in here, question mark. And it's like, dude, that's so clever. And then, and then you take it forward where like, as you're going through this area, you overhear <laughs> Um, you overhear the, the guards having a conversation about something that may have something to do with, like, what the, uh, the sort of peccadilloes of the person who owns this place is, like, mm. um, and then you can piece that together, and if you don't care, you can just keep going, um, and just keep looking around, and then you might pick up a notepad that has something written on it, or just even simple things like, isn't it interesting that this paranoid guard because he's paranoid that his guards are stealing from him, something that you learn in the initial cutscene and that you learn from playing through the level, that all of the most precious items in this level are located within the one room that it would make the most sense for him to put them in. This is just really clever, and I think that's worth a lot more praise than just doing cutscenes, as much as I think cutscenes can be cool. <clears throat> yeah, no, absolutely. I think that uh, Kojima mainly did cutscenes because he's just a big fucking film buff. And, well, I like uh, movies like, too. I mean, I like cutscenes. You can, you I can, guess it's you, just, can you can, yeah. you can recruit him in Peace Walker, which was like a PSP game that he literally made because his son was obsessed with Monster Hunter, and he's like, I guess I'll make <laughs> Metal Gear Solid multiplayer and ad hoc, you know, ad hoc multiplayer locally on PSP, and it aims like a fucking etch a sketch because the PSP has one joystick. <laughs> yeah, you oh literally use God. the face buttons like in SOCOM on the PSP in order to aim in the cardinal directions. It's fucking. Somebody, anyway, uh, somebody's mentioned something that's worth mentioning. In-game storytelling can be bad, but especially forced walking segments. I mean, I agree, like, forced walking yeah. segments are really bad, but what I'm appealing to is any in-game uh, storytelling that never removes your full control. So, like, in Thief, you get dropped into the level, and nothing changes. Like, for the entirety of that level, you are in control. Um, there are no slow walking sections. There are nothing like that. It's just, this is a place, explore it, learn about it, uh, and then move on. I agree. Walking in games is really annoying. Forced walking like an Uncharted oh, really hurts replay value. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I was going to say that uh, as much as I think that like being cinematic, having cutscenes, having that like bringing um, cinematic language to video games is never technically a bad thing. But at the same no, time... When you're, because it always starts with a story. Most uh, not not always really. Sometimes they build an engine. They're like, what do we do with this? But like, uh, it's usually about the story, almost all the time. And sometimes it's just pick your medium. And sometimes like we we really could have had The Last of Us not as a video game, but as a mini series or something instead. But it's great that we got to play through that and we got to feel like these characters. Like, like we had not really a lot of choice. It's not a fucking David Cage game or some shit or even an illusion of choice. But it's like we do feel somehow just a little bit more invested in what is happening to that person when we have we we're we're having input like actual input in it. And that's something yeah. that's just very unique to video games. And I can't even say that like if somebody was just like ah, fuck last of us honestly it would just been better as like a mini series or a, a a solid movie with a good director and a good script and i don't know even know if i can like fucking argue against that um i think it's just that find there, there are a few things worth considering um <clears throat> video games have a certain disadvantage in that you can tell a story but there also needs to be gameplay and a lot of video games are about killing people which means that that limits uh the types of stories you can tell if that's like if that's what your story is whereas there are many many films that aren't don't have any violence in them at all um now of that's course what I've been, um, yep that's what i've been thinking about with virtual reality as well because it's like a really interesting concept for a medium you put the fucking thing on your head and you have hands and if you have buy extra trackers you have feet and like a waist um but most of the content you see in vr that has even relatively flourished are all shooters because that makes the most sense you look at a thing you point the thing you kill the thing but like 
Then you can get puzzles that are kind of more aerial view, and those are all right, but you can't really do online games like MMOs because if you're fighting giant dragons and you're the size of his, like, one of his testicles, then it's going to be really hard to do any kind of precision strategic gameplay or, or you know, anything like that. And so it's just, it's, it's interesting that forcing a first-person perspective on your game, much like it would do with a flat-screen game, as, as VR players call it, to distinguish the difference. Um, it's, yeah, it, it really, uh, really makes it pretty difficult to figure out like what else you can do with that to keep it fresh. I did I did see someone mention like mm. I, I, it's worth noting most video games don't even have characters as a clarification like most video games are not when I guess for this conversation yeah, we're like talking stories. about stories yeah well what I mean is like you think about puzzle games they don't have characters or a story when we're talking about games in this context we're talking about like the kinds of games that get released for like consoles right like or like the AAA market or like you know those types of games um mm. but in terms of there are definitely i think it's i remember this was something that matthew matosis talked about in his bioshock infinite thing where like he compared bioshock infinite to odd world and how like odd world's mechanics are uh like match what yeah. the story is about and how they yeah. don't feel at odds whereas bioshock infinite has this story but then in between that story you're killing people all the time constantly and it's just that ludo narrative yeah. dissonance, like. And like Elizabeth work. just fucking treats you with all this warmth, <laughs> despite seeing you like yeah, fucking murder all these random people. Yeah, killing all these people, literally bashing people's brains in. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, and I guess it's it's the reason why I find stealth to be so interesting and fun as like a genre because you can avoid a lot of that by just having your character be really weak. Um, um and, and can I just say, people. Fringy, uh, on the topic of Matthew Matosis and Bashak and stuff, I was uh, so I heard Ralph the movie maker recently explaining. Um, that uh -huh. he thinks that Bioshock Infinite's like a really good game, Oof. and I like I like belly laughed because I thought about the scene where Elizabeth's trying to open the door at the end and it's locked, and then you hear <sighs> ding, and then she looks in her palm and she goes a key, where was it? And she yeah. goes, I don't know, maybe it was here the whole time. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, you literally a good game, just right, Ralph? That was a good oh, game. It's so great, it's amazing. She's um incredibly How to tell well when they just adjusted. Fucking gave up. But what I've her life was. The shit out of Elizabeth. Yeah, she lived in a region. cave for her whole life. Right. Well, not I'll a cave, in her cave for a month. She's locked out with the whole life. She's and, you perfect know, and she's just... Yeah, that game's very bad. Don't play it. Yeah. It's really bad. Um, it's really, it's really edible for normies, though. They play it and they yes. think it's amazing. Also, I'm pretty sure Ralph's a good guy. I make progress. Ralph said that uh, the early episodes of One Division were shit. The later ones are better as well. So. Oh. oh. Yeah. Man, I don't Wrong see how day. people make careers talking about like stories and narratives and shit, <laughs> and they're just like clearly the least qualified people to talk. I'll tell about you how, Rags. No consistent standards. They have standards. Oh, what they do just, you know? They flip no, their around. Standards all the time. are whatever. Yeah. It's like saying my favorite object is what's ever in that spot. So as long as whatever's in that spot is just your favorite thing, it's only a standard technically, but it isn't actually. Remember, he made the incredible video on Joker. It was very good. I'm it pretty sure he's right. gotten, he's taken it down now. I couldn't find it the other day. I don't know if he's changed it. Did he really take it down? Um, can you guys do me a favor and just have a look, see if you can find it? Yeah, I'll, I'm on it. I'll take a look. Mm -hmm. It was really bad. My, good. <laughs> Pulling your weight around here. Uh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> well? Yeah, it's gone. There's, uh, the you, first you, thing you that popped up is the Suicide Squad. You can still see Jay Longbone and EFAB's reactions to it, so. You got that. It's mostly just EFAP shit p popping up. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hold me, Moopa. I'll never recover. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like um when it comes to the whole like why games like Bioshock Infinite got so much praise, we I'm pretty sure we talked about this like only a couple of days ago, but it was just that was the time when it felt like a lot of games journalists were really insecure about the profession that they were in. Like, it's almost yeah. like they needed to prove to their friends that video games are a legitimate art form when so they hyped if, the if, fuck if up by movies. 2013 you didn't think that, like, I don't know, you just have a very narrow view of what art is, or like, in general. Uh, so, so sure. said Ralph gave games. devs an 8 out of 10? Oh. <laughs> are you fucking with me? Wait, what's devs? devs? Devs is one of the worst television shows that has ever been squeezed between the cheeks of production <laughs> as a concept. <laughs> squeezed. Out it's of funny because I was bowels. I was um, I was talking to my my uh, my friend. He's actually a uh, Rykar. He's your friend too. Um, yeah. Mr. Mr. Mark, Marky Darky. Uh, 
And he, he made a really good point. I was just like, oh yeah, I like I like some of Ralph's stuff. He's just like, why would you like Ralph's stuff? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, all he does is just fucking mock low-hanging fruit. And why does he call himself Ralph the Movie Maker? He's made one short film that was fucking horrible. <laughs> and he was just like, and I had like no opinion about any of it. I was just like, oh yeah? He was like really passionate about it. You know what's funny is like, I think I had that exact like I, like interaction with him too, which is really fucking funny that he's like, like I think I said something exa like basically exactly. And he's like, why the fuck would you ever like him? I'm like, oh. <laughs> Someone said games like Call of Duty aren't art. Off. They are. <laughs> <clears throat> Belongs in a museum. Look, there's. You can just say it's shitty art. You don't have to say it's not art. That's wait, just what's mean. that? Oh, wait, hold on. What? I I missed that. You died you call the, the statement right, was like, Call of world. Duty isn't art. Um, you're wrong. All all media is art. Um, yes. you have to you have to adhere to that. Um, I mean, just funnily just enough, the shocking truth is that to be qualified it. as art, it's it's really not that difficult. Um. I'm. I can make some art I'm on the toilet. I'm gonna shamelessly plug it because I talk about this and that. That's terrible. <laughs> Take a look. Read it. Huh? Enlighten your mind. I talk. I talked about that in that uh, post I was talking about last night. The idea of all media being art. I think it is. Like it. it just has to be. Well, I don't know why we wouldn't well, yeah. say that that's true. What, what? What would be the? Yeah, but a lot of people. A lot of people say that's like, well, no. Like this isn't art. This is like a product, right? Or, or they'll like sort of. You know what I mean? Like some people will be like. Well, you know, Transformers isn't art, uh, right? But like, totally I don't know, is. Shawshank is. <laughs> it's a fundamental, like, like I don't understand the definition of art. I mean, that's the thing. It's it's incredibly broad the definition of art. So I can only it see this as be, being yeah. a gatekeeping thing, and I'd be really curious to know what your definition is that doesn't include Transformers or Call of Duty. It it I think it does fall in line with the when people also add like uh, it's not true art. Or it's not high art. To me, it just sounds not... like they're looking for an excuse that doesn't involve them saying it's bad art. Because if they have to say that, then they have to justify it even more. So, like, okay, fine, fuck bad, you, it's, it's not bad. art at all. It's, it's, if it's like, good, that's it's an even good. bigger it's insult, like... right? If, yeah. it... It's already art. You can't take that away from it. Games are a product, but they count as art. Yeah, I think the easiest way what? to think about it is that all, all media is art, and then... You can, like, whether or not it's a product depends on, you know, whether it's sold or something. But, like, think... all products mm. are art. I didn't know that a thing's category as a product had any bearing on whether or not it was art. Yeah, like, if I, I sell it, I'm... it can't be art anymore? So it's sorry, weird, Mona Lisa. <laughs> weird, weird thing to bring up. I don't know what else to do with it. Oh, I'm surprised that you've never encountered people. I've seen many people make these claims before about things being oh. art and things not being art based on arbitrary grounds. Well, I mean, I know about um, Amazing Atheist and Roger Ebert both said video games aren't art. They're both wrong. Yeah, that's that's absurd. Uh, Imagine looking at Super what? Metro and being like, this isn't art. Even though there's art in it, it isn't art. <laughs> like, literal art is in it. That, that's the most fucking, like, st I'm just, like, I'm so sorry, but that's like the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard when somebody says, like, a video game can't be art. It's like, it Roger just Ebert had a lot of bad takes. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Like yep. I know that he's like a legend and stuff, but like he was wow, just absolutely chock funny. full of fucking <laughs> Yeah, I know. He's a, he's considered like the critic of his time and stuff. And I mean he, he, he was certainly good when he was good, but when he was off, holy fuck. It was just Well, was I get the more. impression that Roger Ebert was one of those basically like kinda like what Chris Stuckman does, which is very short yeah, reviews he did it that first don't or early. Anything. Just yeah, very kind of I, I like Chris Stuckman though. I feel uh, bad about even saying this, but I I know it's a kind of a, it's like he charms me. I, he's a good boy, oh. um, and but it is kind of like a like the kind of pedestrian take a little bit. Is if I'm trying to I'm using wow. the softest wording I can because he's a I, I he's a uh, he's a beautiful boy and I do like him. Uh, I wish he was smarter. Wait Jeremy Johns can oh, suck my on. dick. No. Yeah. <laughs> everything Snap. is art, nothing is art. No, no. What? Fundamentally, any piece of creative human expression is art. Like, I if say, I... It's broad it, as fuck. It doesn't mean it's not, it's like... Almo it's almost borderline useless as a, it's like a, almost a, a definition. Because it's so insanely broad. Basically, the way that be. I would view it is that art is any form of creative expression... Um, by any living thing, including animals. I think animals could do art, like if they wanted to. Like if a monkey sat down and drew a little, uh, a little image on a animals can paint too. Yeah, so some animals are are, are capable of producing art. Then 
I don't know what to tell you. If I saw a monkey like get a paintbrush and draw something, and then they pointed at it and were like, Let, hee hee, that's odd. Let's that put is this way, right? They intended to make Give that. up the category. It's okay. Let the category go. You still got skilled. That category is still uh, exclusive. Yeah, you know? like, you, you'll it's, be okay. it's worth noting that when we say that everything is art, that's not a commentary on whether it's actually worthwhile or good. Like, that's yeah, not me, what I'm talking about. Yeah, there it is comes bad across art. to me that that's yeah, something people want to do is like, I want to call it bad. I'd rather just say it's not art at all to be the biggest insult to it. It's like, okay, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> We, we need to separate ourselves from this idea that like um, something is valid when it's art and it's not if it isn't but yet like you're an idiot because it's all art and you can just like you baseline now we can talk about whether or not it's good yeah I really don't mind a, a shit on a ceiling like it's it's frozen up there it's like that's all I'd be like I mean sure unfortunately that <laughs> banana duct taped to a wall that sold for like so fucking much or somebody ate it I guess which is funny <laughs> uh, that is art that's in fact art but well uh, again mm -hmm. When you start making good? your categories, you will unwittingly push out a bunch of things that you absolutely consider odd. Art equals rant. It can yes. happen. Even rats, actually rats do make art. You were just talking about the uh, monkey thing, and even monkeys have done it, where they they give like they train them to like mess around with a, a brush, and of course they're not like instructing them to do anything. They're just kind of fucking like uselessly sort of like rubbing against a, like a palette but then then is that expression um who knows well, actually actually so that is a, kind of a, weird a weird area i saw an example that i think is interesting there was a there was an orangutan that got given like a big old stick and uh they got a knife and then there was a uh then they they gave it to the to the monkey and they just started knife. Take him down. They, oh a sword that's right it was an orangutan and they just started sawing it um, and it's like, oh, that's something. It's like, but then the orangutan blew the sawdust off of it. It's like, wait a minute, why would he do that? Unless he wants it to look nicer, or like cleaner, or have a different sort of feel. Um, and, and yeah. it's just like, I don't know. I, some, some animals probably are capable of art. Like any animal that's self-aware is probably capable of art. Um, Maybe. Well, not self-aware, but uh, intelligent enough to recognize... I'm not even sure that what the is, awareness of expression is necessary. Right. I feel like in order to express something, you, like, there there needs to be a, like, it requires more than, it has to be more than just a mind doing it. There has to be that next step up into, like, it, it has to be trying the, uh, to specifically the, do something, not just, one of the like, if you just train a dog to, to just drag a brush over canvas. And it, yeah. and it only does it for no other reason than it's been trained. What like, if, I think um, that would be different from maybe a, a much, you know, like, a super intelligent ape or dolphin or something I that guess, is doing um, it and has reactions to it. You that's know? the thing, right? Is, is not, a, well, maybe is non essential in the element. Like, they're not doing it to survive, they're just doing it because they want to. Like, it's just something that they want to do. Well, um, what if, well, that could apply to humans, though, if they could create a painting. Well, they can do both. That's not contradictory. Well, no, I so. guess what I'm saying is like, um, it is, um, is so like for instance, if I don't know, like if a if a dog is sitting there, and I don't know, they just started going like, whoa, 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 like singing a song, but as a dog, if they did that, it would be like, you didn't need to do that, but you did it because <clears> you <throat> wanted to. That is like, art. I don't know the. Dog. Well, I feel like I don't know. I I feel like you have to have you have to have a brain that is sufficiently advanced to be able to like express things. I don't know. I'm unconvinced that, that way. it even needs a creator. Well, right, I so th like I think it does need a creator because be natural forces can't create art. I am unconvinced of that. Because huh, it's not actually, an expression. We can we can look at like natural formations and. Yeah. Or like apply the concept of art to it and it's like Cam, i think grand that's a canyon. misapplication i don't the think grand, grand canyon, canyon is art i don't know about it's that. very pretty but i don't think hmm. that it's art i don't think it's an it's an expression of a like a thought or a feeling or an emotion um well let me look at the um, definition of art yeah, yeah i was about to say actually what it's really i was gonna say i'm what, pretty what sure it's broad the, as fuck yeah. like it could apply uh, to it, almost it, anything it, I was going to say that um, a lot of people ha do argue that um, if you feel some sort of emotion to it, towards it as well. So, like, I mean, this is a natural forming thing that we had no, no stake in, the Grand Canyon. But somebody can look at it and feel sorrowful. Or, like, they, they feel some sort of deep emotion by looking at it. 
and this is a real world thing like people flock to the grand canyon just to look at it and they like they talk about they felt something like can you argue that that's not art in a way I even though it's can. just a reaction yeah. yeah no no i do think that there's an argument to be made i'm not saying you're wrong and oh like you have to agree yeah, with me because that's I'm... yeah because that would be what i would say is that you're finding meaning or purpose in something which is you imbuing those traits onto something yes. that doesn't have those well here's the definition of art so art is defined as a diverse range of human activities involving the creation of visual auditory or performing artifacts which express the creator's imagination conceptual ideas or technical skill intended to be appreciated primarily for its beauty or emotional power uh, I'm fine with that, like, except for the like human the, part. I don't like the human part, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine yeah, with that, except know. for the human part, but I think that's just because we are the only, like, of our of our, uh, of our brain status, essentially, on the planet, so it's just like a... Well... It's, it's almost somebody, like it's just sort of a obligatory. Somebody but. just posted a super chat. Is AI... Can AI make art? I imagine yes. that we will eventually find out that the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think so. I think eventually, eventually sufficiently right advanced AI can develop and um, express itself. In literature, because I think the desire to express look, is an emergent property. All you need to do is take one mind. look yeah. at. All you need to do right now is take one look at AI learning algorithms and realize yeah. that yes, Scary. they can absolutely fucking. <laughs> like that. It is insane how fucking how how good. Like, if you ever played that game AI Dungeon, yeah, like that. None of that's even connected to anything necessarily. Like, it's connected oh. to the cloud and everything, so it can remember your stuff, but it's... Everything is done. Everything is, like, is, is processed on your computer. There, there sure. is a website... That, there's a website that you can go to right now that is a AI-generated image-based site. So if you type something in, it will make that image for you. An absolute original creation. It'll make, like, yeah. 50 of them for you to choose through. And you could type anything, like Pikachu on a uh, unicycle playing the piano and it will just make it for you and it will draw in multiple art styles and different renditions and stuff and it just makes it out of words it's like i don't know if i like can we call that art but that is very fucking interesting so we're at that point they said what they said someone said what fucking super chat led us to this conversation <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we're talking about david cage no, no, and get their money's worth they 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 <laughs> oh, the was not. that's why somebody said oh, yeah. yeah 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 it start with our defense of oh Call well of Duty. i'd imagine all of us on this panel think that call of duty counts as art so there's that I oh guess. yeah definitely yeah. So i i, I have an earnest question to pose to all of you so i was talking about virtual reality earlier which obviously there's only so far you can do with putting a display on your face. But people were wondering about, there's something called, uh, as it's been coined by the anime full, uh, Sword Art Online, um, yeah. Full Dive VR, where it's like, it basically taps into your actual brain and sort of controls your, your faculties. It makes oh, you experience yes. sense and taste and smell and all of that other stuff. Do you think we would ever see that within our lifetime, that kind of technology? Yes. Mm, no. I don't think so. I don't think what was the question ones. again? Not within our uh, lifetimes. To, yeah. to, to, to simulate... Okay, think, think about it like this. Your brain is just a mush computer. Like, it's a fucking, like... It, you can... They, they've already... Like, I think where science is at right now, they're already experimenting with, like, simulating feeling and everything. If you can find a way to tap into the brain... And, and know what wires the pole, essentially. I know that's a very loose term of what actually goes on. That's the funny thing. We really don't. Like, we, we can map out the brain, and we can generally know what the causal relationship is between this chemical and this, you know, physiological response. But we're largely just a bunch of fucking dicks just thrusting into into dead air when it comes to our comprehension okay. of the brain. Like, it's it really for, yeah. fucking out there. It's I think so, it is possible. It's so complicated that you have to look at it in, like, eight or ten different slices or whatever the fuck it was just to be able to see every component of it. It's Fucked. Well, uh, what was it? They've already done an experiment where they forced Stop advertisements into people's dreams. Oh, so basically just a Futurama episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, so I hate I'm, the ac application. Sorry, of it being sorry a to interrupt. Uh, I'm seeing some people saying that the Elon Musk e Elon Musk Neuralink uh, is uh, going to be full dive. That's not what that is. No. If you look into what Neuralink is, it's just an external or sometimes, you know, subdermal uh, computer chip that they've been planting into, you know, the brains of geriatrics to help them more easily use their phone if they're, like, physically disabled. That's all Neuralink can do right now 
It does yeah. not mean that we are going to be able to simulate fantasy worlds and experience pain and, and make love in virtual reality or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, you just sit in a chair it's and be really, like, really I simple. want a fun day and a big titty mommy GF. And like, <laughs> it just right. happens. That's going to be cool. Right in time for Resident yeah. Evil 8. That... Sorry, what, Fringy? Are we really sure that's not going to be possible in our lifetimes? Like, that... I wonder if, like, once AI becomes sufficiently intelligent, that like everything's just going to change, and we're going to rapidly advance, like in a in a unforeseeable way. I hope so. I mean, because well, we're, I mean... we're 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 actually reaching the point now where technology has gotten about as fast and as small as it feasibly can. I guess yeah. that's so. Quantum computing will be <laughs> the next step, right? Like, we need to figure out how to do that if we want to well, access the quantum realm. Yes, mm. I agree. Well, not, I can't. Yeah, I can't uh, wait. yeah. I guess it's just. I imagine that if we have like AI, they're probably going to be able to help us figure out a lot of these problems really quickly. Yeah, like GW. Yeah, I mean, AI, AI just fucking picks up on that shit. There's uh, every time people upscale old video games. Like, look up Resident Evil Three HD. And you'll find someone fucking used the learning AI shit to basically retexture the entirety of the game. And I don't know exactly how it works, but it definitely makes it sound like you just go, yeah, this texture, make it HD and do it all over there. <laughs> and it just does it. It seems so out of my fucking realm of comprehension. Really like the apps. Although I think there's going to be a huge influx in the next 10 years of like AI assisted pretty much everything. Like we're even seeing it. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't someone in chat just someone in chat just said, why do you care about stupid crap? Hey. <laughs> my craps are magnificent. I love that. What? Even if my crap was stupid, like I would care about it. Dumb. My crap is ours. smarter than some people I've met. Uh, I, I don't have, sorry, somebody's asking about that link to the fucking image, like, AI site. I don't have a link, but literally just Google it. It's literally, like, AI-generated image.net. I don't know. Just Google it. It's uh, cool, Cody though. Ingram said, isn't Elon Musk's neural link attempting to do just that? I don't know if you heard the thing I just said, but roll back, like, five minutes, maybe. It's just... Wow. It's not, it's not like, it's not like a full dive thing. It's just like a very rudimentary, like, hey, let's, let's make a brain iPhone interface. Like, that's all. I mean, I'm not saying it's not cool. It's fucking awesome. That that could be like a first stepping stone to something greater, but it's not. I find it weird how many people hate dive. Elon Musk. I think he's super cool, dude. I know. Like, I, I'm just a big I was fan just of thinking the fact that, 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 that today. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the fact that one of the richest people in the world is this crazy nerd meme lord. Who's super interested in getting us? Who's uh, advancing, you know, space exploration and uh, electric cars and? And there are people who are like, just fucking mad at him about <clears throat> shit. <clears throat> well, He's yeah, he I... tweeted a meme about cat girls. Uh, Fuck just, that guy. Billionaires can't Twitter. meme. That's a rule. Long. It's just mostly annoying because, like, like yeah, he's done dumb shit before, like calling the fucking uh, Thailand guy a pedophile or whatever, just because he's like an immigrant or something. Oh, well, that was yeah. That was... Stupid, but he he spread co coronavirus conspiracy theories and shit. So it's like, he's not he's not harmless, but it's just all things considered, I don't think he's that fucking hateable. I just think his voice is kind of annoying. Uh. All right then. Well, yeah. All right then. That was that was that subject. <laughs> that was that subject. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Stop. I've reached Buffy season five and it's getting really good. I'm very impressed by the actress who plays. I'm gonna leave that name out. Um, <laughs> All right. I just wish she'd been. I'm gonna leave that out. Cause oh. hey, I'm gonna leave that out. More impactful. Mallerus pro censorship. Right. <laughs> um, so, oh, how do I do this without spoiling anything? So I think the choice they made relating to that character, um, not there's clearly plans in relation to that thing happening earlier on, but they have it happen that way so that it hits exactly as it does hit in-universe. Hopefully that makes sense without spoiling a thing. Smooth. Um, I think I know. Fucking half of the question, redacted, redacted. But yeah, um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Uh, roll all the way on to Angel Season 5, okay? That's the big... Well, I mean, you're up to Buffy Season 6 soon, so enjoy that. It's gonna be fun. Uh, quite the EFAP pantheon we have here. Hello all. Aw. Hello. 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 Oh man, whenever you hit anybody with a green shot, it feels good. Like, you know, fuck you. I know. 
I had a friend who did that to me right in the final lap as I was going to get first, and he just BM'd me and took a second. I fucking stormed out of the room because I needed to collect myself for a second. I was so <laughs> fucking mad. Wow, getting angry about the children's can, game, that's cringe. I was so mad. I can believe that you did I'm, that. <laughs> we were like, we were like 21. <laughs> <laughs> I had treated that story like you were 12. <laughs> it's like, you know what, it makes more sense that you were 21. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was a grown-ass man. A grown-ass man! For me. I'm more of an ass man myself. Reminder Ooh. that M is better than Chase. Damn. Ah, well, he's gone, so I'm your only choice. Fuck you. Also, hi, Rags. Who's a good boy? Hey! Oh, I am. That's me. Also, hi, long man. Hello. <laughs> hi, Mark. Kick J. Chase. Hello. <laughs> it just says Chase. <laughs> Chase. I'm really, I'm really fucking replacing you, Metal. Damn. <laughs> You've wished. You're moving up the ranks. You've wished. You gotta race me on Dark Souls first. Then you can, <laughs> you'll have access. You have to win in Dark Souls against me first. What if, we have an, what if we have an epic fucking PvP final battle? <laughs> uh, in VR. Wow, my VR favorite party? podcast live and with my favorite guest lineup. You're all legends. Much love. Aw, that's <gasps> really nice. Thank you. You. Um. <laughs> <laughs> It has been for all of us, I'm sure. It probably even included Fringy Metal and, um, you know, whoever else may or may not have been here. Chase all of them. Videos. <laughs> I'm making a sci-fi world where humans are starting to branch out into the Milky Way. What cool names would be good for faster than light travel? Uh, well, that will depend on your method of getting using that travel, because almost Freudian always trucking. the method determines what the name is. <laughs> You Freudian slip space. They brought that up the other time, uh, yesterday. <laughs> it's an engine powered by the <laughs> lust for your own mother. There you go. Fuck. Uh, call it a boom tube. Hey, Rags, do you think that sounds like a really shitty name to, to call like a portal system? A boom tube? Boom tube? Yeah, do you think that sounds really fucking stupid? It's not good. I would say probably kind of. You, you, like, but, if you were to face that in some kind of fiction, like a boom tube. I'd you, be like, is this in, like, in, in universe slang or something? Yeah, you, you'd be like, wow, what an embarrassing thing to have as part of your world that you have. Yeah, right there. Uh -huh. what's it from? It's what Darkseid uses to get around in the DC universe. <laughs> boom <laughs> tube. tube. Oh my and it's like God. a little portal. I, wanna, I already found that out because of uh, the Injustice game. He was like, I think, I don't know if fucking super bad puts his lasers on it, and then Darkseid's like, he's, dis he's destabilizing the boom tube. And I was like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say it again, please? Yeah, it's called a boom tube. Like, it's a clap of thunder every time it appears or some shit. But it's still fucking stupid. Like... <laughs> There's no excuse. Yeah, so I know. Superman just stops, the, uh... looks at him, it's like, what, what'd you just call it? Like, then again, you can think of the noob tube from Call of Duty. There's also... If I let you keep it, will you promise to never call it that again? There's also no excuse <laughs> for calling him Darkseid, so, yeah. I'm Darkseid, and I'm using my boom tube. Are you like, evil? No He's like, no. <laughs> Why would you assume that? This is my prune frube, go away. This is my brother Lightside. <laughs> 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 he's like super so nice cool. guy's like, hey, what white, up? He's this white yeah. dude. <laughs> some chips and dick. I like the good guys. I like, yeah. I like mustard. <laughs> <laughs> no one asks him, he just, your he your just looks down. He looks down at his shoes and just comments that he likes mustard to <laughs> no one in particular. He just needs any basic, anything resembling conversation. He's really socially awkward, but he's a good guy. You know, he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. He's... Likes to constantly comment about his love for mustard to no one in particular. <laughs> someday someone's Hellman's like, oh really? Wow. Or... He's like, oh, someday do you show him mustard? Yeah. Heinz, maybe? I, like I, lo I love mustard. Darkseid is a biblical name? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, just thanks. a second. Hold that thought. Alright, oh, no. let's take a look. What's a big one? Darkseid, apparently. No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know about that. Actually, there was a 4chan post arguing over whether or not Thanos or Darkseid was the more edgy name for a villain. Darkseid, Dark Darkseid, Dark obviously. Yeah, Darkseid, yes, it is. It's got His the name fucking sounds word like the Dark in it. Inside. Thanos is in, is at least fucking masked by the fact that it's in Latin. You know, yeah. if, you, if your character was just called Death, 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would that would easily win out. Yeah. But the fact that it's like a different language. It's they like spelled Psy differently, I mean, I so guess, it's not as edgy. I guess that kind of adds to the question. Um, but Dark Side brings the Dark Side. I like Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, I like dark imagery, so. I am also a very dark boy. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You kind of lose out on that one. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Mark? Yeah, oh, you're out, a darkie. We, uh, we started the podcast and you established that. Whoa. It's true. I like you keeping with the continuity. Yeah. Almost that. that these Six CEU hours ago, do. damn. Uh, you can't take this away from me, uh, Susan. <laughs> Susan! <laughs> What's your bitch name? Whoa. Dark Wait, side is my bitch name. Uh, Let's up. talk about darkies and now. Oh my god! Me too. Sorry, darkie singular. What if our bitch name is more of a just a just a title? So anyway, mm. all right. <laughs> um, hi, Ragu. Wow, good job, Rags. You killed the mood. Wow. Thanks. Hi. Wow. I oh Meowla, hello, and the rest of EFABcast currently dealing with a kidney stone and catching up on the next. Ooh. The new EFAB is helping distract from the pain and pass the time. Thanks for the quality content. What's Oof. The, what's the prize ad for a kidney stone right now? Is that, um, what are like the top pains? Isn't kidney stone up there? Like, kidney stone. I've heard they're really pretty awful. awful. Yeah. You have to just let it process. Yeah. So I'm some say it's more painful like than a child is birth. That, isn't that from having a lot of soda or something? Yeah, if you uh, have a lot of sugar, so drink tons of water. Yeah. Okay, I'm probably safe then. Which is like just water. good advice in general. Yeah, water's general. Not too much, don't drown. Oh, that's a bad thing, yeah. <laughs> too much water, yeah. You need some you need a bounce of air in there as well. Don't be reckless. Hey, Fringy, uh, you know what boom tubes are, right? Um, what, the thing <laughs> that um, Cyborg uses to t teleport? Oh, is this Cyborg? I thought it was Dark Side that uses them. No, no, I think it might be both, actually. They might Wait, both no. use them. Oh, well, uh, no, 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 no. the name of the technology? We were just talking about how shit of a name that is. It was is. invented by a 12-year-old somehow? Yeah, boom tube is a really bad name. <laughs> Who, who decided? <laughs> Why did they commit? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a funny name, though. I'm sure we'll see it's some boob tubes. Name. Not boob tubes, boom <gasps> tubes. Oh, in, uh, in Justice League. Oh. Oh. Zack Snyder's excited for a moment. Oh. Zack Snyder's boom tube. I, uh, I, want, I don't want to see Zack Snyder's boom tube. <laughs> <laughs> Have something some courage, boy. Fucking like his cut of the film. I don't even know how or why, but there will be. It would just be one of those fucking potato cannons. Oh god. We should the be so lucky. <laughs> we should be so lucky. Uh, yeah, good luck with that kidney stone and uh, glad we can keep you company. <laughs> I, uh, as they said, drink yeah. lots of water. Good luck and whatever happens, just remember uh, just Roll keep smiling. Lots of water. Yeah. Keep, keep pissing. Maybe drink lava. That would dislodge it, right? I just um, this a lot more than you'd think, probably. Oh, okay. Like, it'll prevent future kidney stones, I guess is what you're saying? Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah you also get diarrhea, <laughs> I think. Oh, no. Lava diarrhea. Uh, I, can't have, I can't have that. Dia lava. lava diarrhea. <laughs> so it's like a fate worse than death. You get it down, <laughs> it's still not done. Yeah. It just melts so through your toilet, high, yeah. but somehow your ass is okay. You're like, oh. What, what container would you even use to gather the lava? A brick. A bucket. <laughs> bucket. Uh, yeah. yeah, you I, take three really be iron enough. ingots and make a bucket. I mm. feel like that would uh, definitely be past the boiling point. Of a bucket? No, no, not lava, not if you use three iron ingots. Lava? Yeah. You just well, like, what about, smith? like, lead, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm no black. It's pronounced lead. My, my question was actually going to be, uh, what if your poo is cold? What if it's cold? What happens then? Yeah. What if your What if your poo is cold? Just like like I guess it'd just be really. It's, just, it's more of a thought experiment, but experiment. Yeah. It's It's really just more of a thought, actually. It'd be It'd be like when I eat ramen noodles, but in reverse. Oh god. Ugh. Oh god. Well, I, no, no, not spicy. I'm talking. I'm I'm talking caliente, not picante. <laughs> Those words aren't real. They are, <laughs> Those are allegedly. Those are made up languages. You're made well, up. languages are made up. By who? Name him. Well, Franklin. Gene. He did it all. Oh, fuck Gene. Sorry, yeah, I said Frank that about Gene. Franklin passed again. Lucky bitch. Um. Great. Now I've got mirror <laughs> mode, so I've unlocked like to do everything all over again. 
You pesky Nintendo with you making me do cool. everything. Mirror mode. Hey, look, all right, that's better than- Yeah. Wow. So anyway, question for all of you. I'm working on a video critique of the DCEU, but I'm having a hard time organizing and structuring my arguments. What's your approaches and processes for this? Thanks. Ooh. You're welcome. Yeah, so no problem. Uh, Next one. Uh, um, you could try to stay as linear three. as you can if you need structure. That can I help. Would Go through the lot of them and put out the broad complaints, then try and categorize those broad complaints, because going chronological with all of those movies for one video, holy mother of god. Oh yeah, if you're doing the whole thing with one video, yeah, um, that's different. So like, you, you'd you have a section on villains probably and be like, all of them are fucking terrible, let's go through why. And like, the most common problems they all share, like, for example, motivation and actions, like, never line up, almost never anyway. Um, the only ones that do are the ones that are, like, so simple it would take, like, a... I was gonna say, like, a kindergarten to fuck it up, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Zack Snyder <laughs> could find a way. Uh, the... Like, like, Ocean Master is okay, right? He's just an idiot, I think? I mean, I mean, like, an... I don't remember. Was he An okay? idiot win. I think he was fine. He was consistent, but just really like dumb his, and annoying. Yeah, his whole plan... He, he, we could well, all we gathered was he wanted to take over the world, I guess, kind of. Yeah, mm. basically. Whether or not it was because of he was annoyed about the pollution, we'll never know for sure. I don't wow. know if it was just he wanted. I mean, he to was. Go was yeah, that if was he was bad. actually worried about that, if they were all actually concerned about that, they would have just you shut know up what and causes say, hey, a lot we live of pollution? here. War, war causes a lot of pollution. All those yeah, but it's our war. And <laughs> and explosions. God, it's on Earth, so who cares? He'll be polluting them. Get fucked, Earth. Yeah, I also think that uh, keeping keeping notes at the very bottom of my script always helps me out a lot. If there's just something important I don't want to forget, I jot it down there. Dude, before I make a script, um, I just, all I have is notes. Notes everywhere. Yeah. I use uh, I use Google Keep as well, which is like a fucking free app for Castle your phone program. and your desktop and your browser or whatever. Basically, it's just kind of like a digital um, digital uh, notepad. That's pretty pretty handy. Like sticky I notes, I guess, is the proper word. Another topic you can have is immoral um, if you're, protagonists. If if you're really excited to start top to start talking about a, a video subject, but you just like you know, my least favorite part is when you have to start off and it's like, oh, the history of this fucking subject and blah, 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 obligatory like let's just give like a fucking history lesson on everything. Uh, I usually just skip that. I go right to the part I really am excited to talk about, and I start typing that, and then you go back and you kind of structure it properly, add an intro, etc. You could do that, yeah. The end. Um, you got so much to work with with the DCU in terms of a breakdown. One of the ones I think would be really fun is to talk about which of them is the most immoral. We've concluded it's Aquaman, but you know, depends on yeah. what you may do with your system. I think if you if you don't like want if you don't want to go over like the whole history of or something, if the subject matter is popular enough. It's just something that like most people are familiar with, then you can sort of skip it or write it off as like you know what the like I'm talking about. Batman v Superman, you know what I'm fucking talking about. Mark's talking about laziness. He's saying engage in yeah. Don't trust this siren and her yeah, well, siren yeah, song. Yeah, this guy who's never made a video essay in his entire life, so take my advice, please. <laughs> you're, the, you're the guy who ripped into Donkey unfairly, so you can, you can <laughs> shut oh, up. No. Yeah, I didn't make a single good point. I was just Donkey's like up. one of our favorite creators here on EFAP. We love him. He's a golden boy and he can't be touched. His Last of Us 2 video was very good. Both of them were, actually. And his response to EFAB, we learned a lot about, like... Well, his video must have been good, we remember it. Yeah. So he responded to comments, that's all I remember. They are really bad. Oh, yeah, he, he went to newest? <laughs> yeah, as a way to escape the obvious criticism of, uh... Please respond to the best comments. It's like, I went to newest, it's not my fault. What? I went to... Anyone, any normal person goes to newest when they're looking at the comments section. They don't go to the, the top comments, that's weird. Very well done. Oh no, EFAP got stale. Did me? We got all the DCU to go through. We can be stale after that. Donkey's awful. He has his moments. He has his moments. <laughs> I'm being as incredibly generous as I can. Uh, if anyone here wants actual game dev advice, check out Mizziz. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Art Beast. Brackeys, 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 even Yahtzee's Dev Diary series. Yes, that one. That one's pretty neat. 
And there you go. Check those out if you're looking for some uh, stuff. I don't know. EFAP is in its golden some age. Stuff. We can't be stale and in a golden age. You guys, I expect you all to have one opinion. Stale gold. Golden stale. <laughs> no, put it down. Uh, heck, if Mark Brown absolutely needed to use Sonic here, he could at the very least use a clip of Sonic actually going, you know, fast. Yeah, that was weird. He showed Sonic, um, sort of slowing down and standing still when he was, like, supersonic. Wait, why would I have fitting visuals to my narration? That's stupid. Well, that's... <laughs> at once upon a time, we tried to make some laws, and uh, I'm pretty sure that was one. Just their visuals always counter what they say. Just, uh -huh. yeah, just yeah. throw it on random or some shit, I don't even know. Weird. Random makes... You hear that chase? What? Yeah, got him. <laughs> High five. What? <laughs> what? I don't even know what the fuck. What you talking about down there? <laughs> Come on, I can't hear you. Come on, man. Come on, fat. Come on, fat. Come on, man. I can't believe it. Are you telling me different games play differently? No way. Well, you wouldn't know that if you haven't been to the School of Brown. School of Brown. Take you to Brown, Brown Town. That's my kind of town. What can you learn from the Brown? I offer a area. What can Brown do for you? <laughs> uh, people be freaking out over Elden Ring leaks, but I'm still holding out hope for Bloodborne Cart. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> Bloodborne Cart. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> that would actually be fun. I'd fucking like that. Like, it's you have like to be Bloodborne. within 30 meters and use, use a tentacle to, like, attach to the car and flip positions, but. They have like an eldritch beast growing on top of them now. So I'm Fuck fine. you, Mikalash. <laughs> Mikalash's special ability would just be go backwards, and he's like, <laughs> like why are you doing that? Stop. I would play Bloodborne Cart though. Just saying. I'd like to see like all the like Soul Series characters just, like there as the roster. Mm -hmm. uh, since we're listening to OG Gadelb, uh. OG Goodell, man. Need permission to become Isadine Lutetia Clip Ghostwriter. <laughs> I think, oh, that's one of the characters from, like, Goodell 2 or something. Isadine Lutetia Clip. <laughs> She's a talented writer. Uh, yeah, she learned a lot from the School of Brown as well. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> it's because you're judgmental that you think it's gross. You're a child. <laughs> Diarrhea poopy. <laughs> Put the poop it down. No. Put the poop down. Yep. <laughs> God. Um, uh. Why not use Mario 64? The first year of development was just Mario in a room where they would just kept twerking movement until it was fun, just moving him around. You got uh, that from Yahtzee's dev diary. That's where he mentioned that. No, oh. Then again, you may have got it from somewhere else. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was, that was a... true. Suman makes an ass out of you, Fringy. <laughs> and me. Yes. Oh, me too. So it's you as well. No, right. I, I cut it off, you see. I changed the quote. I changed its meaning. I'm That's an art. Not possible. That's mean. I'm art. Um, J Mark. Art. J Markham face is my favorite Ifapenga. E Hello, Ragus. Hello. <laughs> Fun fact, in Mario Odyssey, there's a speedrunning trick that involves getting the nut wet and using a glitch with it to jump higher than you should. Oh. Here. Get them nuts That's wet. fair enough. Oh. Get those nuts wet. Moist. God, I wish Mark wasn't making Odyssey look so bad. I, I'm, I mean, he was trying to compliment it, right? So... He did his best. He had his chance. He had so much movement. <laughs> Sounds like David Cage describing emotions in video games. More movement equals great thing. <laughs> Who am I? Where am I? <coughs> help! 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 Thanks for doing this. I saw this video <laughs> yesterday. Oh, help! Wait. Well, don't all stop at once. What was the thing? I didn't even catch it. Uh, it video game, I guess. I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. He nice just forgot do... he was covering. He's so, like, in deep with the fucking movement and the philosophy behind movement. He went, like, yeah, and the thing. Oh, shit. What was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am just recording this live. Like, I literally just sat down in front of a pre-rendered, edited, like, imaged thing by my editor, and I'm just going to fucking ad-lib through this footage. 
these nice. visuals. Um, would the opposite of tism be gasm? Why? I don't know. <laughs> what, what led you to that conclusion? I do not understand. Please explain. Please. Give, give explain. Give explain. Um, thank you for doing this. I saw this video yesterday and it made me so mad because this is a topic I find deeply interesting and this video says literally nothing. It's not just a wrong take, it's a no take. Agreed. My shock. It's worse than a uh, bad take, really. Does I like this... that just people c came over to my stream once where it's like, Mark Brothers just saying stuff doesn't mean anything, help. Ruby, <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit of a void, uh, Mark Brown. <laughs> But people love the videos, and it's just, I think it's much more interesting to think about why that is, because it's certainly not that he's giving you anything in terms of information. The editing insight. is really impressive, so it can trick you into thinking that it's really This one really good. wasn't, though. Like, the editing was very simple. There wasn't really much really in it. He didn't do many of his, you know, graphics. Ah. The graphics yeah. are what do it, I think. And also... Well, we... I, I don't know. We conclude that it's, uh, or concluded that it was his, like... References simultaneously make people go like, oh man, this guy knows what he's talking about with all these game references, and it'll make it go, oh, that game, yeah. And it's just like these small little, um, I don't know, like dopamine boosts of just, just remembrance. Like, remember Doom? And you're like, I do, I do. Just Cause 3? You're like, oh yes, totally. Assassin's Creed Unity? Like, I know that one too. Tetris? Like, oh shit. I know all these games. I'm a gamer. <laughs> and this video proves it. I'm gonna say the game. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. <laughs> okay. I'm um, a gamer. And I'm sure it's more than that, but again, the, the more we cover him, the more we'll discover what the truth behind the brown is. <laughs> the truth of brown. The, the church of brown. <laughs> um, you guys should really cover Adam, Adam Millard when doing gaming videos instead of this dullard. Wow. <laughs> I used the word. Spreading the dull hard word. Uh, <laughs> bless you, soul. Touch my hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Seems fair. That, that guy got me. That got me. Um. Uh, part of the EFAP crew. Wait. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. Bless your sentry. Touch my entry. <laughs> <laughs> part of the crew. Part of the ship. I Not paid bad. money to say this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the Dead Man's Chest reference. Slash, a Pirate's reference, I think. Uh, did you guys do an EFAP mini on the first three episodes of Superman the Animated Series? I watched it again no. recently, and I was amazed on how much of a better job it does at setting up characters than Man of Steel. Uh, the thing with, with, with EFAP in general, we've been stocked up lately with coverage, and there's still so much more for us to do and for us to see. So, maybe, someday. I mean, people yes. want us to see the, um, the new... Superman and Lois thing, right? They're like, you should do that too, because it's better than the other CW shows and stuff. Huh? Don't know what we're gonna be doing. Please let us sleep a little bit for for no. between days. Please. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's a fun position to be in. Like, we, the coverage we've got of different subjects is getting faster and faster, and still <laughs> maintaining sort of like uh, detail. I would say so. That's that's fun. Oh God, I'm doing terrible. Nobody look. Uh oh, I'm covering my eyes. Uh, imagine if Mark uh, Brown taught a sex ed class. He <laughs> doesn't penis. know how that works. Oh, his poor children, if he ever does manage. Um, Mola, what's something Rags would like about Buffy? Ooh. Oh, Fring's not here. We couldn't nudity? speculate. Um, Wait, sorry, what was that? Oh, the, the, what do you think would be something Rags will like about Buffy? Um, I think he would just appreciate the great character work. That's too vague. They're gonna be upset. I'm fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm not upset with that answer at all. No, well, if I was referring to you, I'd say rags. Why would I say they? I don't know. I'm Maybe talking about the super inclusive. chatter. They they clearly after something a little bit more specific. Um. I, well, I feel like the general is what it's going to be, because I'm not sure about a few of the other things that I like in that show. I mean, my mind wants to go straight to a character, and I'm like... I think oh, one's... I think uh, there's one specifically that starts with an S, yeah? So yeah, think, uh, well, right, who, who doesn't like, like him, so... Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe Rags will really like the guy who starts with an R. Yeah, actually, you know what? I reckon we might. We don't. No. I do like them. They are personable. I can God relate. Them, they try. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> can we all? There's a line. So there's a there are like there's a a video that's like a short trailer for the Zack Snyder's Justice League. The line is. This is a bad idea. Fighting the devil and his army in hell. Like, come on. Come on. Stop it. Mm. Try harder. <clears throat> I like it because it's so incredibly clever. The, yeah, uh, it's so clever. The second half of that was Rags, what is something Mauler would like about Witcher? I would. I think that he would appreciate the uh, very immersive world that they create. Well, there we are. Yeah, yeah there you go. <clears throat> I it surprised me. I, I only ever hear good things about Witcher. Mm. Maybe that'll overinflate it, and I will hate The Witcher, and then I'll make a series of videos talking about how terrible it is, and how anyone who likes it is a big goblin. <laughs> Whoa. You gotta be careful with that one. Sorry about that. Using the G just, word yeah. pretty literally. Yeah, it just throws it out there. I'm trying Cancel to make out the world a bit more, up. you know, open about using goblin words that it's just... oh, yeah. <laughs> it again filthy little goblins I'm so sick of them <laughs> no not you too you I like calling people I like to say goblin person I think that's funny <laughs> it, it just it gives you the right image of how horrible a person is you somehow being a cross between a person and a goblin is worse than being a goblin yeah because it means that you got stuck in the you're a filthy mud blood you're yeah. not even pure yeah, not even the goblins will have you. Whoa. Literally laughs and points at you. Look at your weird <laughs> goblin person, Peters. You mid-tier <laughs> goblin. You fuck. You green bitch. The goblin Peters would be fine if you were fully goblin, but you're not. <laughs> you can't even do that right. You happy? Yeah, you're that's, that's the super happy. insulting word, you halfy. <laughs> Weirdo, half goblin. Doesn't fit anywhere, and that's gonna be his arc. He finds out his family the whole time was no one. <laughs> I have, I have no people. He's alone. That's still, but my big smile on his face. Well, why aren't you yeah. using the the chump dude? Because look what happened when I did. This always happens to me whenever I pull out the chain chomp. It makes me sad. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> man, how unfortunate. I mean, I got lucky earlier. I guess the game, you know, is gonna take away from me as much as it gives. That's right. Mark, Mark Brownlee enough. <laughs> Mark Brownlee yeah. enough. Um, Mark, no. Also, the third Batman crossover episode of Superman the Animated Series does a better job of establishing and portraying the mistrust they have of each other in an episode where they work together than BVS does. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Any attempt at doing it is probably going to be better than what we saw in the DCEU. Like it's all horrifically bad. It's yeah. it's kind of bafflingly bad. Uh -huh. You wonder, how could someone have created this? <laughs> how could you have done this to us? Yeah, and then there are people like out there possible. who are like, it's too advanced for you. You don't understand it. Yeah, you just don't understand it. People hate what they don't understand. Oh, yeah. That's it. You got us. You guys like the Civil War. You ever thought that fuck? people love what they don't understand? They shoot well, because you guys don't understand Batman v Superman, all right? We're, that... the, we're the real experts on that. Film. That's the big reveal. They love it because they don't understand it. They're yeah. like, this it's is so like big a, brain. It's kind of inception thing, right? Where it's like, you're, you're too dumb to understand the mechanics. <laughs> Makes sense if you don't think about it. That's the ultimate brain take, I'd say. Yeah. Is this your winning strategy, Mauler, that you, at the beginning of the, the race you wait to get all the great items and then race ahead? Well, I mean, I can outdrive them for the most part, so I like having bonus items. Just How come your chomp chomp isn't catching them? I don't know. You did, It didn't even get you any further. Yeah. <laughs> he's Well, he still annoyed them a little bit, like which is good enough for me. Like, look at my chompy boy. And I can take my hands off the wheel for a little bit. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry to talk with a full mouth, but are you calling a chain chomp a chomp chomp? 
He's a chomp chomp. Hey, right. he did it. I didn't uh, say no. that, okay? What, what, chomp chomp the chain chomp. Chain what are you seven? What are you seven? Chain chomp. <laughs> chain chomp is the species. Chomp chomp is that specific chain no! chomp. <laughs> what, what he's a chomp. He's a chompite from Planet Champion. And he That's speaks chomp. Right. And his language which is chomp. Yes, chomp. Which is probably true. It's probably yeah. all he does. Yeah. We don't even speak. We just chomp. That's our way of life. Um, <laughs> watch what we can learn from Doom. It's a much better video than this. This it. There's every video that's better than Mark's video. <laughs> it's <laughs> not hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'm sure it's it's a good one. Yeah. Um, I'm on episode 64. Surprised myself when I said, "Oh, there's a few short ones in a row. They're six hours long." I now consider that short. I have fully embraced the long. Don bless. Hi, rags. Mm. I mean, I thought it was gonna be a short one today, and uh, we're at nearly seven hours. So yeah, I guess it is. Oh wow. So yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about the short. Where do simple gameplay mechanics work in a game like Hellblade or Soma versus something like The Last of Us? Um, um, I guess when there's a lot that you could do with them, right? Like on your side, like it's like cause and effect, right? So if you if there's only f like five things you could do, but they can have the effect of doing a whole bunch of different things, that adds to the apparent complexity of what the mechanics are. I would also suppose that The Last of Us' mechanics are not only simple, they're not too fantastic, like, execution-wise. Certainly the second one. Um, but, like, you know, like, the thing that everyone always brings up when you're playing Last of Us and you're like, oh, I gotta be stealthy. And then there's, like, a creature just in front of you, but you're behind the camera and you're like, oh, God, the tension, the tension. Then Ellie just walks in front of it. And you're like, um... And Ellie's like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? And you're like, Ellie, shut the fuck up. What are you still like, what are you doing? And then the creature just doesn't know. So that is like something that's consistent, I suppose, but it's d distracting as hell. That's more of a um, Ludo narrative dissonance, I guess. Or yeah. Sure we're, However, we're always better to err on that side than your NPC companions are oh, constantly yes. setting off traps and alerting the enemy to your position fallout. That would be horrible. So don't do that if you ever need to. Just choose, If you're gonna err on the side of anything, just whatever's more just fun to play is generally a good, safe bet. Whatever's not frustrating. Um, but like Fuck Hellblade Donkey. and Soma, they will be like, their stories require you to, you know, X amount of mechanical input, and they'll usually nail whatever those inputs are. Um, like, I don't know if it's in, like, Fallout 4 was doing that. All the way up to Fallout 4, they still hadn't realized that maybe the NPC companions you have that run around that you don't control who just do things based on their AI programming, maybe they shouldn't set off booby traps. Cool. Vesta still hadn't gotten the message up to that point. What a shame. It's, it was pathetic. Uh, Mark Brown, time to right, learn nothing, I guess. That out. Yeah, I did. Everyone did. Didn't what, sorry? Someone asked in chat, Rags, didn't, you didn't mod that out? And I said, yes, I did. Hmm. Um, Mark Brown, time to learn nothing, I guess. Hi, M. M. Hello. You can learn a lot if you've never played a game before. <laughs> but nothing you wouldn't learn from a game's trailer, I suppose. But just watch the trailers. They're usually designed for your consumption versus someone just going, you can jump in this game if you play. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle it. Um, how to turn no into mmm. I, I don't know what that's... <laughs> yeah, I got, I got nothing for that one. I don't yeah. know where it came from. I don't know what it was. That's um, all I need for my mauler hentai that I'm working on, my dojin. No! Uh-oh, so got that little soundbite. You went, you went both no and... Uh. Weird. This is oh, stabbing. The depth of the stab is determined by the sharpness of the blade. Speed of the thrust. Another factor is what organ you stab, like the brain, because the brain controls the body. Now, you're giving him a lot of I was going to say, that's more. That's a, like, yeah, that's, in, that's actual information and mechanics, and you could learn a lot from that. You gotta like that's the that's what's so difficult about making a Mark Brown video. You gotta say as little as possible while sounding like you said something. 
Oh, you gotta repeat a lot of words, but like use synonyms, make things circular all the time, so you never actually compared anything to anything or said anything was anything. So it's, uh, it's hard, but he he knows how to do it. He's good at writing that. You no, know? not sure I'd call him a good writer because of it though. I am going to sleep now, so I shall talk to you all oh. later. Good night. Uh, your dreams have good writing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, love you. Shut up, no. nerd. Get me back! No! Lick you. Ah. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, bye. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. No. Metal's testosterone hands. got upset there. He was like, mm. Can't do this. Next time Again. I see that German, I'm gonna fucking curb stop his stupid little ass. <laughs> When I go to Germany. It's a uh, Germanian. Oh shit. My bad. Yeah. Germania. Mm-hmm. Uh would y'all be interested in an EFAP centered Miltopia playthrough when it comes out on Switch? Still figuring out the roles for everybody. Any request? Miltopia, sir. <laughs> I thought it said Miltopia. Miltopia. Miltopia is with AIDS and cancer at the same time. Don't involve oh. me with your degeneracy. Thank you. What would the answer be if they said, like, what, what are the choices for having characters in it? Do they have roles, or...? There's a choice, I choose not to have AIDS cancer. Oh, that for me, too, yeah. I think it's like, knight with a sword, mage, huh. you know, tank, whatever. Okay, I'll go knight. It's just whatever. <laughs> I'll get a knight. I'll be a mage, whatever. There you go, Chase will be a mage. Okay. Rags will be a bard. And I'm the mage. Yeah, I don't think, bards I don't are think fun. that option. It's like a super what? cookie cutter. Well, then it's a game shitty game, isn't it? It is. That's exactly it. <laughs> it's a shitty game because people, of that. It's people who, who, it's people who laugh when their fucking me's start fighting in the me lobby, and they go, Haha, that's just like what we do. Hi, you got saved from that massive banana there. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's Lola, a good sentence. You, you nearly got bumped. You nearly hit that massive <laughs> I'm sorry, banana. sorry. That out of context is classic. <laughs> just, I know, everyone's stupid. talking. Yeah, it's <laughs> I think it's because you sound so hey, determined as well. <laughs> I, I was I was just impressed that you were saved by just getting bumped out of the way of that massive banana, alright? I mean, the funny thing is, if I'd hit the banana, I would have been immune to the lightning, so... Um... Oh, so, in a certain sense... Yeah. You lost. Oh, well, fuck. The mirror mode, I forgot. That's right. Fool. How dare you. Uh, breathing tests your lungs. This video tests you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this video tests my patience. It was a tough one. I saw a lot of people in chat being like, Can you please cover a different video? It's like, you have to do it. You have to see what, I, what he has to say. You can't just cover half a video and be like, Oh, we've seen all it has to offer. We didn't know he would end up repeating himself twice. That's not something that we had prep for, right? Um, HRJ, Hormone Replace J. There's gonna be something to do with Hermione, for some reason. But, no. Get tricked. Hermione? Yeah, I guess, uh, I might be getting tired, I'm not sure. Uh, you know that some games let you press buttons or move analog sticks to interact with them? Cool stuff. Allegedly. Uh, I think you should make a video about that topic. Don't go into much more detail than that, though. I feel like you've already... I'm pretty far into it. Yeah, calm down. Um, it's not a race. You Dumbo should play that DDLC one though. Ugh. Forever standing. We've talked about this already. Doki Doki Love... Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is an okay game. But I think that the EFAP group would fucking hate it. It's really linear. Oh. Yeah. It's long. I like it. I think it's a cool game. But stop fucking forcing it, little bitch. Oh. That's gonna yeah. fuck you up, you know that, Chase? He's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> He's gonna find me. He's gonna be like... He's gonna mail you a poo. Stupid internet man. Stupid internet man doesn't talk to me like that. Deserve better. Uh, Read the Solid Man Mark II book on Amazon today. Can Solid 1 train Solid 2 before Solid Evil hits his brain with a train? What about Man Boy? Solid Man 2. Um... That wasn't very funny, but after he just after he said "solid man" too, and then there was a pause, I just like chortled when I was on mute. 
<laughs> I want to see the adventures so of Mad like Boy. Solid man too. I think isn't Man Boy a fucking Futurama joke? I can't remember. I don't know. Uh, but, well, we have Boy Child. Oh, I remember Boy Child. Yeah, Man Boy is like a hero who's just a kid but with a bad's body. I think it's Futurama. Maybe Family Guy. I don't know. Um. Mapepe has satisfaction as an intrinsic value. Um, what if you, what if you stab it? It wouldn't then, right? The intrinsic then. Be gone. Well, think about that. Next time you make such crazy claims. Yeah, maybe you should stab your dick. If ever, <laughs> if ever you're sure you about just... anything, you should stab your dick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm alive. Quick stab your dick. <laughs> it's like Inception. We don't know for a dream. Quick stab. That's your his dick. test. This I don't have. He doesn't have a spinning top or anything <laughs> like that. He just stabs his dick. His totem is just, just stabbing his dick. In the See, real world, joke. my dick is paralyzed and can't feel a thing. <laughs> I'll know. So I know I can sleeping. stab it. Weird but Fuck. effective. Uh, bleach is cool. You don't get it. Huh. Shut up, Bleach. Like the thing people kill themselves with. Bite? Yeah. All Bleach is is just like that's it. It's just cool. Like there was no thought put into it. It was just like, wouldn't it be cool if this happened? Then if like it would be cool and epic if like this happened. And then it's just it's just that's it. For way too long. For way too fucking long. But they said it's good. Someone in chat said it's pretty bad. And someone else said it's okay. Who am I to believe? Wait, are we talking about the bleach? Are we talking about the anime? Yes. I'm guessing so. Uh, bleach is fucking horseshit. Oh. Yeah, it's honestly it, one it, of the it worst. It suffers from too. Dragon Ball Z syndrome, where no one ever dies. They just get really close to dying, so they can come back next time stronger than before and have it be even cooler. It's just like. It also it has like four songs in the OST. It, I think it, oh well, we're that final damning indictment. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, terrible. every time there's like a goofy okay. moment, it's like, oh, like, oh no. cool, it's this song for the fucking 800th time. That's awesome. Oh no, that yeah, that. yeah yeah that that gets grating after watching something that's like 500 episodes or some shit. It's um, awful. Yeah, all the worst traits that people make fun of Dragon Ball Z for, it's like, no, 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 no. You don't even understand. Like that is fucking bleach. Like to it. My Hero Academia bleach. has a lot of that problem too. I've heard. It's I tried like, to get into it, but then I started to see where it was going, and it's just like season oh, one is fun. End. It's just like oh, yeah. fucking nowadays it's like Steven Universe, My Hero Academia. I'm sure there's a bunch of others that I can't think of, but it's just there's just a trend now where it's like unlikely crybaby hero. That's just that's just the cliche now. Which is like so hey, the term crybaby only. hero that didn't have to catch on. People decided on that. Is that a term? Well, you said that crybaby hero, like, caught on. Those are the words you used. Yeah, I thought you were, like, adding to that. I got yeah, with the comments of it. Com. It didn't have to add on. Like, if it if it caught on, that was something that people, I guess, decided was okay. What's happening? I mean, you do cry, though. What the hell is he talking about? Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. I'm, like, move on. I'm, <laughs> I'm completely lost. Uh, uh, I, I had a conversation in my head I was listening to, and it's gone. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Bleach bad. Bleach bad. That was the conclusion. You, you wrong. Grug you say that boy. bleach not good in anime. What does Grug know? Find more than people who write anime. Grug knows more than you could. <laughs> I don't know. Grug. I'm pro Grug. Yeah. Pro Grug. Imagine having that position. I do have that position. I don't have to imagine. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, fair point. I don't see why you're so anti-grug. What the fuck? I never said I was anti-grug. That was something that you just inferred for some reason. Well, fuck then, off, you fifth think... riding a uh, little centrist. I was gonna say little grug. centrist cuck. <laughs> <You got little laughs> centrist I wasn't gonna call him cuck. I was gonna say he's, he's, he's fucking choose a side grug on grug, grug friggy Jesus. <laughs> Well, let me guess. There's some things about Grug you're okay with. <laughs> There's some things you're not. I don't have an opinion on Grug. All I said was oh, just imagine okay. being a Grug. You said imagine like being pro-Grug, and then you're like, yeah, oh, I don't have any positions it. on Grug. Imagine it. That's, That's all bullsh I'm saying. 
That's bullshit people, when everything is easier to him. imagine than others. He's, yeah, uh, just um, imagine it. That's all I was saying. Don't believe Fringy's lies. So dis that's so disingenuous when you know that, like, intrinsically, everything is Grug. Yeah. No disagreement. Nope. Sorry, I win. That's how it works. I expertly navigate the expert expert level into your pants. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Mark Brown is a Cantu horoscopes in video games. He tells you something big that makes you feel good when it's all just nothing. Yeah. Doesn't want to Cantu horoscopes though. No. No. Uh, but I agree. Yeah. I, mean, I have yeah. no idea. Uh, um, Lord Tonald of the Loke and Blessed Pipeman Cross. Um, I don't know. Have they ever crossed? I don't think they have yet. Maybe one day. Maybe. I don't know I if Tonald like... could understand the Pipeman's um, power levels, if you will. They operate on two different dimensions. You know, we at EFAB, we like to traverse all dimensions, but... I wouldn't want to force anybody to have to go to ones they're not comfortable with, you know? Oh, wait, wrong way. Fuck, Mirrorlands confuse me. I think that they, they're almost, that's part of it, you know? That's kind of yeah. the, yeah, that's the trick, right? Pesky tricks. Uh, after seeing this Mark Brown video, I can't help but want to give him money on his Patreon, probably for the highest donation tier. No! Ugh. Oh, Stop, meant... protect your wallet. I, I'm almost curious to go to his Patreon and see, just out of curiosity, but I know it's, I'm going to be sad. Gonna I know be I'm going to have a You're going to be time. sad. You're going to be really, really sad. Don't do it. I kind of do want him to do it just to see his reaction, though. It'd be funny. <laughs> oh. You know, like, I, Is our I enjoyment don't worth turn around. Ah! I told you uh, not to turn around. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. Just give me a second. I'll tell you I once. I told you not, don't it. turn around, all right? Dude, change home going through cars. That's pretty cool. I approve of that experience. I love games. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I, I've loaded the page. I've oh, no. closed my eyes. Where can I see his total amount made? Ah, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, surely you could understand you... after seeing the video that <laughs> that requires a lot of support. I could literally solve all my life's problems in one month. <laughs> if I was this vapid. Holy shit. Say that like you couldn't possibly... You, like, like there wouldn't be any trouble in you creating something as glorious as what he created. I... I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> this is it. I, the brown broke me. It was just a stack of brown bricks, and that was the one that broke the camel's back. A key factor in propaganda is repetition. Regardless of there being any actual substance in an argument, Mark Brown is the literal embodiment of this. Wow. Propa he makes propaganda for... game mechanics? <laughs> the concept of learning. You don't actually learn, you just think you do and value it. Uh, mischievous. Mark Brown's video was like an endless circle of hell. Why, Mola? Why? Hey, we learned a lot. Got to talk about all kinds of subjects. It was great. Being anti that yeah, is yeah, being. Yeah, we learned that. Uh, we learned that movement. I, I mean, kind of summed it up. So you, you missed out on one part. Being um. <laughs> please check out my Patreon. Shit. <laughs> Tuck line and sinker. You got it. Movement. Man's oldest foe. What is it? What is it really? Can we discover the truth? I'm upset you guys didn't pay attention to the names in the credits of Tonal's video. Bad mutually. Hey, we yes, showed it. We showed we it. Did. We did. Tonal was his editor. It was wonderful. Uh, Gunflex, I, I own a 1911 from anyway. 1917. Whoa. Wow. That's very impressive. Oldie. Would that be Where like? Did you guys uh, come up with the name Tonald anyway? Huh? Where did you guys come up with the name Tonald anyway? Um, I that sort of information is that's, lost. That's you're gonna have to go back to EFAB like ten or whatever it is <laughs> to that find is, out. Uh, 
That is I don't care that much. Someone tweeted to me. There you go. Someone tweet at at Chase the at origin of Tonal. Mm -hmm. Scream it at him. Thank you. Scream into the void. Um, but yeah, you know, if you have one from 1917, is that like worth a lot, Rags, or is that, it doesn't matter? I don't know. Like that would probably be worth a lot just because it's super old. Yeah. Is it like? Uh, if can it you went tell... into service anywhere, then it will probably be worth a bit more as a collector's item. Yeah, especially that first iteration before they fixed some like um, minor issues with the gun. Like if you have that first iteration, I'm sure that's worth like a, a lot. Um. I'm assuming it, you could tell, does it like have stamped on it, like when it was made and stuff? Yeah, yeah they... it'll have dates and all that stuff. All guns mm -hmm. have uh, dates on them, serial numbers, uh, where it was manufactured. If it's imported, it'll have import marks as well. Neato. Uh, the 1911 and stays it is in... illegal to uh, deface serial numbers as well. You cannot do also, that. Also, uh... Illegal. Maniacal Foreigner said they were wondering what Tone was short for. He also go. goes by Tone Loke. The joke is Tone isn't a real name. Must be short for something. Maybe Tonald. Oh, yeah, I just I thought that was I thought those were adding to each other. Yeah. I think it well, there it's short go. for Tony. It's just you don't expect someone to shorten Tony. <laughs> it seems short enough. To yeah. Tone. Well, because Tony is a contraction <laughs> of Anthony, right? I guess uh, he just wanted it shorter. Two syllables is too many. Anthony, I'm, I'm fine with two. You can have two, right? Bringy, you can have two syllables. I, well, I mean, of course I would say I have two syllables. Yeah, I agree. That's what I said. Yeah, but let's have just one. say it's it's I, I would disagree. No. It means the value of my syllables is I'm, I'm, I'm just expressing you're an example. Why would I, why would I think you'd okay. be against that? Your name is free. <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> you see, Rags has got one, so if I said it to Rags, he'd be like, he might even disagree. How, how am I supposed to know? Unless I say Rag is. I love my one syllable name. Mine mine is if you call me more. It's more. <laughs> what? <laughs> like when you Did watch your videos, you go, I want more. Wait, what about mule? <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Mule. <laughs> Mubshly is, uh, you know, it's a little too long, I guess. Fortunately. Contract Mubshly into Mew. Uh. This fucking noise. How dare you. The 1911 stays in production because of reliability. 100 years of guaranteed firing. I just bought another one last month. Never had a jam. Neat. Hey. You know what else is reliable? A bunch of other guns. Name one. Oh. Darn, you're right. You got me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's all over. Fraud. Bad stay. Fuck. Third placed. I'm upset. Oh, wait. Uh, yo, yo, what's cracking my hate mongers? Just finished 127 and found this. Gonna listen while I play Skyrim. Sorry, Rags. What? You must really hate Skyrim to the point where anyone plays it. I don't it. hate it. I just think it's really overrated. Hmm. But you hate it because it's overrated. <laughs> nah. uh... Just admit your hatred, ranks. First step. I don't hate just it. Just be honest for once. Yeah. I'm always honest. Ooh. I use honesty. Loads of guns are reliable. From Can't every even name core. one. My honesty is what gets me in fucking trouble. True. Um, that, uh, the one about the 1917-1911 said, uh, also a Springfield M109 from 1909. Gun flex over. High rags. Hello. Were the Springfield M109s reliable rags? Uh, probably. If it was adopted, it was at least, uh, it was decently reliable, yeah. Hmm. Generally, if the military accepts something, it's generally of a, a decent level of quality. Generally. Exceptions exist, of course, but yeah, probably. Where it's just like, I don't uh, know much about it. This it gun... was the M1909. What about it? Oh. Is that the one he was? Yeah, yeah, from 1909. Uh, the Springfield. Because the only one I know was the Benet Mercy. Um, 
I gotta look that up. Springfield M1909. Just a sec. Are you sh spring? You mean the Springfield 1903? It says Springfield M109 from 1909. Oh, M109. Let me. Yeah. I am not familiar with that. It keeps mm. trying to. It, it keeps bringing me back to M1903. And the M1909 was the Bene Mercy, the Hotchkiss. So I don't know what yeah don't know yeah um every time i see tonald cook uh, i throw everything in my kitchen away while screaming you'll never be a real cook at myself oh <laughs> don't compare yourself he need, to I'm such telling excellence you, he needs to do something that's more approachable um for he's sure. too good you should just yeah do some basics yeah, do basics for gamers. Something basics like that. Gamer inspired food that people can actually make. <laughs> He's like, uh, purchase you're, a frozen you're on pizza. another level. I got the frozen pizza now, what? And he's like, put it in the oven. Oh my god. What's the. Oh my god. I'm so. <laughs> no, Slow he down. has to explain Help. to take it out of the box and the wrapper first. <laughs> they just put it all in. They're like, I don't understand. <laughs> my house Explain it to me like I like Mark Brown. Oh. No. Why would you want to know? Um, your critiques are gay. Hi, Rags. Hey. You found movies Cornetto Trilogy? Uh, what are those? That's the Hot Fuzz World's End. Oh, gotcha. of the Dead. Dunno. I don't know if that would work. Maybe. <coughs> Probably spend most of it trying to just commentate about what we think is really good about them, I guess. Good work. Ah. Uh, uh, timing tests your timing, Spider-Man. <laughs> I reckon. Hey! Uh, I'm going to test your bastard. timing, Spider-Man. You dastard. <laughs> uh, I want Tonal's food to become my lawfully wedded wife. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to get away with it in certain states. I'm not going to promise anything, though. He's handsome for a man. Uh, ha have Mike Burnfire on. Do not know who that is. Burnfire? Sick Street Fighter reference. Love you, Tony. I mean, that's redundant. We all love him. Druckmann wrote Last of Us to explore how far he'd go for his own daughter. Wonder what she'd do... Wonder what she did if she now says Joel should have let Ellie die. I wonder what she did if he now says Joel should have let, let Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, he yeah. grew up and he hates her, so now he wishes she died. <laughs> Something like that is seeping into the other game. It's like, oh. Oh no, it's like too down. real. Best game of 2020? My favorite was Tonald Hawk's Loke Skater 1 and 2 billion. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tonald Hawk, I don't know why. We laughed so much. <laughs> Tonald Hawk. It sounds pretty cool, I don't know why. Uh, Just chase down a bunch of little clown boys on the skateboard. Pop off their heads. <laughs> their blood slicks the wheels and you go faster. Because <laughs> it's about momentum. <laughs> <laughs> you learn about mechanics while playing this the game. The more blood, the less friction, which means more momentum. Yeah. Ooh. Any plans on a Chernobyl praise? That series is easily one of the best pieces of media I've ever seen. Also, high rags. Hello. Um, I love Chernobyl. I, I thought it was really good, but I feel like I'm probably not the person to make that video because I don't have a lot of insight or passion for the real life event. And I feel like it'd be cool to see how well they did with portraying it and then obviously talk about the storytelling as well. Um, yeah, I'm, there's probably videos out there already talking about how good that show is. That's good. Probably, so. yeah, but I really love Chernobyl. I think it's a great <clears throat> show. Uh. Wash your flower power in the shower, but wash your winky dingus in the sinkus. <laughs> Sound advice. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. advice to live by. Uh, I think I'm going to head out. I got uh, some last minute stuff to do for the end of the night. So thank Very. you for having me. Why is on that the a, show. Why does it have to be done before the end of the night? What is it? It's very important. It's dark. It's, some it's dark, dark magic and shit. Because they're coming um, for me. 
actually coming for me. I have to be ready. You don't uh, realize I am that... actually also going to go because Mark is my butt buddy. We're actually going to go have sex. That's yes. why it needs to be done yeah. before the end of the night. We're going to we're going to see who can catboy meow moan the loudest and hardest. Oh, so it's like <laughs> so it's like the game penis. I, I, you could say that, but it's like really gay. That's oh. the game. For those of you who don't know, Penis is a great game. It's where two people go out, really anywhere. It can take place in any place. One of the mm. incredible joys of Penis. And essentially, there are two people, and you take turns alternating, saying the word penis over and over and over. It. But each one has to be louder than the last person who said it. And the winner is the person who's willing to say penis the loudest. It's really fun. <laughs> Thank you, Rags. Thank you. Yeah. Like um, social terrorism. Social terrorism. <laughs> you're Domestic you're, terrorism. You're a terrorist. <laughs> Harassing the good Americans of this fair land. Do you guys want to talk about your shornals before you go? Oh, yes. You Do first, Marky Moo. <laughs> uh, I... I Fuck, I don't know. I, I do little... Okay, do gaming videos. Sometimes they make you laugh. They make you giggle. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye Mark. <laughs> it's Mark. It's Mark after dark. Uh, that's about it. I made fun of Donkey once. I guess that's the thing. Oh, <laughs> that's like my only claim to fame. Didn't you know that he was <laughs> just? It was just jokes. He was just being. Yeah, oh, that's ironic. right. Wait, I, Mark was I, just I was, joking. I was though. criticizing a video that was pure satire of himself, and he Mark, wasn't. You were just joking, opinion, right? Fine. But it was, and he's willing to defend it, even though it was a joke. Yeah, right. And we put him to sleep live on stream. Yeah, that's an achievement. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad he had good sweet dreams. That's yeah. that's an achievement. All right, that's me. Well, right, get the fuck out, Mark. Get out. Okay, you I'm go. sorry. Go I'll go, go, Dad. I'll go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And uh -huh. um, I I go on on them YouTube parts as I'm known as Trace Face, and uh, mm -hmm. if sometimes I like to do uh, video game and anime reviews. My voice is sounding weird now because if uh, people missed it in the intro, my mixer broke, and I'm waiting for a new one. So in the meantime, I just have the shitty backup. You sound Doesn't fine. Have compression. Uh, yeah, I guess I sound fine. I just don't sound as uh, like I normally like to sound more balanced and everything. Anyway, I, thanks for I having me. It was really I've been told if he didn't say anything. It's because you're dumb. Thanks for having me, everyone. Nope. I love all of you, and I hope that you have a good night. And uh, thank you, chat. But also, fuck you, chat. And uh, yeah, I mean, really, what more do you need to say than that? That's very oh, true. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's very true. <laughs> um. All right. You can check them both out. Links in the description. Uh, He's eager they... to zoom out of here. He is yeah. like, oh, these guys. These guys are cramping my style, whatever that means. Chase has quite the style. Uh, yeah, there's a certain... yeah. Mount Dew is Ben Shapiro's favorite drink. What's yours? Oh, you mean like Mountain Dew? Like yeah, Mountain Dew? So. Yeah. Do it's they only play Mount Dew? Ugh, I've unlocked the parade cart. No one likes the parade cart. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know about it. And it mm, seems just a bit too celebratory for me, you know? Yeah. Um... As for my favorite drink, you know, I'm a big fan of water. Pretty cool. And if you get used to it and really enjoy it, you also have the added bonus that it's good for you. But again, used to something else. But then, you know, what are you guys' favorite drinks? And how do you categorize it? Is it the one that you want the most, typically? Mm. Or is it the one that you just like to have the most, but in moderation? Hmm, I... drinks? I... Uh, hmm, I really like milk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I like uh, unsweetened tea. It's pretty nice. Mm. I enjoy like a really good smoothie, like a strawberry um, milkshake. Those are really good. I enjoy those. Um, I like Monster Energy drinks. Those taste. Those are tasty to me. I know that the taste of energy drinks is a, a divisive subject. Yeah. But uh, yeah. All right. All right, as for me, I don't know, um, Coke. <laughs> Coke is good. I enjoy Coca-Cola. I like Coke, yeah. Do you, well, how do you feel about Pepsi? Uh, Pepsi's all right, but I prefer Coke. I feel like Coke's got a bit of a stronger taste. 
I don't like, like Pepsi how Pepsi is inch. just sort of what soda is like not soda like Pepsi is just what cola like sort of almost like default standard cola is which is funny but Coca-Cola which is the you know sort of the the I don't know the hallmark cola tastes different to the rest of them yeah I don't know I just like it I'm a big fan That's of Coke. I just don't really have any feelings on Coke that much at all I'm chill with it um, metal no, chase, stop it, children are watching. I don't know what that's in reference yeah, I don't to. Know, something happened. Oh man, I liked WandaVision. Anyway, Marky Wolves best rat, J sex, Moriarty greater than chase, rag, best boy, gay. Oh, sweet. Yeah, there's stuff in there that, that we an, agree with, I think. Yeah, I like that. That was an adventure. Excellent. Uh, you guys should check out Jacob Geller's Dark Souls 3 is Thinking of Ending Things. It's a pretty bad video. He compares the vibes of Dark Souls 3 to the story of I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Holy shit. Ugh. Dark Souls isn't boring, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm Thinking of Ending Things was... we. I think we almost gave up on it. Um, oh, we, were we, were, we were all thinking about it. The problem Each is one we were, of us individually. It was like... It's, it's, it rarely happens, but like a story where... Um, I'm just waiting for it to be over because I get it already. There's nothing else to yeah. um, absorb for me. Um, unlike watching uh, reviews of it of any kind, it's just like, yep. Uh, I have more interest in how someone executes a text over a, a over its subtext. I think that's what's harder. Um, but I'm, I'm more appreciative of it. If I can already see where you're going and the text is just a mundled mess because... Mundled? That's a word. No, I'm gonna stand by it. Mundled. Muddled? What? No, mundled. It's a word now. This is like, like, muddled with the gloves off? It just feels, yeah, it feels like even more like, like it's, it's radioactive and it's all muddled up. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Certainly not. You know when you do that thing where you're like, it's not for me? That film was not for me. Yeah, I hated it. It was miserable. It was a miserable, miserable movie to watch. Um, uh, who's better, Katara or Azula? Fucking Katara. Azula's barely a character. I'm sorry. She goes nuts at the end. It's like, all right. It was um, the most I learned about her was in the beach episode. Shocking, uh -oh. I know. Uh, Katara, on the other hand, is full fledged. Uh, a person I'd like to hang out with in real life, as long as she's not trying to kill me. Upsides of the Holocaust, forward by Boogie2988. <laughs> 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 uh, he's destroyed his career. Do you remember what he used to get, like... Everybody thought he was, like, the best person on the internet. Yeah. Such a nice person, such a great guy, did like, so much for people. You guys might have forgotten, but... People used to say, like, he was the Mr. Rogers of the Id today. He was super friendly. Yeah, man. Everyone would get along with him. He was super kind, super honest. And, you know, he just wanted the best for everybody. That fucking image is gone. Crazy. And, like, he yeah. used to... Like, whenever he'd weigh in on a subject, it would be like, Oh, here we go. He's gonna Hi. maybe give a rational... Okay, well, Some people would well, actually think, like, he's gonna give the fair take, because he's unbiased. That's who he is. He's the fence. I mean, he's the reasonable person in the middle. Because if there's one thing I love, it's when people think that they're in the middle. You're not in the middle. <laughs> there is no such thing as the middle. Well, I'm he... thinking I mean the specific middle, like in general. Well, no. What I would say is it's just like there is no such thing as middle on uh, on any sort of topic at all. I don't think there's always something that leans a little bit more one way or another. And of course, middle relative to what. You know, but I mean, as for Boogie, I'm like, I, I always find it interesting because like Boogie's video game takes were always pretty shit. Like he never really had anything particularly worthwhile to say about um about video Neither games. Mark Brown, but... Yeah, I guess that might be worse because like Mark Brown is the one who is like <laughs> the non-hack video game reviewer or something. But yeah, not to understate the cuts, but Boogie seems to uh, sort of best represent death by a thousand cuts uh yeah i think so because now he's reached a point where it's just you know everybody realizes he's a piece of shit critical now like, oh yeah <laughs> yeah he's too many singular instances i'd say of um 
I think the uh, that that Nazis and rapists thing really uh, hurt him. <laughs> that was uh, that was yeah. I don't mistake. think it did him any favors. Yeah. I like that out of context though. It's like the whole Nazi rapist thing. That probably <laughs> that didn't do it. Well. I promise, not knowing context is better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The, uh, do you remember the fucking video where he's like in some hotel room and he just starts humping a pillow and he says, One bed for me, one for my hooker! <laughs> what the fuck's happening? It's, um, I don't know who it was, but somebody's, uh, like, donation message on a stream was that. Um, and the whole a lot of money for a person of color quote, that probably didn't. No! Oh. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I forgot about that. That's a lot of money for a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. Does that he immediately realizes his mistake? Like instant, just play it straight. Like it's a fucking offensive joke. Yeah, just, yeah. Like that's. Holy but then shit. he's like, oh, but actually, that's way too edgy for me. I'm, just, uh, I'm holding a gun. That's a USB. Man, oh, I get so, so happy when I'm editing this video and I find the clip just that I've been looking for for ages just it out of, like, randomly. Uh, it makes me so happy. Oh, I guess, like, uh, gameplay clip you need to Yeah, so, yeah. there's a part, I, in, there's a section in the Crash video where I'm talking about how I think the other playable characters aren't very good. Well, not, uh, not bad, just not, not as good as Crash. And, um, I had a point where I'm like, Torna's whip, like, sometimes it just goes straight through objects. And I was like, I cannot find this fucking clip, but I know I saw it happen. Um, and as I was just looking for other footage to put in the video, I found it. Just, that was very lucky that I found this. Um, was the thing, when I was um, playing the Dark Souls like, playthroughs for the video, I was just time stamping like everything. Just every instance of, oh look over there, a bad thing. <laughs> I was like, well, time stamp that, that, that. Helped immeasurably when it got to the uh, editing part. I even had the chat people, uh, timestamp and shit. Because some of it you couldn't even do yourself if you're battling. Because, you know, pause, not allowed in Dark Souls games. Oh, you you can't pause? No. Oh. Not annoying at all. Like in all of them, or just that one? None of the Dark Souls games and not, um, Bloodborne. It's Sekiro, can you pause in that? Do you know, Fringy? What's that, sorry? Can you pause in Sekiro? Uh, I don't think so, no. There you go. All of them. <laughs> the idea is because, um, technically you're always online, so people can invade you, which is another mechanic that's fucking ass. And, uh, yeah, not a fan you can't, that. if you can pause, that doesn't work, because someone else is active in your game or whatever, so. I don't know. There's, there's, a lot of people argue that it helps with the atmosphere. I, I don't know. Sometimes yeah, life spirit. just sort of, you know, asks you to do stuff. Yeah. Oh, some people are saying you can pause Sekiro. Yeah, there's a lot of them are. Okay, okay. And apparently you can in Sekiro. Uh... Uh, Ukami has a long, tedious intro. Also loves Monster Hunter World, a game with a fucking 30-minute intro. Chase Face 2021. Oof. Not even here to defend his honor. We can only imagine how he might snap back at that. Unless he, you'd think he would have picked on on that. He usually uh, has his eyes on chat. Uh, Wait, sorry. I was that for me. Uh, Chase. Um, oh, okay. Final Fantasy VII is kind of booty. I don't know much of anything about Final Fantasy. Never played it. Play Yakuza Seven. It's the best JRPG of all of them. Oh, the best one. Wow. Quite the uh, accolade. Oh. Uh, Fringy, if you don't mind, MMOR, uh, MMOS FF14 has a free trial that includes the entire base game and the first. Alright, I'm not playing that game, sorry. <laughs> I'm not playing Final Fantasy XIV online, if that's what you're suggesting. Yeah, they're saying ignore Chase about it. Oh, uh, okay. I've heard good things about it, but I don't want to... Yeah. No interest. Um, and at Fringy, I would suggest the Bravely Default series, the first game and its sequel, are on the 3DS, and the second game is on the Switch. 
Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that just came out, right? I think so. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so when is Super Mario Bros. movie on EFAP movies? It'll be an eventually thing. Really don't know on that one. Uh, Final Fantasy VI is best. Nine's okay if you're a furry. Uh, name two different games that you think are overrated, one that's actually bad, and the other that is still pretty good. Well, so I think two Last of Us Two games that you is... think are okay? No, no, um, one that is actually bad that's overrated, and one that's still pretty good but overrated. Um, I think that The Last of Us is good, it's just overrated as fuck. It's overrated, yeah. definitely. And then, one that's bad and overrated, probably Bioshock Infinite. That's like the perfect example. I, yeah, I'm kind of going towards that. Um, it might, uh, yeah. Like, the story just doesn't work. The gameplay is very tedious. Bulls. It's functional, but it's tedious. But there are issues with, like, dying and respawning and bullet spongy enemies and poorly implemented upgrade systems and yeah. things of that nature. Fucking handymen are nowhere near as interesting to fight as uh, big daddies. Remember when they can just like... I have really bad memories of them, they annoyed the hell out of me. Yeah. Patriots were a bit better, I think. I can't remember. Better that we don't. <laughs> Funny how both came out in 2013. Yeah, that was kind of just the perfect hmm. time for them to come out. Like I said, I think people are super insecure about just video games as a medium in general. Uh, will there be a WandaVision EFAP? Adam and Sitch again? I don't know that they've seen WandaVision, but uh, yeah, next week I think we're going to try and do a WandaVision one. So I got to rewatch that show by then. That's going to be fun and not sad. Yeah. yeah, just watching it crumble. <laughs> well, I'm watching it to get references. Like I know it's like it's like a corpse now, and I'm like, well, time to find out how it died. <laughs> That's the, the yeah. job. Yeah, probe around this corpse of what could have been a good show. Uh, speaking of EFAP movies, have you considered watching the newest DC animated movies? There's an order to them that makes up the Visions universe. Um, I don't know that we'll be watching that for like EFAP movies or anything. I've seen a couple people suggest it. The thing about the DCU that's interesting is it like directly contrasts with the MCU and then it's just um, sort of mainstream superhero stuff, which is something of a mainstay for EFAP. Like one of the first things we did was covering like Black Panther related stuff. And it was like, yay, MCU. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll continue to shit on new MCU properties as well. WandaVision being just the next one. So it'll be interesting to see like on record EFAPs, I'm pretty sure they've only been negative MCU ones. Like, have we done a positive MCU EFAP? Uh, I'm not sure if we've... No, I don't think so. Um, I feel like... I don't think so. We've we mentioned them. It. Yeah, we've talked about them, but I don't think we've ever done a full EFAP, like, with the subject being that this film is positive and it's, it's from the MCU. Maybe someone can remind me. I remember that uh, we did Infinity War. That was before EFAP even started. Um, I think it was you and metal and then i jumped in for like where we we're just talking about civil war i think we were mostly positive in that one was that efap no it wasn't that was before oh. efap that's what i'm saying probably positive about infinity war yeah i just don't think we had an episode for infinity war um but you know why is one division a corpse i thought the finale was pretty good oh <laughs> No, no the, fall, the finale was horrific. Wait till next week. We will give you all of the reasoning why the last episode was a disaster that ruined a lot of things. Wanda is in a lot of trouble as a character. It was everything. Yeah, she's a lot, <laughs> and, of, and a lot of trouble as a character, legally, morally. Well, just... I mean, there is legally, but we've just we kind of just forgot about the Sokovia Records. That too. Don't worry about it. I love how, like, she's not held accountable. <laughs> yeah, she just gets to, yeah, she just gets to leave. Imagine you were off. invested in the MCU to the degree, I guess, that we are in terms of, like, the good stuff in it. And you're like, oh, man, they're like, yeah. you're going to make Civil War 2. And you're like, what? And it's like, Captain Marvel, Civil War 2. And you're like, okay, okay. Okay. Um, and then it's like... Uh, and you have free reign to make about whatever you want. And like, I, I guess that's that's awesome. I can still do something here. And then, like, the first thing you find out is like the other properties, be it the TV shows or the movies, don't give a fuck. And just like, how do I, what do I do? 
Like, they're all telling their own stories, and you're like, what am I supposed to, is the Sokovia Accord still a thing? And they could be like, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Remember, Hayward's a prick. Well, he wasn't up until we just had him shoot children. I don't even know that he's gonna be... <laughs> is he gonna be back, or is he just gone now? Because he's like, he was just... Like... I imagine he's gone forever. He was just there as a prop. So lame. When she's like, you're going to prison, and then he's like... Yo. And then the next we see him, he's getting taken away in cuffs. I was like, this is such a cartoon. Yeah. So lame. Yes, it is. But yeah, next week, we'll probably do that. One thing I noticed about rewatching Aquaman was the mirror fight scene. It's like bootleg and over edited version of Kingsman. Yeah, um, that's something we didn't talk about, but I wanted to mention it. Uh, the. The, the, I don't know how to put it, like, the how frenetic the action is, but the way that they do it by where the cuts land by zooming into, um, or the person moving up to the camera lens so that it covers the whole thing and then, you know, that sort of thing. Very reminiscent of Kingsman. Um, but more, I guess, hilarious in it, Echo Man. The random <laughs> explosions did not disappoint. That was so fun. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> Remember we tried to recount the plot in that movie? <laughs> It's so fucking insane. Aquaman? Yeah, like, they oh, have to go to the place to do thing, and then they go to other place and do thing, and then they go to other place and do thing, and then we win. You're like, alright. It's an and-then plot. Oh, totally. Well, they all are in the DC universe, kind of. Kind of, yeah. I feel like it's more disjointed than some of the others, though. Like, even Wonder Woman 84, you, like, you kind of know why they're going around doing this stuff. <sighs> Yeah, you know? well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. you know why? Like, it's totally nonsense, but you know why they're going where they're going? We're going to Cairo to see Max Lord. Like, all right, the way yeah. they get there is okay. insanity, though. The biggest flaw with WandaVision is they try to mimic classic shows. This is a great idea, but unfortunately the episodes aren't good in terms of being classic TV shows, which I was just like, you're wrong. That yeah, is not I the biggest flaw good. with WandaVision. Yeah. That's like close. the only part that's good. Kind of good, yeah. I agree. I the first couple yeah. episodes are really kind of great, dude. The show is awful when it stops being the sitcom world, and when they yeah, just when it got into the, the real story. world bullshit, where nothing nothing made sense in the when things made more sense in the fantasy world, you got a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when the references were really shallow and and just thought provoking, like on the radio, you hear someone say, "Wanda, you need to like, what have you done? What's happening?" That alone is more interesting to me than everything we see in the real world. Absolutely. We were so curious to see what is it? Who are you contacting? Why does Wanda know? Mm. What does Wanda know? What is. Oh, man. Is there any reason why she doesn't even recognize it? Why does she not know that she created this does made she, up like, world? Randomly forget that it's fake? Is that what She it... seems to because there are parts where she references that she knows that this is made up. In that last episode, she says that she expanded the borders of the false world. It's like, oh, so you're aware that it exists. Well, yeah, she even and comes also, out of it at one point, And also, you left it in right? the 80s. Yeah, you left it in the 80s sitcom world. And then sp specifically tell them, hey, piss off, you outside people. So she knows. Yeah, it's such a shame as well, because it's, you have to treat her as an absolute child for her to not realize what she's doing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And like, Which is why we thought she would absolutely the... be the villain. How could you not yeah. be the villain after all of this? Yeah, this is very bad what you've done. Um, imagine be, imagine how traumatized some of those townspeople are now. Just like having their autonomy stripped away from them. Oh, wow. she Literally saying, just she let gets... us die. Yeah. I don't know she why the show the... went with that. Because that just adds yeah, to it. It just makes it look way worse. Yeah. But she doesn't go to jail. She gets to fuck around in some nice cabin out in the forest. To then go to the multiverse to steal her fake kids from someone else, like some alternate version real alternate reality version of herself. They needed to be as and funny as classic TV shows. They weren't though, they were inane, giving most of the episodes little to no rewatchability. And to be honest with you, when I rewatch the the magic episode, that's probably gonna be what I conclude is the best one. That one was fun. Yeah. Um, and, and I wish the problem I had with the show was that their storylines for their fantasy world weren't that interesting. That that would be a nice problem to have compared to what we actually have to deal with. Because, like, episode one storyline is, oh no, the boss is coming for dinner and we're not prepared. It's like a classic. Yeah. And the, the big thing about it is that we have all this additional context, and so we're just waiting for, like, the other shoe to drop. And then they have that yeah. moment where the guy's choking 
and you're kind of just Wipe staring because you're like, what does this mean? What does this mean? Mm. Probably the peak As it of the show. Out, it means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was Agatha all along. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. She didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> she sucks as a villain. Um, who's the worst character, Haywood or Monica? Well, the problem is Haywood is a prop. He's a prop that the story uses to justify yeah. the protagonist. Even though Haywood has a lot of accurate points to make about everything, she did take a town hostage. Of, I mean, like, of course he should be concerned, but then it turns out that's not the case. He's like, ooh, I'm gonna make an evil vision. <laughs> so, I, an and evil Monica's vision just flat. that, like, questions how Monica's easy it is to defeat his target. Superhero. Like, what's Modern that about? Day. Yeah, Monica is just, I believe in good. I will do good. Monica is really just Captain boring. Marvel, basically. Just yeah. good. Yeah. Um, remember when Vision grabs his skull and starts cracking it and then says, huh, I thought this would be harder, or whatever. It's like, what? Why? What? Well, shouldn't it be instant? How yeah. is it even... Why isn't how, he using like, his laser? He's if, if he's honestly controlled by Haywood, shouldn't Haywood have a protocol in there to be like, kill her as fast as kill possible, her. as quick as possible? Yeah. Laser, Why, use your yeah. laser. And the funny thing Dude, about it is, I wouldn't brain. blame him. Like, if someone was like, wow, you can't just kill her like that, I'd be like, I mean, she's like, captured all of these people and she's refusing to let them go, so. It's incredibly dangerous. And, and she could at any point tell. expand this borderline to take all of us con in control. So it's just like, I don't know, and she's really dangerous. Yeah. That's why it's frustrating that they're like, Haywood is a villain. It's like, dude, fundamentally, he's got a really good point. But then they were like, She's done something. Oh god, what if yeah. he isn't villainous enough? Let's have him shoot children. <laughs> let's have him shoot the kids, yeah. And then let's have Monica, who doesn't know that she's bulletproof, jump in front of them and tank those bullets. Also, for people saying the kids weren't real, that's a problem for other parts of this storyline, but that doesn't make him shooting them any less fucking strange. Yeah, of course, it's... Well, why did he even do that? No idea. <laughs> I mean, if someone was to argue, like, is... well, they could stop him with their superpowers, it's like, I mean, Wadder is right over there, so... <laughs> I don't even know why he would go for them first, whatever. And then they... Like, they, they pull the Iron Giant thing where he tries to run away, and then he gets stopped before he can get anywhere. Except Iron Giant's a good movie well, and a good story. You see, <laughs> Annoying Voice Lady was like... I'm gonna park really far away and just full on drive as soon as I realize he's going to randomly decide. It is insanely convenient that this she was there just terrible. in time. It's all the, terrible. One division is really bad, guys. Like it's actually pretty. If we had, if it that had to get episode. ranked against like the films, hmm. it would be a bad film. Well, it's the, yeah, well, would, the last two episodes, are, like, well, hmm. is, the, the last, last episode is a special kind of bad. Well, I was just gonna say the last episode is probably the worst of the season. Um, so uh, if you remove yep, it, definitely. does the score like go up? Or it's like, well, I mean, not complete without it. I don't know. No, well, I, the story doesn't function without episode. Well, the story doesn't function anyway, but it doesn't function as the show believes that it does without that episode. Um, but I mean, if if I were to rank it against like the MCU films, it would be pretty low. Yeah, honestly. It'd be like, um, it would be in the Iron Man 3 sort of territory, I think. I'm really tired of seeing my protagonists do horrible things and for the, the content to be unaware, unaware of it. it. Like, at least when yeah. Iron Man yeah, did bad things, I don't, the I movies... don't understand this. Like, the DCEU is fraught with it, but there's just total and lack like Marvel, of moral understanding well, and insight. The thing is, like, Marvel for a while was pretty good at not doing that, but yeah. it's starting to get a lot worse now, I've noticed. Yeah, Captain Marvel yeah. cheering when she kills her friends. Um. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Goddamn. And now and yeah. Then we got this. So it's like, what's going to be next in Black? Pe well, in like uh. Well, what movies are coming up? Fuck. Uh, whatever. <laughs> On par with Captain Marvel. Nah, Captain. Well, mm. Captain Marvel was very broken. Yeah. But so is One Division. <laughs> and One Division destroys things which came before. Uh, Captain Marvel doesn't, because it's in isolation. Um... Because, like, it, WandaVision it, destroys... It makes a couple Wanda. lines make not sense in later films. Ah, uh, that's... Yeah, that, there is that, but I guess it's there's not... There's some of it, but it's not, like... Yeah, it's not a ruination. It's just... We're gonna try... We're gonna recontextualize Avengers to be because of her, and we're gonna have a thing that Nick said 
later be not true about why yeah like, so Thor it kind of being the reason yeah. it makes a couple of things lame but it's like what's happened here well wanda has been damaged as a character um and vision's death uh has been sapped of any meaning or value um and yeah I, I don't and know, where, have, where have the Avengers good. been this entire fucking time? Oh, Who well, is? they're busy. Like, uh, Captain Marvel is busy in space. There are other planets. Um, we'll have to see So I that. shouldn't even be around on Earth. Yeah. Like, well, Doctor I mean, Strange better have a very good reason for not have gotten involved in any of that at any time. Uh, well, I mean, is this is taking place at the same time as uh, Far From Home, right? I think around that time. So... Maybe he's just unavailable, like they said. He, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you could make room for something like this. I would. I would say it's catastrophic. We need help desperately, sort yeah. of thing. Oh yeah, In fact, yeah. Especially when it gets me. bigger, when it expands and it swallows yeah. even more stuff up. At what point are you like, okay, this is a? Are we telling? Yeah. I don't, like, especially when don't... an Avenger was like the cause of it all. Yeah. Mm. It bothers me they don't take it more seriously quicker in the, in the show. Very loose. Um, also, um, oh, I'll be right back. I need to use Lou. I shall mm. return. I shall return. Oh, shit. Uh, Jojo doesn't have characters, and the plot is a joke. Chat, what oh. do you think of that opinion? Do you hate it, or oh, do you agree boy. with it? Let's see. Throwing an opinion to chat to tear to shreds. I need a compilation of Moriarty and Jay Longbone's laughs, as there's the most infectious ones. Don't need much more than their wholesome chuckles. Yeah, it could, uh, could carry you through the worst parts of life, I'd say. Oh man, lots of people are saying that that criticism of JoJo is is on point. Oof. Oh, oh boy. Some people are saying it's wrong though. A healthy right. discussion can now begin in chat. More will be like, why are we still here just to suffer? Pretty <laughs> much, with a lot of the videos we cover. Um, by the time you read this, my puppy will likely be sexually mature and she would love to carry Rags' son's pupperinos to Tim, uwu. Um, right. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. I, I think I would just rely on Rags to do some kind of response to that. I'll, I'll have to have to imagine what he might have said. I'm sure he's thankful in some way. Use your imagination, guys. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, watch Capital O's devs, devs videos. I've seen um, the first one. I plan to watch more of them. Because devs was awful. Ralph the movie where you can just <laughs> watch them. Fuck devs. Uh, just want to really just want to share this about MGS3. Kojima wanted the sniper boss fight to take IRL time two weeks to beat. The guy is insane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like wow. Fun okay. on the bun. Uh, which is worse, the original BVS or Chris Stuckman's version of BVS? <laughs> um. I can't remember, because, like, the dialogue is really badly written, but I can't remember if he tried to change the the, the conflict between them in that scene. Didn't didn't he try to do that? Wait, what's that, sorry? They're, they're asking what's better, BVS or BVS with Stuckman's injection. Um, oh, the, I would say that Stuckman's injection is makes it worse. I can't remember if it made it worse. I know that the dialogue itself was really poorly written, I just can't remember The dialogue he... was... I don't, I don't remember it adding anything particularly valuable, um, and it still doesn't funnier. fix the fact that it doesn't fix the fact that the battle itself really shouldn't have happened. Oh, that's a Zod snap next. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I'm just, I, I can remember if he tried to flesh out like the reasoning behind them hating each other or whatever. It's probably pretty bad, yeah. Mm. Uh, Suda the painting elephant is an elephant who paints. There's a video on YouTube. It's a, it paints an elephant. Uh, sounds oh, adorable. Boy. Long man destroys art. EFAP discussing art. I know, right? There's just so much to destroy. I can't get to all of it. That's why I need you guys' help. Not only the cast, but the audience too. Everyone should destroy some art themselves. Uh, can a robot write a symphony? Can you? I, Robot, 2004. That's a quote from it, yeah. And what if it did? My goodness. <laughs> Uh, there's a website called Waifu Labs that creates original waifus from an AI. Now that is art. <laughs> God, hmm. Well, I'm assuming from how it was categorized today that that wouldn't count, right? Or would it? I don't know. Uh, 
procedurally generated, could it then count as a form of expression from the creation? Well, creator? somebody had to create that procedural generation, right? So, yeah, I think that's how it would be categorized. I don't know. That's the thing, I'm not attached to the weird art. I really don't give a fuck about it, because I hate it getting pulled around left, right, and center by everybody. I'd rather use other words so that we can be more specific. Yeah. Like, when someone's like, this doesn't count as art, I'm just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> just say what you mean. Like, you don't want it to be considered something that was expressed by another person. You don't want it to be considered a work of skill. Like, just say what you actually want to say. Yeah. Uh, if you believe in a creator deity, everything is art. Yeah, I mean, uh, I suppose. Oh, well, we don't, so... <laughs> yeah, we gotta do other stuff. We gotta find a different... Yeah. I remember when I was watching BVS in the theatre, and it was a packed house. By the end of the film, only one guy clapped with genuine glee. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> one guy clapped. Why would you clap at the end? It's so fucking dour. Yeah. <laughs> it was a miserable experience the whole way through. I guess because the soil raises up, but it's like, Oh my god, Batman's gonna come back! I mean, Superman! Superman's gonna come back, yay! He's so good. Hey Mola and Hi Rags, where do you guys rank The Incredibles in your list of top superhero movies? It's fucking high. For me, it's quite high, yeah. Incredibles is excellent. Did you see that they tried to do an Incredibles thing at the end of the last episode of WandaVision? Or near the end? Wait, like, did they? I got oh, big oh. vibes from Incredibles when, um, like, the camera is, um, sort of closing in on them, and they're a f team of four as a family, and then they oh, all prepare to fight. yeah. I was like, oh my Except god, that's it's like... Not not even remotely as good. Well, nowhere near as meaningful because I'm still like, wait, aren't those things not real? I don't it understand. Made up. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the two kids have been they've been trying to protect them this whole time, and then the kids end up saving them. And now they're gonna fight as a family. It's just like, oh, so much better. Yeah. Who just got <sighs> powers, you know, somehow. Uh, for your information, your virtual reality discussion is the plot of an early 80s film called Brainstorm, Natalie Wood's last film. Fair enough. Uh, question to you all, which DC character is your favourite? Mine is John Constantine. Uh, like, just DC Comics? Oh, in general, mine's Batman. I mean, mine's probably gonna be Batman, yeah. Pretty damn awesome. Uh, but Constantine's a good shout. Incredibles 2 was disappointing? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. How would you put Darkseid in a story? Would you change his name and just ignore adaptation arguments? No, I, th I guess I would keep it the same. Um, I think people will be able to deal with it. I just... You don't have to call it what it is, right? Edgishanisms. I like you spelt it the normal way, too. Also, his goal is to strip free will from the universe. Oh. <laughs> He sounds so evil. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not as invested in uh, the DC universe. I suppose Fring would be the one to ask, if anybody, as to how to adapt well. I guess faithfully while also probably changing some stuff up. But of course, if I was given the reins to um, a Dark Side adaptation, or at least an adaptation that involved Dark Side, I would read up on all the the comics he appeared in, probably talk to people Yum. about what they might expect, but um, whether or not I commit to calling him Darkseid, and whether or not I commit to his motivation being to take free will from people, I, I don't know. Don't know if I want to commit to that. Hi, Rags. Hi. Uh, EFAP is stale as fuck. Same thing every week. Bitch about other people's work, have some fun instead of bitching about stupid people all the time. You sound like women bitching about work. Where did the fun go? Sorry, what? I just abandoned you there for- what was that? I love this the idea- This can't be a real comment. I'm assuming it's a- it could be a meme, I don't know, but I just love the idea of complaining like, EFAP used to be fun, but now all you do is look at stupid people's videos and complain. Um, <laughs> it's not like you know, like, the proto-EFAP <laughs> was this? Before EFAP was EFAP, it was this. Well, the- the best part, dude, is that the first person we covered is an absolute goober. It's not even a video essay, it's just Jared Genesis talking about his fucking life. Like, like we still cover Batwoman, we still cover- we still do the movies, we still yeah. read Super Chats, we still have a good time. Like, there's a bunch of laughing in here, this- this one. Yeah. I-, I This is a rowdy Is this effect. a joke comment? Um... Who, who donates money to wine? Again, if it's- if it's just a joke, 
Fair enough. If it's for realsies, yeah. I do not know what component is missing now that was there to begin with, except different hosts. Yeah, I I'm baff. If you mean that in earnesty, I I am baffled. Not gonna lie, I'm baffled. Maybe they were just so upset by us covering Mark Brown that they had to vent. <laughs> like enough of this. Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, Mark I'm Brown does stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hope that it was a joke. I'm yeah. gonna hope so. People would want to turn it into a. Maybe it is a copy pasta then. Hi. Yeah, three people. Oh, yeah, or is that yeah. is that what beat got it to be a copy pasta? Oh, maybe somebody said it in chat and then someone super chatted it because someone said it in chat. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I. Mm, who knows? I just like there are criticisms you could deliver, but if you tell me you're bored of us covering stupid people, I'd be like, um. <laughs> just... Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, we covered Ahoy today, so you, this is the worst timing to say and that. Tunneled. Yeah. This one just says, that's your opinion. Can we copy past to the second to last super chat? They're already doing it. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, EFAP is stale as fuck, same thing. Yeah, they, someone else super chat it. Um, have you seen is the- Is it the same? Yeah. Oh, well through. it ends in your critiques of poor, so. Ah, there you go. There you go. Have you seen the Red Letter Media commentary track on Justice League? It's very entertaining. I haven't, but- I have not, but I should. Yeah, that sounds like well, it would we, be fun. If we ever have to rewatch it, we'll, we'll, we will rewatch it with that on, maybe. Ugh. To make it bearable. Fuck. Where did you learn to critique, long man? On a farm? Well, I told Zod snapped neck, and guess what? It's unresponsive. Ugh. Uninhabitable, you might say. Um, I think my favorite part of EFAP is how I can show up at the end of a video review, make a super chat, take a nap, and still not have heard my super chat. Don bless. Well, there it is. Beautiful. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. So, I still follow Boogie on Twitter because it's funny. Um, and, uh, he just, he just tweeted, I feel like my tweet's been fire today. To which my first thought is, oh boy, let me see what these tweets are. Um... Ugly people like me don't want the pandemic to end so we can keep wearing masks. Okay. Man, that's, right. that's, that's, that's fire. That's fire. Um, that's hilarious. That's so fucking hilarious. Um, I'm in stitches. Oh. Uh, for, for, oh, wait, no, that's political. <laughs> I'll definitely dodge that one. Um, oh. Man, don't you hate it when you wreck your sports car and bust up your hands so you go to Hong Kong so a wizard can fix them, but then you end up fighting a space demon with magic? Oh man, so you're just like describing Doctor Strange. Is that a fire tweet? <laughs> oh man. Started oh, playing Persona 5 Royale. Why the fuck is this game so long? Jesus. Oh man. Insightful. Bye. Um, there is a tweet from Gab which says our way of life must be preserved and it is a painting of a family standing around a barbecue, each of them holding guns, including the fuck dog. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and the tweet is our way of life must be preserved and so Boogie quote tweeted it saying our way of life must be preserved and it is just a clip from Family Guy with a bunch of fat people sitting down in Peter's house. Oh. Fire. That's uh, that's. I love this oh, image hilarious. just of a dog leaning over a barbecue with a gun. <laughs> like, it's, fucking it's America, hilarious. right? Hey, man, he's ready. Yeah. yeah. Look at him. <laughs> um. Everyone knows. Don't rob that house. Yeah, the dog's got a gun. Yeah, that's what. Beware of dog, because he's a dog. Also, beware he has a dog, gun. Yeah. <laughs> he also has a gun. You sneak up to pat him, who's a good boy, and then he just whips it out. Back up! I did not consent. <laughs> just did a run of Dark Souls according to your race rules while <laughs> that's a <laughs> race rule. While listening to this EFAP. Loving the Souls races, hope to see DS3 soon, also high ranks. Hi. Yeah, we might do. Um did a whole bunch of Bloodborne ones. Because those we were just Fucking around, and then we're like, let's do a Dark Souls race. Now, will we do a Dark Souls 3 race? Who knows? Fringy, would that one interest you? Which one, sorry? Dark Souls 3. Uh, I'd be on board for that. I, because I've actually played Dark Souls 3, so I have a vague sense of where I need to go. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the one I know the least well. 
outside of maybe Dark Souls 2 at this point, but um, probably... I mean, the fun part is just us all playing it and talking, isn't it? That's the, that's the mm -hmm. core of it. Tonal, because they didn't know what name Tone was. There you go. Uh, thank you for the amazing content and keeping me entertained at work. No problem. Rags, have you heard about the Gyrojet handgun? I have. What's that? What does it do? It's a little handgun that shoots gyro... Instead of shooting uh, traditional bullets, they shoot little little tiny rockets that are self-propelled. Uh, is that really expensive, or have they found a way to make that, like, reasonable? It is, it is not... It doesn't have really much of a purpose at all. <laughs> it's like bullets, but worse. Oh, okay. um, it was not a commercial success. Wait, but when, when did it, it happen? It's very cool. This was in like I want to say like the eighties. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, how big was this thing? Like, was it a like... handgun? Oh, yeah. Just shot little bullets that were when you ignited it. They sort of there has a little accelerant in there, and it kind of came out of the vent holes, and it was a little accelerated, a uh, little mini rocket. Cool. It's like a worm's weapon. Unless that it was for space. Unfortunately, normal guns work in space just fine. There you go. As far as I'm aware. <laughs> um, you, have the EFAP has seen Ridley Scott's first film, The Duelist? It's my favorite film. It's an impressive first outing for Scott and probably his best film. Also, favorite Australian film? Um, um, favorite Australian film? Mad yeah. Max 2? Uh, Gallipoli. I think. Does that count? Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> the Crocodile Hunter. Uh... I don't know, yeah, those. All of them. Gallipoli. I and... would I would actually quite recommend watching Gallipoli. It's good. That was Mel Gibson uh, as well, before he was super popular in America. I think that was a year or two before Mad Max. Hmm. Peter Weir. Um, yeah. And as for uh, Duelist, I know of the movie. I've not seen it though. It's the isn't it a movie just about some these two guys who like dueled over many decades over and over again? It's a thing that happened know, IRL, and it's a film about it. I think. Mola, what is your setup for streams? I use Voice Meter Potato to help with OBS audio, but there could always be improvements. Also, high rank. Voice Meter Potato. Hello. I, um, I use Streamlabs OBS. I don't really know what else to Good say. Eyes. Yeah, Streamlabs OBS. Good stuff. It's a, quite a complete package. There's not much else I need from it uh, than what it provides. So, If anything about it's confusing, search for a tutorial. There will be one. There's a whole industry on making tutorials for Streamlabs OBS, so... <laughs> You'll find them. Uh, thoughts on the Arkham games? Last I played them, I really um, liked them. Yeah, I like them. Are you guys pro or anti scrub? Or scub? The fuck is a scub? I don't. I. <laughs> no idea. I guess I was waiting for an answer. I was like, I don't think they're gonna have one. Like, <laughs> neither of you gonna know what a scub is. Maybe, uh, maybe chat knows what a scub is. Rags, try putting monster energy in chili. It's amazing. I'm not a big chili fan. Maybe you will be when you do this. Oh, maybe. Um, you can pause in Demon Souls PS5 through photo mode, which deactivates if you get invaded. Why can't it work like this for all- The fact that that's a thing, holy shit. Just add the fucking pause button, guys. It's absolutely yeah. infuriating. Like, the idea that it's like, yeah, well, you're always online, someone could invade. It's like, okay, fine, if someone invades, unpause it. If you have to, you absolute sadists. So frustrating. You're in like a boss fight, and then someone needs to talk to you about something. And you're just like, "Well, sorry." <laughs> Guess I'll die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do I recommend Rags to play? Steam World Heist and Mutant Z oh. Year Zero. Yeah, Steam World Mut Heist is really cool. That's a nifty game. It's like a 2D XCOM. So like, you you play as a bunch of robots on a spaceship, like a is sort of um, steampunk aesthetic, and then you run around in a 2D plane. And like take cover and ricochet bullets off the walls to uh, hit enemies behind cover. 
I think fun. Toll Biscuit recommended that game because I remember he it. He probably did. Yeah. Um, that might be why I have it because he recommended it. Yeah, it's good. Really fun as well. Fun writing and characters. Um, and Mutant Year Zero. They're both turn based shooters, which positioning of your characters is crucial. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you you said exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of, I think it's on my wish list of a game I need to try and check out. Uh, detached Hollywood writers don't understand morality? Wow, weird. I mean, um, kind of? I, like, something about it. Like, it's, it's, it's a really common trend where they just get morality totally wrong. Because, like, Patty Jenkins with the whole, the tweet where she's like, oh, the rape was a reference. You're like, what is the, what the fuck? Is... Yeah, it's like, what are you talking about? We were talking about, you know, it's kind of like how messed up it is in, like, Big. It's like, it's not even remotely the same situation. How could you possibly conclude it's just as the same? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It sounds like you're desperately grabbing for an excuse because, and this is kind of the saddest timeline, you didn't realize what you'd done. Yeah, that's it. Just to, And, of course, that makes you look like a really... That looks really bad. <laughs> but, but, you know. How? Oh, no. How do you be a multi-millionaire writer... Oh. Well, how does nobody pick that up? You know what I mean? Like, did nobody notice? The public seemed to. <laughs> it's just like, what happened? Well, but then there were people who were like, men can't get, and it's just like, oh, mm. God. Fix your head. Your head is broken. <sighs> uh, Fringy, scream no as loud as you can. He muted. I guess he's going the opposite direction. Uh, I feel like current trajectory of media, especially superhero content, have become instant gratification before morality. Also, 2008 writers' strike. Um, well, like it feels like it's as bad as when the writers' strike happened. Because wouldn't necessarily disagree. Uh, the the instant gratification thing, I think that's pretty fair. People panicked with just a couple of episodes of WandaVision not having fights in it. Like, I can't handle this. And it's like, oh. Because it didn't have fights in it? Well, really? not necessarily. I'm kind of being a little bit unfair, maybe. But, like, people saying it's too slow and too boring and I'm not getting any more, like, plot. And I just picture if there were fights in it, people wouldn't be saying that. Probably. Like, like we were, we introduced the spooky witch earlier, and in the end of episode one, they have this big battle where she fires a purple blob at, at Wanda, Wanda falls over, and then Wanda fires a red blob at her and she falls over. That's very cool. Yeah. The, the way that they shoot their blobs at each other, that's very cool. I was on the edge of my seat wondering what the fuck's even happening. It was so cool. I was wondering when it would get good. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, watched Stargate TV show the other day. Enjoyed seeing competent military and main characters with morals. I, it's crazy, isn't it? Seeing something like that. Imagine a military, like a high-ranking military man doing things that are competent. Like, it would be so cool if they made like anything where that happened. It would be nice to see the people who should be the most competent. Hmm. Um... GL commentary for TLJ Gimme. GL commentary? Oh, good luck. Oh. Why would it be I good think? luck commentary for TLJ Gimme? I don't know. Do they want us to do a TLJ commentary? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. I am also a little bit scatterbrained or melty brained. George Lucas? Oh, George Lucas oh. commentary for TLJ. I fucking, I would listen to that in a hobby. I feel like it'd be really funny. I would love to hear what he has to say on TLJ. Um, Hello, Corner. Ask Fringy the dark side question, please. And Rags. All right, we'll ask uh, both of them right now. They're both here. So, oh boy. If you were adapting, or had been given the task of adapting dark side, would you maintain his name and the motivation that he wants to take free will from everyone? No, that's dumb. I think I'd keep the name, but I probably would change his motives. Yeah, like I would if I was gonna keep a part of it, it would be his name. But yeah. I don't like the name. Well, the name is dumb, but like you know, it's not a huge deal, right? Yeah, I think I would probably keep the name, and uh, 
I would just like try and hope that it's not too it's not too much of a big deal. The most it's like not average too distracting and goofiness. Yeah. Yeah. If someone was like, "Well, what's the problem with it?" I'd be like, "Well, I think the average person might be like the villain's name is Dark Side." What? I'd be like, "Yeah, I know." Um. So maybe you could just create a new villain and keep parts of, but then you're gonna piss off all the comic fans at that point. I don't care. <laughs> well, I mean, it's up to you. I don't know. It's, it's really yeah, gonna be. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really care about. If that. my goal overall was to maintain as much immersion and enjoyment as imp as possible while also doing my standard sort of like narrative structure, then I would, if I can avoid pissing off comic fans, I will. Yeah, might as well. Um. Yeah. I don't know. That motivation's kind of funny to me. I don't know how you create a person who's like, I want to take away free, free will. will. <laughs> like, in what? Like, you don't have free will to take away. Ah, uh, well, people get. <laughs> I mean, it would be a meaningful like difference. It would be a meaningful oh, difference sorry. if we were all forced to do whatever he wanted, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah that's maybe. just slavery, I suppose. That's different. That's like, if a, you want to enslave the. Motive. Yeah, he just wants power and control, which is, like, you can work with it, but it's. Boring. It's a bit boring. Yeah, a bit boring, you know. Yeah. The thing is, I would take that these days if it made sense still. Like, what, what the fuck? If someone was like, well, Lex Luthor's really interesting because the, his motivation isn't just I'm an evil man. It's like, yeah, but what is it? Yeah, his one's just bad. Like, interesting isn't the opposite of bad. And it's so fascinating. It's going to be interesting and bad. That are pro BVS, and so many of them fucking jerk each other off about how incredible his motivation is, and nobody's specific. Everyone just talks about how like interesting Lex is. It's just like, what does he want? Yeah. Nightmare. Um, yeah, people want a really loud no, Fringy. I don't know. I don't know. How I feel about that? It was a super chat asking. <sighs> oh god. Man, I don't. Uh. <laughs> no, nah, sorry. No, I don't feel like it. Not right now. Uh. What would you? What motivation would you give the most powerful villain in the universe? Something personal. Something personal to him. Something that would make um, him exercise his power in pursuit of some well-informed personal goal. Also. Before crafting it on my end, I'd, I'd be like, what do you mean he's the most powerful? What does that entail? It'll help me figure out what kind of character he would have, you know? Hmm. And then you have to think of how he lives his life, what stuff does he want, what's out of his reach. Um, yeah, what is he willing to do to get whatever thing that he really yeah. needs or really desires? Maybe the heroes are... Um, all of you scream while slabbing. People... Sorry? What's up? Oh, I was just going to say, you can get an ASMR like... No. There you go. <laughs> There's your no. <laughs> uh, all of you scream while yeah, slamming there's... desk Jacob's line. I don't want to scream. Fuck that. I'm not going to scream it. Why do people want... Sc it hurts to scream. <laughs> it hurts to scream? Yeah, a little bit. It's definitely yeah, it's uncomfortable hurts. for the first few it moments. Absolutely definitely. hurts to scream. Yeah, if you want to classify it as discomfort rather than pain, I, I don't mind that. But yeah, it's not it's not a comfy thing to do. Yeah. Uh, what you bring me? Best I'm doing, okay. You gotta say it's a little gruff. You gotta what say you bring like, me? yeah, you gotta slam and go. What you bring me? What you bring me? <laughs> Batman. <laughs> do you see someone who made artwork of him as Batwoman? That was like I did. I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> Again, uh, I did. I was honest when I was tweeting out about the last episode we watched. He was a way better Batwoman than Batwoman in that episode. Absolutely, it was great. It, it was, was everything I wanted and more. And of course, the show treats him like a villain. It's not fair. Hashtag mm -hmm. justice for Jacob. Should I watch Crocodile Dundee or Dances with Wolves tonight? I think watching either of them is fine. I don't have a preference. Yeah. What about you guys? I don't either. I don't. Bring you what you're I, I, Dances Dundee. with Wolves is probably better, but... Wow. Then what one, sorry? Dances with Wolves or Crocodile Dundee. Um... I don't think I've ever seen Crocodile Dundee. Wow, you shouldn't have admitted that live on television. But he is your patron saint. <laughs> He's... I don't he, care. he died for your sin. <gasps>
Damn. Dark side will make you care. He will. Yeah, yeah. he'll take my free will to make me care. <laughs> yeah. Bring you scream like rags just surprised you in your Greek love hole. Wait, do you want me to scream? Fuck's sake, I don't want to scream anything. Well, I mean, they wanted to scream specifically as though Rags surprised you in your Greek love hole. Oh my god. Uh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> One more time. I, uh, wait, there it is. Friggy scream like Rags just surprised you in your Greek love hole. I don't know what that. I don't. I need better direction than that. Yeah, these no, people... this is you as an actor. You have to. You gotta work with what you're given, and you have to blossom. You have to flourish. You have to bring that scene to life. You know, I like to think that what's playing on screen right now is in relation to EFAP. So it's like, the director was Yasuki Yugi Oyagi. Oyagi, yeah. His assistant director. What else we got here? Program director for EFAP was Kenji Yamamoto. These were all the programmers. Just gotta appreciate all the people that put all the work into EFAP, guys. Point in this yeah. Making it happen. Um, because yeah, we are at the end of the super chats. I will collect Streamlabs ones and pop them in. I am, uh, I am kaput, as the German says. How are you guys doing? I mean, I'm like it's the middle of the day here, but like I'm, I'm cool. Um, to stop because I'm just be working on the crash video some more. I think I'm probably going to go to sleep. Or eat something. I yeah. don't even know. The options are endless. Because Basically I haven't had my free time. will taken from me. Yeah, that's right. Dark side hasn't prevailed. Not today. That pesky dark side. Is that going to be in Snydeka? Is he going to be like, stop The wolf. words, that pesky dark side, it might be. <laughs> I need you to get the mother boxes to help me take free will from here. <laughs> Apparently Charles Martinet voiced EFAP. Huh. Wow. And Deanna Mustard. <laughs> and Van Taylor. Wow. Cortana. That's pretty cool. How come our names aren't in the special thanks? The fuck? Well, he's like Japanese people. Weird. Is that a problem? Yeah. I want to be special thanks. Bill Trinan gets a localization credit. I don't get nothing. What's that about? Why are modern EFAPs so short? You stop right there. Eight hours is not short. And if it is, it is we've spoiled you. Yeah. You must be stopped. Um. Yeah, I think I think that's that is just about just right, right there. Um. Yeah, that sounds all right with me. Says thanks for playing. Thanks for watching, all of you. We will you so catch much. you. I think. Monday will be another gaming. Wednesday might be a blank one. I don't know what's happening there. Maybe we'll do a Super Chat catch-up. I don't know. But, uh... uh ba -ba -ba. You know what? I don't even know what's actually coming. What's happening just yet. Expect more EFAP stuff. Alright? More on the yep. way. Um, hmm. You guys take care. Have a good rest of the weekend. And, you know, don't watch WandaVision. Watch something else. <laughs> watch something better. That is the foreshadowing for the next episode. Ooh, because someone will be listening to this when they're listening to the, the playlist. They'll be like, what's the next episode? Oh, it's WandaVision. I'm going to jump <gasps> right in. If Yeah, yeah we're going to drop some subtle clues. Yeah. Well, um, maybe not subtle, but... Well, if you listen to all of this, you would have heard a lot of the criticisms already, but <laughs> they will repeat. Uh, see y'all next time. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Dr. Nick. Is he like dead in Simpsons canon? He got crushed under uh, some <laughs> <laughs>